Welcome into the first ever Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. We are lying to start because we actually got 15 this week. Starting with yours truly, Dr. Slothfinger is playing a little live fire oddball. He has a no scope on him to start off, getting shot at from scoreboard, letting the teammate take the kill as he grabs the ball. The teammate can't get the kill, so Slothfinger does it himself. Beautiful shot there to get the kill joy, grabbing the ball from the cut, gets stuck. Or <laughs> does he? Ball gets stuck, and Dr. Slothfinger throws the ball back at the enemy for the kill. Just a heads up play, of course, heads up play. Number 14, OG Alien and team with the Desperation Flag Cap on Bizarre. OG Alien using the sandbox to its fullest effect to get a back smack, and Space Crabs takes off running towards bottom mid with that flag. Crabs gets it to bottom mid and ends up dying. Dr. Slothfinger tries to support but dies as well, so OG Alien gets to work. There's one dead from OG Alien, weakens another one bottom mid. He sees a teammate coming in to support with Rocket, gets a second anyways, and finally cleans up a third kill with a little help from his friends. That allows for an easy flag cap and an overtime forced. That's how you do it. Number 13 is Shieldsy with a little cluster luck here on the streets. We have a beautiful grenade thrown. That's three dead, one stick, two more in the wake. One plaz is all you need when you're that good. Number 12 is Yes Magical off the rip here on Street's Oddball. Throws a grenade towards Rocket. Throws a nade towards Bulldog. Grabs a kill. Starts shooting for another one. Finishes off the ball carrier here and finishes his third kill off the rip. That's a Street triple kill boys. with ball time. Let him know, yes. Number 11 is My Shot with My Scope. Not needed. Some shy snipes here on Aquarius. Using the Bulldog to finish off the first. A little no scope in the melee to finish off the second. And then a no scope to finish off the third. Takes his face. Don't challenge him. Number 10 is Creamier Ken, who is taking heads on total control in Breaker. Let's see, one shot, one kill, one shot, two kills, one shot, three kill, triple kill, all snipes. They must like chunky peanut butter. Number 9 is OG Alien protecting the station on King of the Hill streets. OG Alien with some beautiful VR shots off of the rip here to get one kill, regains his shields. He is in back trash. He grabs the commando and he knows no fear for this clip. Let's start counting. He's got one kill so far. Continues to challenge. He gets a second kill right here. He gets a third kill right here on a double kill streak. Another one comes to challenge, and that guy doesn't know what he's looking at. Just a triple kill killing spree so far for OG Alien. Throws down the drop wall, sees one down on rocket spawn, cleans that up, no problem there. Someone's challenging him with a bulldog, but he has the drop wall, using the sandbox again with the melee on the bulldog player. Finally gets another kill, that is another triple kill, OG Alien, playing streets to perfection. Number eight is OG Alien, again, egoing for the over. He has one guy P Street. That guy is dead. <clears throat> Grabbing his shields back on bench. And now he starts getting to work. Grabs the rockets that were just laying on the ground. Someone forgot those. And he is now getting some tactical information. He hears one P Street, but he's not going to challenge that yet. Oh, no, no, no. He knows where to look. Ah, no, no, what? Not that. Let's get the first threat. Boom. Bottom mid. Dead. Now he loops back around. And surprise, another one's there to join the rocket party. That is three dead for a triple kill. Let's get the fourth here back and that's the overkill extermination. That's the way to do it. Number seven is my shot, forcing a fumble for the victory here. He has a stalker rifle, beautiful grenade placement, finishing that guy off with just the nades and he starts flying at the ball. There's a second kill. Third kill is the ball carrier. Look at that score, folks. This is a close game, and my shot just clutched it up. Let's fast forward through the victory here, because we already saw what we needed to. Beautifully done. Number six is Space Crabs. On BTB Fragmentation, he has a snipe out, and he is going to work. There's a counter snipe there for the first kill. Takes his face for the second kill. Whips out the BR, clean shots for the triple. Boom! Rocks the turret guy, the Warthog, and then no scopes for the overkill. They don't know what to do with him. Number five is a ba basket weaver who goes on a killing frenzy. We have a little bit of overshield left. He is challenging regardless. There's one dead. There's two dead. He is weaving baskets with the enemy's faces there. He's going back towards C flat. There's three dead for the triple kill killing frenzy. Overkill extermination. That's 11 in a row. Space Crab grabbing a Kilimanjaro here on King of the Hill Catalyst. Let's see how this kicks off. Beautiful nade on the sword carrier to rock that guy's world. 
One more now coming in from top mid. No chance to escape the space crab. Zoom right there. Let's see what else he's looking at. You see two guys coming in. There's a third dead for the double kill. Let's see. There's a triple. Let's get the over. Boom. And we are not done yet, folks. There's another one for the kill tacular. Let's get a kill catastrophe going right here. And finally, we have a Kilimanjaro. Boom. Melee not needed. That's how you do it. Number three is Crabs again grabbing it quickly on stockpile on fragmentation. A little body shot here on the one. A little second shot here on the two. Let's get a third. And let's get a fourth, but we'll add it. Three shots, four kills for the Killing Frenzy and the Quigley. Wow. They don't know how to even account for that metal wise. Another kill catastrophe here for Space Crabs just farm equipped and BTV. There is one dead. He's got the commando and the hydra. He's using the commando again for the double. He's using the hydra again for the triple and the over. Almost out of hydra anima, so he switches to the commando. Whips back with the hydra for the kill tag. Maybe one shot tag left. Here. He uses it. Goes to the commando for the kill atrocity. And finally, he's almost out of ammo for both guns. He uses all 20 in his clip almost for the kill of Manjaro. Let's get that eighth kill for the kill catastrophe. Beautifully done there from Space Crab. Out of on all guns. No chance he can live again, but eight kills is good enough. Bruh. And finally, our number one clip is Captain Punch just sniping in back TV here for Street Slayer. He's got the shock rifle. He starts off with a double. Boom! There's a triple with a perfect for his shock rifle. Just letting the electricity flow through the enemy team there. Keeps his spot. Looking for enemies. Looking for enemies. Sees one. Sees another. And then his teammate rudely gets in the way, so he says, you know what, I'm whipping out the AR and I'm doing this myself. There is one dead. Let's get a perfect nade for two dead. Let's see, if anyone else gonna challenge? Is anyone else gonna challenge? They are, because they don't know who they're dealing with. There's three, and Captain Punch lives up for his, with his namesake for a back smack on the, the double kill for the, the hammer wielder. There's a third for the triple kill. Can he get another? He sees one on the radar. Boom, there's the overkill with the AR using the sandbox. That's what we like to see. Welcome in to week two of Halo Fun Times Top 10 Drill Blazer Plays of the Week. We are looking at a great set of plays this week. I'm your host, Dr. Slopfingers. Let's go straight into number 10 from HGS Astro. Picks up the snipe, takes a face. Let's get a second one right here. Boom! There's two in a row. Let's get a body shot in the guy in base for good measure. And he's walking towards top mid when someone grapples him in the back. Whips around for the no scope. That's how you get a bug off you. Number nine is Rip Times 5 playing live fire, bottom mid. Body shot with the BR cleanup on the first guy. Sniper headshot on the second guy in the OS spawn. Let's get the third guy with the no scope for good measure. It's Rip again in Bizarre Fiesta. He has the shock rifle. Someone with grapple sword is charging him at the death sentence. Unless you have the repulsor and you can no scope like a god. That's a bolt. True. There's another repulsor for a second double kill no scope. And let's get a third triple kill no scope. Number seven is BB7 on Bizarre Land Grab. He has the rockets and he's looking for somewhere to use them. He throws them right in the middle of three enemies. Takes two out. Cleans up a third of the AR and the fourth for the overkill. Let's get that land. Number six is the Space Crab looking for overkills on BTV Fragmentation. He dodges the fusion coil from the first guy. He gets the BR and he has a shock rifle in his back pocket. And he is about to get to work. Let's get the first guy down. Let's take the second guy out of B. Let's hold that zone there. Whip out the shock rifle. And there's the third kill. Let's get the overkill. Easy as you like. Number five is Basket Weaver playing some sweaty oddball on live fire. Gets an easy nice, kill bottom guys. mid. And he turns in. his attention I'm towards the button, oddball. Cleans up the oddball carrier. Bottom, let's get the third nice, guy nice. here for the triple. And let's clean out elevators for the fourth that's kill that's here for control. Nice. That's how you play oddball. Number four is Rip again playing streets land grab. Grabs a heat wave right there. Let's get the first kill. So let's get the second kill. The little drop wall, boom block, return to sender action. Third kill with the melee, and to use the full sandbox, there's a BR overkill. That's what Halo is all about. Number three is Creamier Ken again on BTB. The Bulldog had no shot when Ken's on his game. 
He keeps the BR and the sniper though, because he knows what's coming. Let's take a face right here. Easy snipe. And now he uses the BR for a cleanup for the jump. Welcome! Hey! How's it going? Uh, to the inaugural Trailblazer Championship Series here at Halo Fun Time. Uh, I am Delta and I am joined today by Silva Fox. How's it going? It's going good. It's going good. The coffee's flowing. Ready to watch some Halo yeah. and get into this Halo Fun Times. How are you doing, Delta? Oh man, I'm doing great. I've been waiting so long. For this Trailblazer Championship Series, and I can't wait for the games that we have coming up. And yeah, I mean, we've got two teams here of long time Halo Fun Time uh, players. We've got Space Crabs, we've got uh, our, we've got Clammy, we've got OG, we've got Slop, and we've got two Penguins and Robsy sprinkled in there maybe later as a sub. Who knows? So this is a big head to head here. Uh, between uh, between these two players or between these two teams, and a lot of pride at stake in the server. So I mean, of course, we all know Space Crabs. You know, he is he is Trailblazers. You know, he runs the whole thing, and I have no doubt that he's picked himself the finest squad of players that are available to him and you know absolutely no conflict here no conflict of interest or nothing no unfairness <laughs> you know he's just he's just you know the alpha and omega uh of of trailblazers and uh i'm sure that that won't come up at any point uh yeah um our first game is on ctf empyrean so what are you thinking manny or sorry silva we, we go back. No, no worries. No worries. <laughs> yeah, formerly known as Manny Amok, just made the change this week. So we'll have a couple more of those. But yeah. going down on CTF Empyrean, uh, just such a great CTF map. Nice and equal. Um, it's going to be the teams that are going to be pushing together with numbers, whether it's long haul going through green box, going through sword, capturing the sniper gathering, you know, getting control of the different towers and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's the ultimate team game in CTF. And a great way to start it off. And and a lot of these players know each other very well uh, on Hypnotize. I mean, I, I did meme a bit. Like, uh, I will be honest. Like, I'm sure that Krabs has brought in a couple of ringers here. Uh, you know, uh, but, you know, I, I still think that Hypnotize team, that's a, that's a four stack I've seen a lot on this server, you know, in times gone by. So these guys know each other well. And uh, oh my god, we've got fast chat in the lobby. Can't wait for this. This is great. Uh, everyone's dropping in, saying a nice little hello. Uh, you know, we are hope or we're hopeful that like you know, this goes as smoothly as possible. Uh, we're now just waiting on our guys to come on in. We're gonna have a look at the bracket. So uh, we have uh, we are covering. Game D here in the first series. So um, we have Grunts Aren't Real versus Hypnotize here. Then up top, we've got Mediocre and Risky Joe's um, up there. But we are in the game already here now. And Dr. Slop able to get this uh, rockets into his hands and uh, gets the first kill. Oh, does use them both. But, um, you know, uh, goes down for his trouble and... Uh, yeah, it looks like honor is even kind of here off the rip now uh, as things settle down. Uh, or yeah, something. Clilma, yeah, Clammy. Getting knocked, dropping the sniper over in their training side, so definitely. Fronts aren't real, gonna be looking to pick that bad boy up. As both right yeah. now are kind of just trying to going tit for tat here, figuring out how to get to the 50 yard line, but it looks like Grunts aren't real are gonna be pushing their way through long haul. Yeah, and backs against the walls here now for Hypnotize. Um, so, you know, uh, Grunts aren't real. Taking a, a bit of a good... Um, uh, 
position here and it looks like with slop desperately trying to make his way up to uh well he's actually just holding flag now uh this is going to be uh a lot of work here for slop to buy his team sometime as uh, keep composure misses that sniper shot the flag has made it to plat but it looks like hypnotize are back off the or respawn screen i say that though and two more go down grunts aren't real have this over the halfway line and i don't think there's anyone who's going to be able to stop them no no just a great control of the map there as they pull the flag through long keep composure got a little bit of the butterfingers but he's going to be putting it in for the first cap on empyrean here and yeah, honestly, right now, Grunts are real. Controlling the Slay game, controlling the map. And they're going to be looking to make another push here as Keep Composure is going to be trying to poke his way through Long Haul and finding out where the spawners are at. Yeah, Grunts aren't rigged here are doing quite well. Uh, you know, really throwing the, <laughs> the enemy team back. And uh, Clammy now stuck up into, uh, or goes down actually after all that up in Needles. And they are spawn trapped. Uh, hypnotized they are absolutely backs against the wall here so um it looks like this pit could go oh that miss me from bud bud could spell trouble as the power weapons do come up although it looks like there is no world in which hypnotized are going to be able to utilize those uh weapons as uh, space crabs fighting two penguins down there might get away with the overshield but the rockets should be should be definitely in the hands of Grunts Aren't Real. Although I think they may have missed them. Yeah, I and mean, the Spanker was up. All the power weapons are coming up. Two penguins getting the overshield. Now has the strength of four penguins. Hopefully he can make a bit of a difference here. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Oh, God. And if you can't hear it as well, we also have our brilliant producer, Sozer, laughing away in the background there. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, odds now up on top of S2 um, of their own base as we all regain composure. Um, watching over uh, this old green and unable to get the Ooh. shots to connect, but very close. I often find that that's kind of the hardest close. shot to pull off, right? Yeah, as uh, Hypnotize here kind of trying to poke and prod here and trying to find a way to get through here past the It's all about here. timing. Damn it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, so God, here right now, now Grunts are real. And two. Yeah, and two up now. I just don't know that I see a way out of this for Hypnotize. Spawn trap like heavily here. Um, and yeah, having a lot of difficulty trying to get their way out. Um, I mean, that being said, two penguins still managing, even though they're under the cosh here quite a bit, uh, to come away with an eight and seven record uh, is very impressive. But Odds TV seems to just be running this map. Yeah, running the map for sure. Up 2-0 here. Plenty of time left in the game. Hypnotize here. You can kind of tell that they started to get their feet underneath them here as they're kind of pushing them back, but they're still trapped over in their tower as Grunts are real. Has basically the entire lane from needles to long hole to run this flag. Oz TV putting damage oh, in on the spawners and bottom S1. Their last chance. And it looks like Slop's gone down and... Uh, or, and his body. So there's one over. It's OG. OG Alien. The player who I would say probably kills me the most uh, in any Trailblazer thing. Uh, goes down Ooh. here. And, um, well, I mean, apart from Ocom in chat. And uh, as that is read, we do get a 3 0 victory for Grunts Aren't Real. So, wow. Uh, interesting. Yeah, decisive victory there. Just started off with a 3-0 on CTF. Yeah, I mean, you know, fixed aren't real. Uh, really kind of uh, came out there and just ran this first game. So I can't wait to see uh, what they have for game two. Because we're heading to streets. We're heading for a bit of Slayer. You know, so uh, things could be very different, uh, Silva.
Oh yeah, it plays so much faster on streets. Uh, the rotations are going to be, you know, bang bang plays moving across the map. But you got the rockets in the middle there. That's going to be the big difference maker that draws everyone to the middle of the map. And definitely, you know, in terms of being trapped in their spawn, you know, hypnotized definitely doesn't want to get trapped in the sea in the way that they were trapped in the bottom of Snipe Tower on Empyrean. Yeah, uh, it was uh, it was mad, you know. Had uh, a like, Guns Aren't Real really just always had control of that game. So I think the very or off the rip like, uh, hypnotized have a lot of work to do to make sure that they can um to make sure that they can uh prevent the kind of snowballing that we saw uh in Empyrean. Now of course you have more chances to get back, like it's more likely that you can get back on streets, but um still it's you know it's a tough it's a tough one. Uh to yeah, kind you, of find yourself yeah. in the back away. Sorry. And then at the end there you saw hypnotize starting to get in the teamwork a little bit more coordinated. You saw them kind of working together, pushing through green around training. So they're definitely going to have to kind of step it up a little bit more and keep doing that on streets because that's like really the crucial key in Slayer. Oh, absolutely. And I must apologize to our viewers. Um, I am afflicted with sexy voice. Uh, it is not intentional. It is just due to an illness. So uh, we will try and get through it. I'll try and be... Uh, like, I'll try and reduce... I, I, I'll try and stay away from, like, you know, uh, certain words and phrases if I can for you. But uh, that's about the best I can do uh, for you guys in chat. So, off the rip here now, we're following uh, Bud Bud. And two dead already uh, for both teams. And this piv against Clammy Hands is going to be very uh, pivotal here um, to the way that this starting... Uh, or this game starts off. Um, as it looks like A and C have been traded off the rip. Oh, and rockets in yeah, the hands. Yeah, Grunts are with real. the rockets. Nice the fix is in. <laughs> yeah, crabs flying around with those rockets. Uh, able to get three kills. And yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be good uh, oh, yeah, for them, fantastic. I think. Seven, seven to two already. And uh, yeah, nice with all the power here work. and hypnotize is kind of like gaggled here in the bottom of driveway, basically get pinched from both sides. Too good. Yeah, and I've got to say as well, uh, you know, the uh, we were just saying that they had a uh, control, and within about 10 15 seconds, uh, they're <laughs> they're all over. Uh, see. Yeah, Hypnotize stuck there in the back of PD. One straggler left on the end of that spawn run. He's hiding behind the counter, hoping no one sees him, but he gets sniffed out. And now we're talking about a 13-3 yeah. lead here. 10 kills. Banker on 20-second timer coming up. Oh, but hit, down goes Hypnotize with a back slap. This could be the start of something beautiful. Odds TV gets the kill. Oh, Odds TV goes down as well, so it is still a 9-kill game. Uh, 15 kills in. Um, <laughs> uh, interesting uh, from uh, Krabs' team here, you know. Uh, he definitely had uh, the opportunity to pick from the cream of the crop, and uh, I believe he's put that to work. Uh, he's definitely got a very strong team at his side here, as all of them uh, seem to be in and around the same kill and death margin, leading them to an 18-6 to lead. <laughs> Yeah, just good team shots collapsing on the damage too. Two, t two teammates on Grunt are real with four assists already. And Oz TV picking up the rockets here. Nice hypnotize oh, trying to find no. a way outside of C, but they're all stuck in here with the rockets coming in. Oh, and he makes the jump to Balk. Oh, rude. Kills them all. Um, and spawning off A, they're just desperately trying to get anywhere that has any kind of cover or setup potential as they're just off the spawn again and again. And, you know, uh, the the game is kind of running away from them here. Uh, so, uh... Yeah, the momentum from the first game sort of 
carrying over into the Slayer match here as Grunts aren't real, running with full confidence and full steam, running across the map, controlling the power weapon, and kind of sealing off their spawns for Hypnotize. You see a lot of them kind of doing this uh, outside, outside in formation there with the two players on the flanks of their spawns, keeping them in there as the middle players come in here and finish off the damage. But two Trades off the start. Aren't real on this push. Trades off the start was okay, but now, uh, you know, you kind of want to win the last two, and unfortunately they trade out again. Uh, so the team fight was basically a wash, and uh, the scoreline now um, is supposed to be 13, but it's actually 31. Um, that's a deep cut there. I must apologize for that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a deep cut, and they need a medic fast. Oh god, yes, please, medics here. all day. As we hit uh, 20 kills, uh, the difference now almost, uh, we are kind of coming into the things. So, how fixed do you think Krabs has this to make sure that he looks good on the, his first stream uh, for TCS? I mean, you know, Mr. Trail. I don't really blame him, right? Right. I mean, you know, he it is it is Trailblazers is his baby, you know. Um, like always, very uh, like uh, always running that uh, Trailblazer Tuesday, you know, giving up his time for the betterment of uh, all these like newer and uh, even skilled players uh, to come in, and uh, you know, it was an offspring joke. Robzy, thank you very much. Uh, in the chat, got it. Yeah, hundred percent. Uh, yeah. Um, sorry, now that we're kind of going a little off topic, it's just the fact that it does seem that grunts aren't real, aren't really uh, gonna come up against too much trouble here. Twenty kills. The uh, the difference as um, you know, maybe Krabs has greased a few pockets here uh, coming into this uh, coming into this first season. Or series it, well, no i think it's a great conversation to have and, and then i'm fairly new to halo fun time so i believe the trailblazer like initiative is to kind of establish a pipeline for amateurs is that yeah. right yeah and you know um and it's very much kind of like uh like every tuesday it'll be training like you know we like they'll go over certain things like oh like for example one of them would be uh starting strats off of a or or off of on streets or uh holding positions for extractions and all that kind of stuff and you know they'll go over that and then they'll have a couple of games afterwards to kind of drill it in you know uh things like that they'll also do eights and thing or that stuff and yeah i mean in fairness you know Krabs has put in this time so you know I mean, you know, he he like, you know, he he deserves to get a ring. You know what I mean? Like he's he's put in the time. He's decided. You know what? I'm gonna join uh, this team of ringers, um, which you know I'm sure uh, are uh, completely normal uh, ranked players and not professionals in any way. And uh, yeah, <laughs> just come in here and uh, yeah, have a good one. So yeah, 48 to 25. Are we going to see a stake or will the pride of Hypnotize kick in to get those last four kills just so that they can I think, get? I think that girl's fired up a little bit. I think they're trying to throw that stake on there. <laughs> yeah, well, we can see the confetti falling as, uh, <laughs> as we're coming into the last little bit here. 49, and it we're getting ready here for the uh, for the win, which we get. Stake-tacular. For grunts aren't real, a completely legitimate team that is not too powerful going into this game three. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah, so that one was not much to say. Uh, yeah, we have, we have Penguin in the chat, uh, requesting help to be sent. Uh, we hear you. We feel you, buddy. Uh, hang on in there. It's just one more game. <laughs> it's just one more game. Life Fire Strongholds is up next. 
And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Because uh, yeah, I mean, like we were we were talking, and I'm just gonna like give you a little peek behind the curtain as Krabs is like. Before, when we're setting up, he was like, you know what? I think we should cover our game because our game is going to be the closest. It's going to be like, you know, it's probably going to go the distance, you know, all this kind of stuff. Talking like, you know, oh, so, you know, it's just a little me. I So pop us on stream uh, because we'll probably go the whole distance in this first game. And then Cud shows up and just, <laughs> yeah, 5v4 is what we're seeing, <laughs> basically, at the moment. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll, uh, <laughs> so we'll see how, um, we'll see how game three goes. Hey, maybe, maybe through the fire and the flames will be forged the phoenix of Hypnotize. Yeah, down but not out. That's what Hypnotize right. has got to be saying here. You know, and Stronghold yeah, is definitely going to be a different kind of game to game type than we had up until this moment. So maybe there's a possibility here where we got reverse sweep. But I bet the odds are a little bit stacked against them. Yeah. It, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a difficult one. Not quite sure. Um, we are looking at the bracket here, and it looks like online shooters as well have won in their first match uh, of the series. So that's an interesting one. Yeah, we got a full day's lineup here of Halo coming up ahead. Oh, yeah. We're going long, baby. Eight hours of Halo fun. I think this is uh, one pot of three pots of coffee for me, just in terms of my lineup. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely rocking the tea. Uh, I've got tea. I like. Uh, I'm hoping that my housemate will come back soon because he's getting me the lem sip, which is like, uh, you know, like your Tylenol drink with like honey and lemon kind of thing. For you American folk, would kind of be how I'd describe it. Um, Shout out to the housemate. Which, oh, like yeah, Jimmy is my heterosexual life partner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Of the rip here, Hypnotize are getting off to a lead at 13 0. <laughs> <laughs> and Clammy Hands doing some work here. Bud Bud does have the overshield, but doesn't really have targets right now. Uh, A is able to be flipped, um, but it looks like he's going to be collapsed on here. Does well to dodge the, the small green, but does go down. And this team fighting here from Hypnotize is really starting to heat up. Three dead now. All four dead for Grunts aren't real. And B is flipping. Uh, this is great news. I think that's where they got their team name from. I think they lulled them. You know, a little Hypnotize yeah. action there on those first two maps. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, the, the first two were the Hypnotize, and now this is the Dream Eater. Uh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should call them Drowsy. Uh, I like oh, it. Man. I like it a lot. Yeah. yeah hypnotize and... right now, they're out to an early lead. But it looks like that's yeah, a um... real. I'm trying to flip two of those points as OS is coming up. Yeah, and OG uh, kind of just trying to basically soak up the damage to hope for a reload um, uh, between him and his buddy Clammy there going for the overshield, which they got. Uh, OG does go down, but keep comp composure now. 7-2-2 two two off the rip here, doing a lot of work, but Clammy Hands with that overshield, putting it to work on A and C now as well. Has a lot of time ticked off on it, but reset by keep composure and two penguins here is clearing out ghosts at the back of c so we'll see now yeah, you can tell there's somebody here in the top of the tower oh but he gets the repulse no! and moved off the map it's so unfortunate Mind he took his gap. plasma shot with him oh goodness uh maybe i'll do a better like uh you know st or announcer voice you know uh, like this, oh, but yeah, you're just doing um, the best of what you got. Hey, look, you know, um, we've got to work with what we have. You know, I've been dealing with the cards I've been dealt my entire life. This is no different. Uh, 
As, um, so hypnotized. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, but that reset there now means it's 50 points the difference. The vibes are great. They're fantastic. This series is happening and Krabs has made a monster. Uh, Krabs has made some absolute filth happen on the stream in day one for the first game. Um, as the early hope for Hypnotize now being batted down and to an almost uh, 100 point deficit uh, coming into the second half. Yeah, the triple oh. cap was just bleeding and them out sniper. there for a good portion as now they increase their lead to over 100. These yeah. crabs ready to rip some heads with the sniper in tower as OS is coming up. Yeah, and uh, Odds TV here keep composure popping up onto a plaque gonna be able to get a and i don't know that there's much that uh the clammy hands is gonna or slop is gonna be able to do here because he's getting pinched from both sides and i believe goes down so now it's just the fight on c to prevent another triple cap uh from uh taking this kind of out of hand and uh keep composure here forcing those spawns over to see if he can um kind of yeah, uh, this is. Uh, I I don't want to say this is all she wrote. Hey, you know when there's when there's life, there's hope. Uh, I don't know that there's a lot of uh, life happening on Hypnotize right now, but you know what? Uh, we should have expected no less from Space Crabs uh, coming into this series, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, probably an early favorite for this tournament there. Just really great teamwork and uh, coordination we're seeing from them. Keep Composure here having a super long life here. I believe he had the OS early on. Captured A. Flank B captured that one as well. Spawned him over on C where his teammates were just sitting there to put damage on them. And uh, yeah, I'd say yeah. they're probably an early favorite for this tournament. Oh, absolutely. And I think this is all she wrote now because they're spawning over on Turbine and they will get pushed to B spawns here, but it's not going to be enough. Like, uh, it's going to be, um, what's it called? It's going to be grunts aren't real, like uh, bullying, uh, bullying their way through to uh, winners, uh, winners round two. Uh, I believe it's the winners semis. And uh, yeah. That's uh, that's all she wrote right now. Hypnotize will go to the Elim bracket, which I believe is uh, so they may be on the uh, stream next. Yes, but here, uh, here comes the confetti. I love it. Rain on me, uh, <laughs> uh, father. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so that was Grunts Aren't Real and Space Crabs' team. Uh, just ruining days here. <laughs> like, I don't know if there's much to let left to analyze after that one, Silver Fox. Um, I just think... Uh, hmm. My condolences to Hypnotize. Um, you have my love, you have my support. Uh, in between games, hey, I might hop into your lobby. We can talk it out. Uh, I'll be a shoulder to cry on. Don't you worry. Uh, I'm sure you won't come up against anyone like that again uh, until potential finals. And uh, long may Space Crabs' reign of terror continue. Yeah, and you know, this honestly <laughs> opens um, a great opportunity for them to go back and do the VOD review. A oh yeah, on Tuesday, yeah. Coming from grunts aren't real. Yeah. You know, just really great uh, rotations around the map, control of the resources, you know, everything you want to do in strongholds. You know, yeah. they basically had the spawns for hypnotize sealed off and already knowing where they are ahead of time. So anybody that's you know looking to get better at the game, you know, that's a great example of how to play strongholds. Oh yeah, like textbook stuff there. Um from uh, from grunts aren't real um, so yeah like I you know I I love you guys alright you know what like hypnotize it's okay it'll be alright okay you have the support of everyone here in HFT okay 
it'll be fine. And, you know, losers, like, you know, you don't have to play them for a while. <laughs> so <laughs> keep your chin up. I'm sure that everything will get better uh, coming into uh, our next round. So um, right now we're going to take uh, a break here. I believe that next up will be this winner's semi-final. And uh, we will see who is able to progress into the winner's final uh, from there. Welcome into the first ever Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. We are lying to start because we actually got 15 this week. Starting with yours truly, Dr. Slothfinger is playing a little live fire oddball. He has a no scope on him to start off, getting shot at from the scoreboard, letting the teammate take the kill as he grabs the ball. The teammate can't get the kill, so Slothfinger does it himself. Beautiful shots there to get the kill joy. Grabbing the ball from the cut, gets stuck. Or does he? Ball gets stuck, and Dr. Slothfinger throws the ball back at the enemy for the kill. Just a heads up play, of course, heads up play. Number 14, OG Alien and team with the Desperation flag cap on the Czar. OG Alien using the sandbox to its fullest effect to get a back smack and Space Crabs takes off running towards bottom mid with that flag. Crabs gets it to bottom mid and ends up dying. Dr. Slothfinger tries to support but dies as well, so OG Alien gets to work. There's one dead from OG Alien, weakens another one bottom mid. He sees a teammate coming into support with Rocket. Gets a second anyway, and finally cleans up a third kill with a little help from his friends. That allows for an easy flag cap and an overtime forced. That's how you do it. Number 13 is Shieldy with a little cluster luck here on the streets. We have a beautiful grenade thrown. That's three dead, one stick, two more in the wake. One plaza is all you need when you're that good. Number 12 is Yes Magical off the rip here on Streets Oddball. Throws a grenade towards Rocket. Throws a nade towards Bulldog. Grabs the kill. Starts shooting for another one. Finishes off the ball carrier here and finishes his third kill off the rip. That's a Sweet triple kill with ball time. Let him know yes. Number 11 is My Shot with My Scope. Not needed. Some shy snipes here on Aquarius. Using the Bulldog to finish off the first. A little no scope in the melee to finish off the second. And then a no scope to finish off the third. Takes his face. Don't challenge him. Number 10 is Creamier Ken, who is taking heads on total control in Breaker. Let's see, one shot, one kill, one shot, two kills, one shot, three kill, triple kill, all snipes. They must like chunky peanut butter. Number nine is OG Alien protecting the station on King of the Hill streets. OG Alien with some beautiful VR shots off of the rip here. He get one kill, regains his shields. He is in back trash. He grabs the commando and he knows no fear for this clip. Let's start counting. He's got one kill so far. Continues to challenge. He gets a second kill right here. He gets a third kill right here on a double kill streak. Another one comes to challenge, and that guy doesn't know what he's looking at. That's a triple kill killing spree so far for OG Alien. Throws down the drop wall, sees one down on rocket spawn, cleans that up, no problem there. Someone's challenging him with a bulldog, but he has the drop wall, using the sandbox again with the melee on the bulldog player. Finally gets another kill, that is another triple kill, OG Alien, playing streets to perfection. Number eight is OG Alien, again, eagling for the over. He has one guy P Street, that guy is dead, <coughs> driving the shields back on bench, and now he starts getting to work, grabs the rockets that were just laying on the ground, someone forgot those, and he is now getting some tactical information. He hears one P Street, but he's not going to challenge that yet, oh no, 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 he knows where to look, ah, no, no, what? not there, let's get the first threat, boom, bottom mid, dead, now he loops back around. And surprise, another one's there to join the rocket party. That is three dead for a triple kill. Let's get the fourth here back in. That's an overkill extermination. That's the way to do it. Number seven is my shot, forcing a fumble for the victory here. He has a stalker rifle, beautiful grenade placement, finishing that guy off with just the nades, and he starts flying at the ball. There's a second kill. Third kill is the ball carrier. Look at that score, folks. This is a close game, and my shot just clutched it up. Let's fast forward through the victory here, because we already saw what we needed to. Beautifully done. Number six is Space Crabs. 
on BTB Fragmentation. He has a snipe out and he is going to work. There's a counter snipe there for the first kill. Takes his face for the second kill. Rips out the BR, clean shots for the triple. Boom, rocks the turret guy, the Warthog, and then no scopes for the overkill. They don't know what to do with him. Number five is a bad basket you know, weaver who goes on a I killing know, frenzy. Know, we have a little bit of overshield left. He is challenging regardless. There's one dead. There's two dead. He is weaving baskets with the enemy's faces there. He's going back towards C plat. There's three dead for the triple kill killing sprint. The overkill extermination. That's 11 in a row. Space Crab's grabbing a Kilimanjaro here on King of the Hill Catalyst. Let's see how this kicks off. Beautiful nade on the sword carrier to rock that guy's world. One more now coming in from top mid. No chance he's escaping Space Crab. Zoom right there. Let's see what else he's looking at. You see two guys coming in. There's a third dead for the double kill. Let's see. There's a triple. Let's get the over. Boom. And we are not done yet, folks. There's another one for the kill tacular. Let's get a kill catastrophe going right here. And finally, we have a Kilimanjaro. Boom. Melee not needed. That's how you do it. Number three is Krabs again grabbing it quickly on stockpile on fragmentation. A little body shot here on the one. A little second shot here on the two. Let's get a third. Let's get a fourth, but we'll add it. Three shots, four kills for the killing frenzy and the Quigley. Wow. They don't know how to even account for that metal-wise. Another kill catastrophe here for Space Krabs, just farm equips and BTV. There is one dead. He's got the commando and the hydra. He's using the commando again for the double. He's using the hydra again for the triple and the over. Almost out of hydra ammo, so he switches to the commando. Whips back with the hydra for the kill tag. Man, one shot kill left. Tag, he uses it. Goes to the commando for the kill atrocity. And finally, he's almost out of ammo for both guns. He uses all 20 in his clip almost for the kill of Manjaro. Let's get that eighth kill for the kill catastrophe. Beautifully done there from Spacecraft. Out of him on all guns. No chance he can live again, but eight kills is good enough. Bruh. And finally, our number one quip is Captain Punch. Just sniping in the back TV here for Street Slayer. He's got the shock rifle. He starts off with a double. Boom! There's a triple with a perfect for his shock rifle. Just letting the electricity flow through the enemy team there. Keeps his spot. Looking for enemies. Looking for enemies. Sees one. Sees another. And then his teammate rudely gets in the way, so he says, you know what, I'm whipping out the AR and I'm doing this myself. There is one dead. Let's get a perfect nade for two dead. Let's see, if anyone else going to challenge? Is anyone else going to challenge? They are, because they don't know who they're dealing with. There's three, and Captain Punch lives up for his, with his namesake for a back smack on the, the double kill for the, the hammer wielder. There's a third for the triple kill. Can he get another? He sees one on the radar. Boom, there's the overkill with the AR using the sandbox. That's what we like to see. Welcome in to week two of Halo Fun Times Top 10 Trailblazer Blazer Plays of the Week. We are looking at a great set of plays this week. I'm your host, Dr. Slop Fingers. Let's go straight into number 10 from HGS Astro. Picks up the snipe, takes a face. Let's get a second one right here. Boom! There's two in a row. Let's get a body shot in the guy in base for good measure. And he's walking towards top mid when someone grapples him in the back. Whips around for the no scope. That's how you get a bug off you. Number nine is oh, Rip Times Five playing live fire bottom mid. Body shot with the BR camp on the first guy. Sniper headshot on the second guy in the OS spawn. Let's get the third guy with the no scope for good measure. It's Rip again in Bizarre Fiesta. He has the shock rifle. Someone with grapple sword is charging him at the death sentence. Unless you have the repulsor and you can no scope like a god. That's a bolt. True. There's another repulsor for a second double kill no scope. And let's get a third triple kill no scope. Number seven is DB7 on Bazaar Land Grab. He has the rockets and he's looking for somewhere to use them. He throws them right in the middle of three enemies. Takes two out. Cleans up a third of the AR and the fourth for the overkill. Let's get that land. Number six is Space Crab looking for overkills on BTB Fragmentation. He dodges the fusion coil from the first guy. He gets the BR and he has a shock rifle in his back pocket. And he is about to get to work. Let's get the first guy down. Let's take the second guy out of B. Let's hold that zone there. Whip out the shock rifle. And there's the third kill. Let's get the overkill. Easy as you like. 
Number five is Basket Weaver playing some sweaty oddball on live fire. Gets an easy kill bottom guys, mid. He turns his attention I'm towards the oddball. Picks up the oddball carrier. Let's get the third nice, guy nice. here for the triple. And let's clean out elevators for the fourth kill here for control. Nice. That's how you play oddball. Number four is Rip again. Playing street land grab. Grabs a heat wave right there. Let's get the first kill. And let's get the second kill. Pillow drop wall, boom block, return to sender action. Third kill with the melee, and to use the full sandbox is a BR overkill. That's what Halo is all about. Number three is Creamier Ken again on BTB. The Bulldog had no shot when Ken's on his game. He keeps the BR and a sniper though, because he knows what's coming. Let's take a face right here. Easy snipe. And now he uses the BR for a cleanup for the double, cleanup for the triple, and let's outgun this guy long range for a nice overkill. Great job, Ken. Number two is Yats Magical using the shock rifle to shocking efficiency. Grabs the first one here. Another guy charges him. Easy money for Yats Magical. There's two. And let's get the shock rifle out. Let's only use one shot for two kills. One shot with the chain link and the plasma detonation in there as well. That's a beautiful overkill. And number one is Creamier Ken again using the BR to great effect in BTB. Long range, he's scoped in and he is locked in, people. He is on zone C and total control fragmentation. There's the first kill to start off the killing spree, but that is not where he ends. There's a double kill. Let's get the triple to protect C. And the overkill, easy as you like. Let's get number five right here. Ah, I don't want to reload. I want to swap to the AR. Let's get back. And that's how you do it. That is the number one play this week. Thanks for watching. And everyone out there, please join Trailblazers. We are looking for anyone who wants a little bit of sweat and a little bit of competition with a whole lot of fun in Halo. Welcome into the Halo Fun Time Top 10 Trailblazer Plays of the Week. This is the third edition of the Countdown. I'm your host, Dr. Slop Fingers, and we are taking you through a great group of clips here. Number 10 is Meow You Doin' with Come Collect This Man's Body. That's a no-scope sniper headshot on a pro right there, people. Cleans it up with a double kill. That guy's not going to be pro for long if Meow hangs around. Number 9 is My Shot Isn't Sick with an easy 5 shot triple kill. 3 in the hill, just 5 VR burst, cleans them all up for the capture. Great work there. Number 8 is Everything Evil with the enemy about to score. Bottom hill on King of the Hill recharge. He cleans up the sword carrier in the back. He cleans up the guy in the front for the double. And the third guy triple kill is Toast. That's how you play the objective. Number 7 is Everything Evil again with some great repulsive plays on recharge. One goes into the blue goo. Let's see if we can get a second one here. Boom! Off the edge you go. And the third guy wants to join the party. If the people doesn't need any fancy tricks, he uses the BR and the melee to clean it up for the triple kill. Number six is OG Alien 420 with a team wipe for the overshield. Let's get the first guy down on the actual spawn. Two more trying to fly in. OG cleans one up with a nade shot and the third with the BR burst. He picks up the OS for on the top of the turbine here, and then he sees a fourth trying to join the party, and that is all four dead with an OS push. I Great job. Very, very sneaky, Number sorry. five is Yes Magical with a sneaky little play on live fire. We're looking at the back C stronghold. He gets one down. Well, I don't know who just died there, but he's not great at Halo. And then let's get the third guy. Boom, it's a triple kill with a melee for the back C stronghold, and then a great strafe to clean up OG Alien. Speaking of, here he is at the number four play, oddball overkill. Uses the green gun to kill the OS on the ball carrier. He sees another guy back windows. He fires a shot, throws some nades, and we're looking, we're looking. Let's start cleaning up now. Boom, there's one, there's two dead. Let's get the third on the ball for the triple kill. And there's the overkill with the honorary extermination on the last shot. Great job. Number three is OG Alien. Again, here we are again on live fire strongholds this time. There's one dead, there's two dead on the A push. Let's look at the back A here. He finishes up the kill, and that's just another overkill. Live fire in OG Aliens map. Great work there on the objective. 
Number two is Yes Magical with another another overkill and the cap here. Looking across in this PD on the streets map here. Another guy drops down bottom A, cleans him up with the Bulldog. He's now in the middle hill. Let's look back. Tram for the triple kill. And now we're looking top A for all four down and the overkill on the hardest hill in the game. Number one is Spacecraft with some BTD clips. This guy has a crazy looking Warthog. No longer, that's two dead and sniping the driver. There's another headshot and there's another headshot Fuck. for the overkill. He's not done, as you can hear right, in the comms. So I'm just gonna sit back and listen. Damn. Oh, oh, my God. God. Krabs, what the fuck are you doing? Atrocities. Let's fucking go, Krabs. I need more clips. Thanks everyone for watching. Become a trailblazer today to get featured in countdowns like this. Go to halofuntime.com for a fun time. Welcome back to another Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. We got three gates in the Halo 3 soundtrack in the background for you. I'm your host, Dr. Slopfangers. Let's jump right into these clips if we can. Number 10 is Mil Kiko getting Devo the OS on Lockfire King of the Hill. Let's get a quick sniper body shot into a BR headshot here. And let's just forget about the BR no scope headshot on the guy in cuts. Number 9 is OG Alien. 420 doing a little spider walk on the outside of Catalyst TPF. He goes outside of the map and brings it home playing defense. This other team's about to score. He pulls the flag to make sure they can't and then he really starts getting to work with his gunny here. There's one kill, there's two kill. Let's move that flag a little bit further and let's go ahead and grab that return while we're at it. Third guy challenges. Does he know who he's challenging? Oh my god, that was a pitiful effort. That's a flag return. Number eight is Everything Evil cracked off the shoddy. We're on Street King of the Hill here. Everything Evil grabs the Bulldog and he starts barking. There's a reversal kill on the first guy challenging with the Stalker. Second guy flies into the hill and he's toast. Third guy is also dropped in ATMs and then let's get this four tier for the extermination. That's how you play King of the Hill. Number seven is OG Alien 420 again. Instead of moving a lot to grab the flag defense, he is not moving at all to defend the flag this time. He gets a clean kill on the first guy, lets his teammate die, and he grabs the second kill. Let's go ahead and grab that flag carry while we're at it. That's three down, all without not budging from that corner. Number six is Mil Kiko with a pivotal triple kill on live fire stronghold. He grabs the sniper, he has the OS as well. Quick little body shot again with a VR cleanup. Let's get that triple on the guy in net. And boom, just like that, they're in control. Number five is Basket Weaver. We've seen him do it with the needle before, folks. He is a god with the pink miss machine. Let's go ahead and grab this guy in cut. And there's two more challenging. That's a mistake. Second guy flies out of turbine. There's one more dead. That's a triple kill. Let's whip out that needle for the super combine overkill. Beautiful. Number four is Ripper, Ripper, Rip. rip, rip. Coming in again with the Repulsor Shock Rifle play. We've seen this before. This is a throwback to week two. Just embarrassing these sword carriers. Now he's on a different map with the Shock Rifle and Repulse, but it's the same exact result. Gets a perfect headshot in the guy jumping and challenging in, in Whirlpool. He goes into body control, gets another perfect headshot. He's the guy top control and just takes the elevator. That's a double kill, triple kill again with the Shock Rifle. Here he is one more time, it's Rift Hunt 5 and Street Slayer. He's trying to get his team back into it. There's one kill, there's two kill. He's handsome his teammate, Dr. Slopping, who comes to support for the third. Rift cleans it up, that's three kills in a row. Let's go ahead and get the fourth in the guy challenging driveway. And let's grab the killing spree, kill tag on the fifth guy. That's how you grab a team back into it. Number two is Debo himself with the skewer on Catalyst. He posted this himself, but we had to see it again. There's one skewer kill leading the body. Let's get the second one. Let's grab a little bit of vegetables for this kebab. Let's see what we can grab. Boom, there's the red pepper for the triple kill. And let's finish it off with some nice juicy steak on the kebab. Overkill, bagging the flag. Great job, Debo. Number one again is Space Crab, and he has his own comp. So let's just sit back and listen. Watch that guy's dead. Cracked one B. One, one B hole, B hole, B hole. Push him here and grab something. Let's go. Uh, pillars, yeah, you got him, please. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Weak B hole. Uh, C flat weak. And another one back tower. Ooh, there's one at nest somehow. One at nest. One at nest, guys. How? He's weak in nest. Yeah, 
That's right. When you have a chance to listen to virus, you do More it. Next. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please join the Trailblazers Club to be featured in clips like these, and join HaloFunTime.com for a fun time. Welcome in to week number five, Halo Fun Time, top ten plays of the week. We are a little bit delayed in getting this one out the door, but trust me, it is worth it. I am your host, Dr. Slop Fingers, and we are kicking things off in number ten, Everything Evil, playing some last part of standing here. Gets a double kill with the Disruptor, and then pulls out the AR for the triple. I already missed that playlist. Number 9 is Meow You Doing with a triple kill on King of the Hill Streets. He gets two easy cleanups in the hill with a grenade and the BR, and then he looks towards a flanker and gets a clean triple kill to confirm that hill cap. Great job, Meow. Number 8 is OG Alien playing some rank slavery on Aquarius. A perfect killjoy on the first guy. Cleans up the second guy with the BR, then he looks towards P2, and finally gets the third with some nice shots. That's some good shooting text. Number seven is yours truly with some sniping BR action on live fire all oddball. Gets the BR out, cleans up the guy bottom nest, walks to the sniper, swipes the screen for a no-scope headshot, and then gets a triple to make sure that oddball keeps ticking. Number six is my shot isn't sick with some sweet camo eyes. Oh! Let's check that out from the other perspective. That's my shot spotting out camo sword when he really needed to, and then finally ending with some clinical tea bags right on the face. That's how you finish a kill. Number five is Rip Times Five ripping some heads off here. We got a sniper on Strongholds in live fire. He has a body shot for the first kill. Here's another guy coming down. He turns around. There's another no scope headshot kill. Keeps the snipe out for the third kill with the snipe, making sure that they get that trip cap. Number four is my shot isn't sick with a whole ass killing spree. All right here for your viewing pleasure. Here's number one, throws a errant nade, then he looks towards number two, easy cleanup kill. Number three, right there, he still has full shield. That's the double kill. Let's go for the triple, starts flying, here's some shots, kills him. There's the triple, let's finally try to get that overkill cleanup in yellow gen. That's five down, good job. Number three is my shot again. We call this the My Shot Victory Tour for a reason. We're on Streets Oddball. This is on Trailblazer 8. Right is it 8 Eastern people. He cleans up the guy bottom C. He sees the ball on the ground, but he knows to wait until he can get the kills. There's two down. There's three down. And there is the overkill. He looks for the ball. Check out that score in time, people. That's just clutch slays. Number two is Cousin Tim drops some headshots on BTB here. He kills the flag carrier, kills the second guy. They're just lining up at this point. Kills the Warthog gunner. He looks again, sees some shots, kills that guy for the overkill. Another flag carrier, no more. There's the kill tech with the sniper on BTB. That's how you protect that flag. Number one is HCS Astro making a rare appearance into the top 10 on Team Snipers getting the overkill extermination if that medal still existed. Starts off with a clean double, misses the no scope, gets the quick scope headshot for the triple, and then the overkill extermination Team Snipers Aquarius. Beautifully done. Thanks for watching everyone. HaloFunTime.com is where all this great stuff happens. Become a trailblazer today to get featured in clips like these. Welcome in to your Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. This is the 6th edition. I know we are not quite getting that weekly cadence, but we are still in summer vacation, people. I'm your host, Dr. Slop Fingers, and I'm also number 10 on the board, Dr. Slop Fingers, working with the OS here on Live Fire Stronghold. Has one repulsor, throws the OS and the other guy off the edge for two mind the gaps to keep Stronghold C secure. Number 9 is a tag team, Space Crabs and Debo. Debo working with that shock rifle, gets a nice headshot in the air, and then gets some damage on the other guy to get a ninja in for space crabs. That's how you do teamwork there. Number eight is Debo again on live fire. We're looking at King of the Hill this time. He has sniper top sniper tower. Finishes up with a kill with the BR, gets some sniper damage on for a double. And he's still rocking the up top and the ninja on the guy trying to sneak up behind him. He keeps that high ground. OG Alien 420 at number 7 here shows a clip from Bound in his description title. He's rocking camo and shock going in on recharge. Gets one headshot, gets two headshots. Still sneaky, still sneaky. Dodges a plazzy there. 
Let's book up top of ball carrier. That's three headshots. And let's get the fourth. One try, two try. You know what? Let's whip out the BR. There's a team wipe on all ball recharge. Number six is Debo sniping here on fragmentation with a shock rifle. He's not the only guy on his team sniping. There's a triple, but he's getting damaged from the back. Let's speed up a little bit. Someone's sneaking up on him. Finnegan with the Guardian Angel snipe. Debo has to let him know in the chat. That's Halo fun time for a fun time. Number five, Debo perfection on BTB here again. This time on high power, staying a little ratty behind this rock here. Continuing to do some damage. Make sure he doesn't die. Let's watch this game end with the final kill. And there we have it, folks. We are looking at the final point points of this game. Perfection medal. I have not seen one of those ever when I play Halo. Good job, Debo. Number four is Tuchu on Streets King of the Hill. And she is queen of the hill here. Let's get double kill, triple kill with the BR and the grenade. And let's get the over. That's a team wipe. That's how you defend. Number three is an overkill again on Streets again. This time it's Dermosis playing oddball defense here. Trying to clean up here back A, get two right there. Nice BR, get the reload going. We're looking P Street and Cafe. He gets a third on Cafe guy. Now let's look back PD for the cleanup wipe overkill. Making sure his team stays ball time. Number two is Germ again with an overkill. Again, this time he's playing with the HFT skeleton crew. If you are a bag of bones that's up late, these are the people for you. Let's go ahead and get that clean triple on recharge between control and C-flat. Awful guy, no he doesn't have a shot. He just w awaits his fate. That's an overkill perfect for Germ. Number one is Space Crash. We have a rare face cam opportunity. He's playing snipers on recharge here. Gets one face taken, two face taken. And he is still on grapple spawn doing his race. thing. That guy wasn't even looking. There's three. Let's get four. Four shots. Four kills for Space Crab. And let's get a fifth here. Six shots. Five it, kills it, it, for Space Crab. Keep the, keep the cool. Seven top shots. Top eight, top eight. Six kills. That's how you play Team Sniper on Recharge. And I love the face cam. Please become a Trailblazer today at HaloFunTime.com. And thanks for watching. Welcome in to your Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. This is the seventh installment of this wonderful series. I'm your host, Dr. Slopfingers, once again, dropping in hot with some sweet plays. Starting it off is number 10, Resolute Gray. Team Sniper's on streets. He's only using the left stick to aim people. Starts off with a sweet counter snipe. Tracks this guy through the wall. There's one. And why move up or down at all when you can move left or right? There's a no-scope body shot to finish it off. Number 9, Everything Evil. Going in for a YOLO push here on A and live by a stronghold. Nice little back smack on the first guy. Gets the kick miss and close on the second guy. And then finishes it off with a BR beat down. Third kill to defend this A cap. That's how he keeps going. Number 8 is BB7 again. Throwing out some insane nades here. There's one stick. And there's the Icky Sticky on the second guy. That's two dead. One of them including Devo to make sure that his team can grab that ball. Number 7 is Terminal with a nice little fake on the back of Catalyst. Sword coming, whoop! Goes off the edge, comes back, kills the sword guy. Make sure you can rat for the flag grab. That's how you stay alive. Number six is OG Alien 420, protecting his honor by saying it's free GA. We get one kill, two swings with the sword for two kills. Three sink swings for the triple, and he knows the fourth is. Right below him, makes the call out, he's grabbing, and there's the fourth overkill. Way to go, OG Alien. Number five is Smallzy for the Combound Evolved. Nading the sword to himself for a nice Combat Evolved medal, but he doesn't need the sword so he can shoot like this. There's yeah, one kill, two kill, three kills with a shock rifle for a triple kill, killing spree. Makes it look easy. Number four is Smallzy again with an insane flag save here in Bazaar. Two Bulldog shots in the BR to save the original flag cap. Two guys coming in nice. and he gets a, a Bulldog beat down and a flag pull to save the second flag recap. And check that timer. Game over, nice one nothing much. small these team. I'd like to have those clutch plays on my team. Number three is OG Alien again, not to be outdone. He's saving the flag here on TTF Aquarius. It's 2-2 right now. He gets a clean BR kill on P2. He's another guy fridge. He gets a nade in on the uh the enemy base. The guy on fridge is dead. That is three dead. OG is gonna fly at the enemy team's base to get that re re is done. Another guy spawns back there. But, oh no, the flag carrier and his team is in trouble. How is OG going to save this? 
with a god name like that, another icky sticky for a double kill cluster luck, and he is going to go ahead and punch that flag home for the win. A lot of clutch plays this week. Number two, Space Crabs. Looking for a cap here on Catalyst CTF. He is crab walking around the back of the map, and he's not done yet. One grapple left, and he's going to do this advanced movement tech. Do not try that at home, people. That is a curbside oh, grapple oh through the middle of the map across the chasm know. while the flag is in his hands. Getting shot from the back. He doesn't care. He's going for this cap. Finally dies from a sniper and top skewer spawning catalyst. Ooh. Teammate gets that, that sword kill. Other teammate holding the, the, the flag gets sniped right off the rip. So Crab says, you know what? I'm just going to do this myself. And he flies at the flag. Stops the re. Guy dies. There's the cap for the win. Space Crab is not losing that game. Number one is my shot isn't sick with a clean overkill here on Live Fire King of the Hill. Stop me, that guy's weak, and now he's dead thanks to my shot gunning. There's a second guy dead. Let's get the third guy off the rip with the sniper. His face is clean off his body at this point. And there's the body shot for the cleanup. That's an overkill on the King of the Hill, and he's making sure that guy knows he just got sun. For fun stuff like this, please join HaloFunTime.com. We got plenty of stuff on the schedule, as you can see, and we will see you in the server, folks. Welcome in to another edition of the Halo Fun Time Top 10 Trailblazer Plays of the Week. I am your host once again, Dr. Slop Fingers. Shout out to Joe What's Cool for the audio glow up. We're kicking it off here with number 10, Everything Evil. A little two for one to start it off. Rank Slayer Recharge gets an icky sticky on the first guy. Everyone check the score and check the time. This is time to go clutch. 47-49. Everything Evil gets a 48th with some clean VR shots. 30 seconds left. They've got to find two kills. He charges at a guy here in bottom C because he knows he has to go big. Gets the melee off right there. Gets the clean DR shots. That's 49-49. Teammate gets the 50th. Gets a clutch win. Again, here on Team Sniper, Everything Evil finishes off the game. There's a counter snipe number one. There's the second counter snipe, and he's looking for the third. 49-25. First shot misses. Second shot hits. Another winning shot there from Everything Evil. Number nine here is Space Crabs on CTF Catalyst. We've seen him do this before. Let's watch him do it again. Gets some clean VR shots on the first guy here in bottom gold. Finds the second guy in the enemy team's lobby. Gets a clean back smack, and he is going to go crab walking here. He lines it up with the flag. He knows he has three grapples. And here we go. Throw, throws the flag, grapples the ground, gets the slide, and he shoots the gap over to his base. That is the quickest flag route in the game. He gets the flag rate, and he's just going to punch that in to tie it up for his team. Number 8 is Debo37, showing you how to play OBJ without actually touching the OBJ. Gets a first clean kill in bottom mid here on Aquarius. Gets a second kill on P2, and gets a third kill again bottom mid, trying to keep his team clean here. He is not done yet. Gets a triple kill on another guy bottom mid, and gets a flag re. Can he do it? Gets the overkill before the enemy team can touch that flag, securing the re and the cap for his team. Number seven is Meow You Do on a King of the Hill recharge. Also playing the OBJ. Gets two clean shots with no shields. He gets the second kill there. And the third triple kill. Still low. He drops down. Gets the overkill on the guy trying to challenge him. Don't challenge me. How you doing? Number six is me. My shot isn't sick. Pipping his way to the OS. Devo has no shot at getting that power up. Rodney goes down. Death Magical Straight can't save him. And finally, Shieldy going for the OBJ. No chance in my shot shooting like this. He gets the OS and it's time to ride. Number five is Devo37 once again playing the objective and playing to win. He quickly avenges Milkiko's death here with a melee in Red Room on King of the Hill Street. He then throws a perfect nade in the tires and gets a thrust kill into the guy on Arcade. That is game over for him. Finally, an overkill in the guy trying to escape the PD. Devo leaving no mercy number four is robsy in the halo rec league match with a team wipe first guy gets repulsed off the edge second guy gets a nice pr sniper cleanup and seabox guy no chance of living robsy cleans that final one and then avenges meow you doing's death with a kill on the ball carrier for the overkill that is a team wipe and a ball secure Number three is yours truly with a mind the gap play. King of the Hill live fire. This is clutch time. It's 3-3. And 
all three off the edge for the Hillcap, propulsing to success. Number two, if my shot isn't sick, and folks, when you have a gunny like this, sometimes the game just looks easy. Shock Rifle and BR clean up on the first two guys, and he gets a whole new cartridge because he knows he's going to need it. Top A, no chance. There's a perfect Shock Rifle headshot. He gets shot from long haul, turns around, another perfect Shock Rifle shot. Third guy goes down with the cleanup with the BR, and finally, the overkill. My shot was seeing the Matrix on that play. And finally, Era Badge with their first kill tag in the game. He's got camo king of the hill recharge again we're seeing this attic spot come up clutch there's two kills right there with a double kill keeping his teammate looking for butt alive there's a triple kill on loopy snoopy and an overkill on always pro finally a kill tag and a perfect shot again that's how you use the camo he charges in recklessly on the second kill and hill and finally gets his sixth kill of the match great job for a fun time, please check out HaloFunTime.com. We have events like these every single week, and with the winter update approaching, we're going to have even more fun stuff for you to do. Life is messy. Now there's 85% more Tide in every power pod. Hello there. In this tutorial, we are going to be making this game. However, the game itself isn't really the point of the video. Instead, it is more of a vehicle to explore Pygame. Essentially, this is an introduction to all the major components of Pygame that you need to start making games in Python. And by the end of it, you should have all the tools to approach any 2D game, starting from text adventures and Pong, going all the way to the first generation of Doom and Wolfenstein games. And I do plan to make more advanced games in Pygame, so get subscribed if you don't want to miss those. And really quickly before I start, you should know some Python already. It doesn't have to be much but I do assume that you know how to use functions and simple classes. So nothing fancy, but the basics of Python. And if you want to code along, you can find all the assets in the description. So I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, so before we get into any actual code, let's first talk about how video games work on a general level. That is really going to help us understand what Pygame does and how it actually works. So how do video games work? And I think the best way to think about that is to start with movies, because that is the technology video games leap off from. Essentially, a movie is really just a ton of images playing really fast after each other. So for example, here's a movie, and all I have to do is to slow it down, and you can see individual images. Although for movies, these are usually called frames, but it's, well, it's the same thing. Hey, we are back. Um, so just letting everyone know, uh, we are waiting on the conclusion of the game uh, in the winner's round one uh, between We Could Have Been Since Daddy and Passion Patrol, who have taken uh, game three. So, uh, our, so the update here now is actually that passion patrol have taken game three so we could be going the distance you know uh looks interesting uh on that end of things um 
we'll see if we're able to get any um updates live there uh i did just get uh one here um game four is starting now so uh yeah uh it's just gonna be you and me for now for the moment so uh until we decide to jump to break so how's everyone in the chat doing today you know i'm really excited now that we have an actual halo fun time event you know going on um streaming live on halo fun time so yeah it's uh it's great fun how are you doing silva i'm doing all right i'm doing all right you know uh, i got fresh coffee brewing uh, i know you you sound right. a little bit better your voice it must be the tea i don't know what you put in it is it an irish tea is that what the secret sauce is no it's just something hot and sweet you know just to <laughs> wake everything up you know um if they go 2-2, two, two, right, okay, so I'm thinking, if it's possible, if this game goes to 2-2, two, two, we'll see if we can watch the decider. No promises, guys, but, uh, you know, I think that would be uh, something that we will try and do at the conclusion of, um, uh, at the conclusion, I mean, we could spectate now, uh, it'll be interesting, it'll look different. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on uh, on the colors because they will change. So uh, I'll get the team info up and uh, I'll be able to tell you which is which. Um, but this is the game between I could have been since daddy. And um, oh, that is the yeah, got a little 2v2 CTF warm up. Oh, yeah, we've got. Joe, right, so this is our uh, team for game... Uh, this is our team for the Losers 1. This is uh, Risky, Heike, Bounty, and Joe Villier, right? Or Joe Vizzler. And... Um, <clears throat> apologies. Um, so they will be playing uh, the loser of... Uh, our next match uh, for an eliminate or for our first elimination match, um, and yeah, uh, interesting. There's you see the thing is Passion Patrol are currently two one down. If this goes to a game five though, it would be very interesting. However, uh, like if Passion Patrol do lose, and these two teams have been talking Passion Patrol and Risky Joe and the Chaos uh, and the Chaos Bot Bounty is it? Uh, oh, and the Chaos Stone. Right. Yeah, that's much better, actually. Yeah, really great name. They'll be coming up against um, uh, Passion Patrol, and they have been very snippy with each other in uh, in chat coming into this. There's been a lot of bullish uh, stuff going on, a lot of uh, hard words thrown back and forth. So this is definitely a grudge match uh, between the Yo, two. Love if to it see does it. I come know, to pass. I didn't know that was going on. Oh yeah, like uh, Bounty, Risky, Heike, Joe, like I see them almost every week that I can make it to uh, Trailblazer Tuesdays, uh, you know, uh, stalwarts of the group as are uh, the Passion Patrol, you know, we've got Basket, we've got Germ, we've got Rod and we've got Pale Pally, you know, they, they're always up in there. Um, What's and the Trailblazer Tuesday? Trailblazer Tuesday is a uh, kind of a uh, kind of group coaching session between um, teams. Um, it's yeah, it's a group coaching session run by uh, crabs and other um, and other kind of like high level players that kind of rotate in. Um, to cover like a lot of like say early on in the game it was a lot about movement tech and that's how I learned how to you know slide and uh, all that kind of stuff and like then moved on to the more kind of tactical side of things so yeah they just like it's a great place to learn Um, it's on uh, 7 o'clock eastern every week Um, so I definitely recommend it to anyone who's looking to get better at um at Halo Infinite, and it is all, of course, only the finest vibes, as with everything, uh, HFT related. Um, vibes first, 
Learning second. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Especially when you're talking about competitive Halo, there's definitely a lot of vinegar and uh, salt. Oh, yeah. That kind of builds up, especially for... Uh, I've noticed it in like specific CSR ranges, that high diamond yeah, yeah, and yeah, onyx, yeah. and then almost yeah. that difference between like onyx and high onyx. So those are like two really yeah. huge gaps. And uh, there's definitely different cultures, and there's definitely different philosophies in how to get better. You know, there's... There's some people that, you know, they kind of keep a super competitive environment and, you know, whoever really shakes out at the end of it is good. Uh, me, myself, yeah. I'm kind of more of the vibe you kind of play, you know, like yeah. I want to make sure the vibes are right. Like it's just a term of it being a great environment to, you know, I think at the end of the day, we're all just trying to learn and get better. And, uh, you know, I think yeah. that's kind of the connection. It's kind of what's drawn this huge connection between a lot of the community right now. And uh, I think HRL, that's how I met you and Sozer and. That's already just been a great also, opportunity. Once more, shout out to Sozer, making all this happen in the background, the ones and twos, the little confetti, you know, all of that is work. Great stuff. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, like, here we go. Hey, we got it. We got the confetti. I called for <laughs> it and it came. Uh, this is great. Like, yeah, I've been looking forward to Halo Fun Time getting one of these. Uh, going like i would go so far as to say my entire casting uh career up to this point has been specifically to do exactly this <laughs> right now uh here at hft so uh yeah like very happy uh to to do this and yeah i think like you know i've i've been part of this now for i don't know what a year and a bit uh when it comes to HFT and it's just like, I wouldn't still be playing Halo if it wasn't for HFT, no doubt. So definitely check it out if you are just dipping in for the first time to uh, Halo Fun Time. Uh, check out the server, halofuntime.com. And uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, it's great, great fun, great time. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fun fairly time Fridays. new to HFT. Yeah, well, so we'll what, get you, so we'll get you. What like what other like um what other um features do they have? Like I know this is their, their first big Trailblazer Championship tourney, but like what other yeah. we talked about Trailblazer Tuesday? Like what else is going on in the server? Like I'm still figuring it out. So there, I'll I'll leave the biggest to last here, you know. But uh, on Wednesdays we do uh, Pathfinder hikes at eight o'clock Eastern, and what that is is you can submit your map to be tested and uh you know either or you kind of just submit the map submit a couple of modes you want on it is it competitive is it not competitive things like that and they'll be tested then and provided feedback by the excellent members of our community who like you know give up their time to play on these lovely new maps and uh provide useful feedback to anyone um you know, uh, who who needs it or wants it. And of course, there is, of course, top billing is Fun Time Friday. Uh, so seven o'clock Eastern or seven o'clock, um, seven o'clock Eastern or seven o'clock uh, BST or GMT. So I like I often run uh, the early bird special, which is seven o'clock uh seven o'clock gmt but at seven o'clock on eastern standard time fun time friday begins in full jest it is a mixture of um of customs of big team uh social rank games and squads whatever you can think of we play it and it's just a hell of a great time everyone's in a great mood and we often have like, you know, full lobbies up and down the server uh, of people playing whatever they like. You know, I mean, it's you probably know yourself. It's very hard to uh, to get together like a full group to do BTB if you love BTB or squads. Right. Um, but yeah, you have them ready made here. Uh, you know, eight o'clock Eastern, drop on in and you'll definitely find people playing uh playing a wide variety of things we were playing h3 v fueled yesterday uh i was playing that with uh, a group yesterday myself so yeah it's 
it's great but like yeah the customs are a huge thing and we have a wide breadth of them now uh with all of the talented members of our community uh providing uh... great stuff what is the all right? So Halo Fun Time. What's the goofiest thing that you've played, like map or mode? Well, I mean, blueberry pancakes is fun, but uh, blueberry pancakes. Uh, what? Yeah. So what are we about? um, yeah. So extremely low gravity. Uh, very low gravity. It's like it's kind of a it's it's been around like since the start of uh, my time here. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it's like one of the first game modes that everyone kind of. It, agreed it was time to play right so you can only kill by or so it's low gravity you can only kill by thrusting an opponent <laughs> or fastballing an opponent whoa those, those uh, are like two those are two really specific or melee. ones melee okay yeah. cool 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 yeah so you have like uh you have repulsors you have your um What's called? Oh, and if you if you like uh, repulse someone into a wall, no matter what, they're dead. So, like, yeah, it's blueberry pancakes because you throw the plasma grenades and you pancake people. Wow, That's and fantastic. you can like smack them. So you know you smush them up like pancakes. I mean, you could smack your your pancakes, you know, <laughs> especially if they're being yeah. bad pancakes. I don't know. Smashing, anyway. yeah, you know, just smash the bad pancakes. You can't be but, getting me to say things like that when, you know, I have my my sexy voice. Your sexy voice. I think that's just really what's drawing pancakes. me in that way. It's just Flatten like your me, voice. daddy. What? <laughs> 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 oh, God. Well, you know, um, last night, um, a bunch of my guys, we usually play like, a lot of competitive, and we kind of got into the trolley customs. Oh, here we are. We got the blueberry oh. pancakes on cue. Yeah. Nope, well, not, not yet. yet, but it will be coming up. Don't you worry. We are getting in the pipeline some blueberry pancakes uh, to show to all of you um, as we wait for um, as we wait for the yeah, okay, here we go. So, you get melee kill. Fastball. I don't know if you have audio actually there. Probably do. Yeah. Oh yeah, I I uh, what's it called? I have a thing, or I have it uh, muted because I don't want to hear myself, you know. Especially not like this, uh, you know. I have to maintain decorum. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh man, but uh, yeah, like I remember just like 400, 500 kill games of blueberry pancakes. Like, Do they have like just... unlimited repulse and like unlimited like grenades or? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I think you, you no don't have or... unlimited grenades. Okay. Yeah. So you can see that the gravity is very low there. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. Um. But yeah, like it's a fantastic game mode. Recommend it to anyone. Uh. But like been around since the pretty much the start of Halo Infinite. So yeah. I don't know if it was around before then. Probably was, but. Well, actually, no, because they didn't have repulsors, right? What am I talking about? Yeah, repulsors is a new one for Infinite, but yeah, no, that's a super, <laughs> that's a super eclectic game list that I haven't heard of. I'm definitely gonna have to yeah. share that with some of the guys. Um, I love rolling the trolley customs. Last night we put yeah. on uh, some Rocket League, and I'm, I'm I'm kind of impressed with oh. actually a lot of the different features for that. Um, they have everything from the boosters in the corners of the map. They have the two goals. It counts when you score it and it resets. Like, yeah. it's pretty impressive. That's awesome. Like, I remember early on there was, what, the Spartan soccer or whatever, where you had yeah. the big kill ball that you, like, repulse around. Um, and, yeah, you score when it goes in. But, yeah. Um, what was I going to say to you? Um, yeah, Risky, Risky apparently... Is many people's dad. E. Uh, a lot of people claiming ownership. A lot of brothers in the chat, uh, it seems. Right Does now. Risky know? That's the question. Well, I'm sure they will find out. Like, I mean, they can't hear us talking right now. They are in the thing. Risky, or yeah, Risky Gang rise up in the chat right now, you know? Um, he is actually, funnily enough, playing with two brothers, uh, Joe Vizzler and Bounty. Uh, are in fact uh, brothers and uh, their dad is actually in the chat 
you know? Oh, that's uh, fantastic. Yeah. You know, I found uh, that so, um, we have a couple brothers that I play against, two guys from British Columbia, Canada. Shout out to Canada. Uh, Muppler and Joshler. And those two guys, it's nice. like when, when two brothers are like, playing with each other, like it's just like this little X factor that you, like, you can't really yeah. put your finger on. Yeah, that's why I kind of have them as dark horses for a deep run here. Um, like coming into this next game. Although, I mean, they are coming up against like a great team. Uh, let me just re-familiarize myself. Um, well, I mean, either of the teams that they could be coming up against look like they are extremely strong. Uh, our rosters, yeah, we have like My Shot and Rip. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Rip is an XH3 Pro. Um, so, yeah. Um, then we have Synthonosaurus. And then uh, we have we have uh, in Passion Patrol, like, so Passion Patrol here is basically all the thing. Oh, uh, I believe. News just in. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, game has finished. Uh, it was, in fact, 3-1 to we could have been since daddy. So we are, in fact, getting the matchup that we thought we would uh, between Passion Patrol and Risky Joe and the Chaos Bo or wait Risky Joe and the Pat or Chaos Stone damn it it's so it's such a good name but it's so hard to remember because it doesn't fill the thing so yeah like we've got it. Risky Joe and the Chaos Stone versus Passion Patrol coming up soon so we are just going to go to a short break so we can do all our little back end stuff make sure we're all ready and all together and then we'll be right back with the action uh, so in just a moment boo boo Welcome into the first ever Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. We are lying to start because we actually got 15 this week. Starting with yours truly, Dr. Slothfinger is playing a little live fire oddball. He has a no scope on him to start off, getting shot at from the scoreboard, letting his teammate take the kill as he grabs the ball. The teammate can't get the kill, so Slothfinger does it himself. Beautiful shots there to get the kill joy. Grabbing the ball from the cut, gets stuck. Or <laughs> does he? Ball gets stuck, and Dr. Slothfinger throws the ball back at the enemy for the kill. Just a heads-up play, of course, heads up play. Number 14, OG Alien and team with the Desperation flag cap on the Czar. OG Alien using the sandbox to its fullest effect to get a back smack, and Space Krabs takes off running towards bottom mid with that flag. Krabs gets it to bottom mid and ends up dying. Dr. Slothfinger tries to support but dies as well, so OG Alien gets to work. There's one dead from OG Alien, weakens another one bottom mid, he sees a teammate coming into support with Rocket, gets a second anyways, and finally cleans up a third kill with a little help from his friend that allows for an easy flag cap and an overtime forced. That's how you do it. Number 13 is Shieldy with a little cluster luck here on the streets. We have a beautiful grenade thrown. That's three dead, one stick, two more in the wake. One plaza is all you need when you're that good. Number 12 is Yes Magical off the rip here on Streets Oddball. Throws a grenade towards Rocket. Throws a nade towards Bulldog. Grabs a kill. Starts shooting for another one. Finishes off the ball carrier here and finishes his third kill off the rip. That's a Sweet triple kill boys. with ball time. Let him know, yes. Number 11 is My Shot with My Scope. Not needed. Some shy snipes here on Aquarius. Using the Bulldog to finish off the first. A little no scope in the melee to finish off the second. And then a no scope to finish off the third. Takes his face. Don't challenge him. Number 10 is Premier Ken, who is taking heads on total control in Breaker. Let's see, one shot, one kill, one shot, two kills, one shot, three kill, triple kill, all snipes. They must like chunky peanut butter. Number nine is OG Alien protecting the station on King of the Hill streets. OG Alien with some beautiful VR shots off of the rip here. He get one kill, regains his shields. He is in back trash. He grabs the commando and he knows no fear for this clip. Let's start counting. He's got one kill so far. Continues to challenge. He gets a second kill right here. He gets a third kill right here on a double kill streak. Another one comes to challenge, and that guy doesn't know what he's looking at. Just a triple kill killing spree so far for OG Alien. Throws down the drop wall, sees one down on Rocket Spawn, cleans that up, no problem there. 
someone's challenging him with a bulldog, but he has the drop wall. Using the sandbox again with the melee on the bulldog player. Finally gets another kill. That is another triple kill. OG Alien playing streets to perfection. Number eight is OG Alien again, eagling for the over. He has one guy C Street. That guy is dead. <clears throat> Driven the shields back on bench. And now he starts getting to work. Grabs the rockets that were just laying on the ground. Someone forgot those. And he is now getting some tactical information. He hears one P Street, but he's not going to challenge that yet. Oh, no, no, no. He knows where to look. Oh, no, 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 not that. Let's get the first threat. Boom, bottom mid, dead. Now he loops back around. And surprise, another one's there to join the rocket party. That is three dead for a triple kill. Let's get the fourth here back. And that's the overkill extermination. That's the way to do it. Howdy, howdy. All right, we have players in the lobby and we will be starting soon. So I think it's pertinent now for us, Silva, to uh, to have a look at the bracket. Or not, not yeah, the bracket. We'll see how everything is shaken out here in round one. So um, if I am correct here, um, it is uh, mediocre. Uh, one uh, against Risky Joe and the Chaos Stones, who will be watching next. And uh, we could have been since Daddy beat Passion Patrol. So those are the two uh, teams that will be playing next. Uh, online Shooters beat Buckets. And Grunts Aren't Real 3 0'd Hypnotize, as we saw on stream. So Lots uh, yeah. of uh, clean sweeps in the first round. Yeah, and off to a quick start there in the winners' semis as well. Uh, one one the score um so far, so yeah, like uh, interested to see now uh how these two teams shake out because of course uh our next match uh like between those two like the winner of this I believe plays the loser of F, which could be the online shooters who look very dangerous as well. Uh, it could be a rematch for them. Yeah, as we kind of move further along, we're going to see who is the real cream of the crop there as every first round matchup. I mean, there was a 3-1, but the rest were clean 3-0 sweeps. You know, this next round is yeah. really going to see, you know, what, we're really going to filter down the competition here as we move along. Absolutely. And just looking here, uh, online shooters, they're already 1-1 in their game against uh, the not fixed uh, <laughs> online shooters. <laughs> uh or grunts aren't real and like uh yeah that's north snipes team someone we would be familiar with from hrl um like yeah doing uh, a lot of good work there uh but yeah also a uh, long time hft uh member as well there and uh, north snipes but just for the audience might have seen him there before um and yeah like i'm looking forward now uh to getting eight in the lobby and uh starting off this uh this series which i believe will be beginning on forbidden yeah we're getting forbidden game one here man this is gonna be good like i mean i just think uh like it's so new that uh it it actually is uh still yeah uh it's like uh yeah um so yeah uh forbidden here uh very interesting i haven't actually gotten it in a competitive game yet uh myself what about yourself manny or silva oh yeah we've gotten this one a bunch and uh actually we've done a little bit of like almost eight player free for all on it just to kind of see how it plays it's uh, it's not bad, you know, the two snipers on either side, you know, those are going to be huge for CTF and the OS across the middle. Um, in some ways, it kind of feels very similar in the play style to Argyle CTF, just sort of in the way that you move across the map and kind of the lanes that are available. But the really cool part about Forbidden is that you kind of have this multiple tiers, really, of kind of yeah. making your way across the map, whereas, you know, Argyle, you kind of 
you're easily uh, able to get sniffed out if you're trying to make a sneaky run over to the other person's flag. But yeah, forbidden here. It's going to be a testament to who's got the long range bandits for because you know this is going to be yeah. almost like two to three times the distance you're used to seeing your opponent in, especially when you're talking about a map like Streets, you know, which is so tight and you know close range battles and and so yeah, that's kind of yeah. some of the things I'll be looking for on Forbidden. Yeah, no, excellent stuff. Um, I think as well, like you know, uh, the most important thing is that there is in fact a rainbow um you know uh on that map uh on i believe it's the overgrown side what what are the two side names again it's like green and gold or what are people calling it now fantastic questions at this point yeah. we mostly have an uh i don't even think i've really dug down into the call yeah. outs just yet i'll have to reference a youtube video that's got them all labeled out but uh for oh, me absolutely. i'll be like hey they're coming up on that top right side usually i kind of do my call outs based off which side we're pushing a little bit you yeah, know, yeah. Or across top mid and right side so uh those are like kind right. of three main lanes yeah and we're about to uh our match is just about to start here now so uh can't wait for that but uh yeah uh i i think it's rainbow and not rainbow because there's a rainbow that you can only see one side of like if you are head on with it on top mid and you look down to the waterfall you can't see it but if you are on one side or the other side of it, you can see a waterfall and that, or see the rainbow. So, you know, that's that's my call out. Well, I'm curious who's going to be tasting the rainbow here as Ooh. we're moving into the next matchup here. Hi, Hi Key. Key. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I think we have an AFK. Oh, no, we don't. No, Rod was just waiting there. And yeah, Heike really got a lot of purchase there off the rip. But Rod goes down. Uh, one down a piece, but I think, yeah, high key here uh, for um, for risky Joe and uh, the chaos stones just running off with the flag here off the rip. An excellent starting strategy, I've got to say. They all pushed right up there uh, onto that little ledge and really took them by surprise. Rod really the last line of defense off the rip there. Uh, unfortunate to find himself so isolated. Uh, you wouldn't expect that kind of aggression off the rip. Yeah, and already getting down here. Rod with the sniper here, looking in, trying to put some damage. It gets the oh. headshot on high key. He low key is searching out for more heads. He's got two in the back there, and just he's got five more shots in that sniper. As he looks to kind of make his way around here. Oh, here comes high key. What is he going to be able to do? Do he a had the first shot Rod. Wow. Comes out on top. Uh, flipping it around. Now we do have a flag standoff here. So things are going to get a little spicy. Yeah, flag standoff here. You know, always just a common thing of these huge CTF maps. I haven't really seen too many on Forbidden. And it's interesting here that, you know, within the first couple minutes of the round here, we're going to have a standoff. So tensions here, you know, we're, we're feeling a little bit more of the competitiveness here as we're moving oh, into yeah. the next rounds here as now each of these teams are going to want to try to differentiate themselves from each other as OS is available at top mid. Pale Pally taking a dive into the water. Rod running away Roddy. with the OS. And oh, he's ripping faces. Oh, here we go. Uh, what was I going to say to you? Yeah, these two teams do not want to lose to each other. Like, you can say whatever you want about like their competitive edge. This is pride. There's been a lot of trash talk between these two, la or these two teams uh, coming up to this uh, tournament. So... Like, you know, this is for bragging rights, like more than anything else right now. Uh, like elimination is the last thing on their mind. It's all about not getting eliminated by the other team. Yeah, you're talking about this is the first tournament that's kind of really being hosted here by Halo Fun Times, the Trailblazer Championship Series. And what a better way to stake your claim in the Discord server than having oh. that title next to you. I key with the sniper. I key here. head on the swivel. Remembered that his thing was running out of time. Oh, the flag has been returned. It's gonna be one nil to Risky Joe and the Chaos Stone. What a name! And he's about so to fun. pick up here some more sniper oh, ammo. Oh, oh. Make it a pit stop with he's, a headshot before he picks up more ammo. He has eleven shots, Silver, in that sniper rifle. Oh dear. Oh. 
down one shot here being really smart though he knows he's got 11 shots in that bad boy as he's got one sneaking up here finishes him off with the dmr and he's gonna be looking across your top mid he's definitely hearing call outs from his teammates guardian angel killing spree but he gets knocked and drops the huge sniper up there with a ton of ammo yeah that's a really crunchy sniper right now you know you really <laughs> want to get that you really want to just be like you know it's not a chewy sniper it's definitely crunchy definitely um yeah uh if you know you know <laughs> bounty stone a little scoop oh, of the OS, oh he's he... pushed off oh no it's bounty oh he's gonna be absolutely gutted uh falling off the map there with the overshield uh from or due to pressure from <laughs> from passion patrol and i've got to say like you know i have i am technically just a cadet of the passion patrol um we do have uh, a few lieutenants and captains of the passion patrol in there there's commander germ and chief basket in there of the passion patrol just to put respect on their names you know um but yes uh they are up against uh i've got to say like uh the the brother team with risky risky fan favorite early on in this uh in this kind of event series it seems uh risky uh siring many of our hft uh friends and uh yeah some great work here by sozer catching this uh pull here germ wisely not tossing it while he's going over able to get up on the lip that's that question answered because i always wondered if he could do that with the flag you can and he looks like he's gonna basically be uncontested capturing this flag due to some great work by his teammates oh he does go down but there's not sufficient uh pressure yet for a counter cap yeah, just great map control there. Even as we just scanned it across, I don't think the flag runner even got hit with a shot, and he basically just strolled his way in there as they tie it up 1-1. Passion Patrol kind of spreading the love here a little bit, wouldn't you say? Oh, they're spreading love. Uh, well, yeah, I think Risky Joe and the Chaos Stone, they have, like, what, 8-8-7-8 eight, eight, eight kills each? Like, that's, that's pretty, like, lovely. It looks like... Uh, basket here is kind of turning up uh for uh the passion patrol uh as is his right as chief of the passion patrol and rod he's looking for some redemption with that os last time he took he's a looking little for some redemption redemption he's gonna get <laughs> os here he says i'm gonna pick up the enemy sniper here they're spawning in the back of br there by the flag they got him circled around here two down for risky joe and the chaos stone it's Bounty Stone finds himself on the other end of that sniper shot and it looks as if they're kind of going to hold out here. They're going to keep spawning in that back BR spot in that back corner, but yeah. it's going to be so difficult. You're going to have to flush them all out in order to get a flag pool here. And I'm going to tell you right now uh, that these fellas have been at their Trailblazer of Tuesdays. I I was there with the guys when, they re or when we were talking about it and... Yeah, like, back BR is exactly where you want the enemy to be spawning uh, in CTF. And, like, they're pulling it off to a T. Uh, fantastic work here by Risky, actually. Just penetrating the enemy lines and uh, getting a trash pull. Unfortunately, I don't know that it's going to be enough. Uh, Haiki has Ooh. a big job here to slow down this. But, unfortunately, uh, Bounty was unable to get the kill secured in time. That flag is returned, and another one on the board for the Passion Patrol. Yeah, and Rod here being super sneaky after that killing spree. Uh, eventually gets sniffed out, but he takes one down there as he was ratting in the bottom of their base. Great little entry frag as two go down for both squads, both trading, but they're trading inside of Risky Joe and the Chaos Stone side of the map. They've really been stuck in this back corner on BR here, but it looks like they're trying to make a stand now as they kind of take some more damage down. But two go down for them, too. It just seems like at this moment here, they're having a hard time not getting cycled in the back of their spawn. As I think Pale Pally gets out with the flag. Yeah, just bear with me for a moment. I have... Uh, this is my doing. I have lost the stream. I am back. And in it goes for the Passion Patrol. 
My goodness. Off the rip here now. 3-1. Passion Patrol laying down a marker here uh, in this game one. Yeah, that's really good too because uh, Risky Joe and Chaos Stone got off to one flag. So Passion Patrol getting hot and heavy. They're scoring three unanswered points on CTF to take the first map on Forbidden. And uh, you know the Devil is going to be feeling good as they move into the second map. Yeah, like I would be too. I mean, you know, uh, like with all of what has been said leading up to this uh, point, you know, it's uh, very uh, like the game one becomes more important when, you know, uh, this kind of talk has been had. Right. So game one will give you a role into game two. But when it comes to game three, all that talk can kind of play into the back of your mind and say, oh, we better win this. You know, if you're two up, you're like, we have to win this now. Mm -hmm. And it can maybe play with the mentals a little bit, you know. Uh, so we'll see now. I would I would have Passion Patrol as my favorites in this Slayer simply because they got that first win. But in game three, who knows? Yeah, no, um, it's great. I think, you know, Forbidden, though, uh, might be got to be a little cautious, I think, not to take too much from it. It is just a yeah. fairly new map. You know, we haven't even had a chance for all of the pros to show us the meta, which I'm sure we I might will say, going forward. I will say that Crabs did provide a Trailblazer Tuesday, and I know that players on that are on Risky Joe and the Chaos Stone. I'm pretty sure almost all of them were there for it. So, you know... Uh, I'm sure that Krabs will be having a word, you know, like, <laughs> hey, do you even listen to me? You know, why do you show up on Tuesdays just to run around and look at like, <laughs> look at this pretty map? <laughs> It'll be the first order of business in the next Trailblazer Tuesday, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so here's Risky anyway, uh, fighting against uh, Pale Pally. Um, and yeah. Um, oh, wait, right, just bear with us a moment. Um, we're just swapping some things around and here we are risky now or joe uh hanging around in a trying to get onto that ledge provide some fire support it was oh yeah basket he was invisible yeah of course right uh silly old me forgot that there was camo now on this map uh has been traded in for the cutie unfortunately we love cuties here in hft why else do you think i have a job um <laughs> Oh, uh, um, but yeah, this is a fight here that Germ does not want or did not want to lose. Uh, Joe now uh, linking up with Bounty, his bro, and uh, pushing onto Pale Pally, almost uh, like uh, telepathic there, like cutting off all the angles uh, for his opponents. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and I think we'll just have a long watch of Basket. I think Basket now, in the last game, was definitely the top performer on his team. Uh, so it'll be interesting now to see uh, what he can get up to. And he's got all of Risky Joe and the Chaos Stone pinned here in the back of Cafe, all three of them, looking to put some damage in as his teammates start making the move. Finds a straggler here in the back of Soda as his other teammates, Passion Patrol, clean up two kills. There's one left in Cafe here. Looking to get this last lonely one from the last spot. And we get some body shots in the distance. Get some body shots, baby. Oh, Basket just laying the down to Risky now. And, you know, I will not apologize for taking every opportunity to say Risky Joe and the Chaos Stone. Uh, <laughs> it is the finest name. Uh, if, there was a, if, if there was an award, for finest name, it has to be Risky Joe and the Chaos Stone. I don't see anyone uh, competing uh, at that level. It's a tier one name. Uh, as we, we still have Basket here now, doing a great job of living. And with his team, three kills to the good and this uh, camo available. Uh, things could, oh, but two go down for the Passion Patrol. And uh, it leaves Basket with a lot to do now. Um, Bounty Stone goes down. There's two dead now um, for the side of uh, Risky Joe and the Chaos Stone. And we are, uh, yeah, just following Rod here. Seven kills the difference. And we've I've got to say, Basket 
has been the standout player so far uh, in this match. Yeah, again, two for basket and giving the body shots. So extra brownie points for the disrespect we got on the stream there. And yeah, that's definitely <laughs> uh, definitely a marker of how kind of momentum of this game's going here. They win the first one on CTF Forbidden, three to one, pretty, pretty uh, handedly here. And oh, they're already empty. out to a 10 kill lead, but. Rod not on the losing end of that 1v1 is the rest of RJCS, oh. what I'm calling him, in the back of yard. Oh, Bounty! Bounty, how? Oh my god! Oh my yeah. god, that's amazing stuff there from uh, Risky Joe and the Chaos uh, Stone uh, to avoid just being completely obliterated there uh, in A. They come out pretty evens on the exchange. They are still down by 10, but, you know, we aren't really in squeaky bum time yet. There's still 20 kills uh, left to go, so, you know, um, they're not out of this yet. If they get their hands on, or if they're able to take out Basket, who is being a Basket case in this game, just like, what, like 9 and 6? Uh, just a casual 9 and 6 in uh, competitive 8s, you know? Um, yeah, and not to be... mention Pale Pally, who's leading the way here with 10 kills and only 6 deaths and 6 assists. You know? Him, Pale Pally, and Basket both laying the damage down as they have 19 kills and 13 assists between the two of them. So, you know, kind of a, a double-edged sword here when you're talking about from coming from Passion Control. Oh, yeah. Like, and I think now... Uh, the uh the the drew breeze you know a bit of the hubris <laughs> drew breeze as i like to call it uh coming out um for uh for passion patrol and that's all well and good you know as long as you have the skills to back it up but uh you know sometime oh that Ooh. could have been very difficult <laughs> but basket again onto risky saying you are not my dad <laughs> 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 and we're just getting this in. He is indeed not the father, I believe. <laughs> oh, bounty going down now as well. And Pale Pally uh, quietly going about getting 14 kills uh, in this match. And a spectacular is on the line. And oh my goodness, would this be a hell of a win if Passion Patrol were able to get it? Uh, really just putting it up, uh, putting it to uh, <laughs> their great rivals. Yes. Uh, and, yeah, you know, Risky the... Joe and the Chaos Stone, yeah, they just kind of are always bunched up and, and Passion Patrol is up on their you-know-what as soon as they're on that spawn there as they pick up the, uh, the active camo here and six kills away from finishing off the Slayer. Oh yeah, and I have no doubt that uh, the Passion Patrol are going to play this like it's the last five kills of the game, right? Oh, but unfortunately for them, two go down. No steak is on the menu here as uh, <laughs> some respect is put back on the name of Risky Joe and the Chaos Stone uh, in this game too. And uh, yeah, uh, 14 kills the difference now. It's not really going to... I think make too much of a difference from a results point of view, but for a mentals point of view, their back was against the wall. They were five kills away from being staked handily, and uh, they were able to get out of that. So, you know. Oh, Clutch Academy in the chat. Man, can't wait for this. Uh, we're going to be hearing from him later on in the stream. Um, some great insights uh, are going to be coming now. 36. Uh, kills, I think, will probably be the high watermark here for Risky Joe and the Chaos Stone. Um, 37, 38. All right, let's not get too giddy now, Silva. <laughs> it would be some kind of monumental comeback here, but I won't pull it out of the cards as they only have 14. one to work with. Oh, no. Oh, they were on a run, but unfortunately, uh, at 50 to 40, which looked completely out of the realm of all possibility. Uh, come uh, uh, Passion Patrol with their victory. So they got to be feeling fine. They got to be feeling good, you know. And um, yeah, I uh, what's called. Uh, but you know now 
they've got to back it up in this game four or in this game three. You know, a lot of talk has been talked, a bit of the walk has been walked, but the final leg is still there, and it is this King of the Hill on recharge. And Couldn't have said it better. Backs up against the wall. We have risky. We have, uh, we have Joe. We have chaos, and we have stone. And we'll see if they have the stones to step to Passion Patrol in this game three. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, it's not a curtain call for Risky Joe and the Chaos Stone. I feel like the band just got together, and right now, you know, if you're on their side, you are talking about some kind of monumental reverse sweep here in the first tournament for Halo Fun Time. So. Definitely a lot on the line here. King of the Hill Recharge, definitely going to play a lot differently than the other two maps that we just had. But Passion Patrol just seems to be a step ahead on the rotations and the spawns and the damage. So they're going to have to kind of, you know, box it in here, you know, and figure it out what's going to happen here on this King of the Hill. But if they do get knocked right. out, they'd move into the loser's bracket. Am I right? Wait, oh, there's a apparently in the solitude, is it? The wait a second, we played Solitude Slayer, right? Yep, on the second map. They were supposed to play Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> Judge, nope, Judge Shieldsy. Look, it's perfect. <laughs> uh oh right so um hmm right so they want <laughs> well we can't play aquarius strongholds <laughs> so <we can't... laughs> judge <laughs> yeah um all right i will be right back um we will be playing king of the hill recharge okay that will be happening um <laughs> But, uh, yeah, let me, well, you know, hey, uh, more like Risky Joe in the reverse sweep. Yeah, damn right, Jax. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I could be more, uh, keep more of an eye on the chat. There's a lot going on, but uh, I'll be right back and I'll check in with our uh, designated rulesman. Welcome into the first ever Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. We are lying to start because we actually got 15 this week. Starting with yours truly, Dr. Slothfinger is playing a little live fire oddball. He has a no scope on him to start off, getting shot at from the scoreboard, letting the teammate take the kill as he grabs the ball. The teammate can't get the kill, so Slothfinger does it himself. Beautiful shots there to get the kill joy, grabbing the ball from the cut, gets stuck. Or does he? Ball gets stuck, and Dr. Slothfinger throws the ball back at the enemy for the kill. Just a heads up play or a chance up play. Number 14, OG Alien and team with the Desperation Flag Cap on Bizarre. OG Alien using the sandbox to its fullest effect to get a back smack, and Space Crabs takes off running towards bottom mid with that flag. Crabs gets it to bottom mid and ends up dying. Dr. Slothfingers tries to support but dies as well, so OG Alien gets to work. There's one dead from OG Alien, weakens another one bottom mid. He sees a teammate coming in to support with Rocket. Gets a second anyways, and finally cleans up a third kill with a little help from his friends. That allows for an easy flag cap and an overtime forced. That's how you do it. Number 13 is Shieldsy with a little cluster luck here on the streets. We have a beautiful grenade thrown. That's three dead, one stick, two more in the wake. One plaza is all you need when you're that good. Number 12 is Yes Magical off the rip here on Streets Oddball. Throws a grenade towards Rocket. Throws a nade towards Bulldog. Grabs a kill. Starts shooting for another one. Finishes off the ball carrier here and finishes his third kill off the rip. That's a Sweet triple down, kill with ball time. Let him know, yes. Number 11 is My Shot with My Scope. Not needed. Some shy snipes here on Aquarius. Using the Bulldog to finish off the first. A little no scope in the melee to finish off the second. And then a no scope to finish off the third. Takes his face. Don't challenge him. Number 10 is Creamier Ken, who is taking heads on total control in Breaker. Let's see, one shot, one kill, one shot, two kills, one shot, three kill, triple kill, all snipes. They must like chunky peanut butter. Number nine is OG Alien protecting the station on King of the Hill streets. OG Alien with some beautiful VR shots off the rip here to get one kill. 
regains his shield, he is in back trash. He grabs the commando, and he knows no fear for this clip. Let's start counting. He's got one kill so far. Continues to challenge. He gets a second kill right here. He gets a third kill right here on a double kill streak. Another one comes to challenge, and that guy doesn't know what he's looking at. Just a triple kill killing spree so far for OG Alien. Throws down the drop wall, sees one down on rocket spawn, cleans that up, no problem there. Someone's challenging him with the Bulldog, but he has the drop wall, using the sandbox again with the melee on the Bulldog player. Finally gets another kill, that is another triple kill, OG Alien, playing streets to perfection. Number eight is OG Alien, again, eagling for the over. He has one guy T Street. That guy is dead. <coughs> Driven his shields back on bench. And now he starts getting to work. Grabs the rockets that were just laying on the ground. Someone forgot those. And he is now getting some tactical information. He hears one P Street, but he's not going to challenge that yet. Oh, no, no, no. He knows where to look. Ah, no, 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 not that. Let's get the first threat. Boom. Bottom mid, dead. Now he loops back around. And surprise, another one's there to join the rocket party. That is three dead for a triple kill. Let's get the fourth here back and that's an overkill extermination. That's the way to do it. Number seven is my shot, forcing a fumble for the victory here. He has the stalker rifle, beautiful grenade placement, finishing that guy off with just the nades and he starts flying at the ball. There's a second kill. Third kill is the ball carrier. Look at that score, folks. This is a close game, and my shot just clutched it up. Let's fast forward through the victory here, because we already saw what we needed to. Beautifully done. Number six is Space Crabs. On BTB Fragmentation, he has a snipe out, and he is going to work. There's a counter snipe there for the first kill. Takes the face for the second kill. Whips out the BR, clean shots for the triple. Boom! Rocks the turret guy, the Warthog, and then no scopes for the overkill. They don't know what to do with him. Number five is a bas basket weaver who goes on a killing frenzy. We have a little bit of overshield left. He is challenging regardless. There's one dead. There's two dead. He is weaving baskets with the enemy's faces there. He's going back towards C flat. There's three dead for the triple kill killing frenzy. Overkill extermination. That's 11 in a row. Space Crabs grabbing a Kilimanjaro here on King of the Hill Catalyst. Let's see how this kicks off. Beautiful nade on the sword carrier to rock that guy's world. One more now coming in from top mid. No chance he's escaped. Hey, how's it going? Uh, right, so we're back. The confusion has been dealt with, I believe. Our next match, well, our next match will be King of the Hill on live fire. Um, we are not sure exactly what game four will entail, but hey, who knows? We might not even get there. But sh but rest assured, our uh, team of judges are hard at work uh, figuring out exactly how to punish uh, these two teams for daring to uh, pick the wrong map. <laughs> Risky Joe, or uh, we've we're following Risky now of Joe and the Chaos Stone fame, uh, getting some opportunities onto Germ, but snatching at them a little bit as Joe goes down now as well. Risky repositions is fighting for this uh, <coughs> this overshield, but unfortunately. Uh, looks or looks away on the timing, and it looks like Germ will be able to get this um, first overshield. Yeah, getting the first overshield could be a huge difference maker here. Risky Joe and the Chaos Stone able to get some time already onto the hill. Patch Patrol picks up the OS and starts going in the back of B. Looking to peek and peeking cost him over there in pillars as his head gets ripped off by risky here seeing a little bit more spice from this side of the team here as they're down 2-0 in this best of five series and they're gonna have to throw the kitchen sink out here and try try to kind of get something going here and you know kind of manifest yeah. the idea of a potential reverse sweep yeah and i mean we've seen that already a very plucky start because they lost uh, control of the overshield, but they were able to completely negate it and come away with the first hills. So some great work there. 
and could be a nice little bit of momentum for Risky Joe and the Chaos Dome. Yeah, Passion Patrol spawning here over on Dummy's side as RJCS and company are trying to push out. Oh no. Ernest, two of them go down. Four go oh, down no. for them. And I don't know, that book that could put the kibosh on the momentum they were building there is the fresh OS is coming up with 10 seconds left. It's going to be a battle here as one goes down for Risky oh. Joe's squad. I thought Rod there. was about to enter Orbis, but it's just <laughs> another brilliant piece of camera work from Sozer here and uh, letting us know what's up Bounty Stone able to get a nice reversal there gets needed off the hill and Passion Patrol do have the overshield but there are numbers down so uh, this fight has to be perfect and it looks like it just about was it just about was here they're just about to get the game here to 1-1 one, one as they're maintaining control here on C-Plat Risky Joe and the squad basically call it chalked and they stay over there on the A-side for the next hill here. Do you believe we have a sniper coming up soon on timer? And yeah. And it here. is in their favor here, uh, naturally, uh, for Risky Joe and the Chaos Stone. I can't not say it all. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not apologizing, actually. Forget it. It's the, it's the best name ever. All right, Risky Joe and the Chaos Stone did spawn over at A, but unfortunately they've been completely cleared out by the Passion Patrol. The Passion is too strong, and it busted through their defense. Uh -oh. Sniper available up top, Hail Pally, knocking them off of that sniper as they take A control here, flipping the script. And they kind of are Absolutely. looking to close this out 3-0, potentially, based off the way it's going. Yeah, and they're, they're passionately, or they're, what's called? They're, uh, what was it? Passionately, uh, like getting off the, like, uh, uh, the, the hill when they need to at this present moment in time. But it looks like they're able to, uh, bring themselves up, um, raise themselves to, uh, some would say erect themselves a 2 1 <laughs> win lead. Uh, a nice, stiff lead. Really holding yeah. the lead here. And, uh, well, there's a lot of stiff competition around. Oh, definitely, definitely. And things can get very hard, especially the further we go into this tournament. Absolutely, and the last thing you want is Risky Joe up the Chaos Stone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, awesome, Jesus. Oh, what am I even saying now? I'm blaming the medication that I'm not on. <laughs> Oh yeah, Pale Pally here, just dancing around the one shots as they just lay the damage down here on this hill and picking up the sniper with seven shots on it. Risky Joe, they're in a tight spot here as we are moving on here. We are in the second round of our winner's bracket here and a loss won't end their day, right? It will send them down into the loser's bracket to continue on, but it'll be a this... tough route to the end. Well, uh, I regret to inform you that this is indeed the loser bracket, and the loser of this match is eliminated. That's so, right, that's the right. motto for these two teams is don't get eliminated! Yeah, and Risky Joe, you know, it might be curtain calls for that name, you know. It's a great name, but, you know, you gotta make it to the end in order to kind of, you know, to have it deliver some more impact. Absolutely. Or, or to build a legacy, really. But maybe that's just yeah. for the next tournament. Well, the Passion Patrol are a well-drilled team. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Risky on the struggle boss here. Um, as is Joe Vizzler. It looks like Bounty Stone really putting down the, the kills here uh, for his team. Um, kind of stretching their legs out and um, out with 14 kills, yeah. 8 deaths. And uh, actually the top slayer in the lobby. Uh, surprisingly enough, uh, but unfortunately, uh, it looks like uh, the mid hill is uh, firmly in the control of the Passion Patrol, and uh, they should be able to uh, close this one out. And are we going to see another three zero? Yeah, lots of three zero clean sweeps in this tournament so far. Yeah, once I'm curious to see how the competition oh. the winners bracket as Pass Control finish this one out early and quick, Who fast and can furious. can say where the road goes, where the day goes, 
only time. Uh, we say goodbye to our first team here uh, in our inaugural Trailblazer Championship Series. And our first ever loser is Risky Joe on the Chaos Stone. Uh, you know, gone, but not forgotten. Gone, but not forgotten. Chills. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, great games all around, though. <coughs> uh, definitely a lot of passion, a lot of spice in that last game. And yeah, it, it looks like... Uh, going forward that the Passion Patrol have a lot to prove as they'll be playing the losers of the game uh, between Grunts Aren't Real and Online Shooters who are currently 2-1. to one. But this brings us to the end of our second round here, our second featured match. There will be three more. There will be four more, I believe, is it? We have the winner's final. We have the loser's semis, loser's final, and the grand final. So all to come up for all of you lovely folks here today. So I can't wait. Um, we may have a special surprise caster swap after this for a little while for the next match. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you very soon. Welcome into the first ever Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. We are lying to start because we actually got 15 this week. Starting with yours truly, Dr. Slothfinger is playing a little live fire oddball. He has a no show bottom man to start off, getting shot at from scoreboard, letting the teammate take the kill as he grabs the ball. The teammate can't get the kill, so Slothfinger does it himself. Beautiful shot there to get the kill joy, grabbing the ball from the cut, gets stuck. Or <laughs> does he? Ball gets stuck and Dr. Slothfinger throws the ball back at the enemy for the kill. Just a heads up play or a shoulds up play. Number 14, OG Alien and team with the desperation flag cap on Bizarre. OG Alien using the sandbox to its fullest effect to get a back smack and Space Crabs takes off running towards bottom mid with that flag. Crabs gets it to bottom mid and ends up dying. Dr. Slothfinger tries to support but dies as well so OG Alien Gets to work. There's one dead from OG Alien. Weakens another one bottom mid. He sees a teammate coming in to support with Rocket. Gets a second anyways. And finally cleans up a third kill with a little help from his friends. That allows for an easy flag cap and an overtime forced. That's how you do it. Number 13 is Shieldy with a little cluster luck here on the streets. We have a beautiful grenade thrown. That's three dead. One stick. Two more in the wake. One flag is all you need when you're that good. Number 12 is Yes Magical off the rip here on Streets Oddball. Throws a grenade towards Rocket. Throws a nade towards Bulldog. Grabs a kill. Starts shooting for another one. Finishes off the ball carrier here and finishes his third kill off the rip. That's a triple down, kill with ball time. Let him know, Yes. Number 11 is My Shot with My Scope. Not needed. Some shy snipes here on Aquarius. Using the Bulldog to finish off the first. A little no scope in the melee to finish off the second. And then a no scope to finish off the third. Takes his face. Don't challenge him. Number 10 is Creamier Ken, who is taking heads on total control in Breaker. Let's see, one shot, one kill, one shot, two kills, one shot, three kill, triple kill, all snipes. They must like chunky peanut butter. Number 9 is OG Alien protecting the station on King of the Hill streets. OG Alien with some beautiful PR shots off of the rip here to get one kill, regains his shield. He is in back trash. He grabs the commando and he knows no fear for this clip. Let's start counting. He's got one kill so far. Continues to challenge. He gets a second kill right here. He gets a third kill right here on a double kill streak. Another one comes to challenge, and that guy doesn't know what he's looking at. Just a triple kill killing spree so far for OG Alien. Throws down the drop wall, sees one down on rocket spawn, cleans that up, no problem there. Someone's challenging him with a bulldog, but he has the drop wall, using the sandbox again with the melee on the bulldog player. Finally gets another kill, that is another triple kill, OG Alien, playing streets to perfection. Number eight is OG Alien, again, eagling for the over. 
he has one guy P Street. That guy is dead. <clears throat> Grabbing the shields back on bench. And now he starts getting to work. Grabs the rockets that were just laying on the ground. Someone forgot those. And he is now getting some tactical information. He hears one P Street, but he's not going to challenge that yet. Oh, no, no, no. He knows where to look. Ah, no, no, what? not that. Let's get the first threat. Boom. Bottom mid, dead. Now he loops back around. And surprise, another one's there to join the rocket party. That is three dead for a triple kill. Let's get the fourth here back. And that's an overkill extermination. That's the way to do it. Number seven is my shot, forcing a fumble for the victory here. He has a stalker rifle, beautiful grenade placement, finishing that guy off with just the nades, and he starts flying at the ball. There's a second kill. Third kill is the ball carrier. Look at that score, folks. This is a close game, and my shot just clutched it up. Let's fast forward through the victory here, because we already saw what we needed to. Beautifully done. Number six is Space Crabs. On BTB Fragmentation, he has a snipe out and he is going to work. There's a counter snipe there for the first kill. Takes the face for the second kill. Whips out the BR, clean shots for the triple. Boom! Rocks the turret guy, the Warthog, and then no scopes for the overkill. They don't know what to do with him. Number five is a bas basket weaver who goes on a killing frenzy. We have a little bit of overshield left. He is challenging regardless. There's one dead. There's two dead. He is weaving baskets with the enemy's face there. He's going back towards C flat. There's three dead for the triple kill killing spread. The overkill extermination. That's 11 in a row. Space Crab grabbing a Kilimanjaro here on King of the Hill Catalyst. Let's see how this kicks off. Beautiful nade on the sword carrier to rock that guy's world. One more now coming in from top mid. No chance he's escaping Space Crab. Zoom right there. Let's see what else he's looking at. You see two guys coming in. There's a third dead for the double kill. Let's see. There's a triple. Let's get the over. Boom. And we are not done yet, folks. There's another one for the kill tacular. Let's get a kill catastrophe going right here. And finally, we have a Kilimanjaro. Boom. Melee not needed. That's how you do it. Number three is Krabs again grabbing it quickly on stockpile on fragmentation. A little body shot here on the one. Little second shot here on the two. Let's get a third. And let's get a fourth, but we'll add it. Three shots, four kills for the Killing Frenzy and the Quigley. Wow. They don't know how to even account for that metal wise. Another kill catastrophe here for Space Crab. Just farm equips and BTV. There is one dead. He's got the commando and the hydra. He's using the commando again for the double. He's using the hydra again for the triple and the over. Almost out of hydra ammo, so he switches to the commando. Whips back with the hydra for the kill tag. Man, one shot kill left. Tag, he uses it. Goes to the commando for the kill atrocity. And finally, he's almost out of ammo for both guns. He uses all 20 in his clip almost for the kill of Manjaro. Let's get that eighth kill for the kill catastrophe. Beautifully done there from Space Crab. Out of ammo on all guns. No chance he can live again, but eight kills is good enough. Bruh. And finally, our number one clip is Captain Punch just sniping in the back TV here for Street Slayer. He's got the shock rifle. He starts off with a double. Boom! There's a triple with a perfect for his shock rifle, just letting the electricity flow through the enemy team there. Keeps his spot. Looking for enemies. Looking for enemies. Sees one. Sees another. And then his teammate rudely gets in the way, so he says, you know what, I'm whipping out the AR and I'm doing this myself. There is one dead. Let's get a perfect nade for two dead. Let's see, if anyone else going to challenge? Is anyone else going to challenge? They are, because they don't know who they're dealing with. There's three, and Captain Punch lives up for his, with his namesake for a back smack on the, the double kill for the, the hammer wielder. There's a third for the triple kill. Can he get another? He sees one on the radar. Boom, there's the overkill with the AR using the sandbox. That's what we like to see. Welcome in to week two of Halo Fun Times Top 10 Drill Blazer Plays of the Week. We are looking at a great set of plays this week. I'm your host, Dr. Slopfingers. Let's go straight into number 10 from HGS Astro. Picks up the snipe, takes a face. Let's get a second one right here. Boom! There's two in a row. Let's get a body shot in the guy in base for good measure. And he's walking towards top mid when someone grapples him in the back. Whips around for the no scope. 
That's how you get a bug off you. Number nine is Ripshot 5 playing live fire, bottom mid. Body shot with the BR cleanup on the first guy. Sniper headshot on the second guy in the OS spawn. Let's get the third guy with the no scope for good measure. It's Rip again in Bizarre Fiesta. He has the shock rifle. Someone with grapple sword is charging him. That's a death sentence. Unless you have the repulsor and you can no scope like a god. That's a bolt. True. There's another repulsor for a second double kill no scope. And let's get a third triple kill no scope. Number seven is BB7 on Bizarre Land Grab. He has the rockets and he's looking for somewhere to use them. He throws them right in the middle of three enemies. Takes two out. Cleans up a third of the AR and the fourth for the overkill. Let's get that land. Number six is Space Crab looking for overkills on BTB Fragmentation. He dodges the fusion coil from the first guy. He gets the BR and he has a shock rifle in his back pocket. And he is about to get to work. Let's get the first guy down. Let's take the second guy out of B. Let's hold that zone there. Whip out the shock rifle. And there's the third kill. Let's get the overkill. Easy as you like. Number five is Basket Weaver playing some sweaty outlaw and live fire. Gets an easy kill bottom guys. mid. And he turns in. his attention I'm towards the buddy. oddball. Cleans up the oddball carrier. Let's get the third nice, guy nice. here for the triple. And let's clean out elevators yeah, for the fourth that's kill that's here that's for control. Nice. That's how you play oddball. Number four is Rip again playing streets land grab. Grabs the heat wave right there. Let's get the first kill. And let's get the second kill. Pillow little drop wall, boom block, return to sender action. Third kill with the melee and to use the full sandbox is a BR overkill. That's what Halo is all about. Number three is Creamy or Ken again on BTB. The Bulldog had no shot when Ken's on his game. He keeps the BR and the sniper though because he knows what's coming. Let's take a face right here. Easy snipe. And now he uses the BR for a cleanup for the double, cleanup for the triple, and let's outgun this guy long range for a nice overkill. Great job, Ken. Number two is Yats Magical using the shock rifle to shocking efficiency. Grabs the first one here. Another guy charges him. Easy money for Yats Magical. There's two. And let's get the shock rifle out. Let's only use one shot for two kills. One shot with the chain link and the plasma detonation in there as well. That's a beautiful overkill. And number one is Creamier Ken again using the BR to great effect in BTB. Long range, he's scoped in and he is locked in, people. He is on zone C and total control fragmentation. There's the first kill to start off the killing spree, but that is not where he ends. There's a double kill. Let's get the triple to protect C. And the overkill, easy as you like. Let's get number five right here. Ah, I don't want to reload. I want to swap to the AR. Let's get back. And that's how you do it. That is the number one play this week. Thanks for watching. And everyone out there, please join Trailblazers. We are looking for anyone who wants a little bit of sweat and a little bit of competition with a whole lot of fun in Halo. Welcome into the Halo Fun Time Top 10 Trailblazer Plays of the Week. This is the third edition of the countdown. I'm your host, Dr. Slopfingers, and we are taking you through a great group of clips here. Number 10 is Meow You Doing with Come Collect This Man's Body. That's a no scope sniper headshot on a pro right there, people. Cleans it up with a double kill. That guy's not going to be pro for long if Meow hangs around. Number nine is My Shot Isn't Sick with an easy five shot triple kill. Three in the hill, just five VR burst, cleans them all up for the capture. Great work there. Number eight is Everything Evil with the enemy about to score. Bottom hill on King of the Hill recharge. He cleans up the sword carrier in the back, cleans up the guy in the front for the double, and the third guy triple kill is toast. That's how you play the objective. Number seven is Everything Evil again with some great repulsive plays on recharge. One goes into the blue goo. Let's see if we can get a second one here. Boom! Off the edge you go. And the third guy wants to join the party. Even the people doesn't need any fancy tricks. He uses the BR and the melee to clean it up for the triple kill. Number six is OG Alien 420 with a team wipe for the overshield. Let's get the first guy down on the actual spawn. Two more trying to fly in. OG cleans one up with a nade shot and the third with the BR burst. 
He picks up the OS on the top of the turbine here, and then you see the fourth trying to join the party, and that is all four dead with an OS push. I Great job. Very, very sneaky, Number sir. five is Yes Magical with a sneaky little play on live fire. We're looking at the back C stronghold. He gets one down. Well, I don't know who just died there, but he's not great at Halo. And then let's get the third guy. Boom, that's a triple kill with a melee for the back C stronghold. And then a great strafe to clean up OG Alien. Speaking of, here he is at the number four play, oddball overkill. Uses the green gun to kill the OS on the ball carrier. He sees another guy back windows. He fires a shot. Throw some nades, and we're looking, we're looking, let's start cleaning up now. Boom, there's one, there's two dead. Let's get the third on the ball for the triple kill. And there's the overkill with the honorary extermination on the last shot. Great job. Number three is OG Alien again. Here we are again on live fire strongholds this time. There's one dead, there's two dead on the A push. Let's look at the back A here. He finishes up the kill, and let's get another overkill. Live fire in OG Alien's map. Great work there on the objective. Number two is Yes Magical with another another overkill and the cap here. He's looking across in this PD on the streets map here. Another guy drops down bottom A, cleans him up with the Bulldog. He's now in the middle hill. Let's look back. Tram for the triple kill. And now we're looking top A for all four down and the overkill on the hardest hill in the game. Number one is Spacecraft with some BTB clips. This guy has a crazy looking Warthog. No longer, that's two dead and sniping the driver. There's another headshot and there's another headshot Fuck. for the overkill. He's not done, as you can hear right, in the comms. So I'm just gonna sit back and listen. Damn! Crabs, what the fuck are you doing? No atrocity! Let's fucking go, Crabs! I need more clips. Thanks everyone for watching. Become a trailblazer today to get featured in countdowns like this. Go to halofuntime.com for a fun time. Welcome back to another Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. We got three gates in the Halo 3 soundtrack in the background for you. I'm your host, Dr. Slopfingers. Let's jump right into these clips if we can. Number 10 is Mil Kiko getting Devo the OS on Live Fire King of the Hill. Let's get a quick sniper body shot into a BR headshot here. And let's just forget about the BR no scope headshot on the guy in cuts. Number 9 is OG Alien. 420 doing a little spider walk on the outside of Catalyst TPF. He goes outside of the map and brings it home, playing defense. This other team's about to score. He pulls the flag to make sure they can't, and then he really starts getting to work with his gunny here. There's one kill, there's two kill. Let's move that flag a little bit further, and let's go ahead and grab that return while we're at it. Third guy challenges. Does he know who he's challenging? Oh my god, that was a pitiful effort. That's a flag return. Number eight is Everything Evil cracked off the shoddy. We're on Street King of the Hill here. Everything Evil grabs the Bulldog and he starts barking. There's a reversal kill on the first guy challenging with the Stalker. Second guy flies into the hill and he's toast. Third guy is also dropped in ATMs and then let's get this four tier for the extermination. That's how you play King of the Hill. Number seven is OG Alien 420 again. Instead of moving a lot to grab the flag defense, he is not moving at all to defend the flag this time. He gets a clean kill on the first guy, lets his teammate die, and he grabs the second kill. Let's go ahead and grab that flag carry while we're at it. That's three down, all without not budging from that corner. Number six is Mil Kiko with a pivotal triple kill on live fire stronghold. He grabs the sniper, he has the OS as well. Quick little body shot again for the VR cleanup. Let's get that triple on the guy in net. And boom, just like that, they're in control. Number five is Basket Weaver. We've seen him do it with the needle before, folks. He is a god with the pink miss machine. Let's go ahead and grab this guy in cut. And there's two more challenging. That's a mistake. Second guy flies out of turbine. There's one more dead. That's a triple kill. Let's whip out that needle for the super combine overkill. Beautiful. Number four is Ripper, Ripper, Ripper. Coming in again with the Repulsor Shock Rifle play. We've seen this before. This is a throwback to week two. Just embarrassing these sword carriers. Now he's on a different map with the Shock Rifle and Repulse. But it's the same exact result. Gets a perfect headshot in the guy jumping and challenging in, in Whirlpool. He goes into body control. Gets another perfect headshot. He's the guy top control. And just takes the elevator. That's a double kill, triple kill again with the Shock Rifle. 
Here he is one more time. It's Rift Hunt 5 and Street Slayer. He's trying to get his team back into it. There's one kill, there's two kills. He's handsome his teammate, Dr. Slopping, who comes to support for the third. Rift cleans it up. That's three kills in a row. Let's go ahead and get the fourth in the guy challenging driveway. And let's grab the killing spree kill tag on the fifth guy. That's how you grab a team back into it. Number two is Debo himself with the skewer on Catalyst. He posted this himself, but we had to see it again. There's one skewer kill leading the body. Let's get the second one. Let's grab a little bit of vegetables for this kebab. Let's see what we can grab. Boom, there's the red pepper for the triple kill. And let's finish it off with some nice juicy steak on the kebab. Overkill, bagging the flag. Great job, Debo. Number one again is Space Crab, and he has his own comps. Let's just sit back and listen. Watch that guy, he's dead. Let's go. Let's go! Weak beetle. Uh, C flat weak. <laughs> and another one back tower. Ooh, there's one at nest somehow. One at nest. One at nest, guys. How? He's weak in nest. That's right, when you have a chance to listen to the virus, you do More it. Nice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please join the Trailblazers Club to be featured in clips like these, and join HaloFunTime.com for a fun time. Welcome in to week number five, Halo Fun Time, top ten plays of the week. We are a little bit delayed in getting this one out the door, but trust me, it is worth it. I am your host, Dr. Slopfingers, and we are kicking things off in number ten, Everything Evil, playing some last part of standing here. Gets a double kill with the Disruptor and then pulls out the AR for the triple. I already missed that playlist. Number 9 is Meow You Doing with a triple kill on King of the Hill Streets. He gets two easy cleanups in the hill with a grenade and the BR. And then he looks towards a flanker and gets a clean triple kill to confirm that hill cap. Great job, Meow. Number 8 is OG Alien playing some Rank Slayer on Aquarius. A perfect killjoy on the first guy, cleans up the second guy with the BR, then he looks towards P2, and finally gets the third with some nice shots. That's some good shooting text. Number seven is yours truly with some sniping BR action on live fire all oddball, gets the BR out, cleans up the guy bottom nest, swaps the sniper, swipes the screen for a no scope headshot, and then gets a triple to make sure that oddball keeps ticking. Number six is My Shot Isn't Sick with some sweet camo eyes. Oh, let's check that out from the other perspective. That's My Shot spotting out camo sword when he really needed to. And then finally ending with some clinical tea bags right on the face. That's how you finish a kill. Number five is Rip Times Five. Ripping some heads off here. We got a sniper on Stronghold in live fire. He has a body shot for the first kill. Here's another guy coming down. He turns around. There's another no scope headshot kill. Keeps the snipe out for the third kill with the snipe, making sure that they get that trip cap. Number four is my shot isn't sick with a whole ass killing spree. All right here for your viewing pleasure. Here's number one. Throws a errant nade. Then he looks towards number two. Easy cleanup kill. Number three, right there. He still has full shield. That's the double kill. Let's go for the triple, so it's flying. Here's some shots, kills him. There's a triple. Let's finally try to get that overkill cleanup in yellow gen. That's five down, good job. Number three is my shot again. We call this the my shot victory tour for a reason. We're on streets oddball. This is on Trailblazer 8. Right, is it 8 Eastern? He cleans up the guy bottom C. He sees the ball on the ground, but he knows to wait until he can get the kills. There's two down, there's three down, and there is the overkill. He looks for the ball. Check out that score in time, people. That's just clutch slays. Number two is Cousin Tim dropping some headshots on BTB here. He kills the flag carrier, kills the second guy. They're just lining up at this point. Kills the Warthog Gunner. Looks again, sees some shots. Kills that guy for the overkill. Another flag carrier. No more. There's the kill tag with the sniper on BTB. That's how you protect that flag. Number one is HCS Astro making a rare appearance into the top 10 on Team Snipers getting the overkill extermination if that medal still existed. Starts off with a clean double, misses the no scope, gets the quick scope headshot for the triple, and then the overkill extermination Team Snipers Aquarius. Beautifully done. Thanks for watching everyone. HaloFunTime.com is where all this great stuff happens. Become a trailblazer today to get featured in clips like these.
Welcome in to your Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. This is the 6th edition. I know we are not quite getting that weekly cadence, but we are still in summer vacation, people. I'm your host, Dr. Slopfingers, and I'm also number 10 on the board, Dr. Slopfingers, working with the OS here on Live Fire Stronghold. As one repulsor, throws the OS and the other guy off the edge for two Mind the Gaps to keep Stronghold C secure. Number 9 is a tag team, Space Crabs and Debo. Debo working with that shock rifle, gets a nice headshot in the air, and then gets some damage on the other guy to get a ninja in for Space Crabs. That's how you do teamwork there. Number 8 is Debo again on live fire. We're looking at King of the Hill this time. He has sniper top sniper tower. Finishes up with a kill with the BR, gets some sniper damage on for a double. And he's still rocking the up top and the ninja on the guy trying to sneak up behind him. He keeps that high ground. OG Alien 420 at number 7 here. Shows a clip from Bound in his description title. He's rocking camo and shock going in on recharge. Gets one headshot, gets two headshots. Still sneaky, still sneaky. Dodges a plazzy there. Let's look up top of ball carrier. That's three headshots. And let's get the fourth one try, two try. You know what? Let's about the BR. There's a team wipe on all ball recharge. Number six is Debo. Sniping here on Fragmentation with a Shock Rifle. He's not the only guy on his team sniping. There's a triple, but he's getting damage from the back. Let's speed up a little bit. Someone's picking up on him. Finnegan with the Guardian Angel snipe. Debo have to let him know in the chat. That's Halo Fun Time for a fun time. Number five, Debo. Perfection on BTB here again. This time on high power. Staying a little ratty behind this rock here. Continuing to do some damage. Make sure he doesn't die. Let's watch this game end with the final kill. And there we have it, folks. We are looking at the final point, point of this game. Perfection medal. I have not seen one of those ever when I play Halo. Good job, Debo. Number four is Tuchu on Streets King of the Hill. And she is queen of the hill here. Let's get double kill, triple kill with the BR and the grenade. And let's get the over. That's a team wipe. That's how you defend. Number three is an overkill again on streets again. This time it's Jermosis playing oddball defense here. Trying to clean up here back A, get two right there. Nice BR, get the reload going. We're looking P Street and Cafe. He gets a third on Cafe guy. Now let's look back PD for the cleanup wipe overkill. Making sure his team stays ball time. Number two is Germ again with an overkill again. This time he's playing with the HFT skeleton crew. If you are a bag of bones that's up late, these are the people for you. Let's go ahead and get that clean triple on recharge between control and C flat. Oddball guy, no he doesn't have a shot. He just awaits his fate. That's an overkill perfect for Germ. Number one is Space Crabs. We have a rare face cam opportunity. He's playing snipers on recharge here. Gets one face taken, two face taken. And he is still on grapple spawn doing his thing. That guy wasn't even looking. There's three. Let's get four. Four shots. Four kills for Space Crab. And let's get a fifth here. Six shots. Five kills for Space Crab. Seven shots. Six kills. That's how you play Team Sniper on recharge. And I love the face cam. Please become a Trailblazer today at HaloFunTime.com. And thanks for watching. Welcome in to your Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. This is the seventh installment of this wonderful series. I'm your host, Dr. Slopfingers, once again, dropping in hot with some sweet plays. Starting it off is number 10, Resolute Gray, Team Snipers on Street. He's only using the left stick to aim people. Starts off with a sweet counter snipe, tracks this guy through the wall. There's one. And why move up or down at all when you can move left or right? There's a no scope body shot to finish it off. Number 9, Everything Evil. Going in for a YOLO push here on A and live by a stronghold. Nice little back smack on the first guy. Gets the pink mid to close it on the second guy. And then finishes it off with a BR beat down. Third kill to defend this A cap. That's how he keeps going. Number 8 is BB7 again. Throwing out some insane nades here. There's one stick. And there's the icky sticky on the second guy. That's two dead. One of them including Devo to make sure that his team can grab that ball. Number 7 is Terminal with a nice little fake on the back of Catalyst. Sword coming, whoop! Goes off the edge, comes back, kills the sword guy. Make sure you can rat for the flag grab. That's 
how you stay alive. Number six is OG Alien 420 protecting his honor by saying it's free GA. We get one kill, two swings with the sword for two kills, three sink swings for the triple, and he knows the fourth is right below him. Makes the call out, he's grabbing, and there's the fourth overkill. Way to go, OG Alien. Number five is Smallzy for the combat evolved. Nading the sword to himself for a nice combat evolved metal, but he doesn't need the sword to shoot like this. There's one kill, two kill, three kills with the shock rifle for a triple kill, killing spree. Makes it look easy. Number four is Smallzy again with an insane flag save here in Bazaar. Two bulldog shots in the BR to save the original flag cap. Two guys coming in and he gets a, a bulldog beat down and a flag pull to save the second flag recap. And check that timer. Game over, nice one nothing clutch. small these teams. I'd like to have those clutch plays on my team. Number three is OG Alien again, not to be outdone. He's saving the flag here on TKF Aquarius. It's 2 2 right now. He gets a clean VR kill on P2. He's another guy, Fridge. He gets a nade on the, uh, the enemy base. The guy on Fridge is dead. That is three dead. OG is gonna fly at the enemy team's base to get that raid. Re is done. Another guy spawns back there. But, oh no, the flag here on his team is in trouble. How is OG going to save this? With a god name like that, another icky sticky for a double kill cluster luck. And he is going to go ahead and punch that flag home for the win. A lot of clutch plays this week. Number two, Space Crabs. Looking for a cap here on Catalyst CTF. He is crab walking around the back of the map. And he's not done yet. One grapple left and he's going to do this advanced movement tech. Do not try that at home, people. That is a curb slide oh, grapple oh through the middle of the map across the chasm go. while the flag is in his hands. Getting shot from the back. He doesn't care. He's going for this cap. Finally dies from a sniper and top skewer spawning catalyst. Ooh. Teammate gets that, that sword kill. Other teammate that holding one. the flag gets sniped right off the rip. So Crab says, you know what? I'm just going to do this myself. And he flies at the flag. Stops the re. Guy dies. There's the cap for the win. Space Crab is not losing that game. Number one is My Shot Isn't Sick with a clean overkill here on Live Fire King of the Hill. Stop mid, that guy's weak, and now he's dead thanks to My Shot's gunning. There's a second guy dead. Let's get the third guy off the rip with the sniper. His face is clean off his body at this point. And there's the body shot for the cleanup. That's an overkill on the King of the Hill, and he's making sure that guy knows he just got sunned. For fun stuff like this, please join HaloFunTime.com. We got plenty of stuff on the schedule, as you can see, and we will see you in the server, folks. Welcome in to another edition of the Halo Fun Time Top 10 Trailblazer Plays of the Week. I am your host once again, Dr. Slop Fingers. Shout out to Joe What's Cool for the audio glow up. We're kicking it off here with number 10, Everything Evil. A little two for one to start it off. Rank Slayer Recharge gets an icky sticky on the first guy. Everyone check the score and check the time. This is time to go clutch. 47-49. Everything Evil gets a 48 with some clean BR shots. 30 seconds left. They've got to find two kills. He charges at a guy here in bottom C because he knows he has to go big. Gets the melee off right there. Gets the clean DR shots. That's 49-49. Teammate gets the 50th. Gets a clutch win. Again, here on Team Sniper, Everything Evil finishes off the game. There's a counter snipe number one. There's the second counter snipe, and he's looking for the third. 49-25. First shot misses. Second shot hits. Another winning shot there from Everything Evil. Number nine here is Space Crabs on CTF Catalyst. We've seen him do this before. Let's watch him do it again. Get some clean VR shots on the first guy here in bottom gold. Finds the second guy in the enemy team's lobby. Gets a clean back smack, and he is going to go crab walking here. He lines it up with the flag. He knows he has three grapples. And here we go. Throw, throws the flag, grapples the ground, gets the slide, and he shoots the gap over to his base. That is the quickest flag route in the game. He gets the flag rate, and he's just going to punch that in to tie it up for his team. Number eight is Debo37, showing you how to play OBJ without actually touching the OBJ. Gets a first clean kill in bottom mid here on Aquarius. Gets a second kill on P2, and gets a third kill again bottom mid. Trying to keep his team clean here. He is not done yet. Gets a triple kill on another guy bottom mid, and gets a flag re. Can he do it? Gets the overkill before the enemy team can touch that flag, securing the re and the cap for his team.
Number seven is Meow You Do on a King of the Hill recharge. Also playing the OBJ. Gets two clean shots with no shield to get the second kill there. And the third triple kill. Still low. He drops down. Gets the overkill on the guy trying to challenge him. Don't challenge me. How you doing? Number six is me. My shot isn't sick. Pivoting his way to the OS. Debo has no shot at getting that power up. Raji goes down. Death Magical straight can't save him. And finally, Shieldy going for the OBJ. No chance in my shot shooting like this. He gets the OS and it's time to ride. Number five is Debo37 once again playing the objective and playing to win. He quickly avenges Milkiko's death here with a melee in Red Room on King of the Hill Street. He then throws a perfect nade in the tires and gets a thrust kill into the guy on Arcade. That is game over for him. Finally, an overkill in the guy trying to escape the PD. Debo leaving no mercy number four is Rob Z in the halo rec league match with a team wipe first guy gets repulsed off the edge second guy gets a nice pr sniper cleanup and c box guy no chance of living Rob Z cleans that final one and then avenges me how you're doing his death with a kill on the ball carrier for the overkill that is a team wipe and a ball secure Number three is yours truly with a minded gap play. King of the Hill live fire. This is clutch time. It's 3 3. And whoop, all three off the edge for the Hill Cap, repulsing to success. Number two is my shot isn't sick. And folks, when you have a gunny like this, sometimes the game just looks easy. Shock rifle and BR clean up on the first two guys, and he gets a whole new cartridge because he knows he's going to need it. Top A, no chance. There's a perfect shock rifle headshot. He gets shot from long haul, turns around. Another perfect shock rifle shot. Third guy goes down with a cleanup with the BR. And finally, the overkill. My shot was seeing the matrix on that play. And finally, Era Badge with their first kill tag in the game. He's got camo. King of the Hill recharged again. We're seeing this attic spot come up clutch. There's two kills right there with a double kill, keeping his teammate looking for butt alive. There's a triple kill on Loopy Snoop. And an overkill on Always Pro. Finally, a kill tag and a perfect shot again. That's how you use the camo. He charges in recklessly on the second kill and hill and finally gets his sixth kill of the match. Great job. For a fun time, please check out HaloFunTime.com. We have events like these every single week. And with the winter update approaching, we're going to have even more fun stuff for you to do.
Welcome into the first episode. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody, to the Trailblazer Sounds Championship like Series, hosted by Halo Funtime, the inaugural tournament here. We got another best of five coming up. And we have a special guest here on the casting booth with us. I'm joined by Clutch Academy. How's it going, Clutch? Doing, doing good. good. How are you doing, doing sir? sir? Doing, doing well? well. Yeah, doing well, doing well, running on coffee here and some other special sauce, and we are feeling oh, nice, fine. Nice. <laughs> How about yourself? Oh, nice, nice. Doing good, doing good, good. Happy, happy to be happy here, happy to support, support the stream, the stream and uh, uh, have a good time. Good time. Yeah, exactly. And then where, um, you know, where are you coming to us from? You know, I think some of us might be a little bit new to you. I know you're hosting the Clutch Academy Discord. Tell us just a little bit of what that's all about. Well, yeah, so yeah, Clutch Academy Discord, Discord was made, made for the community, the community uh, by, the community, by the, community, the community, with the community. Basically, basically, basically we're, we're trying, trying to create an area where uh, everybody, everybody learns together, together and grows together, together to make, make uh, the most, most progress, progress possible, possible uh, for, themselves, for themselves and then ultimately, and ultimately for the community. The community. Uh, a, lot a lot of people, people don't, don't know how to necessarily grow in the game. They just kind of keep playing and playing. Uh, I want to foster, foster a community where there's coaches, coaches and individuals, and individuals that will guide, guide uh, it sounds funny to say the next generation, generation as a kid, kid, but, but uh, uh, the, next the next generation of players, players to uh, get better, get better faster, faster and uh, learn, learn what they're doing wrong and what they're doing right and grow off of that. And then hopefully the community will grow together in that aspect and not have so much animosity to maybe start a part of the game, but to grow together and have a good time more so than anything else. So that's what the goal of the Academy is, community growth and individual growth. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, I think it's exactly what everybody needs. I'm happy to be a part of it and getting into the competitive eights. Gotcha. gotcha. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Nice. Good. Just smoothing out some of the technicalities here as we go into it. We do have another best of five series coming up for you guys. It's going to be the losers quarterfinals. As we move into the L series, we've had a lot of really great matchups so far. A lot of clean sweeps in the tournament. So hopefully as we move further in the tournament here, we can get a little bit more back and forth and competitive nature going on. As we start off with Streets, Oddball, moving into Solitude, Slayer, followed by potentially another Slayer match, King of the Hill and CTF in this best of five nice. series. And yeah, you know, honestly, it's just a great thing to have you here, Clutch. Um, you know, sure. I think the Clutch Academy, just in terms of it starting and where it's gotten to in its short period of time. I know last night I checked into the Clutch Academy and you had two series of eights going on simultaneously yeah. and just a healthy amount of active players. And yeah, kind of uh, eliminating a lot of the toxicity and animosity, as you put sure. it, in the Halo community. 100%. And I ho I'm hoping that uh, my audio settings are better now. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's uh, that's what we're aiming to do is have to the, the um, ultimately have more than two lobbies. Of course, it's only been about two three weeks of this, um, but we want to have it to where everybody can come in at any moment, queue up, and then have a good time with uh, competitive friends and you know be able to actually voice chat with everybody too, which is huge because uh, sometimes we go into matchmaking, it's only one person or nobody, and I don't know if that's Halo. I think Halo's four v four friends having a good time talking to each other, calming together, and you know, growing together, so. Yeah, for sure. You know, matchmaking is only just one part of the game there. And of course, you know, there's people out there grinding away on matchmaking. And, you know, if you find yourself stuck in the same rank over the last season, you know, look for opportunities to grow here, specifically in Clutch nice. Academy, Halo Fun Times. As we get the Streets Oddball started off here, the fight for Spanker over the middle there as four go down for Risky Joe in the chaos. Stone, Passion Patrol. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to have to get an update on these team names real quick. My bad. But we are here on the first map here. Oddball Streets, rockets in the hands here, able to pick up the kill and still rocking the shotgun here in tires. And what are you kind of looking for on Oddball Streets just from your perspective, Clutch, you know, in terms of the way it plays or what will really kind of differentiates a team that comes out on top in Oddball? So a lot of times when uh, people are playing Oddball on Streets, uh, they, they don't play the ball early enough. And uh, they kind of just, uh, I wouldn't say, they throw it. They go for it. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> As we get a restart yep. here, but go ahead, continue on clutch. Yeah, so a lot of times, they, I wouldn't say they throw the game, but um, instead of throwing the ball, they throw the game off of one play. So, like for example, for an C or an A, people like to hold it like an extra second or two, but that can be the 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 difference between the win and the loss. Think about it. Everybody has that one time where they held the ball that extra three seconds. That was, let's say, it was 93. Now, oh, we only need seven seconds. If I hold this for three more. 
but they lose the ball in the area that they're in, like A or the tower yeah. or PD, and then the other team gets 30 points, and now that team's like on the cusp of winning, and now you're like sweating crazy, and now you can't make good plays. It's kind of that like uh, snowball effect that people don't take into account. It's like, yes, we want three seconds, but is that worth the other team potentially coming back because of some crazy nade that they throw? So in oddball in general, not just streets, but streets is one of the harder ones to come back from. Um, it, it's literally a ball toss difference. Yeah, sometimes. 100%. You know, I think it's kind of one of those things that I always tell people like, when we're rolling with it, whoever's the OBJ, OBJ guy with the ball at the right. moment, you know, when you feel your spidey sense is going off a yeah. little bit, I think that's yeah. the time to throw it rather than yeah, be yeah. like, yeah, you just want to be ahead of it. Because just like he said, you know, so what you got those extra three seconds, let's say you drop the ball over by C, they get in there, they hold the spawns yep. on C, and now you're talking about them getting a 30 second chunk on Correct. oddball, which could be everything. Yeah, it's huge. And then on top of that, you're also one man in the, uh, let's say, wherever you're at where you throw the ball. Um, if you die there with no damage done or not even a trade, I mean, of course, you can't say you're going to get a trade. But if you did get a trade, that would just change the whole game. Mm -hmm. you know, so yeah, you yeah, drop it in early, there, get yeah, that gun out. Exactly, and actually try to get a trade in there. Plus, they have to look for you. Let's see this. Here we go. Fresh start here on Streets Oddball. Nice. Pale Pally able to pick up the early kill there. Early double kill as we go down for the red team as Rocket's going to be available here. And already Look moving their way into a C setup. Wow. The odds kind of did that there. Like, if he would have got that trade, that would have been everything of a difference. But even then, now they're all inside C and everybody else can move up. Yeah, great opening strat there. I think it's almost a textbook way you really want to have it go. You know, we got rockets, we got the ball, we're set up here in C, and we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. In the last game series here, we saw Passion Patrol basically win a commanding 3-0 here. This might be some of the stiffest competition they face so far in this tournament. As now we're looking at a 30-second lead here as he tries to reset the ball out there to go down for Passion Patrol. As now, grunts aren't real, are moving in to see here, cleaning it out, able to win the piv there, and the ball is sitting there on C steps. But there looks like the rest of his team has spawned out right. as they're starting to circle around there. The top B rail, got a straggler here down at ATM, perhaps. Able nice to pick win. up the kill there. Nice win by odds. Huge win right there. And now Here's here, looks one. like they might be able to fuck, they might be able to tie this game up here soon. Looking good. Uh, Odd's doing a lot of a lot of work here. That's actually very huge. That whole lane is such a big lane that pro teams push through a lot of times. Even though it seems like it, but the DMR now that people don't realize. It's, I mean, people might realize, but you can't shoot as far with it. So the B-Rolls attack that used to be very hard to push through when you're going through pink is not as powerful anymore. You could literally run up C stairs half shielded still with your friend and make a huge play. Yeah, especially if you can you do that G slide off of the top of the shotgun box, exactly. just fly into the C steps, and you'll get past maybe with a shot. As Basket goes down to the yeah. Rockets, odds man doing a lot of glue work for his team early on. And you can see he's just trying to keep the C spawn and everything. He's bringing them B, and he's rotating the pink again with the Rockets. Such he knows how important this side is. That's why he's playing so tight to the walls with these Rockets. Like right here, easy kill. If, oh, well, he chucks the rocket there when well, he gets the shields down. Oh, Ooh, man, what a big win by Pope, man. Yeah, Rod down there with a the shotgun. Somehow that surviving was such splash a big damage. Win. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All dead? No. Yeah, it was three, well, all dead for a second. Odds is up now. And it all came down to just that one play. And, and I think that's just one of the things that um, I've noticed just in terms of like the further you get along into Halo. It kind of becomes less and less about the macro and it becomes those micro things just those oh, tiny yeah. little details that you pay attention to that make all 100%. the difference right there got about 20 seconds of time so let's okay it's time to fight and then there we go yeah not able i think he wasn't really 100 percent sure there's a guy behind him but as they get right. the team damage there and they clean out the back odds now playing a little bit of the obj role as him and the rest of his team there I think they're like winning the slay game by just a couple kills here. It's pretty back and forth. Three, three go nice. down for a passion patrol. Yeah, I'd like odds to be a little bit more aggressive on the looking though. Like the, the idea of holding the ball, some people think they need to hide. But you need to actually be active on the map in the respect of your eyes. Because you can 
gear people to say, hey, there's three over here, or like, you know, things like that. And people don't realize those kind of comps can change the entire rotation of your team and can block, again, like an entire lane. They could change the game. So everybody watching, always think about that too. Yeah, because if you're in the back here, you know, it kind of you're going to get collapsed on more than likely. You know, what would be a better spot if you're holding the ball in C? Are you looking a little bit more towards like top of the balcony or trash or things of that nature? Yeah, yeah, balcony. Because think about it, you could throw it out too. It could be okay. Just watch out with nades. But commando's decent too if your team's on the B side. Mm -hmm. Right? So you can kind of look at B rolls a little bit and then you can look down mid. And uh, B, that commando hold is a pretty good hold. So long as you know your guys at B protecting you. Yeah, and already we got the first round down by Grunts aren't real. And it kind of a really quick round of oddball there just to kind of get it yeah. started off there. I think both teams being very efficient with the ball time that they're getting here. It's not really a scrappy game. It's kind of huge chunks back and forth. Correct. Now Composure here, he kind of lurking across here, top of balcony with the red gun, looking to put some damage down with this red gun as he's got enemies on B rails and over on cafe as they pick up the ball there. They get one down on grunts aren't real, so they're gonna have to start pushing the other side of the map here as they creep up to the 50. Putting some shots down, Composure, gonna win this 1v1 here. Two go down for Passion Patrol. He's chilling in the back of PD. He's definitely gonna wanna oh, try to get this ball out here. This. What a move there. I think able to get the ball out just a little bit, but his teammates kind of hung out to dry over there on B. The rest of the team spawning on Red Room, though. Favorable spawns for him at the moment. And Grunts able to pick up the ball and start swinging it back the other way. I like this rotation right here by keeping composure. He's um, doing good play right here by rotating away from that spawn. Uh, he bringing it back wasn't the best deal, but his team's there, so he, he can play off of that info probably. So that's a very good play. Yeah, keeping your eyes, you know, looking through the walls and reading the team, you know, that's just <laughs> just a great way to keep situational awareness. You know, I always get kind of nervous when the ball is back in PD just because it's just this one of those spots where we we're talking about, you know, holding on for an extra couple of seconds and then it could, it could really cost you if they clean you out of back PD and the ball sitting yeah. there and you spawn all the way on C side. So I always try to kind of lurk to a little bit more towards A tower there because you can kind of toss it out to mid. Right, right, right. Yeah, usually the, that's just a transition area to kind of get through BD or finishing area. You don't want to really leave it in there anymore, especially with rockets. If you leave that free, you know, it's kind of a oh, crazy yeah. place to leave it. So right now we got rockets though from Bud doing really good to grab those for, almost for free, wow. really. And this is going to really set them up to uh, get this ball. Oh, let's see what they got. Two down for blue. Three down for blue. Oh, man. Three down. Nice. Burns the rockets. I think he experienced a little bit of the splash damage on the wall there, yeah. but they were able to flush to flush him out just a little bit. Listen, don't ask me to define the splash mechanics of the <laughs> rockets because it changes on a given <laughs> a given day yeah, from what every, I've seen. Yeah, exactly. It feels like that. Sometimes people you you kill yourself before the other team. <laughs> Sometimes with those things. <laughs> exactly. Or it'll land right next to him and they're just like, what? They're one shot. Like yeah, sometimes right. it's really baffling. Exactly. Great. Oh, huge win. Huge wins there as. The ball's still up on top of Trash and Patch Patrol. Dramos is here trying it's to kind of flush dead. it out to top mid there, but unsuccessful as Patch Patrol now going to be spawning the opposite side of the map. Grunts aren't real, creeping closer here to the 50-second mark, almost halfway through the second round here. Great heads-up play here, kind of shifting here, you know. He's probably listening and gathering intel here. He's hearing the driveway call in mid, but maybe he wanted to get up there to balcony. Cleaning up the kills here. Oh, Pivotal that's double huge kill. Double. Double kill. Actually picked off there, but that's that's huge though. I mean, talking about like the play was almost dead on their end, and he kind of doesn't get just the trade. He gets the double kill on the way out and sits the ball in yeah. palms with his teammates here all over B rail, ready to put damage down. Right. All they really need to do is bait that ball too at the same time because they can actually rotate to A after a ball bait in palms. So it's such a huge play that he did. If they would have. Maybe stayed on B rails and just held down the, the eyes on it. They, they could have really reset that ball to A side and then just rotated and got a free ball. But now they're kind of getting a little aggressive. It's okay. It's because they have to play the ball anyway, which is good. Um, it keeps the other team on their toes. But you can always think of that. I don't always think you have to be aggressive on the ball when it's in the middle of the map. You could let them do that and then just take advantage of their mistakes. Yeah, and that's the, kind of that next level there, you know, kind of being patient and 
and playing the game just a little bit. You know, I think the same thing goes for the power weapons too. You know, I mean, you really want to challenge them, but at the same time, if you're all in a great position where you have numbers, you might be able to even kind of bait them out there and then get another wipe and then pick up the power weapons on your way out. Exactly, exactly. Very nice. You got here. Three on three, it looks like. Nice kill there. He's gonna probably throw that out, knowing that he's one shot. He's gonna challenge here. Okay. Composure, keeping his composure, trying to get that kill right there. <laughs> uh, probably calling that guy out so the guy's not gonna peek. Very smart play from him. Yeah, and from what I've gathered, uh, Delta, the veteran uh, caster that was just with me earlier, and a veteran member of the Halo Funtime server, he said that uh, definitely a lot of chirpiness going back and forth here, as a lot of these guys that are playing against each other in this tournament have known each other for a significant amount of time, so. We uh, definitely have seen a couple of uh, body shots and some tea bags, but I think in this one here, you know, you can tell the level of uh, competitiveness is kind of high right now as nobody's kind of trying to waste yeah. any movements. Four go down for Passion yeah. Patrol. Odds TV just always seeming to be in a great spot, laying down damage and being objective, uh, having a great objective mindset great. As, he could, as he already is working his way to a minute and 20 seconds of ball time and we're only in the second round. Yeah, and he's doing really well at keeping his death low. Um, a lot of people, when they play objective, they'll be the ones that take the brunt of the deaths because they're trying to, you know, rotate the ball and hold the ball. They're aiming for him. It's basically a, a target on his head, you know? So him staying alive enough and even having more than 1.0 KD is huge. Yeah, just a double-edged threat, really, when you're talking about it. Because, you know, sometimes I think people have that mindset that OBJ can get away with, you know, low damage and high deaths and a ton of OBJ time, but... You know, when you're talking about holding that ball, you know, all that time, that, you know, minute time you have is a minute where you don't have your gun out, essentially, and you're kind of working down. You know, you only have three guns up to their four at moments, so. Exactly. You got to be so, ready to kind of know where your team at, where your, where your teammates are at, and where the play is happening, so you can lay down damage in, on top of the ball time. Correct, and that's another reason why being able to have eyes on the map is so huge, because you don't have to hold the ball every second. Maybe, like, think about it, time to kill with the... DMR is what, 2.5 seconds, something like that? So if, is 2.5 seconds worth the kill? Yes, sir, it is. <laughs> if you can take a guy off the map, maybe two if you're like team shooting. Like putting that ball down sometimes is the best play. And uh, people can't forget, again, three seconds of ball time is not worth one kill on their team. Like, especially depending on the play. Yeah, and if you want to be an OBJ player, you're going to be the unsung hero of your team. You know, as we see that a lot of the times, you know, just in the uh, HCS, the OBJ players have already kind of swapped up in terms of the roster spots with Penguin right. essentially leaving SSG and you have APG, who is a large glue guy for OpTic, you know. It's, a, it's definitely a thankless position, but I think it's kind of all the difference really at the end of the day is why... 100%. That's why you can't just look at the kills and the deaths, folks. You got to be watching the gameplay in the VOD and, and really kind of uh, and work and work from that knowledge rather than just simply the scoreboard at the end of the game. Correct. But don't get mad at all your OBJ players in matchmaking. They're doing their best. <laughs> <laughs> Without comms, imagine. Oh my God. See, terrible. Last few seconds here. It's eight seconds for um, the blue team, Passion Patrol, and five for Grunts Aren't Real. We're about to see the end game right here. 45 seconds regardless. Three seconds for Red. Two, one, and that will be game, I believe. Winning team is going to be Grunts Aren't Real. Good job from everybody. Odds, you're my MVP. Don't worry. You don't have to have the most kills. <laughs> yeah, don't have to have the most kills there, but definitely doing everything for his team to kind of put him in a great position and making sure every life counts. You know, that's really what it comes down to. Winner. And so, you know, already a game one victory for them. We'll be moving into the second map of this best of five series. And, uh, you know, what are some of your thoughts after that first map we have, Clutch? Well, I, I felt like the entire team was playing together really well. If you noticed, I was, I was watching it. They're rotating together. So when somebody spawned, they move towards the spawner. And that's typically probably 90% of the time what you want to do. If your teammate's spawning in pink and you're in C, that means that they're probably going to be at B pushing you. So you would see him rotate his body into like C stairs or just throw out the ball completely. Uh, and then slay out, or try to at least. So they were playing really well, uh, Grunts Art and Real, and Odds was doing a lot of good work. He would put the ball down to play for um, the Rockets. He got him a couple times, and that makes the difference between winning and losing a game, like we said before. One play ball, uh, one Rocket grab, to your point earlier, about um, baiting the um, power weapons could be the difference between winning the game, uh, winning a round, or getting that one second that changes the entire game. So uh, I, I believe Grunts Art Real are doing uh, the best they can and doing really well.
Exactly. And, you know, and just in terms of watching their ability to coordinate with each other, you know, there was a tight match there towards the end of that second round, but you can kind of tell they had a lot of composure in terms of just finishing it out there, not desperating the ball, you know, making sure they're around their teammates in good angles and finishing off the kills to wrap it up there as you don't want to be the one that is so close to victory and oddball round and then to give it up at the end can really be crushing to the spirit. 100%. Now we'll be moving into a Slayer match on Solitude. So what would you say are kind of a, a little bit of the differences here as we take a peek at the total tournament as Grunts Aren't Real take the first map here. They'll be up 1-0 against Passion Patrol. On the other end of that loser's quarterfinal, we have a map, move, map two moving into there. And into the winner's final bracket, we have Mediocre and Online Shooters going at it. And so as we move into some Slayer, what are some of the differences in terms of uh, the way the game is played from Oddball to Slayer? Or what are some of the more things you're kind of looking for in terms of the emphasis? Well, yeah, so the emphasis, right, you have OBJ. And the objective of Slayer is to slay, right? So your goal and to stay alive. So your goal is to slay out and uh, you typically want to play with your team. The seconds to come back to life are less by two seconds, so that's a 20% drop, right? So the entire game's so, supposed to be a little bit faster. Um, but on this map in particular, because maps are played differently because of positioning, spawns, and weapons in general, um, a lot of times a lot of people f like to push for sniper, but that invis can basically win you the sniper for free. So like on this solitude map, I want to see how they break out, see if somebody's going to go straight, or the invis by himself, or um, two two guys, three guys, or all of them, because um, a lot of a lot of people like to push for a thruster into yard, but um, sometimes that invis is going to be the the biggest telltale factor for the game to win on solitude, since it comes up um, uh, many times by four or five times usually in a game. It could be in there if you get it fast enough. So um, that that invis is going to be a big deal here, um, and let's see some good snipes. I always love some good snipes from the teams, so we'll see. Yeah, we caught a couple of good uh, headshots in the earlier rounds. And so, uh, yeah, that would definitely be a big difference maker in terms of Slayer and controlling the map. And yeah, Invis, I think um, I think it kind of has been a slow roll for Invis being the top priority on Solitude. I think, you know, having the last season with QT up top mid, it kind of made that spot not really desirable or worth the risk. But Camo completely right. changes the dynamic on this map. And you can see here was a little slow off the roll here for that invis because somebody could already ran and got it. So let's see what we got here. Somebody might have got it from top mid and died there. But this sniper in the hands of space crabs, I know I've played him in eight before, so we'll see what he can do here. Oh, he's kind of in a unlucky spot there. They got a good spawn off of him on blue ramp. Now he's just trying to survive here and wait for his teammates. They're all about to collapse on that. Oh, nice shot. Okay, he's probably going to get that kill right there. That's two dead. Good way to stay alive by crabs here. Getting that crazy shot. Wonderful. Body shot. Nice, nice, nice. So now they need to take control of the map. Yep, now they're moving up, which is very smart. Knowing that the three of them got downed at one point is going to be huge because now you can just aim down the site with that sniper. And they have invis too. So this is huge for this team. They can get on a good head start here with uh, these power weapons here. Yeah, both teams trading out a little bit here. Grunts aren't real. Taking the three kill lead early on in Space Crabs is really kind of keeping passion patrol trapped here in the back of yard you know they're trying to poke out a ledge here just try to get some space but you know space crabs i think he made a he made a point of emphasis there with the sniper there i think just basically clipping feet and back shoulders of players with quick snipes and so letting them know that they're not able to move around freely on the map as now they're working with a comfortable lead here, 10 to four. Nice, yep, that sniper's gonna, just like you say, clipping somebody is, and, and even just having the sniper presence on the map scares people from looking out the window. <laughs> so, <laughs> that if you can control tower with sniper, it's, I mean, it's called sniper tower for a reason, you know? Um, that's why it's uh, such a powerful position when you have sniper. Not saying that uh, you can't take them out, but um, a lot of times uh, pro teams you'll see like Optic when the other team, especially when you have a Renegade or something, they'll hide in yard and they'll just wait it out until Invis is ready to pop up so they can grab that. Yeah, that's that extra level of patience really when you're talking about it, you know, instead of just feeding them into the cycle there, you know, just Give them what you have, you know, especially on this map here. You know, obviously, one side of the map here is a little bit more advantageous than the other there. It kind of reminds me a little bit of streets. Like, trying to get out of sea is, like, similar to trying to get out of yard a little bit. You kind of had to expose yourself in order to kind of take map control. And uh, two go yeah. down for Passion Patrol here as they do close the gap to five. Dramosis here with the invis. 
lurking like around. He, yeah, getting in, info here. Looks like. Two go down, three go down for patch patrol. It's just him here in the pivotal oh, no. 1v1. I think it was one of those situations where he's like definitely thought he had that last shot there and started to look away, but Space Crab staying in the fight. And look how big that is as he comes around and cleans up another one oh. shot, double kill, picking him up in no. high window, throwing nades on it, and the sniper's coming up here. It's great play from Space Crab. Man, look, look at how fast that changes, right? Just that invis, I mean, maybe if he was more aggressive or maybe he hid more. I mean, him dying caused two deaths and now they have a rotation on the entire map. They even have Sniper now. So like and now they're it's getting like, him off spawn oh my here gosh, too. yeah. So everything's not going well for the blue team in Passion Patrol right now. Off of one play and that just shows you the snowballing effect of a, sn a Slayer. But you can never say somebody is out of the fight because it can happen the other way around at any moment. So I like to see a good comeback from them. I always love that underdog kind of 12 point deficit. So let's see what Passion Patrol can do here. Let's see if that passion speaks for itself here. Yeah, the Passion Patrol is on full patrol here. We're kind of working their way back. Yeah, and what you're talking about that play, you know, in terms of the data, like they were down by five kills and then it expanded to an 11 kill lead here. And now it kind of seems like that gap and that margin here is what grunts aren't really going to be working with. And man, nothing's better than working with that cushion and Slayer, couldn't you agree? Oh, 100%. The 17, I mean, if you can keep the momentum going, you scare the heck out of the other team. It's, it's, uh, it's demoralizing for one. If if the team can't maintain a com uh, their composure, uh, they will not maintain the rest of the game, and they'll just crash and burn. So, right now, I don't know if they're doing that, but they're down by 19. They need to slow it down. Passion Patrol needs to don't give away their spawn because if grunts aren't real or playing the way that they are right now and keep on doing that, they're just going to collapse and collapse and just consistently uh, take over the map. And as they're up by 20 now, 21, they don't need the 20 reps, uh, sorry, 20 points right here means that they can literally trade the entire game or only kill every two deaths they have and they can still win, which is a huge cushion. So let's see what they can do now, still up by 20. Good shot. It makes it fun, though, that's for sure. You could just basically hold forward and G slide your way across the map into the next spawners, knowing that you have the advantage the rest of the way. As Ash Control here looking to try to at least hit the 20 kill mark, but more go down for them as they start peeking out. As you know, grunts aren't real, you know, they kind of pulled back here on pushing them and just taking the map control and the angles here. and. Uh, Probably making the smart and safe play here rather than just holding forward, but Patch Patrol gets two down on Grunts aren't real. Kind of starting to move out a little bit, starting to kind of get more connected here and finishing off the kills. Yeah, they look like they're running a little bit better together, getting closer to each other, but again, Grunts aren't real have more ability to play around. They go either go slower or just play for trades and they could still win. They, they just cannot lose their confidence. They need to remember they're by 15. And uh, just every two kills, get one kill, and or two deaths, sorry, get one kill, and you still win. Exactly, and then I think also when you're talking about a series here, you know, you at least got to try to build for the next game, I think, at least at the end, you know, you'd be like, hey guys, we kind of, they kind of really, really had us on that Slayer match there, but at the end, we kind of made a statement, you got to kind of build from that, because I think momentum in Halo is definitely real, you know, just like it is in regular sports, I think Halo goes exactly the same way. Yeah, it sure as heck feels like that a lot of times and a lot of big difference between teams, especially when it gets into the final ends of a bracket, is how well they can relax even under more pressure and uh, stay focused because then they start making crazy plays and we've seen that guy on our team that just like throws the game because they think they're going to get like a crazy triple or something. Um, that you just need to keep composure, play smart, play with your team and that's how you can come back and win. That's how they got in the lead in the first place, playing with their team and staying smart. So um, although this game's coming to a close and the good little stake there, they got a, a light stake, you know, 20 <laughs> kills. They almost lost it, almost overtook that, but we'll, we'll see how this uh, ends up in the next game. Luckily, the person was asking for a medium well stake there, and they yeah. delivered on it for sure, and they're definitely happy biting into that one. And so sure. a stake moving into map three, you know, that's definitely going to be a, uh, a statement there as they move into the next one, which should be an objective game type coming mm -hmm. up. And so far, you know, grunts aren't real, looking like they're ready to make a move out of the loser's bracket and potentially upset this uh, winner's bracket, maybe. A little uh, a little yeah, flashback maybe. to Worlds with a bracket reset. <laughs> <in the finals. laughs> yeah. It could be let's, in the cards. 
Yeah, they look they look strong. They're looking strong. I mean, especially at the start of that match, they maintained it even at the end. They didn't really lose their their lead. They got back to twenty. So right now they're hot. So if they can keep this hot roll into the next game, um, all they got to do is keep the hype up. Just don't over uh, ex exaggerate your confidence into the next uh, next games. You'll be good to go. Yeah, they could creep up on you. You don't want to come in too overconfident there. You know, I think. If you're up 2-0 and you know the other team comes in and, and smacks you around for game for the third map, you know that's kind of the you start to get the little inklings of a potentially a reverse sweep just on the right. horizon potentially, and that's definitely not a position you want to be in. 100. Well, it looks like we got a third slayer here. Nice. Going for uh, as the third map, it's incorrect. Let's see what we got. We're going to get a little uh, technical change here on that live fire Slayer. That would have been crazy for the other team. <laughs> Let's go, for, Slayer to Slayer. Yeah. That's tough. <laughs> yeah, that would be heartbreaking to lose two Slayers by 20. But um, again, OBJ, there's a reason why it comes right after Slayer. I mean, obviously, you don't want to do two of the same in the row, but um, it's a different mindset again. So you got to go game to game, uh, play to play, and uh, don't intake how bad you lost or intake how good you won in the last game. and use that as a precedent to determine how well you're going to do in the next one. You need to come into each game as if it's a brand new game, a brand new team, because at any moment they could just click and say, you know what, guys, we need to like step up. We need to stop pretending and stop playing scared. And that causes reverse sweeps. And then it makes you doubt yourself if you're the winning team from the previous two. Um, and it exhilarates you when you're the loser of the previous two. Mm -hmm. And that's where the reverse sweep comes from. It's just one side losing composure and one side regaining their own. Um, and that's where that comes from. It's just, again, that snowball effect. Just like a Slayer, good uh, personification of that or metaphor. Um, that's how it happens. A reverse sweep happens from the same momentum sweeps that you get by making a good couple of good plays. Just a couple. And nice. um, that's that's what happens, man. I couldn't have said it better. And so Clutch, you know, for some of the people out there who are watching, you know, obviously they have an interest in competitive Halo. And, uh, you know, obviously they might be looking for some opportunities to get better. You know, but if they look to join the Clutch Academy, they'll what kind of services are offered, you know, in terms of players getting better. Right. As, as we go along, uh, I'll make it quick and nice. But uh, we're basically going to have coaches from like Warlord SG, um, Batchford, uh, a couple of guys like King J in there. And uh, Carmea, too, is one of our on-site coaches where we have them there available to you. all You just message them and they'll uh, message you about coaching. But week by week, starting about two weeks from now, we're going to be having um, weekly coaching sessions for the community um, to watch and learn from the pros or people that have been pros at the very least and um, and work with them to, to grow as um, individuals. It definitely sounds better than grind than basically headbutting the wall and matchmaking over and over again as we move into CTF on Argyle here and already an early flag oh, pool as Composure's already in the back here ready to go for it but he's got an enemy player there trying to make a difference <laughs> and the damage in and stop it. An early 1-0 lead is definitely a comfortable position to be working from an Argyle as you know in my experience usually uh, it comes down to either one to two flag caps in a game or a long standoff either way it usually ends up being a low scoring affair yeah Argyle tends to be that slow moving game but if you can grapple your way into somebody's base and be a nuisance there consistently it becomes a lot faster that's why there's a lot of equipment on the map you could take theirs or you could take your own don't be afraid to use the equipment a lot of people don't want to take that extra second but you'll see people like lucid and all kinds of people go out of their way to grab these specific equipments and and use them to their fullest as we see right here it looks like um the blue team's trying to push forward a little bit uh pill pill pally is getting taken out right now keep composure it's a lot of trades going down on the map right now but it seems to be slowing down and the red flags being taken if I'm not mistaken, yeah, but it's already almost halfway past the 50 yard mark. Um, and see that repulse right there? It just moved that entire flag back. And you can actually use that to move that back into your base if you really wanted to be a little cheeky, a little smart with the <laughs> plays there, and hide it behind the wall. Like right there, if he just pushes it to a P, uh, he could literally have a free uh, flag reset, even with pressure put on him. Yeah huge plays especially the equipment they really can make a huge difference here so yeah do not overlook the equipment especially the grappler getting yourself across the map as two go down for passion patrol and grunts aren't real it looks like they're haven't really skipped a beat here moving into the third map as space crabs here taking the next flag run looking to go up 2-0 here yeah looking good through. 
Yeah, they're getting already past the 50. They got that response, that flag reset, and now they already got the other flag, taking advantage of those 10 second timers, the death timers. So now they're just going to try to slay out. Uh, they only have two guys to worry about uh, to protect their flag and protect the enemy flag. And they should be able to do this since their spawners are on this side. That's what's so big about the 50 is your spawners are on your side now. So that's uh, that's why you want to get it there. And you can play off of that 50 yard line as if it's uh, the goal line at the end of the day too. Because if your team could get there faster than the enemy, enemy team consistently and be, be a little bit of a scrim consistently, you can get that flag at the end since you're so much closer on the spawn. Yeah, it's always is tough working just from your side of the map there, just defending the whole time, you know. When you get out there and you work in open space, there's kind of a lot of uh, ratty ways to kind of escape and maneuver around through this map. As you saw there, just in that flag return in their basement, you know, they had two in there to clear out. So in order to get that final flag cap and space, Crabs and his teammate literally pinched him from both directions. So there was no way of him stopping that flag run. And that's how they got up here 2-0. And it's... A lot of that teamwork here we're seeing here, just the different angles that Grunts Aren't Real are taking. You know, they're kind of just one step ahead of Passion Patrol here, able to rip them off spawn as the flag pool does come out again. As Rod is going to be looking here, he's got a force of two to three here. They're going to be trying to pull as he gets What a huge snipe. snipe. Huge snipe oh. there, but Basket, the last one up for Passion Patrol here. I believe he's in the back of the base, ratting with the snipe here. He's going to be looking to make basically God's work here to try to stop this flag here and stop potentially the 3-0 win here and the 3-0 win in the series. There it is. Oh, there it is. Shane. And he was, he was doing that last stand right there with that sniper in their base. He was doing what he could, but when you have three men down and you're the last one up and there's three of them up, I don't know. That's you had to pull some lucid renegade level plays to get that that stop there, but good good job by Grunts aren't real. They they did a uh, a lot of plays together. You could see if we watch the vod, you'll see that they worked together consistently. Even that last push into bottom basement with the repulse, they they had two guys fighting one guy. He didn't know what to do most of the time. Even if your half shields coming into a fight against one guy, the two guys are always going to win against one. So. Um, you can see it on Grunts Aren't Real, 3-0. They're going to be coming hot into this uh, next bracket um, game, and we'll see where they go from here. Yeah, we'll see where they go from here. You know, definitely carrying that momentum in, hoping to maybe shake up this tournament as we do wrap up this series. A quick, a quick and clean 3-0 CTF on Argyle here as we take a look at the overall standings for this tournament. Grunts Aren't Real will be moving on to the loser's semifinal playing the winner between hypnotize and we could have i believe that's we could have been shooters i can't quite tell from the uh the extra spot there and those two teams the winners will be we could have been uh, who's daddy sin's daddies sin's daddies definitely already the smack talking the team names i love it as the winners of these two will move on to the losers semifinals and over on the winners final side we have mediocre and online shooters going at it in a map three back and forth competition online shooters coming out with the game five win in the winners semifinal and already things are getting nice and competitive here as we move on you know the first round here we had a lot of 3-0 sweeps but now we'll be moving further on here as we move into the essentially final four teams left in this first inaugural Ch Trailblazer Championship Series for Halo Fun Times. Nice. I have been your host, Silva Fox. I've been joined alongside Clutch Academy, uh, and we will be moving into a break as we move into between these matches. So any final words on the series, Clutch? I'd say to, that Grunts Aren't Real just need to keep the hype up, keep the heat up, um, maybe uh, talk about what they did right and uh, keep on capitalizing on that and taking into, like you said, those little micro things that they could have uh, maybe did a little bit better. But like, hey, guys, we could kind of tweak this and then we'll have that little extra edge because even though you're in the loser's bracket, you still got to remember there's people in the winner's bracket that beat you out. So uh, you got to remember that you're you're still the winner of the losers. But you got to beat the winner of the winners. So you got to stay hyped up, stay strong, and get those little micro tweaks. Gives you a chance to come back and win. Nice. I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Sozer, behind the scenes, making us look great. And we will be back with some more Halo coming up as we move into the break. Thank you all, and yeah, stay soon. tuned. Welcome into the first ever Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. We are lying to start because we actually got 15 this week. Starting with yours truly, Dr. Slothfinger is playing a little live fire oddball. 
He has a no scope on him to start off, getting shot at from the scoreboard. Letting his teammate take the kill as he grabs the ball. Teammate can't get the kill, so Sloth Finger does it himself. Beautiful shot there to get the kill joy. Grabbing the ball from the cut, gets stuck. Or does he? Ball gets stuck, and Dr. Sloth Finger throws the ball back at the enemy for the kill. Just a heads up play, of course, heads up play. Number 14, OG Alien and team with the Desperation flag cap on Bizarre. OG Alien using the sandbox to its fullest effect to get a back smack and Space Crabs takes off running towards bottom mid with that flag. Crabs gets it to bottom mid and ends up dying. Dr. Sloth Fingers tries to support but dies as well, so OG Alien gets to work. There's one dead from OG Alien, weakens another one bottom mid. He sees a teammate coming into support with Rocket. Gets a second anyways, and finally cleans up a third kill with a little help from his friend. That allows for an easy flag cap and an overtime forced. That's how you do it. Number 13 is Shieldy with a little cluster luck here on the streets. We have a beautiful grenade thrown. That's three dead, one stick, two more in the wake. One flag is all you need when you're that good. Number 12 is Yes Magical off the rip here on Streets Oddball. Throws a grenade towards Rocket. Throws a nade towards Bulldog. Grabs a kill. Starts shooting for another one. Finishes off the ball carrier here and finishes his third kill off the rip. That's a Street triple kill with ball time. Let him know, yes. Number 11 is My Shot with My Scope. Not needed. Some shy snipes here on Aquarius. Using the Bulldog to finish off the first. A little no scope in the melee to finish off the second. And then a no scope to finish off the third. Takes his face. Don't challenge him. Number 10 is Creamier Ken, who is taking heads on total control in Breaker. Let's see, one shot, one kill, one shot, two kills, one shot, three kill, triple kill, all snipes. They must like chunky peanut butter. Number nine is OG Alien protecting the station on King of the Hill streets. OG Alien with some beautiful VR shots off of the rip here. He get one kill, regains his shields. He is in back trash. He grabs the commando and he knows no fear for this clip. Let's start counting. He's got one kill so far. Continues to challenge. He gets a second kill right here. He gets a third kill right here on a double kill streak. Another one comes to challenge, and that guy doesn't know what he's looking at. Just a triple kill killing spree so far for OG Alien. Throws down the drop wall, sees one down on Rocket Spawn, cleans that up, no problem there. Someone's challenging him with a Bulldog, but he has the drop wall, using the sandbox again with the melee on the Bulldog player. Finally gets another kill, that is another triple kill, OG Alien, playing streets to perfection. Number eight is OG Alien, again, eagering for the over. He has one guy C Street, that guy is dead, <clears throat> grabbing the shields back on bench, and now he starts getting to work, grabs the rockets that were just laying on the ground, someone forgot those, and he is now getting some tactical information. He hears one P Street, but he's not going to challenge that yet, oh no, 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 he knows where to look, ah, no, 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 not there, let's get the first threat, boom, bottom mid, dead, now he loops back around. And surprise, another one's there to join the rocket party. That is three dead for a triple kill. Let's get the fourth here back in. That's an overkill extermination. That's the way to do it. Number seven is my shot, forcing a fumble for the victory here. He has a stalker rifle, beautiful grenade placement, finishing that guy off with just the nades, and he starts flying at the ball. There's a second kill. Third kill is the ball carrier. Look at that score, folks. This is a close game, and my shot just clutched it up. Let's fast forward through the victory here, because we already saw what we needed to. Beautifully done. Number six is Space Crabs. On BTB Fragmentation, he has a snipe out, and he is going to work. There's a counter snipe there for the first kill. Takes his face for the second kill. Whips out the BR, clean shots for the triple. Boom! Rocks the turret guy, the Warthog, and then no scopes for the overkill. They don't know what to do with him. Number five is a ba basket Get weaver who goes on a I killing frenzy. Come in, come in, come in, we come have a little bit of overshield yeah. left. He is challenging regardless. There's one dead. There's two dead. He is weaving baskets with the enemy's faces there. He's going back towards C flat. There's three dead for the triple kill killing sprint. The overkill extermination. That's 11 in a row. Space Crabs grabbing a Kilimanjaro here on King of the Hill Catalyst. Let's see how this kicks off. Beautiful nade on the sword carrier to rock that guy's world. One more now coming in from top mid. No chance he's escaping Space Crab. Zoom right there. Let's see what else he's looking at. He sees two guys coming in. 
There's a third dead for the double kill. Let's see. There's a triple. Let's get the over. Boom. And we are not done yet, folks. There's another one for the kill tacular. Let's get a kill catastrophe going right here. And finally, we have a Kilimanjaro. Boom. Melee not needed. That's how you do it. Number three is Krabs again grabbing it quickly on stockpile on fragmentation. A little body shot here on the one. A little second shot here on the two. Let's get a third. Let's get a fourth, but we'll add it. Three shots, four kills for the Killing Frenzy and the Quigley. Wow. They don't know how to even account for that metal wise. Another kill catastrophe here for Space Krabs just farm equips and BTB. There is one dead. He's got the commando and the hydra. He's using the commando again for the double. He's using the hydra again for the triple and the over. Almost out of hydra anima, so he switches to the commando. Whips back with the hydra for the kill tag. Man, one shot left. Tactic. He uses it. Throws to the commando for the kill atrocity. And finally, he's almost out of ammo for both guns. He uses all 20 in his clip almost for the kill of Manjaro. Let's get that eighth kill for the kill catastrophe. Beautifully done there from Spacecraft. Out of ammo on all guns. No chance he could live again, but eight kills is good enough. Bruh. And finally, our number one clip is Captain Punch. Just sniping in the back TV here for Street Slayer. He's got the shock rifle. He starts off with a double. Boom! There's a triple with a perfect for his shock rifle. Just letting the electricity flow through the enemy team there. Keeps his spot. Looking for enemies. Looking for enemies. Sees one. Sees another. And then his teammate rudely gets in the way, so he says, you know what, I'm whipping out the AR and I'm doing this myself. There is one dead. Let's get a perfect nade for two dead. Let's see, if anyone else gonna challenge? Is anyone else gonna challenge? They are, because they don't know who they're dealing with. There's three, and Captain Punch lives up for his, with his namesake for a back smack on the, the double kill for the, the hammer wielder. There's a third for the triple kill. Can he get another? He sees one on the radar. Boom, there's the overkill with the AR using the sandbox. That's what we like to see. Welcome in to week two of Halo Fun Times Top 10 Drill Blazer Plays of the Week. We are looking at a great set of plays this week. I'm your host, Dr. Slotfingers. Let's go straight into number 10 from HGS Astro. Picks up the snipe, takes a face. Let's get a second one right here. Boom! There's two in a row. Let's get a body shot in the guy in base for good measure. And he's walking towards top mid when someone grapples him in the back. Whips around for the no scope. That's how you get a bug off you. Number nine is Rip Times 5 playing live fire, bottom mid. Body shot with the BR camp on the first guy. Sniper headshot on the second guy in the OS spawn. Let's get the third guy with the no scope for good measure. It's Rip again in Bizarre Fiesta. He has the shock rifle. Someone with grapple sword is charging him at the death sentence. Unless you have the repulsor and you can no scope like a god. That's a bolt. True. There's another repulsor for a second double kill no scope. And let's get a third triple kill no scope. Number seven is BB7 on Bizarre Land Grab. He has the rockets and he's looking for somewhere to use them. He throws them right in the middle of three enemies. Takes two out. Cleans up a third of the AR and the fourth for the overkill. Let's get that land. Number six is the Space Crab looking for overkills on BTB fragmentation. He dodges the fusion coil from the first guy. He gets the BR and he has a shock rifle in his back pocket. And he is about to get to work. Let's get the first guy down. Let's take the second guy out of B. Let's hold that zone there. Whip out the shock rifle. And there's the third kill. Let's get the overkill. Easy as you like. Number five is Bat. How's it going, everybody? Thanks for staying tuned. We're back from our break already as we move into the Losers semifinals. If you were with us in the last one, you'll be seeing Grunts Aren't Real moving on. They won pretty handily with a 3-0 win there. And uh, what are you kind of looking forward to, you know, in this next series here, Clutch? Well, we want to see that fire keep on going. Uh, we want to see Grunts Aren't Real come in with uh, that 3-0 victory and just try to keep that steamroll into the next games. 
Um, it might be a harder battle, but they need to keep the intensity up. Uh, and then just remember, you can be super confident, and then you can be overconfident. So we want to keep that super confidence level as high as possible before it becomes kind of crazy. So uh, we'll see what they do on this. Um, again, so we could have been since uh, father. <laughs> um, and uh, and uh, them believing it's synth fours on the other team probably. So yeah, it is. Uh, we'll see how they do. Synth is a really good player. I've seen him in my eights lobbies before, and um, he's a good shot. So if they let him have shock on this uh, game type, I think it's recharge is probably somewhere in here. If not, uh, the sniper in general, he's uh, he's good at knocking heads off. Yeah, good at knocking heads off. There is yeah. We'll be seeing like the first of we could have been since daddy on the stream here so we'll get a little bit of a peek you know, in terms of some of the things that they're doing here as we move into our best of five series here in the loser semifinals starting things off with some Empyrean ctf then moving into slayer on live fire strongholds on solitude oddball on recharge and slayer on streets to finish it out here anything sticking out to you here when we look at the maps and modes well Empyrean is uh a very team oriented uh, map. I know all of them are, but it's so uh, one, it's a box. And uh, if you're looking at it like the four quadrants, you got to play off those quadrants as a team really well, or the other team could easily take over the map and just steamroll you and uh, spawn trap you if they play well together. And I know these teams are both high end. Osiris is good too. I've played with these guys and um, they're good at controlling the map. So we'll see how they. Uh, play against Grunts Aren't Real here as the first flag's being pulled from blue base. So Grunts Aren't Real already has a flag in their hands. Composure doing really well here to try to survive. Uh, let's hope that he gets his G slide. Oh, he gets shot out. Um, he gets taken out by um, the blue team. And now they're going to try to get this flag reset. Uh, well, let's see what they can do here. Yeah, what a great start there from Grunts Aren't Real. You know, you talked about keeping that flame going. And they were definitely fanning the flame there as they got four down on the opener. Sniper other power weapons and able to get this flag here back to their needles but we could have been since daddy here kind of making a last little stand here but unsuccessful as they get the first cap mic cap in there yep they, they moved fast and they took advantage of their um advantages uh, to be quite frank and uh, now yeah. they got the free flag cap like they did in that first argyle map uh that speeds everything on a lot of these maps uh, and you just got to watch out if, if the other team's going fast. You got to play at their pace. Do you want to be the one dictating or the one receiving? So you got to make that judgment right away. So it looks like uh, Grunts aren't real are dictating the speed. And uh, we'll see how the blue team can uh, make it happen. Yeah, we saw a lot of that in the previous series there too. You know, winning pretty handedly in every one of their matchups. And yeah, not skipping a beat here in this next map here as Synth is back here with the heat wave lurking around Sword. He's got a, an angle on him, but he gets sniped by Bud Bud who pushes him back as the rest of, we could have been since Daddy is clustered around here over on training and into Sword. One goes down for Grunts, two Yo, goes down yeah. as three Odds, down oh three gosh. down as Odds starts off already with a six and one kill death ratio and a flag pulls out. And you see how that, I think it was a blue guy in the heat wave area, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, that was a good play if that, if that was happening, um, but he should be flying. He should already be OE'd on the other side of the map, trying to trying to stop this flag pool. But it looks like they took them all out, and now it's going to be a very hard fight to get this uh, blue flag, flag back. Oh, Since man. four here. Since going to have to try to make a final stand here. Able to get the one, first one kill. Up but it's not able to get any more as OS comes up now and we could have been since Sadie is going to snag it. It looks like a second flag cap's going to go in. Down 2-0 early here. Kind of 1v1 here at the bottom of S1 and what a great trade if you're on the other end there and not with the OS. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it look, it's not looking too good for the blue team right now. They, they I think they want a 3-0-2, so they should be at the same uh, hype level, but I don't know how close they were. It does drain you when you have hard games that are won, even if it's a 3-0. Uh, if they're close, your brain's kind of slowly getting fried. So that's another disadvantage about the loser's bracket. You have more games to play. Um, some people take it as an advantage because they warm up more, so to speak. But a lot of times when they're close games and it's getting towards the end, it starts getting tiring and you're not thinking straight. So right now, I don't know if that's what's happening here to um, the blue team, but they're down two points and that's quite a bit with a whole eight minutes left. But I've seen so many other teams take advantage and, and still get their... Um, 3-0 in a cap row, so we'll see. Yeah, and also you're talking about these guys working from within the loser's bracket, so every series you're going into is essentially no, your kill. last chance to stay in the tournament. And 
when you're talking about the endurance, you know, that has to kind of wane on them just a little bit. But grunts aren't real. They look like they're ready to keep plowing through here. That's the flag. Got this blue flag. That might be in this one. Uh, might be in here. What a great response, though. Oh, no. Oh, get stopped at the goal it's line. Four tough. down. Oh, no. They get the oh, re for sure. Oh, my. And they make it the flag. Gone, man. Let's see what they do here. Oh my gosh, that's how they're gonna have to fight again now with the numbers down. They have two down with I think three of them up. Yeah, there's three on two. This is probably the end of the game here, and this this is gonna be it for the first game of CTF on Empyrean. You can see Grunts are real keeping up the intensity. Um, Odds and Bud Bud, the two uh, standout players from the last couple games, um, are keeping it keeping it up there. Yeah, keeping it up there, coming in with fire. I think I've seen two of the fastest CTF games I've ever even watched happen as they basically have gone 6-0 in terms of flag yeah, caps in their true. last two games. And I think the average game time was about three and a half minutes. So pretty impressive <laughs> stuff already from Grunts Aren't yep. Real. Yep, and then keeping those short games if you can, uh, especially on objective, make it easier for you, like we're saying, to keep the endurance going. So um, they, we'll they're, they're feeling hot. Yeah, now we'll be moving into a little bit more Switching it back up with some Slayer, and I almost think you have to be favoring Grunts Aren't Real moving into map two here, unless you're going to see some kind of fire come out of the other team. Yeah, this is true. The Slayer uh, on the next map is going to be uh, live fire, so we got to make sure that we take the power weapons here. That's a big deal. Making sure to rotate for OS time before, because if you, if you know Grunts Aren't Real are already really aggressive at this point, you can take advantage of that. You just need to be ahead of the curve. So that's the thing about defense versus offensive infinite. It's like if you're offense and they're not ready for defense, then you could take advantage of that. If you are both offense, it's a matter of a 4v4 team fight. Um, so you got to just determine at the beginning or during in the uh, analysis of the game while you're playing it in game, you, like what we're going to do. And you got to make that play call. If you don't make the play call, then you're just playing matchmaking at the end of the day, especially if a team's playing on a hot you know, hot stove fire, <laughs> they're going to be running over you, man. So you got to make that uh, judgment call as soon as this game starts, and we'll see how Synth's team uh, does. Yeah, and as the further I've gone along, and just in terms of playing competitive Halo, I think I've uh, not quite um, fully grasped how important an IGL is on a squad. You know, if you have four teammates who are just making callouts, you know, you're kind of just passing along information. You kind of almost need an in-game manager to make the play call in terms of like what it is you guys want to do. And I think we're seeing kind of that level of coordination here from grunts aren't real as easily every player is pretty much in a great position to cut off the OEs and CTF or to get the rotations or to seal off the spawns on the push, you know, making sure they kind of are outside and inside surrounding them and sealing them off there in their new spawns. And so, you know, easily a heavily a, a favorite kind of moving into this next map here on Slayer. Yeah, 100%. And then live fire, you can really control spawns if you're a good coordinated team. And uh, just calling out numbers. There's a lot of places to hide on live fire, a lot of little nooks and crannies you can go into. Uh, a lot of people like to hold forward, but on live fire, you could be a little bit uh, of a, a cheeky hider there, you know, playing a little Ryan noob, hiding behind a wall, um, and trying to get a back smack and making a huge play. So if you could play this live fire slow, and um, if you're not like the slay heavy team uh, that uh, Grunts Aren't Real look like, you can really slow them down and they'll, they'll lose composure really quick and you could change the momentum. So really, they just need to take control of this game a little bit, take control of the power weapons, have Synth grab that sniper, uh, play off the picks, play tower, and they should be able to win this game. But uh, at the moment, it looks like Grunts Aren't Real are going to run over this team and uh, we hope they don't, but let's see what they can do. Yeah, exactly. You know, And if you're on the other team, you know, since Daddy team, you know, essentially the one play here in terms of playing defensive is you may be able to set up a trap for these guys, you know, particularly if you control one side of the map and you want to bait them into a specific area and you lay down all the damage. That could be the kind of uh, plays they got to be making here as they kind of size up. Grunts aren't real. They got to make a statement here and three go down for since Daddy as it's now an early 3 0 lead. And, my shot isn't sick. Unfortunately, his shot should be sick at this moment as he's the only guy standing between them and Overshield. And now Grunts aren't real. Over. Already up 4-0 with Overshield. Yeah, and you could, if you notice that Breakout Sin got the sniper, and sometimes it's not good to fight out those uh, breakouts. Sometimes if you're like low shields, you just gotta play back then. I mean, we wanna make those crazy headshot plays, but 
you're not always the main character on stream. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you need to make sure that you survive too sometimes. And uh, we want to always get that kill, but like you staying alive there could be everything. So let's see if they can come back and we can see Grunts aren't real. They're already up by six. Um, and let's hope that uh, Synth and his team can bring this back and make this a really hard game for them. Yeah, just tough spawns for them right now. Every time they're basically four up, one of their teammates are down within a couple of seconds there as they got basically pinned down there in the back of mud. Now they're spawning over on dummy's side here. Gonna be a back and forth battle here over C Plat is keep composure. Baits and switches with his teams as they finally make the push in here and start collapsing. Two down on Synth's daddy. A third one, one shot here over at dummy's bottom tower here. And they're already coming up. I think they're always just kind of winning the advantage in these basically four on four engagements. Right, and, it, and the reason why you can notice too, even on the death screens and stuff, they're playing 2v1s here. Like that back tower guy was by himself, a blue team was trying to fight two guys. So we got to watch out with, especially if you're on the behind the eight ball, you want to play with your team, especially in a slayer when you spawn up. Because if they have more people on the, on the map and your guys are barely spawning up, they're not going to spawn literally next to you, especially if you're moving towards them. Uh, you're going to be going no, into a uh, fight. Now we got a triple from odds. I mean, this is starting to snowball again. I, I'd like to see since teams slow down a little bit and not like let them see them. They need to hide and, like you said, make a trap and then uh, hopefully get, get a pick here or there and then try to reverse this. But right now, they're getting a trade here somewhere inside the A area. So, like, two red down. So now they got to take advantage. They need to stay tight. They need to take these two guys out. That are left, and then uh, hopefully they can get this um, this map control. Synth gets taken down by odds. Odds doing really good, seven and two, as you can tell. Um, pretty good assist on the team. Everybody has some, and uh, let's see a, a lot of one-on-one -on -one engagements, and it's nice. But again, we want to play Team Slayer, guys. Let's so uh, we got We got to see this change up a little bit uh, from Blue Team, especially since they're on the back end. They're down by eight. Looks like they're uh, rotating to maybe pick up Sniper. But again, look at these two v ones. This is what I'm saying. So, here we go. Let's go in through cuts now. What do you think so far? What, how do you see this game playing out right here, Manny? Yeah, no, I think you just what you're, you know, you think you're pointing it all out here. I think we could be since daddy is kind of, they definitely know and feel that they're in the blender right now. And I think each one of them is trying to look at the situation saying, I'm going to break the blender here and kind of win this battle. But it's just two guns they're going against every time, you know. Grunts aren't real there. One of them gets one shot. Odds TV here staying alive, being ratty, getting full Huge. shields for the next oh engagement. Gosh. And gets the trade. So, I mean, those are just those little things that add up over a Team Slayer match. 100%. And these are the things that make the, the difference between winning and losing, especially if you're up in a Team Slayer game. Getting those trades and making sure they're on the back end the whole time is just how you win these games. But it looks like Rip is just trying to get pick the game back up. They're down by eight, but they slow down this momentum. And uh, Blue Team looks like they could maybe get this, but he's by himself fighting for this OS. He gets Ooh. an eight, okay, gets one. Uh, he gets, he might get this kill. He gets a kill, they get OS, this is big. It's big for Blue, they, they need seven kills. But um, with this OS, and hopefully they can get some trades here at the very least, but oh man, they're playing Team Slayer here again. So it looks like Red Team is really just getting the picks they need here so they're just trying to maintain this lead the entire time they got one down what is it four on four on three so they still have os they need to play off of this uh, they don't need one guy running alone there you go there's the kill that's good let's see how this runs that's two that's that's a good os life so you always want to at least get like two on you with the with the os yeah, definitely with the power weapons, you know, the expectation is essentially two kills for your death if you are the one with the power weapons, especially when it comes to rockets, snipe, and overshield, and even camo, I throw it in the mix as well. But I think, yeah, we're seeing some signs of life here out of Sin's daddy. You know, I think finally just putting up the barricade for Grunts on Real as they were basically just running throughout the map willy-nilly and doing whatever it is that they wanted to do. And, you know, we're seeing some good plays out of Synths. You know, you called him out earlier. You've seen him in the eights. You know what he can bring. And it looks like he's fired up here to kind of make a stand in Team Slayer. Yeah, he is. You can tell 13 and 8. It's a good scoreboard. He just needs his team to pull together, make the play call for themselves to stay alive. Because if he's cracked out and he's getting all these wins and getting this really done well, then they just need to play off of him. So right now, we can't be making trades. They're down by 9. That means, again... They, they have two kills for every death here, and that's a, that's a double kill alive. So eight kills here. Let's see if they can close this gap. It's it's kind of a hard sell here, but the, uh, my grunts aren't real. Look like they're going to just close this out right now, especially. 
Yeah, two go down there, and yeah, you're seeing just a lot of different trades here. Grunts aren't real, just basically making sure they're trading out here, laying down damage as two go down for Cincinnati again. Grunts aren't real, five kills away from finishing Both this play. one out. And yeah, Cincinnati Good still keeping, keeping the pedal to the metal there, flying at him. But unfortunately, I think, you know, it's just not enough resources in terms of lives left. Yeah, it's some good positioning from Bud. He was at the window waiting for that A spawn, and they basically baited that OS um, the entire time, and now they got it too as well. Because, again, playing bait, I mean, you get one kill, then you have a 4v3 on the map, you take advantage, they burn that. Uh, they're down by six. I mean, they still... They st Maybe not. <laughs> I retract my statement. I mean, this is going to be really hard. I've, I've seen these happen before, but... Let's see what they can do. It's Rip Rip has a sniper. Okay, let's see what he gets. He just got to bring his DMR. That's big. Okay, now you need to stay alive. Okay, that, that's game right there again. They're letting him go through the blend. They stopped the intensity that Grunts Aren't Real were having, but it was a little too late. So that's, um, that's sometimes the difference in the Slayer. Yeah, and I still think there's a little bit of a takeaway there, you know, just at least, you know, having that stand there and stopping them from just moving around the map freely there. But yeah. ultimately, in the end, though, Grunts Aren't Real basically put the brakes on and just set the bait out there for the overshield and just let them pour yeah. in there and just fly out into the open and unfortunately putting team yep. damage down for them. So no comeback in the cards for Cincinnati. And now we're going to be moving into the third map here. Grunts aren't real up 2-0. And they're on a bit of a tear here. I don't, I'm not quite sure. I'll have to take a look at the tournament bracket then later. But looking at 5-0 and in their last two series, and it might even be a better record than that if we look at it, which is pretty impressive for moving into the loser's bracket. And, uh, I'm curious to see if they're going to make a challenge to the top. Yeah, I mean, they're running really well right now. They're dictating the pace of the game. Uh, just with uh, the, the perfect example is that when Bud went to the window, uh, that just tells you, like, he's like, okay, we're going to do this, and this is the play we're going to make on OS. I know we're up, and we could probably easily play for this OS, but we're not going to let them get this OS uh, easy themselves somehow some throw play that just randomly happens we're not going to let them get the speed or the momentum that they would need to come back he made that play and that was a huge play that window play basically solidified the game the os and uh the 2-0 lead yeah and you know just a smart play too you know they they had a significant cushion in terms of the lead and team slayer but still keeping themselves in check and, you know, and making it easy for themselves and playing smart. And, you know, that's the kind of dynamic you're looking for in terms of a team that's going to make it far in this tournament as we look at the overall tournament standings. So, yeah, grunts aren't real. I mean, the only reason they're in the loser's bracket is because they lost 3-2 to online shooters. And so online shooters, though, got gets knocked out in the winner's final by mediocre. So they will not okay. have to face them again. So they may be facing a team they have uh seen before in this tournament it could be very favorable but still we have some matches to go over in this trailblazer championship series tournament hosted by halo fun time i'm your host silva fox i'm joined welcome into the first ever halo fun time a bit uh, <laughs> almost a break a little teaser break but now we'll be moving uh into the third map here which will be strongholds and so let's just say clutch you are on the team of since daddy you know, what are you telling your teammates here as we move into the third map? Well, we're saying we got to play off a of synth. Um, we got he's slaying out. He's doing well. We need to give him the power weapons, and uh, we need to slow them down. We need to bring them to us, and uh, they'll they'll make a mistake. We we can make a mistake here and there, but they're already heated up, and that means that they're more willing to do crazy stuff um, that they can maybe get and uh, disrespect them. You know, they they're killing and they're hitting the shots that they need to. But you Double also need kill. to understand that they're willing to do crazier things on the on that confidence. Let them feel confident and just play off of that confidence and bait them into positions that they don't think that are going to happen. Uh, a 4v1, for example, could throw somebody off big time, uh, even if they're on a heat up or a 3v1 push uh, into a certain part of the map can really change the dynamic for even one person because now they're, they get halted. They're like, oh my god, they're playing as a team now. So uh, what, do, what do I do? Go ahead. Exactly. And, and Bud Bud, I think, you know, he'd be a best bud of yours, you know, already starting off 4-0 and there with that early open strategy. And yeah, if you're on the other side there, you know, that opening strat where they basically had four go down and already working in a hole here early on into the strongholds. And yeah, they got to find something. They got to find it quick. Oh, yeah. They're, they're moving around here really quick as a team. So um grunts aren't real it looks like bud is just slaying out as well these two guys synth just needs to make sure that he gets the information that he's getting from here um, tower again is powerful but we 
just need to slow them down. Like right now we have control, no need to die for a position and just play your life. It's a 10 second reset, so you're giving them 10 seconds with you off the map. So is it better for you to recharge your shields in a couple seconds or a whole 10 seconds off the map where you don't even know where you're gonna be at? So you gotta remember your life is super important. It's a super huge resource for the team. Double uh, you gotta play off of that idea. It's like, my life is worth 10 seconds and me knowing where I'm at on the map. So like, you need to play off of that as the more important than trying to get a trade most of the time. Exactly, and it also depends on where you are on the map in terms of wanting to control their spawns. You know, I think that's kind of the way people need to kind of understand controlling the spawns is not so much of like really control, but knowing where they're going to spawn, which sets you up for just making it a lot easier than rather than trying to just gather intel and figuring it out on the fly. Exactly, because if you control their spawn, you basically, or again, if you know where their spawns are roughly going to be at, you roughly know where to look. And I mean, if you go into like a motor control, motor development class, I mean, college, they'll tell you if you know when something's gonna happen, and I, everybody knows this, when you know something's gonna happen, more than likely you're prepared for it. So you you have that split second difference. Like right here, he didn't know he was there until somebody called it out maybe, he got shot three times. That's the difference between winning a fight and losing it. If you know where they might come through, then you know, hey, I'm gonna probably dip out this way, I'm gonna shoot this way, or X, Y, Z. Where's my team at? Where's your team at? Where might they be? Let's. This is how I make the play. So it's a lot of micro what, on top of the macro that we're thinking about. So right now, again, they, they do have the two caps. They just need to slow them down again. They just need to slow down the, the roll of my grunts aren't real. And then um, and they can come back. That, that's all it takes. This team play, guys. Team play, slow it down, and you'll get this game. Yeah, and they do have the middle cap there on the bottom of B, and they're able to kind of hold it off. And now, Grunts aren't real, looking to really increase this lead here. They have C and B with their enemies spawning over in A, trapped in the back of Cafe and Yard here. Everybody in a great spot here. I yep. believe they have the sniper in their hands as well as, look, they recognize the straggler synth over here inside of Hotel. Right. They're going to pick off the easy straggler here and continue to give themselves numbers here. And it's kind of that that different selfless play that really helps out so much you know when you guys are agreeing on the player that you need to kill as key composure comes flying in here two go down for each side and the battle for b is commencing here across soda driveway and top mid with active camo coming up man look at the timing and the grab of that that's a huge invis grab good positioning from odds there that was very good using that pole in the middle everybody use that you can jump up straight to top mid from there and uh, make a huge play to grab that invis. Timing was good, his shield was coming up, he survived, and it was worth the potential death there. That invis is huge, especially if you're ahead of, in the game. Yes, you can bait it, but that invis has so much cover that if you can't get that invis quick enough, that other team's gonna just grasp it without you realizing it. So, Odd's doing a good job here, just getting B and just kind of solidifying this position here. Um, I'd like to bring up one thing that we didn't really uh, talk about was that when they were playing that C side, when uh, they're baiting them and he was throwing nades at top ledge and then yard door, they moved into the C lane. Like the entire LR, C, and uh, glass area, that whole side that's behind odds right now. And they spawned them there. That's why it was so easy for him to throw nades and like, this might hit somebody, um, this might stop somebody. Um, but it also puts us in a position of like, okay, where are they at? Where do we know we're at? And now we can collapse on them or at least bait them out of their hiding space, so to speak, since we both have B and C. So they're playing very smart here. They're, they're setting up the other team again. See how they're all on this side? They're like, no, they're going to be there. We're spotting them in blue. This is the, this is the game plan that they're doing. This is what's really torching this team. And they re uh, the blue team needs to be running into yard right now and trying to rotate through looping glass because my shot isn't sick. It's by himself here. They've got some kills. It's a I think it's a two down now. They can make a play off of this, but they're kind of brute forcing it here. They need to make a play call to say that we need to run this together in a systematic fashion. That, that's the thing that Grunts aren't real doing. Um, and we just need to see that from Blue Team. I think they could come back. It's They got the uh, two caps here and um, all dead, it looks like almost. Yeah, all so, dead and the sniper coming up here since four. No, he wants to try to back him off here. And yeah, it kind of whenever we're going across the screen to different members of Since Daddy, you know, they're obviously playing on difficulty, the hardest difficulty, you know, they're facing grenades here as Space Crab's able to pick up the active camo, you know, Grunts aren't real, really controlling all of the major facets of the game, they're just holding the numbers advantage, 
d doing damage, getting camo, getting easy back smacks here, and just maneuvering their way across the map. And yeah, it's it's a very difficult uphill battle here for Cincinnati. Yeah, and this is the final game. So, if they, that's what you do in your first games, is like, what are they doing that's uh, beating us? Are we playing scared? Are we playing too fast? Are we playing too um, off the cuff, kind of just hoping to get a win? Or are we playing as a team? Or you got to make those judgment calls from the first two losses that you made, and that's how you make. Again, the reverse sweep. You just got to keep the composure and uh, make the play call of what's going to dump this other team. But right now, it just looks like uh, the Space Crabs team of Grunts Aren't Real are going to close this out with 30 seconds remaining. A double kill double from Osiris. Kill. Um, might bring this back a little bit, but it's it's a huge uphill battle, like you said. I, I don't know, Manny. What do you think? What, what do they got to do, too, to get this yeah. back into your... Yeah, you, know, you got to start from somewhere. There's Cyrus with the key double kill there in the bottom, and they get B. They have C and B, which is definitely the side you want here on this map. But it looks as if most of their team members are still trapped over in Cafe, and we get a total flip, triple cap here. Oh, this it looks, looks like, like it might it. be the final call here for Since Daddy, unless we there's got... a miracle in the, on the horizon. Gosh, we got six seconds to run and get somewhere. And uh, that's they're gonna have to dunk into B to the Devil's Den if they even get there. And that's it. That's 3-0. Um, that's uh, that just shows you Grunts Aren't Real are filling it. Um, they're they're killing it, and uh, maybe they might be stealing it <laughs> in the finals today. Uh, so I don't know. They look like a team to watch. Yeah, definitely, just impressive stuff. You know, I don't think there was really ever a moment throughout that series, and even the one we watched prior, where we felt like it was out of hand for them. It was a pretty commanding all. win across the board. You know, just in terms of controlling the resources, controlling the map, the teamwork, the angles. You know, essentially yep. everybody going against them is going to be in like a one v two situation, exactly. and it's off the spawn if you make it past the grenades. So, uh, yeah, looks like the one that could be stealing it. Yeah, yeah, Grunts aren't really doing so well. Um, my money's on them right now in terms of what I've been watching today. So um, Space Crabs might have a, a win on his hands, but we still got to go through the other team that originally wasn't the team that they lost to. So even that is, uh, is a good thing for them. They can't head case anymore. Like we didn't lose to this team. It's a different mm -hmm. team we're playing. Um, so now they have the ability to come back and actually win the entire tournament. Um, if they can make it that way, then could do to them but um, I'm hoping the best for them as they go through they did really well they showed out all the objective games they really took over 3-0 on both flags 63-250 on this um a victory here I mean that means that they're basically just playing the online shooters and then if they beat them then they got the last final grand finals to only play one round with mediocre and uh hopefully let's see what they do yeah fantastic you know it's been a real pleasure having you on the cast here um, I love your insights and your analysis. I love the plug for the Clutch Academy for anybody out there looking to get better. I highly recommend it. I get in there on the eights, but definitely make sure I'm warmed up and ready because it can get pretty yeah. sweaty in there. And you know what? If you're looking for good competition, you're looking to get better, be sure to check it out. Uh, any final words you got for us, Clutch, as we kind of round out yep. the end of this series? Yeah, I'd say um, that everybody, just when you're watching a lot of people ga people's games, that they're typically doing things for a reason. So. Um, when you watch Lucid and things like that, they are at a higher level. And I'm kind of throwing this is kind of outside of what we talked about the tournament. But you want to remember that asking the person that's a little bit better than you or a coach that's been a coach for a while, that's seen people at your level, they're the people that are going to help you more than... I'm not saying watching Lucid isn't good because it's very good. But you need to learn why he's doing what he's doing, not just what he's doing. You see what I'm saying? So like the way that they moved, uh, grunts aren't real. Moved to the seaside yard uh, and the uh, sorry the glass hold and spawning them on blue side, and giving them A basically. He like said take A, but we're spawning you there. That kind of play, not knowing that on the other side of the team, since team, uh, just throws you into a blend, and you think you're dying because they're just killing you because they're better than you. No, it's it, it, they they're better than you in the respect that they're controlling what you're doing. So you got to understand what the other team is doing as, as well as what you're doing. Um, but when you watch or when you learn from a coach and stuff like that, um, that's what you get. A lot of people think, oh, I'm just going to watch a VOD. What am I learning? It's, it's learning what you could have done and why that would have been better in that situation. And Halo is a situational based game. It's basically a strategy game every single life and every single death. Um, you can have a good death and a bad death. You can have a, a good kill and a bad kill. So you just got to make sure that when you're playing this game, um, you take that micro and macro, mold them together, 
um, and then um, uh, be the best version of yourself on this game and keep on growing. So we're here with you in Clutch Academy. Thank you, Manny, and thank you, team. I call you Manny because I know you're from that from eights, <laughs> obviously, um, Mr. Silva. But uh, but yeah, I, I appreciate it. I had a good time, and um, I'll stay in the stream, see how grunts aren't real, roll with it, and uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, an absolute pleasure. Uh, thank you for joining us. It's been a real great time. And obviously, uh, I think, you know, just from my perspective, hopefully this is the beginning of a much larger thing going forward here as we start to connect sure. a lot of these different Halo communities together here. And there's a lot of us here that are focused on making Halo an environment open to everybody that's competitive. So 100%. don't let the salt get crusted on you. You know, look for other players. There's people out there 100%. who are looking to get better just like yourselves. And of course, the Clutch Academy is a great spot for it. Halo Fun Time, Halo Rec League. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so without further ado, I think we're going to wrap it up. We're going to move into a quick break before we move into the next stream. And that's been everything from this one as we look for grunts aren't real to kind of make a huge splash in this tournament, maybe upset things. Let's see it. Let's see it, Space Crabs. I'm watching you. <laughs> He's watching. <laughs> yeah. And we'll be watching here. And you guys stay tuned as we move into the break. Thank you all. Yeah, thank you. Welcome into the first ever Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. We are lying to start because we actually got 15 this week. Starting with yours truly, Dr. Slothfinger is playing a little live fire oddball. He has a no scope on him to start off, getting shot at from the scoreboard, letting the teammate take the kill as he grabs the ball. The teammate can't get the kill, so Slothfinger does it himself. Beautiful shot there to get the kill joy, grabbing the ball from the cut to get stuck. Or <laughs> does he? Ball gets stuck, and Dr. Slothfinger throws the ball back at the enemy for the kill. Just a heads-up play for a chance-up play. Number 14, OG Alien and team with the Desperation Flag Cap on Bizarre. OG Alien using the sandbox to its fullest effect to get a back smack, and Space Crabs takes off running towards bottom mid with that flag. Crabs gets it to bottom mid and ends up dying. Dr. Slothfinger tries to support but dies as well, so OG Alien gets to work. There's one dead from OG Alien, weakens another one bottom mid, he sees a teammate coming in to support with Rocket, gets a second anyways, and finally cleans up a third kill with a little help from his friends, that allows for an easy flag cap and an overtime forced. That's how you do it. Number 13 is Shieldy with a little cluster luck here on the streets. We have a beautiful grenade thrown, that's three dead, one stick, two more in the wake, one plaza is all you need when you're that good. Number 12 is Yes Magical off the rip here on Streets Oddball. Throws a grenade towards Rocket. Throws a nade towards Bulldog. Grabs a kill. Starts shooting for another one. Finishes off the ball carrier here and finishes his third kill off the rip. That's a Street triple down, kill with ball time. Let him know, yes. Number 11 is My Shot with My Scope. Not needed. Some shy snipes here on Aquarius. Using the Bulldog to finish off the first. A little no scope in the melee to finish off the second. And then a no scope to finish off the third. Takes his face. Don't challenge him. Number 10 is Creamier Ken, who is taking heads on total control in Breaker. Let's see, one shot, one kill, one shot, two kills, one shot, three kill, triple kill, all snipes. They must like chunky peanut butter. Number 9 is OG Alien protecting the station on King of the Hill streets. OG Alien with some beautiful VR shots off of the rip here to get one kill, regains his shields. He is in back trash. He grabs the commando and he knows no fear for this clip. Let's start counting. He's got one kill so far. Continues to challenge. He gets a second kill right here. He gets a third kill right here on a double kill streak. Another one comes to challenge and that guy doesn't know what he's looking at. That's a triple kill killing spree so far for OG Alien. Throws down the drop wall, sees one down on rocket spawn. Cleans that up, no problem there. Someone's challenging him with a Bulldog, but he has the drop wall. Using the sandbox again with the melee on the Bulldog player. Finally gets another kill. That is another triple kill. OG Alien playing streets to perfection. Number eight is OG Alien again, eagling for the over. He has one guy P Street. That guy is dead. <clears throat> Driven the shields back on bench. And now he starts getting to work. Grabs the rockets that were just laying on the ground. Someone forgot those. And he 
is now getting some tactical information. He hears one peace tree, but he's not gonna challenge that yet. Oh no, no, no. He knows where to look. Oh, no, 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 not that. Let's get the first threat. Boom, bottom mid, dead. Now he loops back around. And surprise, another one's there to join the rocket party. That is three dead for a triple kill. Let's get the fourth here back and that's an overkill extermination. That's the way to do it. Number seven is my shot, forcing a fumble for the victory here. He has a stalker rifle, beautiful grenade placement, finishing that guy off with just the nades, and he starts flying at the ball. There's a second kill. Third kill is the ball carrier. Look at that score, folks. This is a close game, and my shot just clutched it up. Let's fast forward through the victory here, because we already saw what we needed to. Beautifully done. Number six is Space Crabs. On BTB Fragmentation, he has a snipe out and he is going to work. There's a counter snipe there for the first kill. Takes the face for the second kill. Whips out the BR, clean shots for the triple. Boom! Rocks the turret guy, the Warthog, and then no scopes for the overkill. They don't know what to do with him. Number five is a bas basket weaver who goes on a killing frenzy. We have a little bit of overshield left. He is challenging regardless. There's one dead. There's two dead. He is weaving baskets with the enemy's faces there. He's going back towards the C flat. There's three dead for the triple kill killing spread. The overkill extermination. That's 11 in a row. Space Crabs grabbing a Kilimanjaro here on King of the Hill Catalyst. Let's see how this kicks off. Beautiful nade on the sword carrier to rock that guy's world. One more now coming in from top mid. No chance he's escaping Space Crab. Zoom right there. Let's see what else he's looking at. You see two guys coming in. There's a third dead for the double kill. Let's see. There's a triple. Let's get the over. Boom. And we are not done yet, folks. There's another one for the kill tacular. Let's get a kill catastrophe going right here. And finally, we have a Kilimanjaro. Boom. Melee not needed. That's how you do it. Number three is Crabs again grabbing it quickly on stockpile on fragmentation. A little body shot here on the one. A little second shot here on the two. Let's get a third. And let's get a fourth, but we'll add it. Three shots, four kills for the Killing Frenzy and the Quigley. Wow. They don't know how to even account for that metal wise. Another kill catastrophe here for Space Crabs. Just farm equips and BTB. There is one dead. He's got the Commando and the Hydra. He's using the Commando again for the double. He's using the Hydra again for the triple and the over. Almost out of Hydra anima, so he switches to the Commando. Whips back with the Hydra for the kill tag. Man, one shot kill left. Tag, he uses it. Goes to the Commando for the kill atrocity. And finally, he's almost out of ammo for both guns. He uses all 20 in his clip almost for the kill of Manjaro. Let's get that 8th kill for the kill catastrophe. Beautifully done there from Space Crabs. Out of on all guns. No chance he can live again, but eight kills is good enough. Bruh. And finally, our number one clip is Captain Punch. Just sniping in the back TV here for Street Slayer. He's got the shock rifle. He starts off with a double. Boom! There's a triple with a perfect for his shock rifle. Just letting the electricity flow through the enemy team there. Keeps his spot. Looking for enemies. Looking for enemies. Sees one. Sees another. And then his teammate rudely gets in the way, so he says, you know what, I'm whipping out the AR and I'm doing this myself. There is one dead. Let's get a perfect nade for two dead. Let's see, if anyone else going to challenge? Is anyone else going to challenge? They are, because they don't know who they're dealing with. There's three, and Captain Punch lives up for his, with his namesake for a back smack on the, the double kill for the, the hammer wielder. There's a third for the triple kill. Can he get another? He sees one on the radar. Boom, there's the overkill with the AR using the sandbox. That's what we like to see. Welcome in to week two of Halo Fun Times Top 10 Trail Blazer Plays of the Week. We are looking at a great set of plays this week. I'm your host, Dr. Slotfingers. Let's go straight into number 10 from HGS Astro. Picks up the snipe, takes a face. Let's get a second one right here. Boom! There's two in a row. Let's get a body shot in the guy in base for good measure. And he's walking towards top mid when someone grapples him in the back. Whips around for the no scope. That's how you get a bug off you. Number nine is Rip Times 5 playing live fire bottom mid. Body shot with the BR camp on the first guy. Sniper headshot on the second guy in the OS spawn. Let's get the third guy with the no scope for good measure. 
It's Rip again in Bizarre Fiesta. He has the shock rifle. Someone with grapple sword is charging him at the death sentence. Unless you have the repulsor and you can no scope like a god. That's a bolt. True. There's another repulsor for a second double kill no scope. And let's get a third triple kill no scope. Number seven is BB7 on Bizarre Land Grab. He has the rockets and he's looking for somewhere to use them. He throws them right in the middle of three enemies. Takes two out. Cleans up a third of the AR and the fourth for the overkill. Let's get that land. Number six is the Space Crab looking for overkills on BTB Fragmentation. He dodges the fusion coil from the first guy. He gets the BR and he has a shock rifle in his back pocket. And he is about to get to work. Let's get the first guy down. Let's take the second guy out of B. Let's hold that zone there. Whip out the shock rifle. And there's the third kill. Let's get the overkill. Easy as you like. Number five is Basket Weaver playing some sweaty oddball and live fire. Gets an easy kill bottom guys, mid. And he turns his in. attention I'm towards the oddball. Cleans up the oddball carrier. Let's get the third guy here for the triple. And let's clean out elevators for the fourth kill here for control. That's how you play oddball. Number four is Rip again playing Streets Land Grab. Grabs a heat wave right there. Let's get the first kill. And let's get the second kill. With a little drop wall, boom block, return to sender action. Third kill with the melee and to use the full sandbox is a BR overkill. That's what Halo is all about. Number three is Creamy or Ken again on BTB. The Bulldog had no shot when Ken's on his game. He keeps the BR and the sniper though because he knows what's coming. Let's take a face right here. Easy. I'm back! Hey, how's it going, everyone? Space Crab's reign of terror continues. Um, the script definitely um, still as written coming into this tournament. Uh, let's see if anything changes. Uh, you know, this isn't fixed, uh, I promise. Uh, I, I've been assured <laughs> by our Lord and Savior, Space Crabs, that this is all totally normal and that it's complete coincidence that all uh, four of our five games tonight have featured his team. <laughs> the fix is in. Now I'm just kidding. But it's okay, though. He said himself, right, that that's definitely not that way. So we definitely just yeah, take he that did one at face himself, value. Yeah, he definitely himself said that it wasn't a fix. So it's it's all good. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Um, right. I've got to say as well, coming into this one, North's like this is a rematch of the only game Grunts Aren't Real have lost um, in their uh, quote unquote underdog losers bracket run. Um, uh, I don't know why I put the quotes there. I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> sir. Don't hurt me. I want to do this again. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, so. Yeah, we're coming up against. He's good. They're coming up against North Snipes team, which have been like you know balling out in the winners side uh, until uh, they're just the last match there. So I mean, this rematch could have a little bit of spice in it. You know, could be some spice. Could be very yeah. good. Yeah, a bit of spice. Also, I've got to give a shout out to Sozer uh, hey. for uh, the Halo Fun Time logo in the transitions being in the colors of the Irish flag. Uh, thank you very much for uh, considering me, Sozer. Uh, I didn't miss it, and it's uh, very much appreciated and intentional, I'm sure. It's the little <laughs> details that make a big impact. Absolutely, you know. And the Irish invasion is in, you know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, what is with that? It's like, what is with, what is the connection Halo and, uh, and Ireland? It just seems to be so significant. Well, I mean, you know, we have Shirzy, we have me, we have Glory GGs, and, you know, uh, we recently, well, uh, at the start of uh, Halo, um, we kind of had the, what was it, the uh, Cristola, who got dropped by Jay Lings, and I'll never forgive them for it. Um, not salty, I swear. But, so now, like, 
Yeah. I love so this now, game. What, is, it the, is it the IRA has infiltrated Halo? Is that what I'm understanding? Is that... Um, I can neither confirm nor deny that. You're right. Um, I won't dig. I won't I dig further. I would say, yeah, I would say that the the IRA are kind of a bit of a, <laughs> a saucy topic. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, stepping back from that uh, <laughs> group that I have no affiliations with, I am telling you right now, completely legit. Taking a moment. I'm not in the re-raw. It's all good, right? So. Uh, <laughs> We are coming into um, our first game, which will be Recharge Strongholds. A game type I don't know that we've seen yet. A map mode combination that we haven't seen yet in this Losers Final. It's a very, like, fluid game. It's a very hold, like, like, you can hold AB really well, like, on this map. You get a proper setup and it's going to be a nightmare to break down. Um, but you know, uh, at the same time, you can also have this cheeky little AC hold, like you know, that really like if you are the kind of team that know each other very well, um, you should be able to, like you know, control A and C by having you know your little rotator in, uh, control, right? Um, you know, go for a two on one. And you, like, you know, could really make things difficult for a team that don't usually come up against that kind of defense. But at the same time, it's a trap. Uh, so <laughs> you really have to know, you really have to know what you're doing if you want to go for that. I think AB is going to be the hold that both of these teams are going to want. Um, whether or not that will be afforded to them is um, all up for grabs. And... Just want to mention as well, before we move on to the game, great casting by Clutch. Great uh, intro uh, to it and definitely check out Clutch Academy. You know, uh, seems like a great place to learn alongside us here in the Trailblazers. Oh yeah, 100%. Great analysis for them in real time in terms of what the strategy was to go for in that game. and. Uh, honestly, you know, in terms of what he's got going on over there, it's kind of an amateur pipeline, really. So, uh, you know, look to see big things come out of there. They're looking to add more people. And same thing goes for Halo Fun Time. Same thing goes for a lot of these discords. Like everybody here is just trying to kind of bring everybody together here as we're in year two of Halo Infinite. And I don't think it's been in a better spot before. You know, granted, maybe we should have been here two years ago, but that's neither here nor there as we move <laughs> into Recharge Strongholds. And the rabbit hole is avoided as we just look for active camo and a pivotal 1v1 there. And it looks as if online shooters are going to have to work due with two down. Absolutely. And I think the important question here uh, in this match is whether or not online shooters can be bought. Um, you know, uh, are they able or like, you know, have they succumbed to uh, the, the monetary incentive, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, that Space Crabs has uh, provided, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> I kid, I kid. Honestly, none of this would be possible without the hard work and passion of Space Crabs. Mm. And, you know, it's great to see him having this deep of a run uh, completely unscripted by any of us. Yeah, uh, him, he's teams. joined by really great teammates too, that everybody has made big plays on his squad, Bud Bud. Especially on live fire, we've seen Odds TV kind of be the glue guy, and then Keep Composure kind of always just coming up big when it matters most. This whole team has been firing on all cylinders, and it's nice to see now that we got a really competitive match here as it's a slim lead for Grunts Aren't Real as they're looking to make a move here, owning C and B, but about to lose B here. And now online shooters looking to set up that A B hold that you mentioned earlier. Yeah, and. Um... You know, the online shooters are the only ones to put a ding in Grunts Aren't Real's uh, record here so far. You know, I mean, Grunts Aren't Real are, what, I believe were they on a 6-0 run of maps mm -hmm. up to this point. Uh, so very hot uh, coming into this. And um, definitely have the hot hands. Online shooters have the fresher hands, though. So it'll be interesting to see which of those two can give them the, or uh, which of those two situations will are bear out as the more beneficial yeah and in the winner's bracket these two went to a game five so it was 
a close match all the way through to the end here and you can see that the bad blood is boiling between the two of them online shooters out to kind of an early lead here as they hold b and c flipping the map script on them and now they have two down on grunts aren't real and they're looking to cap a here they're being super aggressive here kind of not just uh, settling on what they've earned with two of these points oh, going wow. for the full triple cap and then forcing them to spawn over nc absolutely and that's where they want uh uh, that's where they want Grunts Aren't Real. Like, they want them spawning C. They want them fighting uh, from C because like, that's going to be just miserable to get out of. And just to, cut, or just to update everyone, this is the loser's final. The winner of this will go to the grand final, which we will have after this match. But right now, man, we are in it. And 100 to 30 the score now as grunts aren't real able to finally get a smidge of control here as they push out b and hope to flip it before c uh is taken as a receipt but i say that a is getting collapsed on by two players and it looks like they're going to be able to flip it here as well so keep composure and um i can't see it that is bud bud really have a big job to get through here and uh yeah uh Great job stabilizing at C. And oh my god, the fight was won by Grunts Aren't Real at A? I can't believe it. There were 2v1 there. That must have been a spawner flying in to help out as B now being flipped to the uh, to the side of online shooters. Yeah, B being flipped here, spawn over in gold. And Grunts Aren't Real are working that cheeky AC hold, but it looks like it might not be able to hold it off as now online shooters takes control of the map and continue to pluck away here at their lead they have already carved out early on grunts aren't real facing a little bit of adversity here you know a little bit foreign to them as they were on that 6-0 map run coming in and now they've kind of found themselves facing a brick wall here but they're down and not out as both teams are basically trading back and forth as they push for these different points absolutely and uh yeah i think like uh oh whoa what's going on here demos getting away from those grenades expertly bear not even a sniff on his uh shields as he comes into this 1v2 uh well a full 1v2 he had uh, a lot of shots coming in from outside but was able to get enough damage down for his teammates to clear it that being said grunts aren't real are kind of coming to within that 30 point range and kind of when you get to 20 30 points in a strongholds game i count that as a tie right yeah. so you know um they are like you know in and around that kind of uh point at the moment so yeah a lot of like very good play here coming back and forth as these two teams are just slugging it out and of course as soon as i said something i think grunts aren't real and in, in the the people behind the scenes on Space Crab's teams let them know because now they've answered back with a vengeance as they now take the lead here, holding A and B. And honestly, right now, it looks like they've definitely warmed up a little bit. Maybe just a kind of a refresher there, you know, maybe a quick breaking of the old mental mindset from the last time these two teams met. And now we're talking about them taking an even bigger lead here in map control. Yeah, and I think like what may have happened is the associate producer uh, of this show uh, kind of started getting onto online shooters and reminding them that this is Grunts Aren't Real they're up against. This is Space Crabs they're up against. So you know, they want to be careful about getting too much of a lead. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we need a little bit more back and forth is what they told them in their ear. So and Yeah, you know, let's well make now. this one interesting. <laughs> oh, man. You can't, yeah, you know, we can't have a Goliath versus Goliath here, you know? <laughs> yeah, nobody wants that. <laughs> well, I think we're hag I think we're getting it, and I think it's playing out quite well. 1-4-1 to 1-4-1 on the scoreboard, my goodness. Yeah, oh, my God. Shooters here. Both teams have four up. This is going to be kind of the pivotal part here. As they're trying to take. Grunts aren't real. Trying to get on B with a quick cap. Two of them on there, but I think one goes down. One able to get out of there. One goes down for each side, but Grunts aren't real. Come flying into top A. Oh, Demos. They're able to see him. Oh, oh my God. what a cleanup. Oh, no. Woo. This unlucky. Did a lot of very good work there, but uh, 
Like, you know, and it is actually being capitalized on by North Snipes, who's, uh, you know, quietly going about getting 13 assists. Goodness. Was, what a sneaky play by Space Crabs there, just coming up in the back of Elevator. His teammate was down 2v1 in the battle, and he cleans up basically both those kills while... You know what I mean? Those sort of things just set up the rest of it. Then North Snipes just has to fly in with the grappler, pick up the kill, and cap that A. And now we're talking about online shooters now. Kind of working their way through here as they do have A and B. But both oh, these teams flying. going back and forth here now. This is uh, an interesting one. If this is able to get the reset on... Oh, he did on B. That's huge. Because that gives them time now. Because they're going to have to stay on B longer. Uh, which will allow Demos and uh, North Snipes, I believe, to clear out A and consider going to C, but Space Crabs here, as much as I am loath to uh, to um, give him credit, made a big play there to slow down the advance onto bottom control. Honestly, yes, sorry, Crabs. I love you, Crabs, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Little sus, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, a uh, great player is Krabs and uh, fantastic for the Halo community all time around, or all around. Great guy. Ooh. Three go down for online shooters there as now grunts aren't real. Kind of flipping the script here. They have B and C at the moment. Deimos trapped in the back of Elevator here. Just staying alive and what a grenade there. What a way to find, trade out there over at A is now it's a 1v1 here in the top of A. Viz getting the win there. Four go down on Grunts aren't real, and now they're looking at a, almost a 100 point deficit here in the stronghold. Even potentially a triple cap here if they can stop them from getting C. B now open, and Grunts aren't real right now are going to be trapped and kind of C trying to make a move here. Bud Bud one shot in the bottom of gold steps there. Oh like man, that was a BR. He was dead as yeah. a doorknob. Um. Uh, yeah, and with these two flips now, I mean, there's only, like, they have to play perfect Halo here now, the Grunts aren't real. And I've got to say it's a testament to the fact that they're still in this, that uh, with their objective efficiency have been good. They have been being outslayed, uh, not, I wouldn't say quite handily, but definitely convincingly. And it just shows that their teamwork and coordination is a step above, maybe, uh, like, a lot of the teams here, because the skill, uh, the, the slaying power, on online shooters has been unbelievable. It looks like they're starting to lock in though. Grunts aren't real. Three go down on online shooters. Space crabs being ratty and staying alive on B to cap it there while his teammates put damage. And now he finishes his killing spree, clearing out top glass. That's the first runner for online shooters to break this up. And now Grunts aren't real are in a great position here to make this comeback as they're closing in on 200 points down by 35. The battle for camo in the bottom mid though could be a little bit oh, of a this has it. This has it. That's who that's exactly the person you don't want having uh camo coming into this last few minutes moments. Squeaky bum time in game one now. As uh Viz able to get it, or Demos on A and Viz on patrol with that camo, getting the drop on, keep composure, yeah, getting a perfect kill. And Bud Bud. Oh man, this is I don't know how you stop this. Viz kills him, and that, my friends, is how you kind of clean up and clutch up at the end of a game that looks like it's going to get a bit frosty. Five seconds on the clock. And I think it's quite uh, easy to say here. It's going to be online shooters taking the first game very, uh, very, like, uh, well, I think. Uh, great, yeah. great play. Great yeah, no, I think, like, you know, in terms of it being a, a game that's back and forth like that, you definitely want to come out top on the end there. You know, it really solidifies a statement early in the series. and. It really kind of all came down there to that last act of camo in the bottom mid there. Whoever made the play call in which they had basically all three rush and make sure they get that camo. You know, that's just a great little play there because uh, Grunts Aren't Real only had one that was going for the camo, got outnumbered, and that was all the difference. Like you said, Viz is not the guy you want with the camo. He made some great plays in Whirlpool, getting the perfect, getting the slays, making sure they cap B, and uh, making it kind of just a nice way of closing the book on the strongholds on Absolutely. region. Absolutely. Damn, yeah. And I mean, North Snipes with every assist that could possibly be found. Uh, <laughs> and of I course, think even uh, assisted I do my kill, really. To, yeah. <laughs> like, I have to say as well, you know, like, uh, I am not too normal, Slop. I'm not too normal. I'm a regular amount of normal. Okay. Right. 
I'm just I'm just normal. I'm normal. Um, but yeah, and also moving on swiftly. <laughs> I was like, that's convincing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm normal. Um, yeah, no, it's it's an ongoing thing here, you know. Um, I got you. But, yeah. Um, coming into the Street Slayer game, uh, I think we might see a high-level, grindy kind of Slayer on streets here. And I'm looking forward to it. Because, you know, on HRL, like, apart from, like, your Masters games, you don't really get to see that grindy slow grimy street slayer that you see at like the higher levels of halo and uh like i'm i'm just looking forward to it here i hope that both teams here show the same kind of uh fortitude they had in the first match and uh kind of give us a great old game uh, yeah just a great match in mode just for where we're at in the series you know that strongholds just that one even had a little bit of a grind and it was very gritty all the way to the end there. And it kind of was oh, one throwing. play. Yeah. Game it was only makers. one play that made basically like a difference at the end. You know, it's, it's who makes the, the final play that gets you the dub in the end and online shooters able to kind of secure it out. And, you know, it kind of ties back to that game five victory they had where they knocked grunts aren't real into the losers bracket. And so they still right now are kind of holding the edge over, but Slayer on streets is going to be a great way to find out who wants to take this series. Oh, hell yeah. You know, like, you know, I always say in HRL that teams often trade the first and second game. That's not going to be the case here, right? This is very different. These teams have been playing all day uh, to this moment. And, you know, uh, it is uh, going to be spicy. Both these teams are well warmed and reared and ready to go. So, you know, uh, I love, I, 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 I just can't wait, you know? And I mean, like, uh, what's it called? Doing all our dodging homes uh, in the chat here asking, are we going to see a fast rockets grab? And I'm going to say, probably not. Uh, these guys are going to try and, like, I don't think anyone's cheeky enough uh, right now. I say that, though, as uh, Ralph uh, gets absolutely eviscerated trying to go for that rockets early, <laughs> and they're gone. Forget me. Don't t don't listen to me. What do I know? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, Viz able to put him a good work too. Dumps both of them out. Viz, you know, just again and again doing a great job of using the resources on the map. Yeah, peaceful salad here definitely has the uh, inside scoop on the script for this match. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm trying not. I'm trying not to. Uh, I'm playing the fool here. You know, that's. I'm just playing my role uh, in this tapestry of halo infinite uh, well you didn't get your script i got my script they shifted the script to me like we're on like page seven now at this point no, i'm just kidding As we're yeah, moving on. <laughs> hey look i mean i'm just so predictable that they knew exactly what would happen right you know they would just be like what's gonna happen next not what delta says boom <laughs> sorted let's go <laughs> uh yeah, we're coming down now this is real though Oh man, can't like yeah. I've been doing this now, what, like uh, a couple of months now, and I think yeah, definitely uh, cast a curse right up on it. So uh, yeah, um, the composure definitely uh, favoring Grunts aren't real here. Uh, he does in fact himself have three uh, kills, one death, and uh, nine to eight the score line here now. Yeah, quick one here. It's already gritty, like you called it here. As we now have Ralph and company working their way here through Hollow. And the new rockets are going to be coming up here on timer here. So they're going to want to try to like balance the engagement, putting down Ooh. damage and finishing kills with the Sentinel Beam as this new rocket comes up. One go down for each side, and both are going to be kind of waiting out to see how this rocket's play goes. Ooh, able to roast them in tires. Coming yeah, down here on I mean, step. let's go. Yeah, uh, what's it called? Like Ralph here, like absolutely had his, had himself completely clenched up against crabs there, able to pull it out in the end, and then makes that life count, going five and three now, uh, as the teams are level at fourteen each. But where did the rockets go? Yeah, where did the rockets go? I wonder if they did get fired where, off. Where, or not. where are rockets? Where oh where oh where oh right. Ah, uh, I think they, they were wasted. Unless he's holding them ah. back there, space crabs. Oh yeah, 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 they're both shot. Yeah, 
Um, waste of my crabs. Uh, just wanted to keep the tension up for the viewers, of course. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, and yeah, uh, Ralph here now. Uh, really showing up in this slayer. Like, I, it's it's often like uh, you know great to see, and something that you always see is that different players show up in different modes for their teams. And you know maybe your best slayer on a strongholds on an oddball is not your main slayer in a slayer match, and that's what we're seeing here with Ralph really uh, taking the game uh, by the horns here and uh, you know uh, helping his team to uh, three point pick, or lead at this moment in time. Exactly, you know, like with the objective modes on these maps, it sort of dictates what kind of gun battles and engagements you're going to get into and. I think that's kind of the beauty of uh, Team Slayer is that it's just so much more fluid, you know, engagements on different parts of the map here as you have and basically it going down here on B steps as grunts aren't real or trying to push in here on PD. They have a lot of damage, two guys down, Big fight they have here. the numbers. Oh, They're that trade, that trade was massive for down. online shooters. Yep. You're able to salvage it there on the team wipe. Yep. Yeah. Now Spanker up. Both oh man, this one. Oh, those nades. Very important. It's gonna allow them to push up. And oh. this could this could snowball now. Rockets in hands. Dang. I can feel Rockets the tension. Needs to live. <laughs> oh man. I can feel the tension yeah. between these two teams right now. Oh man, yeah, absolutely. Um yeah. Also, shout out to the soundboard. We can't actually hear it here uh, ourselves. We can only hear it, or like you can hear it on the stream. So uh, yeah, I, I I did see it, or I did hear it when I was watching. It was great, but my God, uh, 28, 24, they're just swinging back and forth at each other. 29, five down with the difference, and my goodness, uh, a yeah, lot fantastic. of great plays going on here. Uh, six points now, the difference, and Grunts now are gonna have to try and grind this game. Make it as ugly as possible. Um, <laughs> just like make it like filthy. Just like, oh, you're one shot. No, uh, I'm actually running away and living for the next six minutes. Uh, you know, Ooh. oh, no, but Ralph here, Ralphio, Rafinho coming in, getting the kill. And uh, key composure also goes down now um, the long way uh, with that, um, that commando. And yeah, uh, full sandbox control, I think it's fair to say, for online shooters at this moment in time. Yeah, Ralph, you know, every time he loves the limelight, whenever he's on the stream, he usually shows up big. We have space crabs back here, new rockets coming up. He has his teammates over here on B. They get the numbers advantage on the first pick. Two go down for online shooters. This is going to be their rockets. They get the third down. Without taking a single loss, Deimos, the last straggler, left in the back of oh. PD, trying to trade out, but he can't. That's basically a 4-0 sweep as now they're only down by six points here, and they have rockets with online shooters trapped inside of C. Yeah. Um, oh, Still stuck I'm, in I'm there. <laughs> Waiting for those they're, rockets. They're not going nowhere. They have the red gun, but, you know, um, those rockets used... Uh, now it's all about um, using your positional advantage uh, to get those favorable fights. And uh, it looks like they're doing that now. Two kills now, the difference. As we head into the mid game, um, things are going to get very toey and froey. Like, grunts are going to want to maybe start and hope and maybe force a snowball. But uh, they just need to be very careful that they don't overextend here as uh, keep composure up front. Oh, wins that fight. Does go down. Uh, I didn't think that that was the wisest move, but he was able to pull out uh, one for one there, which isn't too bad at this current moment in time. But now four kills the difference by Viz and holding on to hope in Harry Potter. Oh, and he lives. Oh, keep composure goes down. Great cover fire there uh, by Viz's teammates and keeps him alive five kills now the difference and things are starting to get a bit spicy a bit uh like antsy yeah yeah i think you're 100 percent right you can kind of feel it in the way these players are playing right now when they were when grunts aren't real we're pushing past purple in the top a it seemed like 
you know, the, the push, they were half in, half out, and they unfortunately kind of cost them there. And that was a pivotal one because they were within two kills there now. As now we kind of have a lead of seven kills and online shooters here. They have plenty to work with here. Map control, they got them over here on B. They're kind of gathering intel. Fresh spanker up in the middle is going to draw. Grunts aren't real in the middle as they go up, get two down, and I imagine they were able to successfully grab those rockets. Now they're coming at him and just team shots all around. Down by four here, 41 to 45. Oh, another three kill swing there just in a moment. This is swings and roundabouts here. Um, uh, I still don't, I wouldn't be comfortable calling this. Like, put a gun to my head, my good Jesus. Um, <laughs> definitely uh, suspicions of scripting uh, coming up in the chat. You know, I don't know who started that fire. But, uh, you know, it's uh, it's still burning bright. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, this is fantastic. Four kills now, the difference. Um, and three minutes on the clock. So there's a, a, enough time to kind of play with a little bit here um, for grunts aren't real. Just try and mi or see if uh, online shooters kind of make a, a little bit of a hiccup. Um, keep composure though, completely unaware of that player in red, goes down, and now things are starting to roll. 46-42, 46-43, as the push has to come down now um, to capitalize on those kills, but as I say that, slow down again. Three kills the difference. Yeah, three kills the difference here. Online shooters, they're basically fortifying that seaside there, gathering intel. Fronts aren't real. It's going to be up to them to get in here, to get a pick and break them in C. But online shooters are just in a great spot here to kind of just sit and wait. And you need even worst case scenario here. They could just trade out and they'll still maintain the lead as they close in on the final kills. Deimos trying to pick him off as he runs back into tires here. It's going to be cheeky here. Oh, back yeah. and forth. Deimos still hanging My out man. over there. Able to get the pick. His flank. This flank is so powerful because he was just baiting them. He was trying to bait them into a fight down driveway, um, but ended up just being left because they were like, no, 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 you're the bait. We don't have to think about you. And uh, wow, it led to a flank being opened up and 43 to 50 in the favor of online shooters. My goodness, we are heading to a game three and uh, grunts aren't real facing elimination. Yeah, mm. facing elimination. Mm. It's uh, definitely an interesting uh, swing of momentum there. You know, up until this point, they were just running on all cylinders, just running through the competition. And man, online shooters showed up and they didn't care about the momentum when they put the kibosh on it. That's for sure. All I can say is North Snipes can't be bought, you know, <laughs> and we're seeing that right now. Uh, you know, um, I'm pretty sure that they definitely uh, have put the potential for a few more zeros in their negotiations for this map three. Uh, you know, uh, facing elimination now, our grunts aren't real. And if they want to keep this fairy tale run <laughs> going through the losers bracket, they're really gonna have to pull things out here as we head to Aquarius CTF. And my God, what a map to do it on if they do, right? Uh, you couldn't have wrote it. I swear you couldn't have written it. You couldn't. Um, <laughs> just a great role. A great role. Just a great run of games. These things happen, right? And they're all completely legitimate. Um, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah. So heading into Aquarius ETF, I think, and my apologies for anyone who's come in uh, later on in this. I am indeed uh, sick. Uh, that is, I am not intentionally using my sexy voice. This is something that has been <laughs> imposed upon me. Um, but yeah, like coming into this game three, like, you know, I don't know where, like, this is the most Halo of maps. If our trailblazer king, our truth and light, the, the, the one space crabs knows any map, knows any mode, knows any way to win, it is on the Halo Infinite map, Aquarius. Yeah, I like the way you call this the Halo Infinite map because it is the great equalizer. Aquarius is a nice, well-rounded map and with CTF and thrown in the mix, first to five gets the dub and it's going to be uh, basically a huge 
kind of power could struggle over top mid here. And now one goes down for each side here. Got, grunts aren't real. The fairy tale story. Will it end here? And will it end abruptly? Or will we, we continue on? I don't have the last pages of the script. I don't think it got through. It's all being written in the moment. Yeah. The rest is still unwritten, as Natasha Benningfield would say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we are staring at the blank page before us, opening up a dirty window. Let the sun shine and illuminate the words that you cannot find. You know, we're reaching for something in the distance so close we can almost take it, taste it. Release your yeah. inhibitions. To the you gotta be careful, man. That sexy voice might get us a copyright, but it's just all of a sudden oh, plug. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no. Uh, we like to have fun yeah, I've had, we, we like to have fun here at the Halo time. Um, as, yeah, we see Bud Bud now. Ooh, teasing that pull. And they want to go... Oh, no, they want to go car. But the problem is that they have players in fridge. So we don't know where these spawns are coming. Probably back base. Which means that this cross across mid is going to be very dangerous. Demos here. Getting it. They, it looks like... It looks like Guns Aren't Real were able to get away from... Um, from fridge in time to send spawners there but now keep composure has a big job on his hands here because he needs to make sure that that flag gets across and he needs to control connector because that's where everything is going to uh kind of come down uh and uh odds tv here putting down a lot of fight but unfortunately unable to get over to utility in time and on come oh yeah halo series time um yeah uh, <laughs> Hey, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, Slop, uh, that that song was from the Naughties. Uh, thank you very much. Um, but yeah, uh, back to Halo Serious time. And uh, Demos here, getting shots down onto court. And everything looks to have equalized here now again. We're back to, uh, kind of, teams. Oh, God. Oh, wait. What? <laughs> a little sneaky, you know, it's kind of a... What? You just kind of walk that flag across the map, I think, in undramatic fashion as they go up 1-0 online shooters now. Looking like they're potentially here could be a counter cap from Grunts Aren't Real there as they're able to get one down and the flag pull into the car side. He's going to be making his way to the 50. Online shooters over on bottom P side. They're already overextending. They get two down, including the flag guy. Oh, All trade. four down. Great trade. Great trade by Ralph. Allows his team to completely recover. And with these spawns coming in now, in back base, it's gonna be just stop, drop, and clear, you know? Uh, oh yeah, Space Crabs with the nice ratty angle getting uh, North Snipes down. Um, great shots from Demos, needs to make sure that he does not kill himself with the heat wave. Uh, not that I would know anything about that, don't doubt <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, he's making good work of it though, frying and eradicating people in the base. Gets the pool while well, one shot. Able to get a pull out of there. He's got two teammates there. He's looking to make their way across car one. Here. Demos! Let's this go. This is a beautiful play. The like just the ability and game sense to be able to know when and where he can peek. And I mean he did all he could. That flag, if that flag made it through that door, that's a cap. Um like, you know, and yeah, this is some great high level halo that we're seeing here you know um now i will say i would really like to not have uh another uh another 3 uh, i've casted every 3 uh, <laughs> so please for the love of god grunts uh you know uh this is your moment you know uh so <laughs> I know, right? Uh, and honestly, I, we haven't seen anybody else play other than Grunt, so if we go into a different match with new players, I don't know if I'll be able to get you. <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if only, uh, like, Passion Patrol were still here, uh, we would have either them or <laughs> the Grunts in every match. Yeah. Oh, that is a... What? I have no idea why, and I apologize, dear viewers. I have no idea how these caps just keep slipping by, uh, but we will keep an eye out for them going on, going forward. <laughs>
No worries, because we know Space Crab's here with the camera angle. He's got everything going on. Double kill out in blue court. Pushing in the util here, blocking any chance of them. As he's looking to make his way here. He's got top mid control. He's trying to decide where he's going here. Got teammates over on the car side here. Everyone's going to be making a push on his team here in the car side here. And carry that momentum in to hopefully go up 2-1 in the CTF and stay alive in the series. Yeah, absolutely. Odds does go down, though, um, on that push. And it looks like they may be able to stabilize here on nine shooters. Um, as Keep Composure does fall uh, to the Fresh Fizz. Um, like, gotta say again, by the way, uh, Ralph having a game for himself again. Um, and Bud Bud is just doing nasty things. Bud Bud, yeah, I've always been making really good plays throughout the day from what we've seen. And it kind of goes across the board here for Grunts Aren't Real, but all of that is on the line here as they're kind of facing their backs against the wall. It is tied 1-1 here to go down for online shooters as they're working down here at the bottom of P1, trying to make something happen and salvage it, but the last two go down. So essentially a team wipe here. Grunts aren't real maintaining the numbers advantage and honestly maintaining a level of control oh. just in terms of the way they're, they're playing that I don't think we saw in the first two maps. Absolutely, and I think that they're going through this very discipline. They're going for the whole uh, to wipe rule, you know, uh, to, uh, you know, make sure that their bum is clean. No, uh, to make sure that they're able to cleanly pull that flag um, optimally. You need to kind of get maybe two wipes, uh, two team wipes, uh, not of your bum. It's not, oh, stop sorry. thinking about that. Why do you, you keep bringing me up? I don't know. Uh, like, the worst is so you said two wipe. You said two wipe, and then it took me like one. It took me one two to just figure out what you said. And it all hit like a ton of bricks. Well played. Oh man, yeah, no, it's not the only wipe dealt with uh, dealing with a ton of bricks. Uh, <laughs> you know, <it's laughs> uh, coming up now into fridge door is Viz goes down. Ralph as well now caught in the corner does get a trade out, but uh, both. Uh, Grunt's players are hurt, so they can't really push through. Able to get clear out the base, and now the spawner is coming back in uh, blue flag. So um, Grunt's aren't real. Going to try their best to get as much map presence as possible before the first spawns come in. But a like, head glitch, Viz is able to get the kill, and uh, you know um, stunt that uh, push that was coming in. Viz was known that shot grenade made sure of it. This last fight in Util is huge as Keep Composure decides, you know what, now's a great time. Pull that flag, move to Util. Unfortunately, his teammate lost that fight and big uh, thing now for uh, them is, uh, apologies, uh, Space Crabs needs to live um, as long as he can to wait for his reinforcements to come up because this flag round, I believe is dead, uh, but they want to make sure that they don't give up too many lives uh, to allow uh, online shooters to work their way up the map. Yeah, definitely both both offensive games getting stalled essentially when they get all the way over to the other side's team. It's, it's basically been online shooters into the other team and, and then flipping the script and Grunts Aren't Real are pushing into theirs. But three go oh. down there for Grunts Aren't Real here. Looks like this is going to be a real one here. Most of them traded out here. Viz Last guy up here taking the flag pool. Odds TV and gang looking for a crafty OE as Deimos just rats in their base and shoots him from behind there. Great way of putting in damage against the OE oh. guys, but the flag goes down on Utility Bridge. It's no one, there's no one there to capitalize for uh, online shooters, so that trash ball is huge, and I believe that this is going home. Oh my god, that flag out in car or in court. I think they're probably. Oh no, they are running it. Bud Bud gets it to halfway. And one player now known, Demos, up on their base is now dead. So Bud Bud, all he needs to do is get to the top of his base because his friends are putting that away. And of nice. course, in it goes. Bud Bud giving his team the lead with two minutes remaining and keep composure, looking to pile that hurt on by tossing the enemy flag out to court. It looks like we got a relay going here. Space Crabs, they get three down on online shooters. Space Crabs moves it past the 50 here. Odds TV cleaning oh, it up three here. Dead. We got ourselves here a nice little relay and 
It all started here with Bud Bud, who's doing a lot for his team right now. 25 and 13, now 25 and 14, 12 assists, and two oh. flag caps. Odds TV goes down at the last line of the goal line, but it looks like it might be oh, able to Oh, North Snipes, in. huge kill. Absolutely, like, required kill. And Ooh. Viz now up there on the re, and there's no one, no one to stop him. Goal line stand. What is he up to? Unbelievable stuff. Um, got to shout out Slop Fingers. Definitely <laughs> a case where Bud could not make it through. Oh my God, Viz. Viz goes down. And now they're two in util. This bottom mid in court. Keep composure. Has a huge job here to do. And unfortunately finds himself out in the middle of pain land. But pushes Demos back enough. The oh, they're throwing bodies at this flag. And it looks to be working. Oh, Demos. Demos nice. gets it home. And we are tied up with 50 seconds to go in this game three. Will Grunts Aren't Real be able to write their name in the anal history? <laughs> nope, that's not how that's pronounced. Um, that's <laughs> But you're right, though. We're down here to 30 seconds, two to two. And I almost thought they were going to get a counter pool there. As Ralph moving into P1 goes down. Two go down for online shooters here. Every engagement from here on out is going to be social. Deimos goes down. Three go down. Keep composure in them, blocking the fridge spawns a little bit as they look to make their way into the base. Viz always being so sneaky and ratty with the flank there on that fridge push. And this guy here, I tell you what, I would not want to play against this Viz guy, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't want to play against anyone in this lobby, mainly because they're all better than me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Slop is losing his mind because I uh, I was interrupted when I was calling out his uh, beautiful uh, Bud Bud going so huge he can barely fit through the door in Jen comment, which... Uh, oh. I believe was in reference to when he couldn't make it through <laughs> the agenda door because he was doing so well. Uh, um, yeah. Tank indeed. Okay, now I believe he is sated. Um, uh, okay. Two dead now for online shooters. This push. Keep composure, gets it. The flag is out past halfway line. Odds running that thing like he his life depends on it and his tournament life does so keep composure massive job here now just needs to make sure and Let's there go. it goes we are going to game four get it home baby let's the fairy go fairy tale continues this real underdog story here space crabs doing it again him and his company definitely own it up to bud bud what a great match, you know, just for us, you know, in terms of spectating, you know, Aquarius CTF, like you said, is the kind of Halo Infinite map that really kind of brings out the best teams in terms of a competitive atmosphere. And it was really enjoyable to watch as they pushed it to overtime and they basically answered it there towards the end of the game, just completely turned it on. Absolutely. And once again, you couldn't write it. You couldn't. You can't. Stop saying that you could. I don't know why you think it was. It's the case, but no. It cannot be written. This is not written in stone. Things are in the hands of fate and not a pre-written script. Not a pre-written script and definitely not over here is if you're on the side of Grunts Aren't Real there, you know, now that's the first step, you know, in a potential reverse sweep and keeping their tournament hopes alive here in the inaugural Trailblazer Championship Series hosted by Halo Fun Time. Big shout out to everybody that helped put this all together. I'm having a blast, Delta, casting alongside you and other great people like Clutch Academy. Shout out to him and his Discord and everything they're doing, as well as the people behind the scenes like Sozer, who keeps it all Sozer fresh. Sozer is the golder. He yep. is the man, you know? Um... Like, this production could not happen without his uh, expertise and work behind the scenes, making sure that we look good, well, that you look good and I look as good as I can. Um, uh, and, like, keeping everything flowing, all these graphics, everything, great job, a lot of work going in on behind the scenes as well from our staff, who I'm sure will call out at the end of the stream, uh, name by name, because uh, it's... Currently, I'm doing too much, or we're doing too much, and I'll get to it. But, Oddball Livefire, 
when your back's against the wall, what do I always say? What do I always say, Silva? I say, Oddball Live Fire is exactly the game map mode <laughs> type that you want to see. <laughs> Dang, it was right there. It was at the tip of my tongue. I was like, well, you do say right. a lot of things, but yes, we're moving in. <laughs> Mostly shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Space Guards died immediately. What happened there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two go down though, both sides here. Ralph trying to f do a little boop off the map, but... Oh, keep composure, kept his composure, kept himself, kept his toesies on the map, and did not go into the drink. Oh, fantastic play. Fantastically, and look at this play here, just staying alive from that one. Then he ends up getting a double kill with a perfect there, shutting down their next spawners as three are down for online shooters. Grunts aren't real right now, they have overshield, they have this A-side control. They're looking to get in here and to get a huge chunk of time as OS kind of pushes out the big door, anticipating the mud spawns, and he's correct. But one goes down, Odds TV goes down for him. As one goes down for both whoa, sides whoa, whoa. now. Ralph looking to take some heads now. Only two left up for Grunts Aren't Real. The ball kind of trapped over here on A on scoreboard, though. Oh, it's no. going down in the back of A. Keep composure. I've been there, buddy. Don't worry. Sometimes it just isn't a frag grenade. <laughs> Ralph now making sure that the sniper stays in his team's hands, backing on, backing on down, trying to get himself a favorable angle. But unfortunately, there's no fights happening around uh, sandbags. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little slow today, you know, as you can imagine. Uh, it could be COVID. I haven't tested myself yet. I have a test in the corner, but uh, I was like, I don't want to sneeze 7,000 times and then go on stream. Exactly. Exactly, and you've been pushing through, and you've been a real trooper here, bringing the sexy voice to all of our viewers. In the hope you guys are having a good time out there. Let us know in the chat. You guys are having a good time. Double kill by Ralph, and another oh, sniper ahead. Oh, my God. oh yeah, uh, we knew it was coming. Oh my goodness, he's he was unveiled like a prize on the prices right he there. Stuck somebody the there at the end. Oh my, re what? Yeah. Oh my Freeze. goodness. Ow. I don't have no idea. Literally a last ditch desperation stick there. Viz. I don't know. Online shooters getting the OS here. This is going to be big. Oh. Who's tipping for it? Did anyone get it? Is it still there? I don't know. They don't I seem to know either. But Viz has burned. his hands on it. Uh, I've got to say, the one thing I've got to say is that Ralph, whenever I'm watching Ralph 103, I'm learning. <laughs> He's putting on a <laughs> clinic here and lots of just great plays from different kind of play styles I've seen just across the board here, you know One thing that really unites it is that uh, just a really great situational awareness at this like level of Halo And the ability to just kind of capitalize on numbers and rotate as a unit being selfless and all those different things are what really makes good teams oh, in no. Halo folks, so don't always just rely on what on the scoreboard for how a game went Oh, absolutely. There are a lot of intangibles uh, in Halo, and you can be the, like, you can be a fantastic objective player uh, without playing the objective. You can, or getting kills. You could just be in really annoying places and put down really annoying damage that may not be capitalized on, but it slows the enemy down. Uh, so those are, those are the things that you kind of want to look out for in players who are maybe not statistically doing so well, but that doesn't, that's not to say that they aren't adding something valuable to their team exactly and you know what we've seen just a lot more in terms of this game here you know they have been able to accrue some time but for the most part both teams are trading haymakers back and forth two were down for both squads there now both squads at full strength with four up os is coming up we're gonna have an engagement over here over by turbine this is doing a great job of getting ball time here laying damage down is he oh, gets the killing spree right there. That started with a beatdown with the ball. <laughs> what a play, but Deimos and online shooters able there to kind of counter it there and do exactly what they were doing, holding the ball down here in bottom scoreboard as they take a huge lead here in the first round of oddball. And I mean, 40 points at this level is huge. Like these two teams, I would say are probably mid to high Onyx. Uh, like just looking at it. Now I could be absolutely wrong. Uh, I could be, I could be trolling, but uh, Absolutely seems to be the case here. And Krabs, 
uh, really putting a lot of pressure down here with this sniper Double combo kill. and does get enough, does enough to get his team control of the ball and the rotate is on. But unfortunately for them, Viz is the one player there. Oh, and he doesn't get it over the edge. So Space Crabs has a big job here um, to hold on to his life. And unfortunately, both go down and Odds TV is the last player to have any say on where this ball goes. And unfortunately, it goes top C. Yeah, just and a couple of a few seconds inches. remaining, I don't know that they're going to be able to do anything about it. No, it's going to be a tough position for him here. They are getting challenged here on top. Oh, he goes for the ninja being much... cheeky. Oh my god, 99! 99 points! So Perfect Halo has never been more apt than right now. 50 seconds required with no response by uh, Grunts Aren't Real. And every time they let go of that ball, they're going to clench up a little bit. Oh. That ball did not go off the map. And oh. just kill massive. Yo. Demos gets it. And Damn. that is it. We're going to round two. Way to clutch Ooh. up there at the end for Deimos, so getting the double kill, just ensuring that last second, you know, granted the mat, the round was probably in their favor, but, you know, you definitely won't, don't want to give them an inkling of getting back into that one, kind of affirming that first round there. Online shooters looking to potentially close out this series here on live fire. Yeah, no, fantastic stuff going on here. And, uh, yeah, um, wow, a lot of players Yo, going down yeah. here on the side of online shooters. And the ball able to make its way to top, uh, top tower. But unfortunately, oh, the sniper is out. Demos takes a hit. He's going to wait for his uh, shields to come back. And North Snipes is going to be able to capitalize on that. Gets the uh, damage there, kills him. And, uh, yeah, uh, fantastic. Odds has some 90s styrofoam ass. Yeah, slop. Slop. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> yeah, I can see a lot more ones coming into the chat uh, with regards to his bot status uh, <laughs> in the near future. <laughs> yeah, uh, Odds TV now. Uh, has the ball and is looking to get it up top tower. Unfortunately, unable to do so. So great work from Ralph there, being able to get that ball off the map when he was 1v3 in that situation. So keep composure here now. Has to keep his nerve. His, and his what? His, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it does so. Uh, it does, does go down. Uh, this fight is big. Um, and it goes the way of North Snipes, uh, able to get this, <laughs> able to get this uh, <laughs> ball and moving it towards A, where his spawners are coming. And this fight coming into garage is going to be big. And I don't know that Grunts aren't real. Have the numbers to push through. Yeah, they get two down trying to go in for this push. Online shooters having the numbers advantage here. And this is going to be huge in terms of differentiating the score difference here as online shooters two go down for them they toss the ball out in the scoreboard oh, grunts, grunts have real OS, the and space crabs here is looking to make a flank on whoever's challenging the ov comes up behind two of them here Gets oh, a nice double kill. oh are you I feeling mean, it now crabs i think he is Damn. oh i think he's feeling himself now uh which is unfortunate because he should be concentrating on the game uh <laughs> <laughs> he's writing pages of the script as we go along yeah, with one hand. Uh, we don't want to know what he's doing with the other. Playing Halo, probably. <laughs> <laughs> he's that it's crazy. He is. Uh, yeah, so up he goes. Oh, unfortunately, unable to get his way onto Sandbags. Keep composure. Tosses the ball out. Uh, out Turbine. But unfortunately for him, that's where the push is coming from. Oh, I say that, though. Uh, they're coming from uh, Small Door A. And this is getting weird. Uh, it looks like Online Shooters should be able to get themselves into a lead here uh, with the control of the A side. It all depends on how quickly Grand Sergeant Real can form a coordinated push down this Turbine side. They get the first pick on Ralph there, pushing their way across Turbine side. Viz always on the flank and being sneaky, able to get an easy kill here, but the rest of Grunts aren't real. Call him out. Another flanker, I think, coming from the C side here. North Snipes with the heat wave gets one. It's going down over here, Turbine. 
Another player down for Grunts aren't real. Two down for at the time, and one stuck in the back of the window hoping to trade out, but he doesn't. Basically a team wipe here and online shooters in position to milk the clock a little bit. Absolutely, and it looks like North Snipes have, has decided that being the king of assists is just like so game one and is just <laughs> popping off 20 and 12, really showing up for his team here when it matters. And with this overshield coming up and sniper control on uh, on scoreboard, like that's a recipe for success. Oh, he goes down. Oh, he goes down. That could be big. If they're able to disrupt this, if they're able to grab that overshield, it doesn't look like they are, but Ralph did have uh, uh, another piece of equipment, but it does come to Demos. Demos. Demos oh. coming out with the OS and coming out strong, but grunts aren't real. Great team shots there, just completely melting the OS as soon as it happened. That's oh, just great no. coordination there. And now Odds TV is going to have to try to make some work here. Gets the oddball guy to stop the clock from going and distracts North Snipes here. North Snipes. Two minutes on the clock is still plenty for this grunts aren't real team, and they're only 10 points down. So it's all about these fights now. It's all about making sure you have more guns pointed in one direction than the other team uh, in these team fights. Oh yeah, so crucial and important there. You know, that's how you just absolutely melt OS there in just a minute with three guns, but two go down on Grunts are real here. Online shooters coming close to the 72nd mark here. They already won one the first round here. And a 2-0 win here would be very decisive for them here. They don't want Grunts are real to linger any longer in this series as we're on map four here. You definitely don't want to go to map five without that. any kind of inklings of a reverse sweep. Viz wisely playing the ball. Oh my god, he got the kill. He got the he had no right to get that. No and right gets to get the melee kill. off onto odds, who goes down, and this has made themselves uh, or has made uh, a, a very promising position look very dire for Grunts Aren't Real. Um with like uh, less than two minutes on the clock and 70 points up for Viz, or 85 points now up for online shooters. Uh, they're really gonna have to play some top tier halo to get this to a round three on this oddball and give themselves a chance in this series yeah and os is coming up here this could be a little bit of a difference maker but north snipes oh. snipes in his name oh. for a good oh reason God. there because you got to keep an eye on him and do not let this guy get the snipers he gets the back he slap he gets he gets the os two three go down for grunts aren't real he's going to be pushing them off spawn they only need 10 seconds here green oh, guns Oh no, the crabs goes down. I think that's it. I think that's gonna be online shooters. And it is Man. online shooters. Damn, what a formidable match from just both sides of it. You know, you'll go down as a 3-1, but it felt like it was <laughs> down to the wire in pretty much every map and mode we were given. Yeah. So what a real treat for us and the viewers here as we just had another great one. And unfortunately, I think that ends Grunts Aren't Real's run here at a possible shakeup. Well, you know, they need they need room to expand in the sequel, you know. So, uh, you know, uh, it's it's definitely, uh, you know, a very good showing by them. Uh, only beaten by the one team, and that team was online shooters. So, um, this match and our final grand final match are both rematches. A three-two score in the favor of mediocre in the winners' final just prior to this is what brought online shooters down to the losers final. Yeah, the final wow. climactic battle of an all day tournament. I've had a blast here going through every map and it's been a real pleasure here and I hope we have a good one here coming up. Oh man, yeah, uh, gotta say, Silva, been a great time casting up to this point as we head into the grand final. We will be seeing online shooters, our winners of the losers final, taking on mediocre.
Welcome into the first ever Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. We are lying to start because we actually got 15 this week. Starting with yours truly, Dr. Slothfinger is playing a little live fire oddball. He has a no scope on him to start off, getting shot at from scoreboard, letting the teammate take the kill as he grabs the ball. The teammate can't get the kill, so Slothfinger does it himself. Beautiful shot there to get the kill joy, grabbing the ball from the cut, gets stuck. Or <laughs> does he? Ball gets stuck, and Dr. Slothfinger throws the ball back at the enemy for the kill. Just a heads up play, of course, heads up play. Number 14, OG Alien and team with the Desperation Flag Cap on Bizarre. OG Alien using the sandbox to its fullest effect to get it back smacked, and Space Crabs takes off running towards bottom mid with that flag. Crabs gets it to bottom mid and ends up. We are back and we are ready for our inaugural Trailblazer Championship Series Grand Final. Are you hype, Silva? <laughs> you know it, man. We've been at it all day here. You know, we had some early clean sweeps in the first rounds of the tournament. And as we've gone along here, we basically followed Grunts Aren't Real on their kind of almost fairy tale comeback in the loser's bracket, offering up lots of great competitive matches back and forth and online shooters ultimately coming out on top here, re-entering the grand finals and facing a team that went the distance almost a game five so they're facing a team that knocked them into the losers bracket here so we have a great chance at revenge absolutely and i mean i could see them pushing this to a game bracket reset yep best of seven baby so we have posted in the chat what our um what our series is and we are starting out with king of the hill on solitude i am looking forward to it these two teams are sweaty as all hell and have been absolutely cleaning up in this series. Two of the three maps that, um, two of the three maps that Mediocre have lost in this entire run were two online shooters. So things are hotting up now. We're in the grand final. All the lights are on and everyone is focusing on this match. So, I mean, it's down to these two teams. Who has the intestinal fortitude to pull through when all the big lights are shining and when it all matters? It all comes down to this, and I think you put in just a great lens here. You know, King of the Hill here is gonna be a great way for both these teams to kind of feel each other out, but you know, if you're on the side of online shooters, though, you definitely want this to be a quick and dirty win here so you can reset the bracket. Mediocre, working with a cushion here, maybe not so much in terms of thinking that this last this uh, series is so dire. As both teams go off and trade here, Viz, again, making an impact. He got a double kill, letting his teammate go over there, get the camo and the snipe. The North snipes we saw on the last series is the last guy you want the sniper. <laughs> the hands of the sniper yeah. for the opposite team. Yeah, and I've got to say here now as well, there was a last minute change to uh, online shooters. A sub has been brought in. It's fleshed. And he is coming in in place of Rav. Some big shoes to fill here. Coming into the grand final best of seven. Great no snob from North Snipes. And it's going to be up to players like North Snipes, like Demos, like Viz, to really help bring Flesh into this series. Because, you know, he's coming in completely cold. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, interesting to see how much that impacts them coming into this grand final. Yeah, just a real testament to Flash, you know, coming in here and he's playing against people that have been playing all day and they've been super warmed up playing at the highest levels of competition back and forth. And yeah, he's gonna have to rely on his teammates to kind of help him get into the groove here as I think this is the first we're seeing of Mediocre on the stream today basically have it an easy path all the way. Well, I wouldn't say easy, but I would say a, smooth, <laughs> a smoother smooth path, path over the yeah. ground, grand finals. So, you know, this online shooters team, they're going to have to bring it as four go down. They're going to have to dig deep here into the gaming endurance, you know, and go further than they've ever gone before here to really make an upset and a splash here in the series. 
Yeah, and Mediocre have a point to prove here. They're like, hey guys, we're in this series too. They, We had to win every one of our games just to get on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Getting to the end, bringing an end to the reign of terror of uh, Space Crabs. But online shooters are able to get this first hill and Sneaky Snipes walking around here his way up into the hill and uh, trying to pick out a fight that's favorable. Unfortunately, tagged with a grenade, but was able to recover the situation with help from teammate. So uh, Cream Rock now uh, going down, um, as does Dr. Cream and Scream. And uh, yeah, um, he's, 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 he's screaming, he's creaming. And he's screaming when he's screaming. Like when, <laughs> you know, and who among us hasn't screamed when we creamed? And certainly this is the guy who earned his PhD in it. So perhaps any, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it is the first we're seeing of him on the stream here. And they've definitely earned it, you know, cruising their way through the winner's bracket into the grand finals. And, you know, what a better moment to make an appearance in the grand finals, you know? Especially for all the viewers that have been with us throughout the day, just lots of great Halo back and forth. And, you know, just in terms of a reference here, we are talking about like a little bit of the upper tier of Onyx players. So some very competitive moments here, and um, yeah, it really kind of comes down to a lot of the micro details between these two different teams. Who's going to be more in interconnected here, rotating together, controlling the map, controlling the resources, and so far here, a little bit of back and forth as online shooters. Might be able to get the second one here. Dr. Cream and Scream looking to get it done in there. Gathering some hill time and putting damage on anybody pushing him here as they almost oh, no. tie it up, but he gets oh, sniped. And I believe now. that was fleshed, which is very good. I believe he has his hand on the sniper, and that's going to feel good because coming into a game like this, after a series like this, after a, a tournament like this, uh, into the final is no mean feat. I mean, I've been there. Uh, I don't want to relay exactly how it went. Uh, <laughs> let's just say that my controller broke just before we started. Double but two. anyway, um, that's not an excuse, I swear. Um, Viz here now, uh, who's had some unbelievable performances so far. Um, every time we've seen him on stream, he seems to be doing something filthy. And um, will go down. And now 2v2 on the map, uh, online shooters. Uh, now on the hill, uh, but we are tied up here 1-1 one, one after that hill uh, on driveway was captured by Mediocre. Yeah. Great play by Deimos there, just the last one alive on his team and making sure he gets the hill guy. A nice reversal there in the back of the yard. Two go down for both squads. Yeah. Craze Rock getting a double kill. Three down for online shooter, shoopers. Shooters! We've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> oh, the shoopers. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, do do better. They're rolling around, they're dipping, they're diving, they're jiving, and three go down, two go down for Mediocre here. As everyone's going back and forth here in the bottom of B, nobody really taking a main advantage here on this third hill. Absolutely, and it has to be uh, said, just to bring everyone up to speed, that there will be a bracket reset if online shooters are able to pull out this first series in our grand final. So far, it looks like they're up to the test. You know, they're doing a really fantastic job. Deimos with 15 kills. Also got Viz always being crafty. He's got 10 kills, and a lot of them are gaining in the assists. So they're Snipes 999, nine, baby. Here. Let's go. I've got to say, North Snipes always has a beautiful stat line. It may not always be great, but it's always aesthetically pleasing. Always. <laughs> <laughs> the battle for active camo here coming up. Camo and Snipe. As it looks as if Viz and the company there are so close, just inches away from taking the lead 2-1 here. Everybody getting set up for the power weapons and this next hill, which is probably going to be the most pivotal part in this map. Absolutely. And Sniper, I believe, should be in the hands of uh, Mediocre, who are yet to pick it up. I believe that might be due to pressure from Blue, but uh, it is being taken now. And that could play a huge part on a map like Solitude, especially with two coming out long. Uh, Things could get very dicey here for Demos and Viz uh, pushing from that area of the map. But it looks like their teammates are coming around uh, blue side and taking a bit of the pressure off, which is a fantastic 2 2 split. Uh, and it leads to two down for the side of Mediocre. Yeah, two down for the side of Mediocre. 
three up, two go down for online shooters, so it's going back and forth here. Deimos with the sniper here, trying to stay alive and be crafty. Deimos! Deimos, still in the fight there. Not able to connect on the snipes as his teammates goes down. Hanging around posters here, looking to oh, rip a face shot. off of the hill real quick as he's passing by. Still just a more. casual headshot. Yeah. Just a casual snipe across the face, just let him give him a little, uh, hey, how you doing there? Oh, as he looks to make hey, more how contact. are you? <laughs> how is your father? My goodness, <laughs> what a shot. <laughs> Demo's putting it all on the line here. Uh, is kind of chasing a bit hard. Does have maybe having a bit of a rush of blood to the head. Uh, little oh my god, almost. that was a quig. Yo, that was a quig. Yo. He got up through them both. It was like gentleman's quickly, but a fantastic <laughs> position from Mighty Chu, able to deny online shooters any capitalization on those kills. And he's going off right now. Demo sitting at 21 and 10, and that sniper he just is making a total menace of the map here as they are Demos. looking to take the advantage Demos. here. Two, two. Demos. <laughs> two it just sounds like something you'd hear in fucking mass, like in Latin, you know what I mean? Like. I think so. I'm a convert already, the way he's playing. Godly plays by Demos. Uh, coming up here now is Crazed Rock has a very important position here on ledge. Um, needs to kind of maybe back down a little bit because he was spotted out by Seaside as well. Deimos does go down. Deimos. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Viz with the camo now. Going to have a massive part to play. Navivi also has the Bior. Um, you know, the cheaty... Uh, the, the cheaty bandit rifle, as I like to call it. No, he just has a normal bandit rifle. And uh, down he goes, um, with the Evo in hand, camo down, and burned. But it has led to a sizable lead on this hill and a full conversion. 3-2 now to score, 140 on the clock, and we're back to top mid. Back to top mid here. Online shooters up 3-2, a minute and a half left in the game here. They're going to be looking to make a huge impact, but two go down for online shooters. But it, like you said before, online shooters handing the only two map losses to Mediocre in the tournament, so they're definitely not intimidated at all by Mediocre. Yeah, and, uh, you know, a very tight game uh, they had last time around. Um, like, uh, we were uh, unable to catch it on the live stream. Uh, we had our losers QF, I think, instead, or semis. And yeah, uh, we have here now Dr. Cream and Scream. Oh, he's screaming, he's screaming, he's trying real hard and Ooh. does get the kill with a 360 on today. Hey, Moose. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Cream and Scream now, creaming all over that hill uh, as he screams uh, in agony due to a bullet ripping through his Spartan. Mule near armor. Don't knock it till you try it. That's all I gotta say. I just gotta say, looking forward to uh, a good cream and scream uh, <laughs> in this final. Uh, <laughs> uh, moving swiftly forward, uh, Viz with camo on the hill. Looking at the time, one minute twelve is a long time to slay out. So he's gonna try and put as much hill pressure on the opposing team as possible, and hopefully win this. Uh, in uh, win this to points rather than time. Yeah, Viz, you know, it seems like he's always the one that's going to be getting on these active oh. cameras, but great needs to knock him off. Two go down, three go down for online shooters, three down both teams. It's a 1v1 here. North Snipes pushing into the hill here. He's down to one shot and finishes it off there. 4 2 victory for online shooters, and already they're coming out guns blazing. Absolutely, and some great work all around. Uh, by online shooters to take that first game and that that is a flag in the sand right that is them saying you know what we're here to stay we are not scared of you you beat us in that winner's final but the real winners are the winners uh not of the winner's final or the loser's final but the grand final and Couldn't possibly grand final uh grand final losers winners grand final bracket reset you know i think i think you know it's yeah. easy to track for sure <laughs> <laughs> clear as mud oh. over on our end here as we've definitely been casting a lot of halo today you know it's a great <laughs> yeah. tournament here the inaugural trailblazer championship series here we're in the grand final these two teams have been duking it out all day 
they've gone through the gauntlet here. Online shooters coming out of the loser's bracket, getting map one here. That's kind of feels so good here. If they can get easy 3-0, or I'm sorry, best of seven series, an easy 4-0 sweep here and reset the bracket, then, you know, we start start getting a little excited over here. Let's get <laughs> going, man. I'm looking forward to it. Demos here giving us some proper info here. The inside scoop, three subs they've had to integrate throughout this tournament. And, okay. and man fantastic work by them to be able to adapt to these circumstances and as we head into game two aquarius slayer no one wins on aquarius if they don't deserve to win on aquarius <laughs> like so you know uh it's gonna be a testament to uh the teamwork and camaraderie that's built around these subs who have had to come and go throughout these series and how quickly the flesh can adapt uh, to the speed of the games that are happening now. So far, it's been promising. But uh, as I say, as we always say, Slayer, different kettle of fish. Also, um, just to be said, this could have also just been a warm up game for Mediocre. They've they've not played for a bit, you know. Mm. So, yeah, you're right. They've yeah. been sitting there, kind of. Uh, I mean, I imagine they weren't just twiddling their thumbs. But yeah, there's nothing quite like the actual. Uh... You know practice of the real thing here that we got into on that first map so yeah you're right it might be a little bit of a warm-up for them you know slayer is going to be a great kind of chance for them to bounce back in here and if you're on the side of online shooters you're looking here to get this 2-0 lead and put the pressure on them and say bracket reset it's happening but first we got to get through aquarius slayer yeah and dr cream and scream uh brought down early here uh online shooters to a 3-2 lead uh, as we shake out this very quick opening gambit. But Biz eats a grenade, goes down, and uh, the James Dean, um, I don't know if that means that I am James Dean, or uh, if he is the most James Dean. Um, depends on whether he's using Old Irish or, or Old English or, uh, you know. Maybe we all are James Dean. I think that's really what the message is here. <laughs> Maybe we all exist in an alternate uh, an alternate universe in which James Dean never died and became president and uh, created what's called known uh, colloquially as the Deanverse. Uh, <laughs> is, that, is that canon? I think that's canon. I think that's canon, <laughs> yeah. Um, that is the plot to, oh, what's it called again? Uh, Monument Mythos. Uh, and long horror series so uh can't take credit for that uh but, <laughs> but flesh here going down 12 8 the lead the oh. online shooters and they are coming out of the blocks like hell for leather and yeah they're being stunted here for just a moment but the trades keep coming and they don't stop coming until maybe right now and dr cream and scream gets away with one kill and four kills now the difference 15 to 11 yeah, online shooters definitely coming out here hot, carrying over from that first one, and you know, quite an impressive thing for them to have three subs throughout the day. You know, it just is a testament to the contingency they have on that team and who's been carrying on through as they do put two of the mediocre members down, and they're increasing their lead here, 19 to 13 already, and it looks as if mediocre is kind of on their heels a little bit here early on. Yeah, and I mean, this is just the early game, but it's a very promising start for online shooters. You know, uh, we'll see now once uh, once things kind of shake out into the 30, 35 kill range, uh, how things kind of start playing out. But for at the moment, the momentum is definitely in their favor, but oh no, North Snipes made a push there and was unaware of the player in gen. Able to get away with his life, very luckily, I, would, I, I might say, but the double kill out of the end of it and creamed, got screamed, scream cream, Doctor got done dead. And North by North Snipes. And 10 and 3 from the captain of online shooters leading the charge for his team here in this grand final. Yeah, 10 and 3. What a great way to keep it going in here. You know, leading by example here on Aquarius Slayer. He's already sniffing one out over here by P Door. Gets the kill already pushing up here to top mid control. And 
mediocre. A couple spawners in blue util and all over car side working together there to get the trade. But at this point, though, they got to kind of work against it. They're down by eight. They can't settle for the trades here as we pass the halfway mark in Team Slayer. Yeah. And this mid game is kind of still kind of playing out in the same vein. Uh, we just have to make sure that uh, online shooters Yo. don't allow a door to open for Mediocre to get control and start the snowball snowing in the ball direction of them. <laughs> <laughs> they better watch out. It sounds dangerous. They better not cry. They better not pout. I'm telling you why. Like, you know, Dr. Cream and Scream is coming to town. <laughs> Well, they are a little bit here as they are able to creep up here down by five scores 32 to 27 each each essentially trading off here north snipes looking to move his way across the map mediocre pushing up to car two side here viz looking to put some damage down two go down three go down for mediocre so just as they start to crawl back into it there's still a significant difference here between the scores and Online shooters putting the pressure on here. They're not just settling on their laurels here as they get another two down on the spawners on Mediocre. Wreaking havoc here in Utility. Ooh, North wow. Snipes, they he's a man possessed right now. But to the gas right now. They're not giving them a second to breathe. They're saying, you are playing at our pace now, right? This is how we want to play, and you're going to have to deal with it. And it looks like maybe you might be able to slow things down a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be for too much now. If you're mediocre, what you're looking for is these one pick, these one kind of like pick situations where you get like a two or three v one, and you're able to get uh, convert that and then lead into a team fight and kind of snowball that way around. Whereas what uh, online shooters are trying to do is just put as much pressure as possible onto these mediocre players and keep them in that respawn screen. They don't care if they're uh, trading out here and there because they have the lead by five points coming into this end game and things we're heading into squeaky bum time here so uh you know uh get your anti-squeak lotion anti-squeak lotion for sure get the friction I don't know. needs to slow down just a bit <laughs> <laughs> you're going too fast for me as already we're creeping in here i think that's only a three kill lead here mediocre just kind of like you said tit for tat here just picking off those guys as they're all, oh, as they creeped within one there, but the difference goes back to three. 44 to 42 here, trying to keep up the score here and give it to you as it's happening. Oh, I should just have You're to be very careful. Have, you just have to sit there and wait here as we're watching here. There's the final kills of this team slayer. Yeah, they need to be careful now because things are getting a bit dodge. Uh, with 43, or sorry, 45, it is traded out. They just need to make sure that they have each other's crosses right now. That's all that matters, right? Because they could, if they give up one kill in the wrong place at the wrong time, things could go very wrong here in the last few moments of this Slayer game. Yeah, North Snipes here just gathering intel for his teammates there. He's able to see how many are in the yellow base. Finds the straggler, gets the kill there. A really great trade. Still maintains the two kill lead there. Oh man, one goes down for each side here. Coming into the final kills. Viz being sneaky oh, as always. Oh, shot. Whew. Caught out there by Viz. Viz just in the right place at the right time, you know? It doesn't matter. Those 48 kills to this point don't matter. It's just the two that are left. And the players who are able to get them for you are going to be the difference between winning and losing. Yeah, and here we go. Everything kind of Couldn't slowing down to a dead still. There's only one kill lead here. Pivotal battle oh. there. Viz able to win it. 49-49. 49-49. Two on the screen. North Snipes needs to live, but he has two enemies around him. And this push! Wow. Oh North my god, Snipes. I'm not sure get it! In the last win! Oh my god, no, it was it was 49-49, and the kill came through from online shooters just in time. Before, like, because a split second later, and that goes the other way. My god, could not have been closer in the end there, despite an early to mid game that was dominated by online shooters. They were pushed all the way to the end and that's gonna do uh, a lot for the mentals of Mediocre. Yeah, and just if you're taking notes at home, just a fantastic display of coordination from the side of online shooters you've had.
one of them, I had Viz over on the fridge side, and then you had Norse Snipe over on the util side. So basically, they cut him off completely inside of that base and didn't let him go out either side, and they just picked off the different ends of it and put themselves in a good position there. And, you know, I think if we were going past the 50 mark, you know, I think Mediocre was creeping up there as they were able to go overcome yeah. that deficit. Definitely some fire in them, but they're looking at potentially going down 3-0 into this next map. Yeah, and, you know, I mean, do you want a quick loss or do you want a slow loss, right? There are pros and cons to both, right? You got so close. Does that mean, oh my god, we can get these guys, we know we can get these guys, we drew them so close? Or does it go, man, we put everything into that and we still came second. We still didn't get that one. And now we're going into a game three um on Empyrean CTF. Now, nice. Just a great map and mode. Always like watching we, really competitive teams play on that one. Yeah. Cause we haven't seen these two teams play it. Mm -mm. But we have seen uh Grunts play it. And my god, those games were fast. I don't think that's gonna be the case here. I think both teams uh are gonna kind of have their moments here on this map. I think Unless something goes horrifically wrong off the rip, right? Hmm. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> then, uh, you know, I think we're going to see uh, both teams kind of throwing haymakers here. Now, I, I will say that if uh, online shooters were to win this series, there is a bracket reset, everybody, right? So, like, you know, who knows? Maybe they can push it all the way. So, uh, yeah, this game now has uh, a lot of writing on it, I think. Because if you get to that 3-0 territory, you have four chances to get yourself to that bracket reset. And I think, you know, uh, yeah, like it's uh, fantastic. So, sniper off the rip here for the James Dean, or the James the you james dean uh two dead now for mediocre it looks like they may have lost that fight for rockets uh sniper now uh putting pressure onto flesh but flesh getting shots off and backing them down so that was fantastic work there from flesh immense pressure coming down now onto the side of mediocre flesh has the flag the sub is already out there with the flag does go down but he's done a lot of work here and two down for the side of Mediocre. It's pretty much all on the James Ooh. Dean. And he delivers a headshot directly to the dome of Crazed Rock. Or no, my apologies. Two Demos. Demos. Um, and the return looks like it's going to come in. And the James Dean showing exactly why he's the one who went directly for that sniper off the start. Yeah, and just a great play by him. He was one shot in the back of Sniper Cuts there, able to survive somehow squeaking away and then getting the two snipe kills and making damage happen and making every sniper bullet count. It was just a crucial play there to kind of play defense and push them back as online shooters are pushing into their spawn. Now both teams kind of fighting over the 50. Three go down for Mediocre. They have spawners in the back of Flag, so online shooters here are going to have to flush them out here of needles into the back of the flag here oh no their backs against the wall mediocre what are they going to do with their backs against the wall here uh looks like they're going to repel their borders uh pretty good <laughs> stuff there uh uh kill on to day most uh <laughs> oh north snipes getting up onto banana getting a bit of spice here in this final series i like it um, oh yeah Oh man, uh, shots on now, and this is not an oft seen uh, position at this level, and it's pretty cool that he got up there really, to be honest. Uh, I like to see it, but uh, it does look like uh, he has been spotted out and he has a lot to do on long, but he has been effed by the timing and is going to get collapsed on, does Ooh. not get the melee off, and now with 10 seconds remaining, uh, till those power weapons come up. Um, Dr. Cream and Scream has his hands on the flag? What are you doing, buddy? What's happening here? Yeah, there's two down for his team, too. He's almost at the 50-yard line. He's got his teammate, Crazy Rock, coming down long haul to help him, throwing the shield up. He's going to have to get a trade here. Nobody on the other team close to the flag and the James Dean. 
you, me, we, James Dean. He puts it in there, and we break open this CTF. He but James a counter, Dean. a counter on the horizon. Could be. Oh man, I hope so. Uh, let's just hope that it's not Forbidden Dawn because that is not a first-person shooter. <laughs> flashed here he's gonna be able to get these oe guys if he, he hit with that he hit, with, he hit someone with that rocket oh my <laughs> god oh uh, north snipes here now running his way in he's like we want this bracket reset and i mean don't forget guys this is a batch of seven right so i mean things are hotting up here not quite over the line yet but they're doing a great job and uh you know i hope that they can keep this momentum going up into the next couple of games because Everybody Oof. here Fish. wants to see as much as possible. And Lord Snipes, killing spree with that sniper. He's going off in this grand final. Oh, 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 think of it. He has a family, North Snipes. My God. <laughs> oh, oh, no. North Snipes does not care. He is a ruthless demon out there right now, just using every sniper bullet to his advantage here. I believe now he's on a six killing spree at the moment as we got Deimos with the flag pool. Looks like he's in a great spot to make it through long. Viz coming along uh, to help out his teammates, laying damage down on Needles. Just great teamwork Oh, there. he does go down though. It's just North Snipes to prevent this and it doesn't look like he's in a position to do so. So this flag is going back and they need to get themselves in a good position here because they can get spawn trapped down into uh, Snipes here very easily. Uh, so they need to get themselves moving as fast as they can and it looks like they did it looks like they're up into their needles and have spread out well enough to repel that attack and i gotta say that's some heads up play there from online shooters to have the awareness of where they need to go off the spawn to make sure that they don't get absolutely demolished uh when they come or when they leave that respawn screen yeah and just a great effort there as they get four down on the opposite side when they're pushed deep into their spawn and they try going across Double the other map, and pushing the other enemy on the other side, and online shooters three down for them. Viz, the only one here to challenge the Rockets. Rockets are picked up at the moment. Oh. Mediocre getting the kill with them. But there's a Rocket still chilling there. Somebody slides through in dramatic fashion. No, not going to be able to use it, Demos. Demos dies. Grace Rock, though. Demos. He's looking for spawners, and he's looking to put a Rocket on their face here. Are they Needles? Are they over on Sword Side? Looks like he sniffs one out, waste the last rocket, and they might be able to get in here and to get a full another pool here. But like you said, though, we have the two white oh, pool here. Sneaky boy, <laughs> Craze Rock with the little sneak and peek. Oh, but he is getting shot from back. He is absolutely. He's not going to be able to make that transition. And flashed is or fleshed is already on him. Is it flashed? Fleshed? Who knows? We could ask, but we won't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dr. Cream and Scream here now, 11 and 11, not doing too badly, but this is just all out war here. Haymakers being thrown by either side and a uh, very puggy game as we just see Mighty Crew flying through the air, uh, stuck in a never ending loop of uh, animation as North Snipes here with the sniper trying to uh, stunt this push down long haul. Um, as the flag is stuck down by needles. Um, and Flesh now with the OE down to their sniper. And with the uh, kind of uh, carrot Ooh. of that flag, it allows Flesh to OE, or was it Viz, to OE and get the enemy sniper. So uh, this is going to be a tough cross here. Shot onto Rock is still alive. And uh, he is after making a cross. So I think they're going to be able to score this Ooh. one unless something goes horribly wrong. And in it is punched by Craze Rock. 2-1 the lead now for Mediocre in this game three. Yeah, great patience there. You know, they didn't know they had the sniper. They on the cross. He gets, he gets the hit on a Craze Rock. But just great patience by him to sit there and wait and regen. And now online shooters... After they get scored on, they said, no, not not, not this way. They go four down, not already today. holding forward here. And now they're going to be going to get them here as Mediocre is going to have to decide between trying to go after this flag and damage or OE across the map. It looks like Dr. Cream and Scream writing a paper here on what to do, but he gets picked off in training. Not oh, rockets get it. for the mighty crew. And if he gets that off, he does. And he stops that flag run right Ooh. in his track on his own, able to get his fingies on those rockets and put them to use. 
Damn. And Viz, last one alive there. Just looking to try to get some picks here. Put some damage in and stop oh. the next person. What a great yes. reversal there. Puts his team Build in a good from spot. Viz. Like, not having the greatest games, but when he need, when he was called upon there, uh, like, he really showed up. And that could lead to the uh, pull being nullified. North Snipes now has the overshield. And it's all about... Where, oh, no, he goes down. And I think that was a 1v1 as well. Deimos, Deimos, got to have a bowl of... Never mind. Um, he is after uh, getting long control and no power weapons coming up at the moment so this is going to be a straight fight for the next few minutes uh when it comes or if online shooters are going to be able to get uh another point on the board yeah online shooters here working down for the first time in this series you know they've usually kind of maintained a solid lead in the first two maps we saw now facing some adversity they have three minutes left on the clock they're only down by one here as now it's a certainly a great trade. match. Both sides here trying to fight over this mid control. Flesh flashed, flesh flash, getting the kill there. Flashing his flesh. Pit. Flashing his flesh and doing it well as he looks like they might be being able to push through here on the other might side. Might be but... in trouble with the authorities, but he's doing <laughs> his job here in Halo. Uh, fun time Trailblazer Championship Series. Yeah. <laughs> um, North Snipes here has his hands on his namesake and uh is patrolling around green and oh he gets that shot off oh man i thought there was no hope for him there but of course we are watching via the observer so things like that are bound to happen what a shot and uh viz oh viz goes down and the power is coming up 15 seconds so uh online shooters have a lot of work to do to flush these players out of green and um uh, kind of retain any uh, semblance of control over the power that is about to spawn on this map. Yeah, Mediocre in a great spot here. Rockets are coming up. They're at the 50. They're putting pressure on them. They get a pick on Viz. That's always huge. They get two, three down. Rockets are able More. to get the first guy down. And Viz is the first one up here. He's given a tall task here. He's got to do God's work in order to stop this flag cap. The rest of his team looking to OE, but man, is the pressure on him here to try to stop it. Yeah, and it looks like we could be going into a 2-1 situation in this first best of seven. Um, and there we go. Great work there from Mediocre to pull out that 3-1 victory. And I've got to say as well, great objective efficiency. Not exactly uh, like uh, a blowout when it comes to the opposing team's uh, KD, but like... Um, they definitely uh, came out with uh, like the kills when they needed it, the wipes when they needed it, and got that flag down long three times. Yeah, and it seems like every time they got a flag pull, it was already in a great spot with four members down on the online shooter side. So some of those flag caps were not that dicey, really. They mostly kind of had full control and had them in a chokehold and were able to get that as they pull out the 3-1. They answer back in this series, too. You know, that's going to be crucial looking at that. If they were down 0-3 moving into the fourth map, you know, they might be being like, well, yeah. I don't know, maybe this isn't our series. But now, you know, they're kind of uh, building some momentum here to maybe end it already in this series. Absolutely. And we're going in now to uh, live fire strongholds. So, uh, you know, a lot of love here for Mediocre in the chat as well, I've got to say. Um, uh, so, yeah, they're coming out uh, swinging um, in this uh, game three. But now moving into strongholds on live fire. Interesting change of pace, this, uh, from the rest of the games. And, uh, you know... A very different game from the first three we saw. I mean, you know, CTF and Koth on Solitude were kind of a similar-ish kind of thing. It was all about, you know, trapping your enemy spawns and, and really kind of rolling uh, rolling things out. Whereas I think these teams, with the way that uh, Strongholds is playing at the moment, there will be a lot more, uh, a lot more rotations going on, I would say. Yeah, yeah, you know, just kind of based on the way... The kind of static thing. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. based on like the way that live fire plays too, you know, there's just a lot more opportunities for like a almost a circular rotation around the map, whereas you know, like Empyrean is can be super boxy, you know, in terms of just the way yeah. and the openings and the routes that you have to take. You know, basically on Empyrean, everybody knows which directions you're coming. You know, there's only three real yeah. routes. But in live fire here, a lot of opportunities to kind of do some great flanks, be sneaky, move around, get some team angles. So going to be a great differentiator here you know if you're on the side of online shooters there yeah they got one you still have the 2-1 lead and this could be really crucial here in terms of making a shot here at the grand finals championship and if you're on the side of mediocre along with their friends here they're going to be looking to make a big splash here dr cream and scream flying out with the g slide they get the two kills there but then they trade both sides three down for mediocre the only one left is the james dean here cap and b they have a and b and mediocre is going to get on the board early here but online shooters looking to make some moves here i believe they have the sniper there able to exchange on bridge and it's just back and forth already here both teams fired up and ready to get into it absolutely and uh goal uh, go team fun time bot. Sorry, just gotta say it. Uh, <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, <laughs> and Viz here able to get his handsies on that overshield. So uh, Flesh now trying to uh, get that triple uh, cap online as online shooters look to be off to a strong start here uh, on Live Fire. Yeah, they answer back already. You know, mediocre getting to an early lead, and now online shooters up on the scoreboard with BNC controlled. Deimos holding the high ground here up on tower as each side exchanges a kill. Deimos here putting crucial damage into those guys up in top sandbag as they try to make a push into B. But it looks as if the push is successful there. All three of them basically pushing through big door and on the B, getting it easily with the quick cap, and already the situation is flipped here as Deimos has to see which way they're coming from. Are they going to be pushing for that triple cap, or are they just going to maintain the ones we got? And yeah, no now... shield down 30 seconds. I don't think that you can really afford to wait for this. So maybe they'll look at rotating A, capping A, and uh, then collapsing onto Turbine. I'm not sure. But they can't afford to leave um, Mediocre get uh, too much time here on this hill. Yeah, too much time. and. Already we've seen it just in a couple of the other objective games there that it's already back and forth as Mediocre only has a slight lead, but it is growing by the second. As they almost yet to die. The... Oh my gosh. Oh praise, my god. Deimos. <laughs> Deimos. That's the European ad for Kellogg's Food Fiber. My apologies. Nice. Nice. <laughs> it's a niche crowd that's what that one's for. Come and we want some. Fun, <laughs> man. Uh, excellent ad. I I do recommend it. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> but uh, as we are moving forward in this game, online shooters seem to have a lot of control here, and even Viz now not content with allowing the opposing team uh, control of C, pops straight onto it, flips it, and now. Uh, like for just a few moments, we're gonna see a triple cap here in the favor of online shooters. And they will be hoping to stretch their legs here into a lead with this BC control. Yeah, the great part about that, pushing for that three cap is that they basically put damage down the next round of spawners. Oh my God, Deimos, and, Deimos and is almost it. on a killing frenzy. He's still alive. He's still alive, my God. Show us that man, show us that man. Oh my God, Deimos. Putting in nine and four uh, assist wise. Oh, he goes down. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't mean it. <laughs> it's all my fault. Uh, if it weren't for me, he would still be alive. But um, here is Viz now. Big job here. Trying to support his overshield body. Unfortunately, James Dean, too tricky with the feeties. Um, and uh, yeah, Viz does get his kill there, but goes down to. Uh, the James Dean. Um, Deimos with the sniper now, but under a hell of a lot of pressure and goes down to James Dean. Um, he is uh, not, uh, as I have been led to believe, uh, in control of uh, the demons that live inside the monuments of the United States. I don't know why you would mention that. Um, I don't know why uh, anyone would think that. But now, 
things uh we have mediocre scoring going up to uh a tie here and uh yeah things are getting a bit puggy now yeah i think it's really and we wouldn't expect anything less from these two teams here they've just been going out of the whole dang series so far two down for online shooters not in a great spot mediocre it was a demo oh he did oh james dean just in time there on uh, a able to flip it for his team stem the bleeding one point ahead now our online shooters and ticking and uh this fight over b is big here uh for this mid game uh because if you have it you have a bit more freedom around the map um so let's see if they're able to, to keep it as deimos uh slides in does not have the uh the repulsor uh once again my nickname in high school um <laughs> And uh, yeah, uh, able to use it to great effect, getting that touch on to see massive stuff. 30 points now the lead. I think we can comfortably call it a lead now in the Strongholds game um, as fleshed as well. Coming in as a sub for the grand final and he's 10, 6 and 10. Gotta just say hand, hats off to him. Yes, of course, Demos, nuts going off. But to come into a game like this, like when the pressure's on, Going positive up to this point, excellent work. Yeah, just fantastic. You know, plug and play for the online shooters. Is apparently, it's, they've had multiple subs throughout the day, but it doesn't matter as they're still finding themselves in a good spot here and a good healthy chance here to make a push towards winning the Trailblazer Championship Series here in this grand Oh, and here's final. a big pip. Oh, and he is over shield. Off goes Crazed Rock. He knows this is not his fight. Has the green gun down bottom mid but he's like absolutely not no thank you don't want uh please don't oh and nice. he gets flashed oh my goodness excellent Ooh. play there Gr double huge kill. double kill allows his team to really start scoring now um as he puts two in the respawn screen and a is being capped but it has to only be one it is north side but the spawns are coming in a as well so viz is going to be right there Ooh. to be killed that's like the best double kills for praise rock He's, a, he's an insane rock at this moment here as he's looking to cap A and they have all three right now easily going to... Oh, and they're lead. all over C as well. They are all over C. So uh, it's going to be a real uphill battle for online shooters here for the next uh, 30 or so seconds uh, if they want to keep that lead. Yeah, they're definitely in the blender right now. You know, every point they're trying to get here off of the spawn already, Mediocre is up in their grill. North Snipes... Looking to make a move here, gets the kill on there to go down. But thankful trades there from both sides as Viz tries to make the move with Mighty Chu. And Mighty Chu indeed gets a double kill and stops him on that push. Um, to um, Two um. more members are here. And it's a battle out here in B. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're seeing Chu now just playing Ring Around the Rosie. Um, and he is the one with a pocket full of posies as he puts down Fleshed on the. Uh, on the uh, objective there, and North Slides and Demos now are going to have a big old job because they're getting collapsed on uh, from two different directions here. It looks like Doctor Cream and Scream uh, did get uh, crazed or did repulse that attack as Demos there is very dead. Uh, we did see that, and now he lives again. Tapping A, getting shots onto the overshield a turbine, but it's still converted, and he's about to be in a world of hurt. Down he goes. Craze or cream and scream does go down. Uh, he he was cr creamed. Um, huh. as online shooters now are trying their damnedest to stem the bleeding, as uh, like as this game has completely flipped on its head. Yeah, completely flipped on his head indeed. And, you know, as soon as we mention it now, two go down for mediocre. So it looks as if online shooters here holding C pretty safely, about to cap B. They have mediocre all spawning in A here and keeping them trapped in there. Flash gets a pick. Craze Rock trades with them. Craze Rock looking to get Viz over there in the back of Big Door. Oh, Demos gets collapsed on. And, and both B is snakes. now up for the taking. Yeah, be up for the taking right now, and this could be the really pivotal part here as both teams, there's only about a 16 point margin between the two of them as they approach the 200 mark. Currently mediocre scoring, Craze Rock getting the kill, two down for online shooters, online shooters right now, they kind of have to go for it and they have to make some big plays. Absolutely, 
uh, 20 seconds to go and they need to get their toesies onto one of those objectives. Uh, so, uh, and with oh, with two in the death screen right now, it's pretty much all down to North Snipes and he goes down. And with 10 seconds remaining, I'm not quite sure just Ooh. how much they're going to be able to do about this as Crazed Rock is rocking crazily uh, on this hill. And those kills have secured his team the win unless, question mark, a clock stop comes and it doesn't. Fantastic work there from Crazed Rock and the mediocre side to bring this series to 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, Are down, you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Down in the 0-2 hole in the series, and they even it up right there. Just really insane plays from Craze Rock there. We caught a lot of that towards the end, and those were a lot of the pivotal ones there that essentially closed the door there on online shooters. And now, you know, we're talking about, you know, going back in fourth here what are you uh what are you taking away now from how this series started to where we've got now oh hard to say because a lot of this has been just in the moments like in these little moments like single players just really turning on right you know we had north snipes game one and in that last one we had crazed rock getting those two double kills and then holding B on his own <laughs> for the last few moments there, just absolutely cooking. Um, so, you know, uh, the next one now, our game five, is a Slayer on Streets. Now, as some would say, this is deja vu all over again. Hmm. Uh, I'd be interested to see how online shooters get uh, by in this game. So... You know, uh, I'm hoping for a bounce back for them. You know, I mean, I know that we've been casting for seven hours now. <laughs> well, you've been casting for seven hours. I've been, I had a break. But I want to see a reset. I want to see a bracket reset. I want to see another best of seven. Because these guys are putting on a show for us. And I hope that it continues to its natural yeah, conclusion. It's been a marathon up until this point, And... Yeah, I'm happy to have been, been a part of this. We've seen lots of really great plays and a lot of different players stepping it up. And it kind of seems that it's going to be the way here going forward is, you know, who's going to be the one that steps up for either one of these teams because they seem very evenly matched. And I feel like every one of these maps could go either other way. And, you know, Craze Rock, shout out to him at the end there with the shroud screen, B, you know, basically bobbing and weaving in and out of that shroud screen, holding B by himself and, those are those things that are going to give you the dub at the end of the day here is now we're moving into map five of this best of seven series. Absolutely. You know, and, you know, Slayer Streets, you know, we said it last time. We hope that it might be one of those groundy, grindy little poggy ma maps. But, you know, I mean, I am biased. I want more Halo. I want to see I want to see our boys um, online shooters get this game three and the game four. Hey, look, I don't mind if they do it in seven, but I want to see this bracket reset, baby. Yeah, I think you and me both. I think anybody that's been tuning in here, you know, that would be just a nice, nice little uh, cherry on top to this first tournament here. And uh, just some extra, you know, competition for the next time they host a tournament like this. And I think this is going to bring out a little bit more competition on the next round. And yeah, I think you and me both here. Let's see some more Halo. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, these guys are absolutely cooking. And, you know, uh, hats off to um, North Snipes, Deimos and Fizz. I believe they were the constants throughout this entire thing. Integrating these new players to uh, your team when you are playing at this level. Like, yeah, early on, you could say, yeah, there's a bit of a skill gap here and there. But like in these last like two, three games, like they've really had to be on it and they've made their way to this grand final. And it's definitely been, um, it definitely has been just a great showing by them. So, and of course the, the quiet, quietly going among their business or about their business, mediocre have just flown through this series. The only team so far to put uh, a bit of blood in their nose is um, is the online shooters team and worthy opponents here at the end 
of this uh, grand final or of at the end of this Trailblazers Championship series. So, what do we think? What yeah. do you think, Manny? It's definitely not. It has not been a cakewalk for mediocre here coming into this last part. You know, starting out down 2-0 in the series, but sounds like they have basically gotten themselves all geared up there. You're right. You know, online shooters were coming into this one hot off of coming out of that loser's bracket, basically just playing Halo and grinding it away. And it seems like mediocre kind of needed a little bit of a warm up to kind of get it back into the swing of things. And now it seems like they've kind of grabbed control of this series and we're talking about game five here. This is kind of, I would say, statistically the determinant of who's going to win this series. You know, going up 3-2 and then having two games left to finalize it out. You know, that's just a, such a great position to be in. Yeah, and it, it show, or like it's it's all about now who with their ba- or who plays better with their backs against the wall. You know, like um, it's very important, I think, for online shooters to get this game five because they've been here before. They've been at 2-2 in a best of five. And they lost that last layer. So going into the Slayer streets, you know, it's going to be. Uh, wait, actually, I can actually check uh, what it was last time around for their game five uh, with the wonders of magic. It was Slayer on recharge. Mm. So very different game, you know. Uh, so it's going to be a case of you know who's able to control those rockets. I mean. I think this is a very much a kind of game where if you're able to get your hands on those rockets and get that opening, you might be able to start snowballing because, you know, um, we've seen these teams get very hot at times, you know, um, and at different stages in different games, you know, like it hasn't been a consistent win on either side. Like they've always kind of gone back and forth, except for maybe that CTF on Empyrean. I think that that was mainly in control of the side of mediocre. So, you know, um, yeah, I think it should be exciting. No, yeah, I agree with you 100%. You know, that CTF Empyrean sort of seems like the outlier and what we've gotten in the map so far. And Street Slayer, yeah, it's set up right here for it to be a match that is back and forth. And it's going to come down to who's going to get those rockets and shotgun and all the other weapons on the map here and putting them to the highest amount of use and to get the ball rolling here, you know, to start snowballing them here. It's going to be pretty impressive. It seems as if if, uh, whenever one team kind of gets into the position of having numbers and trying to get that second wipe on them and kind of start cycling their opponent, it seems like the other team is willing, is able to answer. And so that's really what's given us that back and forth, that, that tug and that pull between both of these teams as they work their way through each one of these maps. And, you know, honestly, I think if it's given between these two teams and we had to run 10 series of sevens, you know, like I'm not sure who would come out on top. It might still be like one of those 50 50 things, but unfortunately, we only have this series and potentially a grand finals bracket reset to see it happen as we kick off Slayer on streets here. The battle for rockets is begun. Oh, James Dean. Dean gets one off, but he goes down. Gets traded. That rocket is still available in palms. Who's going to get it? Down goes Mighty Chu and Harry Potter, and I believe it is Demos, um, who has the rockets and a shotgun in his back pocket, looking for an opportunity. Now, Chu could be the spoiler here, gets his early shots on, and forces Demos into the trade. Uh, Flesh does pick up Mighty Chu, however, and uh, things are kind of getting very uh, crazy here. Like, I think it's seven to four, the lead now. Um, nine to five, my apologies. Uh, my mathing is not math wise. And uh, yeah, um, Demos here really uh, patrolling this uh, arcade position, which is, as I was going to say, a very dangerous place to be. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> definitely played out there. <laughs> oh yeah, man, I got to be a bit faster easy. with my comments, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the old caster jinx is a very real thing. So sometimes we do have to be careful. You got a what chance we're to jinx him. He was dead first. <laughs> Oh man, North Snipes ensuring the trade there with that stick. Uh, good work from Crazed Rock to get a trade out of that. Down goes James Dean. James Dean, definitely uh, the uh, definitely a man of many theories in the chat. Um, you know, uh, a lot of uh, uh, 
soothsaying, a lot of legend being um, proclaimed. But uh, we'll see <laughs> how he's able to uh, like uh, play in this uh, Street Slayer game as we are at 15-14, could not be closer. Well, it could, but then it would be a tie. Yeah, you got the rockets coming up here. It's going to be huge as each side to go down for mediocre. Oh, this could be yeah. good for online shooters. They should be able to get their hands on those rockets. Oh, that grenade really put the uh, brakes on there. And a speculative one there from North Snipes. Uh, betted incorrectly as Fizz gets rid of that rocket before going down, trying to stem, not, not giving the opponents the opportunity to get their hands on those rockets. Um... <laughs> and uh, yeah, Damo's here now, pushing around shotgun. He needs to get this kill and does. And now things might start coming up uh, online shooters here as all four are now on the map pushing up uh, B here. So Damo's here uh, has support in C, I believe. So should be able to pick this uh, fight up. Oh, Craze goes down, needs to be traded out, is. And uh, yeah, online shooters keeping the advantage up in this mid game. Yeah, keeping the advantage up here. Online shooters keeping that lead and pushing it out now to five as they get two down on mediocre. All of them set up over here on the A side. They start to make a push to the mid map. They got a straggler over here in the back of arcade. Mighty Chu putting some damage, backing up his teammate comes into the support and North Knight casually backs up here as they're going to be working the two on two game here over in arcade. Online shooters winning the first one. One more person left over in the back of Red Room. Pulling out the AR, but not able to get the kill there. As yeah, both teams kind of going back and forth, but online shooters, they have that cushion now up by seven, 30 to 23. Yeah, and uh, this is exactly what the doctor ordered here for online shooters. A uh, seven point lead here gives them a bit of a cushion that uh, I think they're going to need af uh, after being uh, after reeling af or after those two games. I know the Rockets coming up. Uh, rail is uh, an important position to hold uh, in this situation, but unfortunately not a strong enough uh, position to uh, outdo the numbers disadvantage. Saying that though, online shooters go two down. Nice. They go three down. And the Rockets could go in favor of Mediocre here um, off the back of these slays. And with online shooters stuck in C, things could get very scary for them as the lead now closes down to just three. And James Dean, they're getting the double kill with the Rockets. Not sure if that was a one for two situation, but those Rockets so crucial. Mediocre didn't get the Rockets, but they still creep within three here, four. They're down 31 to 35. And it looks as if North Snipes here, the calming pivotal point here in this formation is he's holding the middle of there. He's watching his buddy Viz. He's got his back up here. Just really great teamwork oh. here in terms of just covering each other's angles. Yeah, and, uh, you know, great vantage point here for us casters as well up on that, uh, up in heaven. We get to see where everyone is. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, um, North Snipes now. 12 and 5 showing up for his team once more able to live and get down to ivy so uh gets his shields back crazed rock goes down the the, the cream screamer uh the the doctor of cream no the screaming cream doctor no um one of those i'm sure is correct maybe uh, <laughs> for 10 kills now the lead as we enter the end game 44 to 34 and this is an impressive showing here from online shooters. As long as they're able to just stay disciplined and uh, keep each other's crosses. Oh, it looks like they were baited into that B play were mediocre and 13 kills now the difference with two kills remaining. It looks like we could be going to three, two flash goes down um, with the rockets for nothing, I think. Um, Two kills here now. Let's not get too excited though, as for one kill is all that is required. And I believe it was Crazed Rock who went down for it. So 50 to 37 in game five in the favor of online shooters. Oh, reach our job <laughs> next. Man, just going I'm out sure. of here. Just a total endurance match here between these two teams.
Absolutely. And it is requiring a lot of discipline on my end to not go mental and start screaming because then I'm not casting the rest of this series, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, excellent um, play out here. Also, uh, yes, um, please do, if you are watching, uh, drop a follow. We will have more of this kind of content coming along with a few different things, I'm sure. We'll try and get ourselves... Um, We'll try and get ourselves uh, more active and get ourselves uh, more streams going on here. And hopefully uh, we'll reach affiliate soon. We have plenty of followers. And I think that, you know, um, with your kind support, uh, we'll be able to put on more shows like this. Yeah, and we'll be happy to be back and bring you some more action-packed Halo here as, you know, this looks to be the start of something much larger here with the Trailblazer Championship Series hosted by Halo Fun Time. I've had a fun time with this Halo. It's been a quite a marathon, quite a dredge. And we're coming down to the end of it here, and it's definitely being a climactic battle here. Is now Online Warriors are in a position to reset this bracket here, up 3-2. They just need one more. And we're starting to talk about a, a kind of a, a total shakeup here, as it could potentially be the third time these two go at it in a series. Yeah. Like, I mean, you know, early, early doors, the story was... Um, completely legitimately uh or grunts aren't real right you know we had we followed their arc for the first three games and now <laughs> now we have the opportunity to do the same for uh for uh, online shooters as we're coming up to this game six in our best of seven series with them one in the lead and one away they have two match points here as we head into recharge for a little game of oddball should be a good one there you know both these teams you know obviously online shooters gotta be feeling good after that slayer you know you're talking about just going back and forth on the gun battles and out slaying the other team you gotta be carrying that momentum in here and punching them in the face and getting the ball and getting huge chunks of times and staying rotating and doing all the above so they gotta continue to bring the fire here as we go move our way into recharge some crucial uh, you know, components of the map going to be looking for that active camo in the bottom mid, as well as shock rifle and grapple to make an impact. Everything on the map here, so crucial to helping give yourself a little bit of an edge. And as you look at these two teams that are so evenly matched, it's going to be those little bit, those, that little edge there that's going to give you the dub. Uh, I made a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake of looking at the chat. <laughs> <laughs> it was my fucking mind laughing trying to not think <laughs> but uh yeah that was um that was fantastic work there um but yeah um <laughs> yeah um great to see such an active uh community there out in the chat shouting out for their teams and uh as we head into this game six uh things are just looking fantastic for a potential bracket reset and more of the Trailblazer Championship Series final. Yeah, championship final here. Each team exchanging here. Three go down for Mediocre. Mighty True staying alive for his team and able to get that active camo though. And he looks to be like he could be creeping around here in the bottom of Whirlpool, looking to sniff out Deimos at the top of A. He's got the advantage here able to finish that kill clearing back of a here in the back of their spawners here double kill is going to be huge the rest of his team up over on the b side three down for online shooters but viz though always just oh being mighty so chew crafty mighty chew has a killing spree off the rip has not died uh i have been reliably um have been re re uh, reliably uh informed that chew can in fact touch mc hammer um so, I mean, I think he's putting those kind of skills to use here as we start off. Yeah, he's definitely putting those skills to use here as now we have Viz able to make such a crucial play there and stop the other team from gathering a huge chunk of time by just staying alive over there in gold. But he gets knocked, though. Anybody going for that ball right now is going to be picked off by the other team. North Snipes stuck in the back of battery. He goes down. Two down for them. Here's a third one that goes down for him. Flashed as now Dr. Sc Dr. Cream and Scream leading the charge here in the back of gold pipe. He's screaming. 
He's screaming. He's screaming, <laughs> he's screaming and creaming. <laughs> he's got two teammates battling over an A. He's kind of in the middle of the action here, waiting to see what happens in these engagements before he makes a rotation. And it looks like A is the way to go. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he's he's after A. He's, he's been able to deploy his lotion uh, at Elevator, but unfortunately he does get hunted down. And could be in trouble here now because they may have just handed an excellent Elevator setup to online shooters here. And, you know, with Demo spawning back up, if he gets a favorable spawn here, they're going to be very difficult to dislodge um, up here at the top of A. Now, oh, he did try and play that. Unfortunately, the plasma grenade kept it up top A. But I say unfortunately, uh, 2v2 on the map. And North Snipes is uh, looking to get a bit shirty here. Uh, does go down. We could see... A switch again, but Mighty Chew gets chewed mightily, and uh, down he goes. And North Snipes now, the only one still uh, alive uh, for his team, and a good setup here for Mediocre in A once more. It's like yeah, Deja Vu all over again. Yeah, I'm taking the lead here. The lead, <laughs> the lead keeps swapping hands here. Oh back no! And forth. Ooh, an unfortunate whiff there, but he does finish the kill on Deimos. One go down for each side, and yeah, the ball has pretty much spent its entire time here in the first round in the back of the A elevator. Each team cleaning it out and then holding it down, but now Mediocre starting to actually kind of pull away a little bit here as they move towards the 52nd mark. Oh. I believe he just dodged that sticky somehow. And he was he like, you are not creaming me today, sir. No, he is the doctor of the cream and scream. Don't try to be creaming and screaming him, that's for sure. But three go down for mediocre. And bone. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I need to stop looking at the chat during this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, yeah. Um, so, uh, oh, North Snipes. He has that shock rifle in his hands and he's putting Ooh. it to work. Double perfect kill. Oh, my goodness. This man is on fire. Do not give him uh, a power weapon. A precision yeah, doing power it all weapon. Day, man. If you got the name Snipes in your name, you got to deliver. And this guy is always delivered with a precision weapon in his hand. Yeah, I've got to say, he's he's only had a couple of weak performances, and they've all been on maps without a sniper. So, <laughs> like, I think we're I think we're learning a lot about Nord Snipes here in this inaugural, uh, in this inaugural, uh, our Trailblazer Championship Series. Here we go now. Moving the clock here, it looks like mediocre here. They're in a great spot. Sure to close this one out here to push Ooh. past the 60 mark. But oh my gosh, online shooters just so crafty. They're getting three down on Mediocre. Mighty Chew, the only one left here. He's going to try to give his team back gold spawns here. He's going to run into somebody in the bottom of gold pipes. Try spraying him with a plasma, but he gets smacked down. And I think that's another one that goes down for them as each side trades. Two down for Mediocre. And we just have the North Snipes up here. North Snipes here with the ball. He's just milking the clock, and he's just about to take the lead here for online shooters. Yeah, and he has help on ACAT, so he's perfect got a perfect alarm system to toss this ball when he needs to, which is right now. Oh, one second, but it's fine. There's two minutes left on the clock. You don't need to get uh no need to get uh desperate right now. He knows there's someone bottom elevator, so he's kinda of waiting them out. Um this play here by Viz could be very big, getting uh sight lines on the cross uh from control, which is uh, very important and with this ball down in pit now uh, they just need to touch for a second but these slays are very important this is a very back and forth kind of moment here with kills dipping in here and there people playing their lives very well but 2v2 on the map now and the numbers now fall in the line of uh, online shooters the cover is there for Viz able to live North Snipes now has the camo and if nor or if Viz is able to get his way into these gold pipes, he's gonna guarantee his team quite a bit of time. But he needs to have his head on a swivel because Crazed is right there waiting for it. He plays the ball into Whirlpool, and this could be trouble because if they're able to get that ball out to back C, do a quick little back C run, uh, they'll have the opportunity to tick themselves up and toss the ball off for the last minute. But yeah, it looks like actually they the got end. A. They got A again. Now, look, they're definitely going to be passing the mark here. 
to go down for Mediocre, though. He's trapped in the back here. Pivotal reversal Good from shot. Dr. Cream and Scream there. And they are able to pick up the ball there. It's going to be oh, on. Demos just getting the Demos. ball away. Just being a, just a little stinker. I love it. Just he's like, you know what? You may come through that door, but you're not touching that ball. He just tosses it towards uh, his spawning teammates. And uh, like very micro move, but very important or like it's those little inches here and there that can prove the difference between winning and losing yeah and here we have viz again just another crafty player in the way he plays he's leading the way oh with 42 seconds. there's no one to punish his cross and he's going back go. to see oh no he's living he's living goes down in control but that's a very awkward place to grab the ball uh so here comes james dean and he's got a big job goes down and fleshed here now does go down as well. So uh, North snipes there to pick up the pieces, needs to move towards, oh, he's going to A. Oh, he's going to A and that's dangerous. Uh, two players on cat, the grenade goes off, tosses that ball down towards, but for the love of God, someone bring that ball to C, please. <laughs> Oh, G James Dean, he says, I'm going to probably maybe go back here to A, but he didn't know someone was back in the elevator. Swinging his elbow around in the bottom of control and lands it in the face of the defender. Now the ball's sitting in the bottom of Mangler here. Oh, but the time, the time. Eight Running seconds. Five. And this is all they need here is to just absolutely make sure that that ball Ooh. stays on the ground and they have won. So James Dean now pulling it out back, but 10 seconds or 10 seconds is just not enough. Dang. And online shooters take game one of, or sorry, round one of game six. <laughs> no, for sure. That was it. Final. Almost it felt, it kind of felt the way at the end of that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Now here, another great Yo. break here. Yeah. Yeah. Looking to flank those a little bit of camo. Cano, it's not burned. not burned. He takes it and he's able to pop it now. They're in a great spot here to get the ball, get an early lead, and take gold control. Yeah, we're very well. Yeah, no, no. Mediocre need this to kind of avoid the specter of a uh, of a bracket reset. Um, coming through the winners, you know, gives them that ability. But oh, did that bunk? Did he bunk <laughs> that grenade? Oh man. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've been there, buddy. Don't worry about it. It's okay. You'll recover. <laughs> Viz, they're very uh, ambitious. Trying to get that ball into gold pipes. Uh, fla <laughs> flashed goes down. Flashing flesh. And, uh, you know. <laughs> Here we go. 2v3 on the map now in the favor of Mediocre. So, But they are... Sp or they did get C and A spawn, so... They're making their way now. They do have a decent setup. They just need to make that ball cross. And these, this cross from the Mighty Chew is very important. Uh, like has his like third eye open to recognize this push from uh, Glass. And Viz now, the only thing kind of standing between uh, the enemy and a team wipe. Well, it's a bit late for a team wipe, but it would have been four in succession. Yeah, mediocre. Oh no! At him. Oh Ooh. no! Deimos, you filthy man! He has a family! He has, <laughs> he has a, his wife and kids, man! I don't know if he has a wife and kids, but he probably has a mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And, uh, yeah, 31 to 1 now, the score. And, uh, things are hotting up now. I yeah, think definitely. That, uh, Making a statement here, you know, they're able to get Kim oh, Kim burned also. there. Great answer back there. But oh, but Cook gets up, away. You know, gets that away. ball has they're been up, reset. They're up 31 to 1 here. Significant lead here as they like to get the round oh, 2 snipes. and bounce back. Scream and scream. To round three. Scream and scream won his fight. Demos now uh, has the advantage against James Dean, but uh, and and he goes down. Uh, he he drove his car just a little too fast. Um, that's in poor taste, right? That's, that was really important. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Right, uh, moving swiftly on. Uh, Flash here, um, going up uh, to C plat, and this setup here is quite strong for mediocre. Uh, it's going to take a concerted push. Um, <laughs> oh wow! Uh, great kill there. Uh, nice repulse from Flash. Um, return to sender. 
uh, there. And, oh, these f fights are all falling in online shooters' favor. And that ball is down. Now, 56 points is a sizable lead. But, uh, that being said, I mean, the time stops when you have got your hands on it. But the mediocre got away with it again. The things have just swung. Uh, like, on a dime here. And uh, mediocre now go back in control uh, of the oddball and with 30 seconds left to score it's looking like an uphill battle here for online shooters an uphill battle that's huge and it's continuing to grow here is now crazed rock helping him get all the way up to 81 seconds there huge battle oh. there what a repulse but he stays alive drops the ball i've got to say the repulse maybe saved his life <laughs> oh 100 percent there you have to hate it if you're the one that did the repulse you know, that's yeah, one of those situations that you say, oh, of course, that would happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so 81 points on the board for Mediocre. That's one uh, decent setup. Uh, like, nothing massive required from them here, only to break uh, this very frail A-hole. Are they really just holding an A? There's no one there to support. And Crazed Rock, if he, he sniffs it out, he sees that there's a... Ooh. Oh, wow! Amos, you have to stop this madness. All of the stick, that two of those nutty sticks from Deimos already. Oh my God. Oh, what are we watching? Dang, just back and forth here. As soon as I feel like someone gets on the can, they're already going down. Both teams going back and forth. Ball still in the back of A here. Online shooters have the spawn in the back of the A. They're milking the clock now. They're in a good spot. And now they're approaching 40 Arsenal seconds. needs to just live here. He needs to just be a stinker, stay alive, and just be dissuasive. Um, so, yeah, he does kind of push out onto Bridge, and I think that allows an opening here for Mediocre to close this one out, as Demos is alone and being pushed here by the Mighty Chew. Mighty Chew, though. Too much to chew and too much to handle for him there, as Demos still staying alive over here. Milking his clock here as they push into 60. Gets the trade on top overhang. Gets a trade. Oh, the cross great cross. gets him. And the cross is still there to get Mighty Chew. Is he going to go for it? Oh, my God. Ooh. This is oh. just the seat of their pants is the only thing keeping this A-hole together. And it's working. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, my God. Flashed uh, or fleshed or flushed or uh, royal. Who knows? Uh, just 36 and 23 in this game fucking game six of his first series of the day. Just going absolutely nuts, trying to get this team over the line. And I've got to say, that's an incredible stat line for that player. But as I say that, 10 seconds now remaining for the Mighty Chew. And I think that's going to be this for round two. Um, as there are no online shooters anywhere nearby. Mighty Chew takes the last few seconds. Like, slowly, what is he gonna drop? He's getting dropped! <laughs> hey! And, uh, yeah. You know, the god of stick drift giveth and it taketh away. Um, so, yeah. Um, here comes North Snipes now. We're following him off the rip here. 22, 20, er, and 25. Wingman. Great little trophy to have in your back pocket. Um, and he's able to pick up this O wall for dead. For mediocre. This is a big opportunity now, but unfortunately, no one really in the position to uh, take advantage of it. And North Snipes goes down after missing the perfect um, off of that shock rifle. And this uh, this hold in A is going to go in the favor of Mediocre. Yeah, an unfortunate play for North Snipes there with the shock rifle and camo, but he scoped in, which I think is what gave him away there, that little... Uh, basically flash of the Elite. scope gave him away on batteries there and it's really unfortunate for them because they had such a great opening here but now mediocre taking the ball into the back and see here and they might be able to get some time demos with the double kill just the lone ball back here with mediocre and they're gonna get some more time here and off to an early lead oh i was yeah that was a bit odd uh i thought he must have info that we don't have. Uh, but yeah, um, does choose to get a couple of seconds for his life there. Uh, does Mighty Chew. <clears throat> and we'll see how that plays out now coming up as the ball is reset. And online shooters are looking to get some control on the map. But Craze Rock here goes down. And I've got to say as well, objectives 
play has been spread across the entirety. Flashed is 43 and 27. Whew. My goodness. Yeah, that's And like now, yeah, 2v2 now on the map um, as Flash just has an important job. That job is stay alive as always. Oh, he has the grapple hook. Oh. He stepped down though. Oh no. Oh no. It's all going wrong. <laughs> should have said nothing. I should have said boys. nothing. Yeah. And down he goes. And that ball is going top gold. And I don't think... Yeah, there's no one getting up there for free for online shooters here. Um, as the James Dean has active camouflage. He's got the active camo. He's got to be sneaky there on that push over the top gold. Viz running into a pivotal 1v1 at the top of A. All four dead. Oh, oh yeah, all four dads for online shooters here. They're going to be spawning in the back of C, and it looks as if Mediocre might be going for that A, B hold, looking to see what side online shooters are going to be pushing here. It looks like they're going to be going through long haul, so I bet you'll see that ball come through gold pipes here and go to the back of A. Mighty Chu, he's got to anchor it down here. This is the spot for his teammates to go in case it goes bad in the back of gold, but it looks like they get a Although reset bats. in batteries now. Ooh. Oh, great kill there by Flash. Uh, 45, just casual 45 casual. kills. Casual. Yeah, just chilling. Um... Yeah, so 20 points now score on the board for online shooters. So this uh, hold here, very important for their future in the series because you don't want to put it down to a... Oh, and fantastic active uh, uh, ball uh, holding there. He's able to, like, you know, not be a passenger and act as a UAV for his teammates in these fights that they're coming up against by just pointing out where the enemy is. Very important to do um as your objective player not to just kind of be hiding face against the wall and hoping that grenades don't flush you out exactly didn't exactly. see just here now as well you gotta be a uav and gather some intel lays it out to pit not bad um sick they have taken the lead 60 to 53 um but there's still a lot of oddball to be played here um in this uh game six so, uh, down goes Crazed Rock. Now, things could start going in the favor of uh, online shooters here. If they play their cards right, they're going to be spawning C. And, uh, like, if they're able to get a lucky break and get their fingies on that ball, which, unfortunately for them, has reset and completely upturned the entire situation in favor of mediocre but they are two down and unable to capitalize too much yet mighty chew plays it out into pit um and his spawners are there as well so i mean geez <laughs> heads up play there uh 3, iq chess going on <laughs> in this oddball game yeah that's the kind of type of plays you need in oddball it is just like such a difficult game mode you're talking about rotating the ball rotations paying attention to spawns as north snipes get to fight here kill, and here we go he now to fight he's here. to make a move oh heads up rotation to whirlpool this is big and now oh man if he gets into here. pipes here i don't Ooh. know how they lose if he gets that into pipes i don't know how they lose Especially with north snipes, he's a oh right here's james dean he's fast here comes Oh That's a way. But here comes North Snipes to trade him out. And he has his hands on the ball now. And with 10 seconds remaining, we could be heading to our first ever bracket reset in our first ever Trailblazers Championship Series. 2-1! Two, one. Two. Two, seconds. two seconds! One <laughs> second! Fleshed! The hero touches the ball! He has three seconds, but then the most important seconds and we are through to our bracket reset. Oh my god, I could not be more hyped. <laughs> what a fantastic showing by them. Online shooters holding off there. You know, they got out to an early 2-0 lead in the series. And then, of course, the other team answered back with two of their own. And way to close it out there in a best of seven series. A total grind. And a huge shout out to Flashed, Flushed, Flashed, whatever you want to call him. He's still going Flushed. 55 and 26 in that one. And Flushed. Just absolutely just terrorizing the other team. Flushed.
<laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, bracket reset, baby. We're going in a whole other distance. I could, you could not ask for more in this uh, first one. Reset that bracket is right, peaceful zealot. CTF Aquarius coming up. I think we will have a short break before the next series and we'll be right back with the final final of this grand finals of the inaugural Trailblazer Championship Series. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Welcome into the first ever Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. We are lying to start because we actually got 15 this week. Starting with yours truly, Dr. Slothfinger is playing a little live fire oddball. He has a no scope on him to start off, getting shot at from scoreboard, letting the teammate take the kill as he grabs the ball. Teammate can't get the kill, so Slothfinger does it himself. Beautiful shots there to get the kill joy, grabbing the ball from the cut, gets stuck. Or does he? Ball gets stuck, and Dr. Slothfinger throws the ball back at the enemy for the kill. Just a heads up play for a heads up play. Number 14, OG Alien and team with the Desperation flag cap on the Czar. OG Alien using the sandbox to his fullest effect to get a back smack and Space Crabs takes off running towards bottom mid with that flag. Crabs gets it to bottom mid and ends up dying. Dr. Sloth Fingers tries to support but dies as well, so OG Alien gets to work. There's one dead from OG Alien, weakens another one bottom mid. He sees a teammate coming in to support with Rocket. Gets a second anyways, and finally cleans up a third kill with a little help from his friends. That allows for an easy flag cap and an overtime forced. That's how you do it. Number 13 is Shieldsy with a little cluster luck here on the streets. We have a beautiful grenade thrown. That's three dead, one stick, two more in the wake. One flag is all you need when you're that good. Number 12 is Yes Magical off the rip here on Streets Oddball. Throws a grenade towards Rocket. Throws a nade towards Bulldog. Grabs a kill. Starts shooting for another one. Finishes off the ball carrier here and finishes his third kill off the rip. That's a Sweet triple kill with ball time. Let him know yes. Number 11 is my shot with my scope not needed. Some shy snipes here on Aquarius using the Bulldog to finish off the first. A little no scope in the melee to finish off the second. And then a no scope to finish off the third. Takes his face. Don't challenge him. Number 10 is Creamier Ken, who is taking heads on total control in Breaker. Let's see, one shot, one kill, one shot, two kills, one shot, three kill, triple kill, all snipes. They must like chunky peanut butter. Number nine is OG Alien protecting the station on King of the Hill streets. OG Alien with some beautiful VR shots off of the rip here. He get one kill, regains his shield. He is in back trash. He grabs the commando and he knows no fear for this clip. Let's start counting. He's got one kill so far. Continues to challenge. He gets a second kill right here. He gets a third kill right here on a double kill streak. Another one comes to challenge, and that guy doesn't know what he's looking at. It's a triple kill killing spree so far for OG Alien. Throws down the drop wall, sees one down on rocket spawn, cleans that up, no problem there. Someone's challenging him with a bulldog, but he has the drop wall, using the sandbox again with the melee on the bulldog player. Finally gets another kill, that is another triple kill, OG Alien, playing streets to perfection. Number eight is OG Alien, again, egoing for the over. He has one guy P Street. That guy is dead. <clears throat> Driving the shields back on bench. And now he starts getting to work. Grabs the rockets that were just laying on the ground. Someone forgot those. And he is now getting some tactical information. He hears one P Street, but he's not going to challenge that yet. Oh, no, no, no. He knows where to look. No, 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 what? not that. Let's get the first threat. Boom, bottom mid, dead. Now he loops back around. And surprise, another one's there to join the rocket party. That is three dead for a triple kill. Let's get the fourth here back in. That's an overkill extermination. That's the way to do it. Number seven is my shot, forcing a fumble for the victory here. He has a stalker rifle, beautiful grenade placement, finishing that guy off with just the nades, and he starts flying at the ball. There's a second kill. Third kill is the ball carrier. Look at that score, folks. This is a close game, and my shot just clutched it up. Let's fast forward through the victory here, because we already saw what we needed to. Beautifully done. Number six is Space Crabs. On BTB Fragmentation, he has a snipe out, and he is going to work. There's a counter snipe there for the first kill. Takes the face for the second kill. Whips out the BR, clean shots for the triple. 
Boom! Rocks the turret guy, the warthog, and then no scopes for the overkill. They don't know what to do with him. Number five is a bad basket Get weaver over. who goes on a I killing frenzy. Tell me, tell me, tell me, we have a little bit of overshield left. He is challenging regardless. There's one dead. There's two dead. He is weaving baskets with the enemy's faces there. He's going back towards the C flat. There's three dead for the triple kill killing frenzy. Overkill extermination. That's 11 in a row. Space Crab's grabbing a Kilimanjaro here on King of the Hill Catalyst. Let's see how this kicks off. Beautiful nade on the sword carrier to rock that guy's world. One more now coming in from top mid. No chance he's escaping Space Crab. Zoom right there. Let's see what else he's looking at. You see two guys coming in. There's a third dead for the double kill. Let's see. There's a triple. Let's get the over. Boom. And we are not done yet, folks. There's another one for the kill tacular. Let's get a kill catastrophe going right here. And finally, we have a Kilimanjaro. Boom. Melee not needed. That's how you do it. Number three is Crabs again grabbing a quickly on stockpile on fragmentation. A little body shot here on the one. A little second shot here on the two. Let's get a third. Let's get a fourth, but we'll add it. Three shots, four kills for the Killing Frenzy and the Quigley. Wow. They don't know how to even account for that metal wise. Another kill catastrophe here for Space Crabs. Just farm equips and BTV. There is one dead. He's got the Commando and the Hydra. He's using the Commando again for the double. He's using the Hydra again for the triple and the over. Almost out of Hydra ammo, so he switches to the Commando. Whips back with the Hydra for the kill tag. Man, one shot tag left. Tag. He uses it. Goes to the Commando for the kill atrocity. And finally, he's almost out of ammo for both guns. He uses all 20 in his clip almost for the kill of Manjaro. Let's get that 8th kill for the kill catastrophe. Beautifully done there from Space Crab. Out of ammo on all guns. No chance he can live again, but eight kills is good enough. Bruh. And finally, our number one clip is Captain Punch. Just sniping in the back TV here for Street Slayer. He's got the shock rifle. He starts off with a double. Boom! There's a triple with a perfect for his shock rifle. Just letting the electricity flow through the enemy team there. Keeps his spot. Looking for enemies. Looking for enemies. Sees one. Sees another. And then his teammate rudely gets in the way, so he says, you know what, I'm whipping out the AR and I'm doing this myself. There is one dead. Let's get a perfect nade for two dead. Let's see, if anyone else gonna challenge? Is anyone else gonna challenge? They are, because they don't know who they're dealing with. There's three, and Captain Punch lives up for his, with his namesake for a back smack on the, the double kill for the, the hammer wielder. There's a third for the triple kill. Can he get another? He sees one on the radar. Boom, there's the overkill with the AR using the sandbox. That's what we like to see. to week two of Halo Fun Times Top 10 Trailblazer Plays of the Week. We are looking at a great set of plays this week. I'm your host, Dr. Slotfingers. Let's go straight into number 10 from HGS Astro. Picks up the snipe, takes a face. Let's get a second one right here. Boom! There's two in a row. Let's get a body shot in the guy in base for good measure. And he's walking towards top mid when someone grapples him in the back. Whips around for the no-scope. That's how you get a bug off you. Number nine is oh, Rip Times Five playing live fire bottom mid. Body shot with the BR camp on the first guy. Sniper headshot on the second guy in the OS spawn. Let's get the third guy with the no scope for good measure. It's Rip again in Bizarre Fiesta. He has the shock rifle. Someone with grapple sword is charging him at the death sentence. Unless you have the repulsor and you can no scope like a god. That's a bolt. True. There's another repulsor for a second double kill no scope. And let's get a third triple kill no scope. Number seven is DB7 on Bazaar Land Grab. He has the rockets and he's looking for somewhere to use them. He throws them right in the middle of three enemies. Takes two out. Cleans up a third of the AR and the fourth for the overkill. Let's get that land. Number six is Space Crab looking for overkills on BTB Fragmentation. He dodges the fusion coil from the first guy. He gets the BR and he has a shock rifle in his back pocket. And he is about to get to work. Let's get the first guy down. Let's take the second guy out of B. Let's hold that zone there. Whip out the shock rifle. And there's the third kill. Let's get the overkill. Easy as you like. 
Number five is Basket Weaver playing some sweaty right outlaw and live fire. Gets an easy kill bottom mid. And he turns his attention I'm towards sure the oddball. Picks up the oddball carrier. Bottom, Let's get the third nice, guy nice. here for the triple. And a clean out Beetle elevators for the fourth kill out. here for control. Nice. That's how you play oddball. Number four is Rip again. Playing street land grab. Grabs a heat wave right there. Let's get the first kill. And let's get the second kill. Pillow drop wall, boom block, return to sender action. Third kill with the melee, and to use the full sandbox is a BR overkill. That's what Halo is all about. Number three is Creamier Ken again on BTB. The Bulldog had no shot when Ken's on his game. He keeps the BR and a sniper though, because he knows what's coming. Let's take a face right here. Easy snipe. And now he uses the BR for a cleanup for the double, cleanup for the triple, and let's outgun this guy long range for a nice overkill. Great job, Ken. Number two is Yats Magical using the shock rifle to shocking efficiency. Grabs the first one here. Another guy charges him. Easy money for Yats Magical. There's two. And let's get the shock rifle out. Let's only use one shot for two kills. One shot with the chain link and the plasma detonation in there as well. That's a beautiful overkill. And number one is Creamier Ken again using the BR to great effect in BTB. Long range, he's scoped in and he is locked in, people. He is on zone C and total control fragmentation. There's the first kill to start off the killing spree, but that is not where he ends. There's a double kill. Let's get the triple to protect C. And the overkill, easy as you like. Let's get number five right here. Ah, I don't want to reload. I want to swap to the AR. Let's get back. And that's how you do it. That is the number one play this week. Thanks for watching. And everyone out there, please join Trailblazers. We are looking for anyone who wants a little bit of sweat and a little bit of competition with a whole lot of fun in Halo. Welcome into the Halo Fun Time Top 10 Trailblazer Plays of the Week. This is the third edition of the countdown. I'm your host, Dr. Slop Fingers, and we are taking you through a great group of clips here. Number 10 is Meow You Doing with Come Collect This Man's Body. That's a no scope sniper headshot on a pro right there, people. Cleans it up with a double kill. That guy's not going to be pro for long if Meow hangs around. Number 9 is My Shot Isn't Sick with an easy 5 shot triple kill. Three in the hill, just 5 ER burst, cleans them all up for the capture. Great work there. Number 8 is Everything Evil with the enemy about to score. Bottom hill on King of the Hill recharge. He cleans up the sword carrier in the back, he cleans up the guy in the front for the double, and the third guy triple kill is toast. That's how you play the objective. Number 7 is Everything Evil again with some great repulsive plays on recharge. One goes into the blue goo. Let's see if we can get a second one here. Boom! Off the edge you go. And the third guy wants to join the party. Everything evil doesn't need any fancy tricks. He uses the BR and the melee to clean it up for the triple kill. Number six is OG Alien 420 with a team wipe for the overshield. Let's get the first guy down on the actual spawn. Two more try to fly in. OG cleans one up with a nade shot and the third with the BR burst. He picks up the OS for on the top of the turbine here, and then he sees a fourth trying to join the party, and that is all four dead with an OS push. Great I am job. Very, very sneaky. Number five is Yes Magical with a sneaky little play on live fire. We're looking at the back C stronghold. He gets one down. Well, I don't know who just died there, but he's not great at Halo. And then let's get the third guy. Boom, it's a triple kill with a melee for the back C stronghold, and then a great strafe to clean up OG Alien. Speaking of, here he is at the number four play, oddball overkill, uses the green gun to kill the OS on the ball carrier, he sees another guy back windows, he fires a shot, throws some nades, and we're looking, we're looking, let's start cleaning up now, boom, there's one, there's two dead, let's get the third on the ball for the triple kill, and there's the overkill with the honorary extermination on the last shot, great job. Number three is OG Alien again. Here we are again on live fire strongholds this time. There's one dead, there's two dead on the A push. Let's look at the back A here. He finishes up the kill, and then gets another overkill. Live fire in OG Alien's map. Great work there on the objective. 
Number two is Yes Magical with another another overkill and the cap here. He's looking across in this PD on the streets map here. Another guy drops down bottom eight, cleans him up with the Bulldog. He's now in the middle hill. Let's look back. Tram for the triple kill. And now we're looking top eight for all four down and the overkill on the hardest hill in the game. Number one is Spacecraft with some BTB clips. This guy has a crazy looking Warthog. No longer. That's two dead and sniping the driver. There's another headshot and there's another headshot for the overkill. He's not done, as you can hear right, in the comms. So I'm just gonna sit back and listen. Damn. Oh, Krabs, what the fuck are you doing? Atrocity. Let's fucking go, Krabs. I need more clips. Thanks everyone for watching. Become a trailblazer today to get featured in countdowns like this. Go to Halo Fun Time. And we're back. A grand finals bracket reset online shooter shaking things up here, coming out on top. And now we have a fresh best of seven series here. I'm pretty hyped up. How are you feeling over there, Delta? I am feeling fine. I am feeling fantastic. I am feeling great. I am feeling grand. And we are coming into our bracket reset of our inaugural Trailblazer Championship Series. You couldn't have read it as like despite what you've heard it could not be written it hasn't been written i don't know why you would assume it has we are heading to aquarius in our ga oh game crash but <laughs> we are still heading to aquarius ctf and we will be going in shortly but uh what are you looking for from mediocre coming into this bracket reset now Oh, you said Aquarius CTF. Oh, man, what a great opener for a grand finals bracket reset here. I mean, you're talking about the Halo Infinite map and mode here. When you have two great teams going at it, this is the place that you want to see them play as a spectator. And we couldn't have had any more drama throughout the day. It's been a marathon. Both these teams have been slugging their way, and now it's all on the line. And you know, who are you looking for? I mean, do you think the momentum is kind of in the way of online shooters there resetting the bracket? Or what, what are you kind of feeling out here as we look into this first map here, Delta? Well, it's an interesting one because, um, you know, we often see in these bracket resets that the winner's final winner has a bit of an advantage, right? And the reason I say that is because online shooters have had to play a hell of a lot of Halo today. Hmm. A lot, right? So uh, coming in here, like to this uh, best of seven bracket reset, right? They're going to need a lot of energy. They're going to need a lot of passion, right? Coming into this. So, you know, get a little bit of this, a little <laughs> bit of passion. A little bit and, of passion uh, and start sprinkling it on top, you think? Just sprinkle in the passion. Just, just uh, sprinkling the passion as though you would cream atop a James Dean Chew book. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Rock. I don't know. Rocky Road, Chewy Delight. I don't know. But I will say that Mediocre coming out of this one, they have lost the first. But, you know, they could just be a clutch team. You know, mm. maybe they're a clutch team. I mean, in fairness... I think the clutch gene at the moment kind of sits with online shooters from what we've seen so far. That would be my kind of like, uh, my kind of uh, hope. But there's only so far that you can clutch, right? You can't clutch every game. You know, uh, your luck runs out. You know, you run out of time. You run out of uh, chances, you know. And it's down to players like North Snipe and Demos like to really kind of pull their team up and really show out. We've seen some great plays from Viz. We've seen just some, like, what was it? What did he end on? Was it like 50 kills or something like that from <laughs> uh, from Flashed? Like, you know, I mean, it's like it's like all of his opponents had, were Flashed. Like, it, it was like he was just running around throwing Flashbang, uh, you know? 
So, um, yeah, we're, what's called, uh, coming here uh, into this final game. Like, yeah, I mean, I hate to say it's a toss-up, but I think we'll learn a lot from game one mm. here. Because, yeah. as, as we've said, it's Aquarius, right? It's the Halo Infinite map. So, you know, uh, bake them in hay toys. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, let's see how it goes, you know, especially how these things kind of start off. It's always can kind of go a little bit of back and forth on the CTF Aquarius. And I don't think we've seen these two teams actually play on Aquarius yet. I don't know. It's been a lot of Halo throughout the day as both these teams, like you said, have been grinding their way to get here. Online shooters, for them, they're going to be digging deep there into the endurance. They've been grinding their way through the losers bracket, came in here, won a best of seven series, and they're so close to the taste of the victory but they still have another hill to climb. And if you're looking at mediocre yeah. there, you got to be relying Dude. on the fact that you were the team that knocked online shooters into the losers bracket before. And so you have had the edge on them. And so you kind of have to conjure up all that, all that you had in that series. Yeah. And you know, it's, uh, you know, it's time, uh, I think for one of these teams uh, to quote Natasha Bedingfield again, to release their inhibitions and feel the rain on their skin. You know? Oh, man. For them to dig deep and see who's got it, who's got a pocket, a pocket, a pocket full of murder in this scenario, as it's going to be a bloodbath, I think. You're talking about the inaugural tournament in Halo Fun Time, and it's going to be bragging rights. It's going to be something that kind of really makes a statement going forward, and... Just a lot of enjoyment here, just in terms of the uh, a lot of the content we're trying to put out here and produce, and all of this was put together with a lot of different hands, and there, there's a lot of names we're going to give credit to when it's all said and done, but it's just great to see it all culminate to this point here, which is going to be a heated rivalry on Aquarius CTF, as both teams looking to get the opening pick here and take map control. Hello? Am I back? All right, hey guys. Sincerest apologies, my internet dipped there for a second. But yeah, here we go. Um, mediocre and online shooters are not three to two at the moment. It is a uh, zero to zero. However, uh, coming off the rip here, an early touch on the flag for the for mediocre. I believe their teams have flipped. So online shooters would be a uh, red team. And mediocre will be blue team. Yeah, and uh, for those of us here that were in the last match here, excited to see these two teams go at it again. I mean, they played what five matches, five plus. They played each other eleven times so far, and they're looking to maybe potentially play on each other another seven times if it goes the distance. Both teams trying to get some map control here. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah, and uh, three dead now for uh, uh, for the mediocre. My apologies. Um, and yeah, uh, we're kind of just getting a little back and forth. Um, so online shooters, uh, as we can see here, their biggest enemy is themselves at the moment. Um, you know, they are playing themselves. Oh no, never mind. It's it is mediocre as we thought was their enemy, their biggest enemy in this series. <laughs> <laughs> We like to have fun here. I think it'll have a fun time. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, great fight there uh, from uh, in uh, Blue Gen. And it looks like uh, they're basically just trading their way out across this entire map right now. Yeah, you're going to be looking for North Snipes and Deimos to make a play, but also don't count out Viz and Flash from online shooters we've seen all of these different players go off and the same goes across the board for mediocre so two two dangerous teams oh. that you don't want to face and what a grenade they're inside of connector as now two go down for mediocre mighty chew looking to make a push here oh. to, puts ton of damage in but is not able to get the kills perhaps his teammate can clean him up here Deimos looking around here but he gets sniffed oh. out by crazed rock with a nice double kill unfortunately he chewed when he should have bit and uh, he did uh, go down. Um, but we are seeing now Flesh uh, 
like uh, an impressive performance from him in the last game, uh, given the circumstances or in the last series. Um, coming out here, and we're seeing now Deimos. Deimos pushing to car, but unfortunately he's gonna bite off more than he can might on the jail. Um, as he runs straight into the eponymous uh, Jewsman. And uh, yeah, uh, Car now, or Court is, is very contested here, Yellow Court. So um, online shooters need to be very careful, be very disciplined, and not overextend here while they have the pressure on them. It looks like they're doing just that, and Dr. Cream and Scream does get flushed out as well. Three dead for Mediocre temporarily, and uh, a lot of position now being taken up, a lot of real estate taken by online shooters. Yeah, Mighty Chew here trying to make a final stand, able to get the first kill on the guy on Util. He has teammates behind him. They're looking to bait out this push as both sides exchange blows. Two down for Mediocre, three down for Mediocre. Double kill perfect by Deimos. As they get the flag pulled now, going to be looking for spawners coming up in the fridge, and they do. Looks like they're already going to be overextending in the bottom of P1 there. Deimos looking to put some damage in as they go across, cleaning up a kill. Getting another double kill to finish off his killing spree. Puts one one shot and he's putting his team in a great position to get the flag cap and he's going for a You're relay in the here. Yeah, he did it. Let's go. And he's going top as well. That is some heads up play because if he went bottom car there, he was in a lot of trouble. I mean, yes, he's in a lot of trouble now, but he's way more out in the open. And North Snipes here with the cheaty bandit, uh, able to put down some shots uh, onto the flag, but it will go back. And he has a big job now. We're Holds, uh, repelling his borders um, and does go down. So this could be a bit of a swing here for Mediocre and an opportunity to get themselves a cap. Um, but they do go down. James Dean is kind of, it's just himself and Mighty Chew. Mighty Chew has to deal with two spawners here. Goes down, takes North Slipes with him with a fantastic grenade, but the push through car, able to bring down um, the runner and Crazed Rock now, the only one able to keep this dream alive of a cap here at six, uh, with six minutes remaining. Gets a kill off the last shot, but unfortunately, as it is his last shot, he's unable to contest that return and the flag does go back for online shooters. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a heartbreak there. You had the flag all the way on your side there, but still mediocre, or I should say online shooters with the lead <laughs> no. here. The flipping, yeah, definitely got me a little bit yeah. up here, but uh, yeah. As you see here, Davos making a push in a util, finishing another kill for his killing spree here. And like you said earlier, Deimos is going to be one of those players to be an X Factor. Currently sitting at 17 and 8. Him and his teammate doing damage in here in the top of a util. But Craze Rock continuing to hold it down as two go down for both sides. Still 1 0 game in CTF. I wonder what he's cooking. I can smell it, but I'm unable to, you know, really ascertain as to what it is right now. He seems to be cooking a 14 and 11 stat line, which is quite impressive. Um, but uh, right now, it does look like online shooters in the ascendancy, although they are kind of bunched back up towards their own base here. Um, and with North Snipes going down, mediocre can get their fingies on that flag. And have. Get their fingers the on the flag and start flintstoning it across the map here. D James Dean doing the G-slide, flying his way through car. That's the pro move right there for anybody looking to oh. learn some flag runs, and he gets knocked. Oh! What a fantastic kill! That was, uh, that was a flag carrier, I believe. But, um... Yeah, with that flag... Oh, it is returned, and that is one on the board! <laughs> For mediocre. Yeah, tie 1 1 game here. <laughs> Wouldn't expect anything different here as a spectator and a caster here. Both teams already equally tied. And, you know, I'm seeing more of the same here as every map up until this point, with the exception of one or two, has been back and forth. And we're in it again, right in the mix, Delta. Yeah, we're in the mix. We're whipping up some cream. Uh, we're screaming. We're rocking. And <laughs> we're chewing. You know, at the moment with mediocre getting this flag uh, past the 50 yard mark and uh, with this piv Ooh. here able to be one but does go down now G now James Dean has a big job trying to get that flag up and it is all down to North Snipes but he jumps down and is not going to be able to prevent this cap so 2-1
Two Favorite. one, two flag caps in response. Online shooters get the early lead, but mediocre waking up. North snipe, nice double kill there in the bottom. Four go down for mediocre. North snipes, and the rest of the squad pushing in there. They have the spawners. They're already suppressing them. Flush going for the easy route down the bottom mid. But he gets kind of stuffed there. I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to get it through there. Yeah. Um. Oh, I think they will. Viz. Pushing it Ooh. forward, but unfortunately goes down. Now it's all on to North Knights, I believe, who's going to try, but unfortunately fail. As that flag goes back, uh, traded for the life of uh, the James Dean um, of Halo fame. Uh, <laughs> of Halo lore. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, he's right up there with Dustin Echoes. <laughs> Look at Davos oh, James here. Dean as well. He spawned back up and stopped the flag again. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just going round and round. And Mighty Chu might be getting a little bit of a Pyrrhic victory here. Unfortunately, does not. And flashed, getting away with it. Um, he's like, uh, but he's drawn the royal flush. He's flushed around and got himself a second cap. So here we are now. Uh, Online shooters, I believe. Sorry, that was Viz. Um, my, my my apologies. Uh, who punched it in? But uh, yeah, some uh, fantastic work there now. And two two, would we expect anything less? No, we would not expect anything less. And they have not disappointed. You know, good to see both these teams still super competitive and really into this. You can kind of feel the tension here with almost every given gun battle. As it's going to be the difference here. Two go down for both sides. D. James Dean sitting around here, trying to get a quick return on there and looking to move out and branch and get this space here. Now the battle is going to be over here on car side and top mid. As Davos and team online shooters looking to make a push through car, each side exchanging blows and nobody really able to make any ground just yet as they make their way into util. Yeah, and uh, two dead now uh, for mediocre three dead and i believe the spawns should be okay oh a little cutie little cutie action but unfortunately north side does go down uh demos here oh also goes down flash now the only one left and i believe he's in a position to uh get a trash bolt no he's uh in his own base desperately fighting hoping praying for his team to come to his aid yeah he's waving yeah he's signaling the sos he's in the back there ready to make a move here everybody kind of engaging their way across the map three go down for mediocre and online shooter simultaneously it's basically down to viz and this pivotal 1v1 against C. james dean and he puts james dean back in the grave and they're able to put themselves into a good position for a pull yeah uh oh craze though uh gets a couple down and oh i love those cheeky one shots you know I mean, they're not the, the most impressive, but they're so satisfying. So um, satisfying. Absolutely. And Mediocre's flag now pulled. Uh, it is out in court. And maybe just kind of trying to bait a reaction from Mediocre here. Um, and it looks like it's worked. Craze Rock is down on the re. Um, <coughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, interesting. Nah, yeah, interesting Craze Rock got here. drawn out and got picked. But he did get the return here, I think kind of speaks to the level of uh, competition here that he did go out there into court to get the return. I think we're just not trying to give the other team any sort of leg up here or, or slip or any kind of just small mistake that they could have, you know, snowball into potentially another cap because we're running out of time here and we're mushing into overtime. Now it's going to be sudden death for the next flag cap as I don't believe anyone's going to get a pull here in the end. Yeah, and this now could be uh... Right, we've seen it before. You don't have to worry about the counter cap, right? If you get that back first, you're gonna win. So off the rip here, these two teams are gonna fly at each other and uh, hope to get themselves uh, the hands on the. Um... Oh, it was it was a thrust v thrust there, and uh, you know the the thrusty thrusted um, and was thrust into the bowels of hell by the other thruster, who thrusted harder. Ooh woo. <laughs> <laughs> and everything's been neutralized. 
So the opening fights have kind of gone in the favor of Mediocre and they have mid control, but they still have to make their way to yellow base and uh, the, with the spawners coming in, that's going to be a tall order. Yeah, the spawners coming in here. Four minutes left in this overtime as two go down for Mediocre. Crazed Rock. This has a big job. He looks like he's going to try to make something happen here. He's got the heat wave, so he can lay some damage down. But Smart, he comes back and gets the straggler from the other team who's over in his connector rather than pushing ahead. Oh. And that's that's such a great play and nice heads up move there. Yeah. Um, and here we are now, three up on either side with Mediocre teasing their way to the enemy base. And oh, it looks like Demos hops down middle. Gets taken up, but uh, the trade is there from his teammates and three dead now for Mediocre. It'll be an opportunity for online shooters to work their way out of their base. Yeah, and then, as his team there, yeah, I mean, it's been back. It's been basically a tied match up here all the way through. But still coming down to the last three minutes here. Just out of curiosity, you know what would happen if we ran out of time? Would we do a, a recommit such death. death? Yeah. I gotcha, gotcha. It, this nice, this nice. says it's five minutes long, but it's however long it takes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, oh, things are it's just it's a marathon. Yeah, and this is game one. <laughs> <laughs> Down they go now, and two dead for mediocre. Online shooters fancy themselves a little bit of a, a toss there, but um the flag is down in yellow court. A very difficult position to get out of. The spawners are going to be able to get up high very quickly. Um, Dr. Cream and Scream here has a very important job. And he doesn't. Biz gets away. Biz gets away. And now he is going to make it to the base. It's all about now these team shots as he runs up to get it. And it looks like they're not in position. Great work from online shooters. Taking game, game one over. of a bracket reset. Huge shout out to Viz there with all three caps for his team. And, you know, just more same what we've seen throughout the day, just in terms of his role on the team. He's always kind of in the right place at the right time, knowing where the play is happening. And a huge difference maker for his team, along with Deimos, who slayed out with over 30 kills. And a back and forth match there in CTF and online shooters look like they're on their way to the reset and potentially getting their way into the championship. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Slayer Street's up next. And uh, if you remember how the last one went, uh, I'm not sure I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's been Blended a wild in. seven games here uh, in this series. Um, so, you know, if anyone in chat wants to refresh my memory, uh, I would be eternally grateful. But, um, yeah, I mean, Street Slayer should be fun, should be great uh you know oh yeah if i remember it was very swingy and then uh oh yeah it was won by online shooters mm -hmm. um oh, yeah. online shooters got the win i believe it was it wasn't the 50 to 49 was it no yes no no that was their aquarius no that was their aquarius i think mm -hmm. they were a bit more yeah, I think they were still uh, in the 30s. Ahead, yeah. I think it was like 37 to 50 or so. They kind of won pretty yeah. commandedly, I think, from what I can remember. Yeah, and, you know, I've got to say, you know, um, an excellent grand final we have here today, tonight. Fantastic play from both sides. We've had a day of phenomenal Halo. We've had, like, we've had upsets. We've had, you know, crabs <laughs> winning a couple. Being a bit of a stage whore, you know, but whatever. You know, you do you, you know. Be be on every match. It's all good. <laughs> he likes the spotlight. He loves the spotlight, yeah. So, uh, you know, it was 50 to 35-ish. So it was a convincing win for the side of online shooters the last time these two played. Um, So, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see if they're going to be able to replicate that success in this next match or... Have mediocre learned a thing or two. Yeah, it's true. You know, definitely the Slayer Edge. I think we're going to give it a little bit to online shooters and just kind of what we've seen already. I think I'm giving a little bit of the edge to them. 
They look like they're hungry. They've come a long way for this opportunity, and it's right there in their grasp. But still, we have to finish out this best of seven, and it's going to come yeah. down to every single little play through from here on out. And uh, yeah, I don't think we could have yeah, it's up any to better. Them. It's up to them, you know, whether they capture it or let it slip. Hmm. You know, like at this point, you know, their palms are probably sweaty. Their knees are weak, which is okay because they're in seats but you know um you know they've got vomit on their sweater already you know mom spaghetti um <laughs> you know they're nervous but on the surface they look calm and ready to drop bombs um you know and they keep on forgetting what they uh wrote down on the team sheet um as we've seen many subs come in for uh <laughs> for the site of online shooters you know uh, i am now going to take the exit ramp to this bit um <laughs> <laughs> snap back to um, spaghetti the oh the ghost spaghetti <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it don't matter spaghetti <laughs> <laughs> spaghetti's ready spaghetti is ready um you know and uh yeah i'm thinking uh like you know we're gonna have just a hell of a game and of course uh pin comment here now you can join the discord um you know discord.gg for slash halo fun time or just go to halofuntime.com for an invite um as we wait for these two teams to get themselves into a game of ranked slayer Okay. Yes, it's okay. Howdy. We are transitioning twice and upwards, backwards, and out of a black screen, which confused me a little bit. But <laughs> here we go. <laughs> the James Dean has the red gun on board. And uh, the Rockets still up for grabs with online shooters still two up. Four up now. And uh, they're still... They're still... Oh, no, they've been taken. They've been taken. And I think they might be in North Snipe's hand. No. It might be in North Maybe. Snipe's hand here. Hmm? Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, my apologies, guys. Uh, production side. You know, a peek behind the curtain, guys, you know? Uh, no technical difficulties. Uh, just uh, skill difficulties from me. <laughs> <laughs> a life difficulty. <laughs> Five, six to score now. Mediocre in the lead as they collapse onto the final player up in uh, B. Here comes Demos though on the flank to the flank, reflanking your flank. Uh, <laughs> one's in the chat for uh, my shot. Uh, not, not a, not a fantastic situation uh, to be in, but um, you know, it's it's all good. He'll he'll make it. Um, the, the kid is good, you know. Um, <laughs> good grenade there. And, uh, 14 7 the score now. As I believe I misremembered, and I think it was actually Mediocre who won the last one of these, convincingly. Um, which led to the oddball recharge that was won by online shooters. But, um, you know, uh, these things happen. It's been a very long day, and I. I'm sick, although I'm not feeling it now, you know? I've just got the I've just got the sexy voice and a little bit of uh, a croaky throat. But you know what? That's fine. We'll oh, get through this together as the yeah, Rockets you... respawn. Rockets respawn. Yeah, you've been a Trooper Delta all the way through here. It's been an endurance all across the board here. With both teams now kind of going back and forth here. Online shooters down by five. Flash able to get the Rockets and stay alive somehow. What a play by him here as they're over here on the purple street side. Up by four. And stem and, the tide. Oh, 100% here. As he also has in his pocket a shotgun oh. launching his way across there, putting damage down, getting the assist. Oh, no. Like he's going to get picked off here. Back and he forth. He got too clever by half. <laughs> they're pushing into caution now. And 
It looks as if Viz is the last one left here. Oh, Dean's team snuck away. He's a sneaky little boy. He got his way out to back A. Uh, he did go down eventually, but, uh, you know, I don't know how he got that far. Great work. Um, you know. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, good fight here now on Purple Street. Too dead for mediocre. Things are tied back up 20 to 20. These guys putting on a show for us here in our grand final bracket reset. Yeah, putting on a show, and it's really an impressive and competitive Halo here. Both teams going at it, and it's going to be a testament to who really wants it at the end of the day. Here, flashed with a shotgun flying up, but Dr. Cream and Scream puts him down. Three go down for online shooters, and Mediocre just winning these engagements when they both come out, you know, when they both are meeting at different places on the map. It's mediocre that usually has more members surviving at the end of the engagements, and that's how they've got the lead and sort of maintained it all the way through the beginning oh, perfect. here. perfect. Nice, perfect Viz now. by Viz. After a rough start, uh, when things were snowballing against his team there, got a lot of uh, deaths, but now starting to feel himself again, uh, getting himself back up to speed. Um, now that his team have a semblance of control uh, on the map, and this fight here, a uh, big one as two kills go to the side of mediocre 28 to 23 the scoreline now as we head into the eighth eight minutes remaining and rockets fall in the hands of mediocre so the rich kill. are getting richer there it is triple Rick, kill Rick, 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 screaming screaming those rockets i believe are still down the bottom of mid there looking to get the other kill there just a little Ooh, bit too long down. before the overkill but he's gonna Woo! Oh, 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 there we are. Oh, 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 Let's go, baby. Triple kill. Overkill. What he's a play screaming. By Dr. He's screaming. He's 10, 8, or he's 18, 2, and 2. This man, he's screaming all over this Killing lobby. Killing frenzy. frenzy. 19 and 2. What is, what are we watching? Where did this come from? Unbelievable. Great, great, great plays throughout the whole game, but my god, this man's on fire. 20 and 3 finally goes down after I played 11 kill spree. And if you're on the side of mediocre, that's got you fired up. They're up 40 to 33 and looking to close out this map and even this series. Yeah, man. I mean, Cream and Scream here just like absolutely locking it down. Like, I mean, you know. Uh, as his name uh, states, you know, he's he's screaming. He's he's screaming. <laughs> he's screaming for the scream. He's screaming for the cream. Um, well, I can say with no doubt whatsoever that online shooters will be screaming for the cream after what uh, uh, what uh, Dr. Cream and Scream has done to them in this match so far. And you can't forget about his academic credentials, easily writing a dissertation on Team Slayer on streets and showing us how it's done. Now 21 and three, just making a huge impact is now they just have to trade out. They have a seven kill lead. He gets another one here. Is he gonna end up with about, he could end up with 25 kills here and get half the kills for his team and get the win. Don't do it, you filthy man. Don't do it. 22 and three. Oh my God. Oh, that's one off the list for Cream and Scream to get. Um, set, <laughs> or seven kills now, the difference. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, I definitely deserve to be called out for that crap. <laughs> I can't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> Here we are now. Still, oh, though, they're, they're close in this one here. That was online shooters down by six here. They kind of have a shot at it as the game has been a standstill with most of them trying to push in the sea, but they're getting shut down. Deimos rocking the shotgun and putting some damage down on this initial push in here. Entry fragging. I think he gets some frag damage and he gets the cleanup on his own kill there. They're still down by five. Only four more kills for Mediocre to finish it out. Make that three. It looks like they're just seconds away with only one kill left. For Dr. Cream and Scream, we have to follow this man. We have to see if he gets the last kill and gets half of the kills for his team. But trade it out, and that will be it. 50 to 43. What a Excellent play. Game over. You know, 
Dr. Freeman's been really waking up there and taking the initiative. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, somebody stop me. Uh, what a... What a fantastic display there. Uh, yeah, 24 kills for him, almost getting half the kills needed in Team Slayer. That's fantastic. Yeah, a great uh, all-around performance there from uh, Dr. Scream, Cream and Scream. 24 kills. Oh, God. Like, like his, uh, his eyes lit up the second he saw those two players on rail, and he knew exactly what was going down for the rest of that. Plus 21, damn, is right. Uh, cleric, like my good. Somebody clipped that. That was the triple oh. kill by him, and then rolled it into overkill. picking up the rockets and getting into the overkill. Oh, we might be able to get into it. We might have an instant replay for this, guys. I'm excited. This tech has never once uh, been seen before. Uh, Doctor Cream and Scream. We are following it, chasing richer. down. Uh, it is triple rip, 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 North Snipes for the triple, and then uh, getting the well, a gentleman's overkill gets the rockets here, double, triple, and then here comes the over. Unbelievable stuff from Dr. Freeman Scream. And then I think he rounds the corner there over to purple and ends up with his killing frenzy. So just there it is. Triple kill sequence in which I think you're talking about that is just defining that team player game. They're looking to get the other kill there. I mean, you know, that rocket was beautiful. It was just all of the stars line up. And yeah, it was fantastic play. All right, what do we have coming up on the next map mode, Delta? Oh, we here we are. Life Fire Oddball. Let's go. And, uh, you know, we, we're seeing Demos off the rip here. Viz down early, as is North Snipes. So, uh, 2v3 on the map, evened out by Demos. Uh, great uh, patient play there, but goes down to Cream and Scream, who is probably feeling uh, a million bucks right now. And uh, they have control of the ball, but this fight for Overshield would be big. Um, but I think North Snipes might be just a little too late to prevent it being taken. So he's going to have to work on uh, taking down that uh, overshield uh, with the sniper. Gets one! Ooh. One in turbine. Is he still there? He's dead. Right. So, crazed rock now. Uh, getting pushed by Fleshed. Oh! No. Uh, mediocre one, second game. And. Uh, Flesh here, uh, able to take tower control away with a nice little noob combo dealy, and has a very big job here, and that is to just be a nuisance, take a lot of attention, and put down uh, damage for his teammates to capitalize on in any upcoming team fights. Flash is still alive. He is bottom mid. He's using the green, the little green, but does get collapsed on by three members of the mediocre team. Uh, anything but, uh, I would have to say. But with Sniper in the control of Mediocre and c Pack control as well, this overshield looks like it's in their favor to get. Yeah, it's in their favor to get here. Have the ball chilling outside of cuts. Three, four go down on the side of online shooters. Mediocre, Crazy oh. Rock able to milk some time here and probably get a good push on this OS as soon as it pops up. Unless online shooters make their way over here and stop at the last minute to get a pick on scoreboard oh, oh. the crazed rock oh, that's a baby. he's a wild man able to pick up the overshield and this double Yo, kill here you. keeping the ball in front of them and looks like they're going to push into a and get set up in here as they get four down again on online shooters now crossing the 42nd mark and almost halfway to victory in the first round absolutely and that was well played by crazed rock he knew that he needed to get that ball into a but as soon as he had a teammate to drop the ball to when he had overshield, um, he dropped it uh, for uh, to go out and have more of an impact. Unfortunately, there was no one uh, around B side for him to uh, to fight. So James Dean here now is just playing uh, the ball and, uh, you know, decides to go with it just out of courtesy. <laughs> a nice friendly gentleman's courtesy of tossing the ball off. Great play to reset it. Hey, ball? You nah, play me. <laughs> 
That's great. Now, mediocre though, they do have three down at the moment. Deimos and the company over here inside of A. North Snipes still holding on to that sniper with eight shots in the chamber, looking to make a huge difference here and put some damage down. Trying to find out where they went, but they're down there in the tunnels. Yeah, and that's not where you want them to be if you've got a sniper rifle in your back pocket. Uh, so he's just going to try and eke it. Uh, oh, wow. Chu got the timing, and he's out by a turbine in a piv versus Viz. Goes down, does Viz, and mighty Chu. Oh, and down goes North Snipes as well. And this looks like it could be a hefty hold here for Mediocre. Yeah, and this is going to be something that feels like really awesome just coming off of that last team slayer win you can tell that they're boosted up as also in this one dr cream and screen leading the way for kills in the lobby with going 10 and 4 at the moment so they're really carrying it over here they have an in almost insurmountable lead here 81 to 2 in the first round of oddball and they're looking to kind of just make quick work of them here on oddball and not push this game out any further than they have to absolutely and i mean if you're online shooters, I think you want to win this game quick or lose it quick because they have a lot of Halo uh, on them today. Eight hours of Halo play today. Um, so, you know, uh, they're going to want these uh, series to be over or these games to be over as quick as possible to keep themselves as fresh as they can after a grueling day of Halo in this Trailblazer Championship Series. Halo fun time. Yeah grueling day they've been grinding their way through it here and we've had the pleasure of watching them do some amazing things so far and they're gonna have to continue to be amazing though and hold on and dig deep here as we're moving further into this next best of seven series we have more maps on the horizon here and it might click it looks like this first round here is going to come to a close and maybe a good quick fresh roll reset here for online shooters in round two will be just what they need to get back on track Absolutely. And, you know, um, no need to get too antsy about this one. You know, it's that's why there are th like every time, every time. That's why I say, you know, that's why there are three rounds of oddball. Right. So uh, they've just got to reset and get themselves uh, bright eyed, bushy tail coming into this next one and uh, push them out here. But I will say mediocre doing a fantastic job with this uh, pillars push to go down for them but it's traded across the board and it looks like flesh has control of the ball and is uh working here to get the overshield but the sniper in the hand of the james gene could be able to uh deny this and may might just have done so viz plays the ball wisely and uh the overshield i'm not sure if it actually got popped I'm not sure what happened to the overshield there. I think maybe they might be trying to find it, but looks as if they're still trying to get it. I think it's still up top there on top of the turbine. Oh, it is. Let's go. Still it's hanging right out there. there, bright and shiny inside the shroud screen, saying, Somebody pick me up and use me, god dang. But oh, anyway. Oh, it goes away. Mediocre. This is big for them. Yeah. If they're able to put here. early pressure in this round, it could be uh, very dangerous for online shooters because. You know, their backs really are up against the wall then. Here they are. Looking to make a push in here. Great repulsor from Flash. Shoving them back down. Rat Tunnel saying, no, you're not coming in this way. As Mediocre starts to gather around scoreboard. Two go down for him, though, on this push. The ball just chilling there. As now they have the numbers advantage. One left. Oh, four, four go down. down for mediocre and online shooters here ready to get some clock time and they're already off to an early lead here in round two which is a great answer considering how the first map or the first round went yeah absolutely they're showing they still have gas on the tank here they still have some of that passion petroleum uh running through their veins and uh north snipes on a great angle there to avoid any chip damage from nades uh but uh, is now ha does have a big job here. He does call out. They're coming from B, but this fast push from the sandbags leaves him absolutely in no man's land. Goes down. But uh, as I say that though, mediocre lose a lot of players, and I think they're going to try and get that to B and pop it in the drink because oh, flush <laughs> got smacked in the back, and uh, mighty Chu deciding that he will not uh, follow the ball and manages to turn around and get a kill. 
and now flashed has a big job to just stay alive here after having his uh overshield trained by dr cream screen yeah, and he's the last one alive here for his team, trying to go back and B and toss that ball and get it played, but he goes down, two down oh, for them Chris at the Rock. moment. Chris Rock not able to reset it either, and while they went to go reset it in the back of B, now we're talking about online shooters getting some time with the setup in the back of B here. Push it to the limit. <laughs> <laughs> Up there on his own, <laughs> knows where they're coming from. Gets the ball out and uh, does the gentleman's play ball, um, as we like to call it here in HFT. The gentleman's play there, and four online shooters here. A swap in terms of the storyline here from round one to round two. Now they are in control, but Mighty Chu, they're able to get two, three down on online shooter side. They have the ball over in A. D. James Dean looking to kind of get this initial pick here. Hanging out in the top of the tower here. He's got the sniper. He's the one that's in the sniper's nest. He's calling it out. Him and his teammate able to put him down on the first guy pushing Viz over on C plat side. And now he's going to be going down here. Them. Three down. Ooh, and it's just North snipes. Let's go. What a great push over here. As yeah, it's a couple of seconds on the ball. Uh, it is out there. Flesh should be able to grab this and get back tower. Uh, but I think he might be running out of time to do so. Um, manages just about to make it. Uh, keeps the ball up top tower. Uh, he is uh, actually pretty safe here. His team are doing a great job of screening. Um, and with two down for the side of Mediocre, we could be heading to a game three here uh, unless Mediocre are able to get a coordinated push going real quick. Yeah, pushing past 84, 85 seconds here. Doesn't look like any like he's going to be in danger anytime soon. Though two go down for online shooters as soon as I mention something here and quickly makes the yeah. smart play Great and resets game. it. Awareness. Great, Great awareness. Great awareness. And yeah, leaves one now. Uh, absolute crazed rock is <laughs> stuck between a rock and a hard place uh, with no shields, but does manage to survive. And the James Dean gets away with the ball and. Uh, it looks like they may have seen control. Oh no, Snipes is coming down. And it's all about Crazed Rock here. Crazed Rock does a great job of killing him. Oh, but that nade taking out the James Dean leaves that ball in a precarious uh, position. And I think it may be wise to toss it, but it looks like they feel like they have the kind of control required. But they managed to milk a few seconds, toss that ball off the map. And as it gets played here now, uh, it's all down to who gets their hands on this next. Because if it's online shooters, it's going to round three. Yeah, if it's online shooters here, it is going to be going around three. They only need 11 seconds here to close it out. It's going to be a back and forth blood battle here in the bottom of the rat Oh, tunnels. crazy rock though. A fly in the ointment takes out uh, one and uh, Cream and Scream takes out the other. And now uh, they have a decent A stand now. Now it's very important for online shooters to not like desperate this, right? They need to come together. They need to just uh, work as they have been working to this point to get themselves uh, control of the ball because there's still uh, 35 seconds there for them uh, of ball time. And, you know, they, they're not in Lance Chan Saloon yet, but they will be if they keep trickling in um, as it looks like they're doing right now. Yeah, and they were able to pick up the overshield there. Huge play, getting picks on online shooters, trying to come in here and stop them from making this huge comeback here in the second round. D. James Dean being squirrely in the back. Other online shooters there, they're kind of working their way to scoreboard. The crazed rock here being more of a still rock there, just being oh. ratty and getting the kill. And this is all about how long he can live now. If Demos survives this encounter, which he does, that is round two going to online shooters game three round three let's go you know i get more and more impressed by the script that was written for this entire tournament i'm just kidding <laughs> this, is... <laughs> this is some great display i mean for one one round three we've already had an overtime uh in uh capture the flag so you know let's let's see how far this goes yeah, let's see how far this goes. You know, it's gonna be who's gonna be the ones to step up here. Where, who are some of the players here you're looking to make a big impact here in round three, Delta? Uh, Fizz. I think Fizz has kind of uh, woken up after a slow start again. Uh, 
and really uh, putting down a lot of work for his team. This heatwave play now from Viz is very important as he has lost the overshield, but he can do a lot of damage to it with that weapon. Unfortunately, himself and Flesh go down. So uh, Demos needs to just disengage and live. And he does that, but I say that, but Crazed Rock comes down mid and takes him out. Um, yeah, that's a big swing for Mediocre here as they're able to get their hands on the ball. Yeah, big swings there. The overshield always a <laughs> huge... Oh my gosh. Somebody find that man's head. I think it's over in top mid. Looks as if Crazed Rock looking it's... to take... <laughs> I think it's an aquarium. More. I think it's... <laughs> oh man. Crazy Rock though, putting some damage down. North Snipes with another double kill here. They have the numbers advantage, the ball pushing out over to B. Four go down for Mediocre. And now online shooters are gonna answer back with some points of their own here. OS is on timer here. It's oh, great shot. Nice damage from North Snipes. Oh, another one. Let's go. And the overshield is coming too. Oof. Oh. And they have control of the ball. This is uh, looking very good for them for the next uh, hold here. Yeah, they got four down on Mediocre twice in a row, though the OS is going to be coming up, so we'll see what they're going to prioritize here. Looks like they're kind of moving a little bit towards top mid and Nest to kind of go after Ball, as OS, I think, is a little bit on an island over there. Nope, oh, Dr. Cream and Scream, he's there. He's ready. He takes one out. Oh. Some more. Yeah, and the Super Combined, not enough to take that out there, but did some great work still alive he's put down 32 kills in this game again he's really showing up in the staying department uh yeah, here man. or mediocre that's uh, great though your teammates cracked out like that <laughs> oh yeah i know it makes your game it makes your game a lot easier i gotta say <laughs> that you know um uh and here's crazed rock now doing uh the lord's work getting his team up to the 50 point um in this round three and it looks like he's not under too much pressure now. It uh, Mighty Chew does come spawn back up in A, I believe. So, um, but all four upper online shooters, they're just not able to get any purchase. They're not able to get any position. And here it comes. And just mm. able to play that great play from Rock. Able to um, reset that ball and not give away position. But flashed here now with the sniper. Looking to get a little saucy. Yeah, three down for both teams here. Flash taking the opportunity to grab the fresh sniper here, but he is one shot. Hoping to kind of hold on to this and make a difference. He does make contact with Rock in the bottom of mid here, but he goes down. One down for both teams as we're getting exchanges here around pillars in the bottom of tunnel and four go down for online shooters. And that's not what you need at this moment as Mediocre is up 66 to 23 in this final round of Oddball. Yeah, and, you know, 69, uh, the score, and they're looking nice for this last 20, and we could be seeing them taking a lead in this series uh, for the first time. Yeah, that'd be the first time they have a lead in this series. You know, in the previous series, we had a matchup in which online shooters got off to a hot start, up 2-0. Mediocre made it a series, but online shooters able to reset the bracket and pull it together. And now we're seeing here a bit of a back and forth match here. He pops the shroud, gives himself some cover. Two down for mediocre online shooters here. We're getting on the board. We're getting some points. They're not out of this just just yet. Absolutely. You know it ain't over till the fat lady sings. And you know, I I my voice isn't up for it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see how long this game uh, persists. 44 now the score. They need a minute here, and it's going to be very difficult. Um, oh, the ball doesn't get played, but that might be fortuitous. Although, Viz gets a couple more seconds on, gets a trade out. And that's uh, some very good work there. Uh, that allows his team to have a numerical advantage or like less of a disadvantage coming in off the spawn and position yeah, themselves well. Great change, great trade, like you said. Oh, absolutely. And I must apologize. You know what? I'm trying uh, real good. Uh, but... Uh, Ah, oh. Dr. Uh, Cream and Scream goes down, and you know what? This is looking possible now for online shooters. You know, they do have a deficit to make up, but uh, it looks like they're kind of have a hot hand at the moment. Um, I say that though, Viz goes down, um, really again showing that he's growing into these games. 
And now it's all about listening, right? Flesh just needs to hear what his teammate are, or teammates are telling him, how much pressure he's in, where the enemy's at, uh, just so that he doesn't toss that ball prematurely and give away a an advantageous position. Viz uh, gets the ball that was tossed out, um, able to hold it. He may go down here. Oh no, he lives. He lives in three down for uh, mediocre momentarily, and the others are spawners here. How, how much time have we got left here on the clock? Because it looks like uh, this overshield could be the be-all and end-all. Uh, 15 seconds on it. I don't think that mediocre have time to go for it, and it looks like it might be a Deimos might have it. And nine seconds remaining, all he has to do is jump, twist, dodge, fumble, as we're following now um, Flashed, getting his hands on the ball. He needs to turn that corner. His teammate is there, does get the damage in. North Snipes walking out. 99, Ooh. fumble again! <laughs> but, oh, here it is. Viz here, just for that last second. No! Fumble, third fumble! What a back oh my god! Here. Another fumble. Tries to get in the window there. I don't know, I'm sure. They just need the one extra second. No! Oh no, this is Not dangerous. This is a dangerous time for online shooters. Uh, oh! He gets it! It's one second! Oh they my win. god! One back! 2-1 victory in game three to go 2-1 to one in this series and maintain mediocre being behind never being ahead in any of these series so far i mean they've been tied obviously but my god exactly my god man. are you not entertained uh, <laughs> sign this team up for an award going god online shooters just the perseverance you know they were down i think that first round and i'm not sure if they even scraped together 20 seconds but just wanting it you know back and forth each team trading out the fumbles as it goes across the bottom of the scoreboard there and it was just a couple seconds here or there that ended up deciding that map yeah <laughs> i don't know that my voice can take another game like that <laughs> <laughs> oh man excellent game excellent game and like wow just the intestinal fortitude to come out with that in the end just get those last few seconds Three fumbles, three fumbles in the last few seconds, but they still manage to get away with the win. That's just, that's just like dedication. That's passion. That's really going for it, never giving up. And my God, excellent play all together. And it bodes well going into Stronghold's recharge here, um, which I believe we no, we didn't see that in the last one. That was the one before that. Uh, versus Bronze Can't Jump? I think so, yeah. I believe that was the last time we had this matchup. Strongholds on Recharge. Yeah, so, uh, wow. Oh! The Vapors. <laughs> <laughs> you got more than you bargained for when we, when we signed up for this one, sure. Delta. Oh my good god. Just some accident, Halo. Like, you know? And, you know, I thought we were getting some good Halo early on, but my, this, this series, this tournament has really hotted up the further we've gotten into it. And it's just been a fantastic display. Congrats to everyone playing and everyone who got featured as well on the stream. It's been fantastic. Edge of the seat stuff. And yeah, we're coming in now. Recharge Strongholds. What you feeling? Are you feeling a little comeback? Yeah, or... I, you know, it's difficult to say. You know, I'm curious to see how the teams answer with their gameplay. You know, if you're on the side that basically let that one get away by just a couple of seconds there, that's going to be tough. You know, you got to kind of got the wind knocked out of your sails. So they got to come out strong here and early on and kind of set the precedent, you know, and, and put that, uh, that oddball game in the rear view mirror a little bit and start pushing ahead. Yeah, I know they're they're really uh you know, they're really in a strong position there, uh online shooters right now. Uh off the back of that win. As we say now, like we've seen a couple of slow starts for them, and that's to be under that's understandable. They are knackered. They have played 
in every time slot available uh today and like yeah it's uh it's been just back and forth and back and forth and my god it's oh <laughs> i'm curious to see how these players are feeling just a little bit it's been quite a ride here just from the spectators uh, standpoint yeah, I mean, the chat went wild for that one, and boy was it deserved, because, my god, fantastic work. And yeah, of course, again, thank you, Krabs, for driving this over the line. It's been a hell of a game, or of a series. And we are just about to see our next installment of this dish that we have been served <laughs> of premium Halo. And with lots for everybody to dig into, I'll have a little bit of this and a little bit of that as we move into recharge. And man, I think you know, absolutely, we're all having mighty wild. chews into this one. Yeah, plenty to eat. For one and something for a little bit of something for everybody here. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking to see here. You know, uh, I think you kind of pointed it out in the last one there. Viz making some really crucial plays. I mean, across the board, everyone's been making crucial plays. But oh yeah, just those little like micro details are what the, kind of make the difference. You know, if it's resetting the yeah. ball and getting a trade out as you guys are getting wiped, like those things yeah. are so huge. And you know, we're talking about just a couple seconds here and there, and we saw at the end of the game there, every second mattered. Yeah, uh, all of it has just been great. And uh, yeah, we are like uh, waiting with uh, bated breath for this uh, Strongholds recharge game. And we wait no more. Off the rip, we're following Viz here. And oh no, <laughs> that's me every game, every single game. The left hand side of every door frame gets a grenade, right? They all need to feel loved. <laughs> so here we go, baby. Here we go, indeed. Yeah, we're kicking things off here, and it looks as if Viz and his team are going to be looking to try to do an A-B holdup as he's anchoring it down the back of A, but he gets pushed down, two down for online shooters, and now we're looking at almost a triple cap here simultaneously. North Snipes able to stop the triple cap, but mediocre on the board early on. Yeah, uh, taking things up as they need to do, and they need to capitalize on this early game slogginess we've been seeing from online shooters. Don't tell Demos that though, three and one off the rip. Uh, but James Dean here, four, zero oh, and O, oh, not too bad. Uh, really getting him, or making sure that his team are able to secure A and B and hold them. And it looks like now they've got the optimal hold going. Um, they've got top A and bottom or and they had gold pipes i believe mighty chew has been backed off of it but is still alive to be applying the ointment up there um in whirlpool goes down by needler and now it looks like an opportunity for online shooters to get on the board yeah, an opportunity indeed they got ac hold they have b halfway cap they're battling here as the rest of mediocre in long haul a triple cap scenario at the moment which is going to be great in terms of getting chipping away at that lead but mediocre hopping on c capping that and b right away what a great push there they're all the way trapped in the back of long haul and look at crazy rock there just oh being my so gosh. cheeky on b box they're staying he alive is... oh my. he was on an island <laughs> he was on an island and lived for so long at trivia box amazing stuff james dean though goes no, down yeah. and north snipes able to maintain control of a and this is getting scrappy, but all the while, the time is ticking up in favor of Mediocre. Yeah, ticking in favor of them indeed as they're approaching the 80 second mark. Online shooters were able to get control of the whole map for just a brief moment, but Mediocre playing recharge here really well, just maintaining control here over in gold and all the way across long haul. I mean, this setup is just nasty here as North Snipes tries to make a move out bottom elevator. He's got two guns on him. He's trying to poke and prod and see which way they get in there, but two go oh, down. Both are for dead down shooters. in red as well. Oh, Oof. and the push is coming from Whirlpool. Things are about to go from bad to worse for North Snipes here. Uh, they're capping up top. He's going to have to have a very uh, strong outing here, but always a disadvantage when you're coming up from bottom elevator. They flip C, but unfortunately, A goes the way of mediocre, and things are getting a bit dicey here for online shooters. 
Yeah, I and mean, I think we saw just a little bit there. Online shooters, maybe a tiny bit of fatigue settling settling in here is a bit of a slow start. They had a slow start in Oddball and were able to bring it back here, but now is a little bit of the time in which you gotta really muster it up and see what you can get going here as Deimos looking to make his way across the mid, but he's unsuccessful to go down for online shooters. That was basically shut down and to go down for online shooters again. So all of their pushes right now are getting stifled. Yeah, and you know, it's uh, it's gotta be tough. You know, they did do the right thing. Oh, they reset B though. So they're in with a shout of having a hold here for a moment. Um, so A, B the hold. Um, I don't know why Slop is promising to take off a an article of clothing if we get 60 viewers. Uh, but, uh, you know, go off, King. Um, picked <laughs> in uh, the face reveal for HFT. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of the article it. of clothing only. Only the article of clothing you took off. <laughs> it's just a lone sock. He just holds it. <laughs> yeah, just a sock, like, on the crown, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Online shooters, they were able to answer back a little bit there as they do have B, but they're going to lose it as they kind of control the back of the elevator. One down for them and mediocre, you know, throughout this, it just seems like they've had the numbers advantage throughout and it kind of reflects here the total score. Absolutely. And this is the first kind of map where we're seeing uh, one team really kind of um, uh, pull ahead, you know, um, and like kind of dominate a map like this. And yeah, Mediocre just putting all the pieces together uh, for a great showing here on uh, on Recharge. But I've got to say as well, right? I mean, we've seen online shooters come back from crazier positions. So, you know, I've, I've learned too well not to count them out too quickly. Oh, yeah. I mean, and I think that just their tournament performance here, you know, even at the end of the day, if they aren't able to pull it off in the championship, they've had a hell of a day and they've shown that they're scrappy and that they're going to be something to mess with. Even when they're down, they're not out. Oh, great. And we're seeing it there with a heck of a battle there. Hanging out at R2, regenning, being so ratty at B. And now they got 40, 40 points on the board with an A and B controlled here. Might have caught mediocre napping a little bit as they pull the trigger off. And Dr. Cream and Scream go down. Online shooters here. I think the beast is starting to come alive. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, it's it's still, like, uh, it's not too late for a kind of comeback like this. And, you know, as we've seen so far this series, uh, since the reset, they have grown into games. But I don't know. I think they may have given themselves a little too much to chew right here uh, for this uh, final game. Or yeah, for this one. Yeah, yes, it's a huge comeback that's going to be necessary for them to pull out is now Mediocre creeping closer to the 200 score mark. Online shooters looking at the top of the mountain from the bottom. And they're going to have to really pull it together here and just play really fantastic Halo and control the map. Snipes in a disadvantaged fight, but Ooh. gets away with it. Um, oh, but he gets a bit aggressive it's fine though they still control b it's just all about where his spawners are and if they can get the fire down from c which it looks like they are uh so i'm in a trippy box here as well but uh it's very difficult for them to get this and i don't know if they're gonna maybe swap to go try and get a stem the tide but um yeah here goes demos but uh wisely sees and takes the pick up top a uh it does buy mediocre a few seconds but uh, a might start flipping here uh, for our, like, uh, soon, as we're yeah. seeing it there. Could be that cheeky setup, that AC hold, you know, kind of really changes the game up a little bit. It's a little, way more difficult to hold than the AB, but when you're in this scenario, you kind of have to take what you get as Flash able to get here over on B with two of his teammates down oh, reversal on Mighty Flash. 2 inside of batteries. And Oh, he's unlucky oh. there not to come away with the hill. That's um, tough. Yeah, and uh, a great kind of uh, individual moment there for Flash, but unfortunately unable to uh, like. There just there's always one more, you know. You know, you get stuck between a rock and a hard place. Guess what? Third hard place. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's always something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, oh god, yeah. So here comes uh, Flash here with the last gasps uh, clock stop. Um, it would be, <laughs> I mean, it would be phenomenal if they came back from here. And you know, uh, I'm casting that wish into the ocean, but I just don't think that <laughs> there's much to be said for the remainder <laughs> of this Strongholds match. But let's see as they tick up above 80. Yeah, and right now they're just kind of getting this last couple of points here, but online shooters making them earn it here is now they might be creeping in here to 100. At least going to make that end score line look a little bit more competitive, but it looks like Mediocre is going to outnumber him oh. here. What a grenade by Deimos, but... Oh, there's a... Oh, he's a Never forget about the, the third hard place. Oh, there he there is. Oh! This kill needs to come in, but B flips, and that is all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, oh, and we're seeing a bit of love after the, after the fact. The spice has been injected. The passion petroleum burns in their veins as they go to a game five in our best of seven at 2-2. Two to two. And ladies and gents, we're on a road back to live fire for a bit of Slayer. Yeah, we've really made our rounds here on every map and mode. And of course, it's going to be great to re kind of return here to live fire in terms of the Slayer and how this one's going to play out. Uh, man, I just, it's still kind of a toss up when I think about who's coming in here with the, with the you know, who's going to be putting up the numbers here on the board early on. What a great response by Mediocre. Online shooters winning that huge clutch moment on that oddball to take the lead 2-1. But then Mediocre just coming in here, getting the mop out, and just cleaning up the, the easy spill on the Stronghold's recharge. And now they tie it up 2-2. We're moving to game five in a best of seven series in this grand finals that's already been reset. What more could you ask for? Um, not much, man. I mean, God, these are like these are two teams just like throwing haymakers at each other, and really just like fighting tooth and nail to be the victors in our first ever Trailblazer Championship Series. Yeah, definitely putting a um some sort of idea in terms of what people are kind of. Ex uh, figuring out with this Trailblazer Championship Series and what a great first performance across the board in terms of this total tournament. Lots of competitive Halo, lots of great plays. We've got lots of great moments from all of these different players and they have certainly brought it and brought some great entertainment to it to us. And for those of you watching, we're watching the we're watching the comments blow up. Keep it going. Yeah. Let's get the article of clothing hey, off. Let's get some HFT <laughs> hype in the chat, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. And now that we are actually streaming here on the HFT channel, let's go, man. This has been a fantastic series. Like, I don't know how much more, like, what else we can see in this. Like, I mean... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this go to game 7, 49, 49 overtime Slayer. Like, <laughs> these guys, uh, no, no, there's no ounce of giving up in them. No, zero. Zero across the board. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to a game 7 there. And I think that's just kind of where this roller coaster is taking us, just based off of the journey we've had so far. And I'm along for the ride and I'm tired of trying to guess about it and I'm just going to enjoy it and get hyped. And let it wash it over the you. end. Yeah, let it wash <laughs> over you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Like, uh, what's it called? Loving it. Like, um, yeah. Like, Slayer Live Fire now is going to be an interesting one, right? Um, so, you know. Uh, oh, oh wait no now it's changed Dr. Slop Fingers will now put more clothes on if we get to 60 <laughs> um, <laughs> let's go uh, but uh, yeah we're we're really showing strong here both of our teams just uh, you know uh, really like uh, giving us just a great display start to finish like the last game was, yeah, the last game was uh, very difficult, uh, you know, for the side of uh, online shooters. 
But, um, you know, uh, unfortunately, it looks like we may have to go for a um, for a quick break uh, as we are having some technical difficulties on the player's end. And we'll be right back to you with an update as soon as we have it. Welcome into the first ever Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. We are lying to start because we actually got 15 this week. Starting with yours truly, Dr. Slothfinger is playing a little live fire oddball. He has a no scope bottom man to start off, getting shot at from scoreboard, letting the teammate take the kill as he grabs the ball. The teammate can't get the kill, so Slothfinger does it himself. Beautiful shot there to get the kill joy, grabbing the ball from the cut, gets stuck. Or <laughs> does he? Ball gets stuck, and Dr. Slothfinger throws the ball back at the enemy for the kill. Just a heads up play, of course, heads up play. Number 14, OG Alien and team with the Desperation flag cap on the Czar. OG Alien using the sandbox to its fullest effect to get a back smack and Space Crabs takes off running towards bottom mid with that flag. Crabs gets it to bottom mid and ends up dying. Dr. Slothfingers tries to support but dies as well, so OG Alien gets to work. There's one dead from OG Alien, weakens another one bottom mid. He sees a teammate coming in to support with Rocket. Gets a second anyways, and finally cleans up a third kill with a little help from his friends. That allows for an easy flag cap and an overtime forced. That's how you do it. Number 13 is Shieldsy with a little cluster luck here on the streets. We have a beautiful grenade thrown. That's three dead, one stick, two more in the wake. One plaz is all you need when you're that good. Number 12 is Yes Magical off the rip here on Streets Oddball. Throws a grenade towards Rocket. Throws a nade towards Bulldog. Grabs a kill. Starts shooting for another one. Finishes off the ball carrier here and finishes his third kill off the rip. That's a triple kill with ball time. Let him know yes. Number 11 is My Shot with My Scope. Not needed. Some shy snipes here on Aquarius. Welcome back to another Halo Fun Time Top 10 Plays of the Week. We got three gates in the Halo 3 soundtrack in the background for you. I'm your host, Dr. Slothfingers. Let's jump right into these clips if we can. Number 10 is Mil Kiko getting Devo the OS on Live Fire King of the Hill. Let's get a quick sniper body shot into a BR headshot here. And let's just forget about the BR no scope headshot on the guy in cuts. Number 9 is OG Alien. 420 doing a little spider walk on the outside of Catalyst DPS. He goes outside of the map and brings it home, playing defense. This other team's about to score. He pulls the flag to make sure they can't, and then he really starts getting to work with his gunny here. There's one kill, there's two kill. Let's move that flag a little bit further, and let's go ahead and grab that return while we're at it. Third guy challenges. Does he know who he's challenging? Oh my god, that was a pitiful effort. That's a flag return. Number eight is Everything Evil cracked off the shoddy. We're on Street King of the Hill here. Everything Evil grabs the bulldog and he starts barking. There's a reversal kill on the first guy. Take us in again, Sherry. Uh, Silver. I love the orange color. Hey. Welcome back. How y'all doing? I hope you enjoyed. We took this opportunity just so we could show the um, Irish flag uh, Halo Fun Time uh, logo. Uh, <laughs> we're back. We have all eight players back in the lobby and they are ready and raring to go for this game five. Yeah, I think we are as well here, just kind of sitting on the edge of our seats. Thank you all for your patience here as we work our way through it. You know, it wouldn't be a Halo event without just a tiny pinch of technical difficulties, but now we're ready to kick things off here on Slayer Live Fire. Yeah, and it looks like we've had a substitution here uh, due to some technical issues. Um, and Famous is now in, uh, in the place of uh, Flashed. Yeah, what a tough spot to be coming into here, but it could play to their advantage here. Having a fresh player coming off the bench and being inserted at a time when they need it, they need to make a huge difference here as game five is going to be a pivotal spot here in this best of seven series. It's now Crazed Rock able to make some moves Almost over here by Turbine. Down goes down. Shots. Yeah, uh, two dead either side here. Now uh, the numbers in favor briefly for... Uh, <coughs> 
for the uh, for mediocre but uh, things are leveled up now and we are just seeing uh, a little bit of back and forth with online shooters just edging forward uh, seven to six yeah, seven to six make it eight to six now yeah both teams here i think the pressure is kind of on here you know that each one's going to be trying to play as best of halo as they can here as dr is able to make the flank but he gets flanked by the opposite teammate oh, hanging out over on c plat as one goes down for both sides you know both sides not making any risky maneuvers here any risky plays mostly just kind of controlling the map and taking what they got is now crazed rock and then they're gonna be pushing across dummies trade goes down to c plat they're up at the top of cuts now and, and now it looks as if three go down for online shooters three go down for mediocre back and forth we still have a one Make it a tie game here already in the early going. Now we have Overshield, and that's going to be drawing everyone's attention on the map. Absolutely, Silva. And I've got to say as well, um, Famous Ooh. has played with this team er, earlier in this tournament. Um, he is now back uh, filling in that role uh, that he had played prior, er, previously. But we have, I believe at all points, had Demos, North Snipes, and Viz, um, that core of this team playing uh, throughout this series uh, throughout this tournament and uh, yeah just yeah. some fantastic plays coming up here uh, for both these teams uh, as we enter them like early mid game it's uh, 16 to 15 in the favor of online shooters yep only one going down for them on both sides still a one kill game as it goes back and forth there's only trades in this point we're creeping into the halfway mark of the slayer and Viz here looking to be crafty, working his way through it as they kind of have a, a line going across here to the bottom of the tunnel over to C flat, looking to find out where they're at. Good team shots coming in there, two go down on the side of Mediocre, and now online shooters starting Ooh. to pull away with a lead here, four kill lead. This might be a little bit, this is going to be a huge difference here if they can continue this momentum. Yeah, and Viz there with the stuff that doesn't really show up on the uh, stat line, his, his life there like allowed his team to come in and collapse on the people whose attention had been drawn to getting or finishing off that kill and a great shot there from snipes takes him down to no shields cleaned up by a teammate dr cream and scream stuck in hell behind b i believe goes down and oh that's another one for north snipes 10 and 5 now and he's got that sniper in his hand what have we got to say whenever um Whenever North Snipes has a sniper in his hand, when there's a sniper on the map, he seems to just be able to switch on and take control of the Ooh. game. Oh, Let's what? Go. Finishes it off with the pistol, gets a killing spree, and is uh, left with a grenade as a present to send him flying off the map um, yeah. in maybe a victory uh, flight of happiness. I don't know uh, <laughs> where I was going with that. I, uh, the answer was nowhere, uh, as it turns out, as this fight is hotting up here. Five kills, six. Now the difference. Online shooters taking a lead, and uh, oh, things are hotting up here. This is back and forth. Every game, it seems, to go in the opposite direction. And, uh, like, yeah, we're seeing now uh, seven kills in the mid game is sizable, but it is not insurmountable. Um, and trading out there. When all is said and done, it looks to be a scoreline of 36 to 29. It's just going so quickly, you know, it's not really uh, both teams waiting and, and figuring it out. It's both teams holding forward and capitalizing on damage. That's why we're seeing just so many different trades happen. But Mediocre, they're going to be the ones that are going to have to slow it down here as they are down by eight kills and they're running out of lives here at the end. They do get three down on and Mediocre. They listen to me and they're ready, but they're only still down by 10 kills here. Biz as well showing up uh, this late into the series, 14 and 7. A really good stat line here. He has had his struggles. I mean, it makes sense. They've had a lot of Halo to play today, but they've really been picking things up. And as we head to the last few kills here, 42 to 30 the score. Dare we dream for a stake? I think not, as 31 goes on to the board uh, for Mediocre. And 10 kills now the difference with eight remaining. Yeah, and online shooters just kind of coasting with this lead here, willing to accept the trades. 
Mediocre chipping away at the lead a little bit. It's down to eight. A fresh sniper coming up. Crazed Rock looking to kind of get his hands on it, but also Overshield. Overshield is probably going to be the way this game is sealed here. He's able oh, to Crazed get Rock it gets here. it. Gives his team a chance. A chance indeed here, building off of something. He's only got Viz over here at the window, but Viz holding him down by himself, a one man army. And just some great plays across the board here from each individual member here, as it's so crucial here in this series. Yeah, and it's creeped back up quietly to seven kills now. And a team wipe here from Mediocre could tie things up practically. Ooh. And a great back smack there onto Famous, but goes down 45-46 now uh, for online shooters. 47, all four dead for Mediocre. And, you know, barring uh, intervention from God, this will be uh, online shooters. And... If I'm being quite honest, I doubt that that will be coming anytime soon. Not anytime soon. Just great performances across the board to get him in this position there. You know, Viz was 16 and 8. North Snipes was 16 and 9. Just great performances at the clutch moment here to take the tide. You know, game five of the best of seven here. Whoever goes up 3 2 then has two games to close it out. It's a nice little cushion when you have oh, such no. a competitive series. Chris Rock on, a, on his own. This could be the moment. And Crazy Rock needs to live. Doesn't, I believe. Uh, no, goes down, right. and now uh, with the numbers disadvantage on the map. Oh, no, he got back in time, but down they go. 50 to 39, the final score in our game five. And online shooters take the lead in the series, three to two. Three to two lead, that's so huge. But it seems as if one team, when they get a little bit of a, a, a lead or an advantage in this series, it kind of goes the other direction here. So I'm curious to see, what do we have coming up for the next map and mode? We have King of the Hill on none other than Solitude. Oh, man. Fresh sniper yeah. there. North snipes. Listen, X-Factor with the sniper in his hand. I mean, and I, I mean... You I would honestly like if he has the sniper and I'm playing against him, I'm not peeking anything. Like I'm not trying to even challenge that because he's gonna rip your head off if he even gets a little bit of space. Absolutely, and you know, uh, gotta say like yeah, he shows up a lot. And hey, we've been here before in the previous series, and what happened? A three-two scoreline in the favor of online shooters, and they took the series to a bracket reset. Could we see the same thing too? happen here? Could we see the crowning of our first Trailblazer Championship Series champion of Trailblazer Championship Series? Nice. Well done. Brought it forward and backwards. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You, like, you do something real quippy like that. And I'm just like, uh, uh, what do I do with my Oh, hands? yeah. Like, no. Smooth. <laughs> Smooth like cream. <laughs> cream. <laughs> <laughs> I know a guy you should talk to, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's so smooth it'll make you scream. But yeah, Doctor. no, could be having the championship a championship crowned here. We're on the cusp of it. We've had an all day affair. It's been going rather smoothly up until this point here. We got one match here with all of it on the line here. You know, what are you telling your teammates if you're in either one of these huddles? Hey, you know, we got here on merit. We're good. If you're mediocre, hey, we've beaten these guys in a series before, we can do it again. And if you're on online shooters, you're saying, this is it, you know, it is time. We don't even start to think about the fact that you have a game in hand, right? Don't even think that you're one ahead, right? This is the final, this is it. So, you know, go out there and win it in six, because the last thing you want is the coin flip that is Slayer. Exactly, the coin flip in a game seven two, but right now, both teams going tit for tat here with the hill up in the top mid. Two go down for online shooters. Craze Rock lurking around, a lot of U-turn here, looking for spawners. All online shooters hanging out around the seaside, and yeah, we haven't had much hill time here in the beginning. Could be a low scoring King of the Hill affair as both these teams continuing on from that Slayer match on Live Fire going back and forth, going right at each other. Yeah, really throwing Haymakers and not much time uh, ticked off that hill. 
uh, Dr. Cream and Scream now finding himself isolated on A and the spawns are coming in blue. So interesting to see who has the sniper. I, I'm going to assume it's the one and only uh, North Snipes. But we will see um, as this game progresses. The slays have been in the favor of Mediocre, but the hill time is falling in the favor of online shooters. Hey, you can get all the slays you want in King of the Hill, but it's going to come down to that hill time. Three down for online shooters. The last straggler over on LR. And the BB does go down. Chris Rock getting the spawners on top of him. That's unfortunate for him as he's trying to sniff them out. And they end up sniffing him out. And now it looks as if online shooters and mediocre both with the same amount of numbers back and forth active camo coming up this could be a huge difference maker here craze rock trying to win the piv and pick it up at the same time his teammate helps him out burns the cam camo put it off the table man this is back and forth um you know and with the addition like with the welcome addition of uh instant scoring on these hills things can turn real fast and you can get a lot of chip time here and there um, if you're both teams and with this much time ticked off on this hill, we're already a minute and 20 of uh, are ticked off. So, uh, you know, uh, it's very interesting. Um, yeah, I don't just... think we'll make a full rotation with the hills back to this top mid one at the rate it's going. Is now we're almost close to the three minute mark and we still don't have a point on the board. It looks as if both teams have their meter filled up to the same spot here. Mediocre, nice, getting the pick. But they trade it out. <laughs> Dr. Cream and Scream. Whoever gets in that hill is cursed. Maybe you'll get a couple seconds if you're lucky. As both teams are trading away here over in the top. Oh, rate. James Dean on Viz here is going to be a big one as well. And wins. Oh, a sniper went across onto Demos. Demos dodges and weaves and is still alive. But it's 4v2 on the map. And Demos just living up there on uh, top snipes. But cream and scream now he has the entirety of window just nipping them and need to get this kill onto craze rock does enough to back them off but the time is still ticking mighty chew is there and he manages Ooh. to secure it for his team it gets a mighty no scope as well and um, for his trouble nasty no scope on the guy who did an auto clamber to, to dodge the first night but he eventually gets ripped and finishes off the hill now we're creeping in here to the two minute mark here. Plenty of time on the clock. Mediocre in a great position here to get this next hill, but famous and company, online shooters on the outside, active camos coming up. It can be the huge difference maker as they get a couple picks already with the camo coming up. Crazed Rock stuck down there in driveway. He's got a teammate coming back to help. Oh, Crazed Rock, down. huge kill there as well. Oh my God, it's just Viz now and Demos. And bought Viz coming in, the cheeky, uh, Camo able to push uh, Mighty Chu off of the hill does however get jumped on and three players at top A it looks like they're going to have enough to take this hill unless online shooters do something very quickly yeah tough hill to break here it's almost asking yourselves if this hill was chalked it's North Snipes going to make one last attempt here getting the plasmas putting damage on they're not getting hill time here North Snipes him staying alive back here is going to be so crucial to block the spawns. Him and his teammate finish him off to go down for mediocre. And now online shooters here staking their claim in the back of loop here and getting some hill time. Absolutely, but Cream has been playing a bit of a spoiler. And uh, yeah, I think this is almost a must win hill here for online shooters. I hate to say that so early in the game, but 225 remaining on the clock. And I mean, two hills if you're slaying out like two minutes is just about where you want to be and if they're able to take it to that amount of time with a 2-0 lead we could be seeing uh them making it to a game seven famous here staying alive and crafty able to get two kills and flushing them out of the hill two down for mediocre now he's got some teammates on the hill B james dean looking to put some damage in and stop them from gathering any hill time running in there ready to go put some damage but great bait and switch from online shooters oh my god this is on a nice here. edge oh no they can't afford to hold back here they need to push this and they're uh, mediocre are playing this perfectly they know the fights need to come oh my god trades all across the board here they're all going down and james dean and fizz Ooh. the only two not on the hill were the only two left and fizz could get this for his team now
What a play. All three, basically four go down from one side. Viz alone. Oh. Ranger on the field to secure the cap there. What a heck of a play by Viz. Always making good plays time and time again. Oh my god, Viz. Like, if they win this game, it's because of that play by Viz. Excellent. Excellent play. Getting the uh, kills, getting the hill time just to get it off. I mean, my goodness. Like, trades across the board and Viz wins the one piv that was needed to get hill two. Yeah, you're talking about whoever won that piv in the top bridge was gonna get that hill. And if you're mediocre, it would've been a great spot to be up 2-0, but they do get an early lead here on this next hill. And I don't think we're gonna run into too many more hills here. This could easily be a 3-1 or a 3-2 game here. As now online shooters looking to make a push. They get trades on each side here, but Crazy Rock putting great damage in, getting a kill and the assist, stopping that push right away. Two down for online shooters. Yeah, and this time ticking up now uh, very quickly for uh, Crazy Rock, although he's pressured really hard there from Blue. I did not expect someone to be there, and he didn't either, as uh, he goes down, and this hill now is anyone's game, uh, as two dead for Mediocre means that North Snipes can get time on the board. Yeah, getting some time on the board, two down for online shooters. North Snipes looking to hold it down and get as much hill time as he can, but he goes down. There's three down for a split second on online shooter side, and right now they're kind of pushing out here really desperating to try to get this hill and clear it out nobody on the hill still battles going back and forth at the bottom here as every person gets oh, called out kill kill for craze rock when his team needs it the most gets his team that second hill um with that triple kill see signs seals and delivers it and hoping to get this uh, uh, camo but goes down with it burned i believe and this kill here now it's all about slayer for mediocre or mediocre if they're able to slay out here uh the scoreline is 3-2 in the series um in the favor of online shooters if mediocre are able to uh just kill their opponents uh they'll be able to do it but it seems like they're electing to no. get the time on the hill they don't want to risk it going down to a single hill and they have the presence to do it but what it's allowing is just an, a little bit of time for online shooters to get themselves together, to get some coordination, and to get themselves on the hill. And with Famous living there, that's massive. This time is still ticking up, and more importantly, the clock is not ticking down. The clock is not ticking down here. That's in the cards for me. If they make a push, for the snipe, a couple of exchanges and DJ's Dean stays alive here, so they'll increase their lead, which is going to be so beneficial here because in the end, if they lose this hill control and have such an advantage, they can start to play time and just slay out with a 2-1 lead here in game two. Oh, great. Perfect Headshot. kill there um, from North Snipes. That hill was all but gone if it wasn't for that uh, kill there, but it looks like uh, the fights are falling in the favor of Mediocre, and with just a few seconds left on this hill... Oh, oh they get the kills! Oh, they get the kills! Oh, they're on the hill! Just a few moments remaining to tick over, and they're able to clutch up and get onto this hill. Uh, if that was 3-1, this game is over with a capital O, and here they are, ticking up and looking like they're going to bring this to sudden death. Final hill... Three or two, two, and this one's for all the marbles. If you're online shooters, if you're online shooters here, and just great momentum too. They get two down, another one, one shot, four down for them. They're gonna be able to get an early lead here. Active camo coming up. He's probably gonna be able to get this active camo unchallenged here as he's rocking the snipe. A camo, no, Ooh, praise rock. That was so huge. A camo snipe in the hands of North Snipes is definitely what you don't want. And now it switches hands at Dr. Cream and Scream. Another huge player in this series. He's got camo and snipe. What's he gonna do? Ooh. Oh, back smack. He's, he's patrolling. Through. He's creaming. He's screaming. And he's getting his hill this for his team. I mean, three dead for online shooters. This is squeaky bum time now. It 100% <laughs> is squeaky bum time. It's right now, Dr. Cream's screen. 
ripping the head off of the first guy pushing out so already online shooters are going to be down a number trying to break this hill as mediocre is almost about halfway through here and what's going to be this final hill oh man getting a lot of pressure from online shooters and it looks like things are flipping just a little bit in the favor of online shooters um oh this could be it this final hold they're ticking it up 3-2 in the play. series now. And it looks like they may. Uh, like, they are going to extra time here. Uh, unless there's some godly hold by the side of online shooters. But Ooh. I don't think they're going to be afforded that luxury. Three dead for mediocre. And next point wins. It's official. And this could be it for online shooters. If they want to come away champions, they're going to have to flush out Crazed Rock. But... The pressure has told here. Ooh. Great grenade onto Viz. Two dead now. And one traded back. Two traded back. Famous going to the hill in a piv. Looks. Ooh. Oh, he wins it. He wins it. Double kill Yo. has kept his team in this game. And with the spawns coming from C and that sniper right over there. This is still on for Mediocre, uh, but players are falling left and right, and this push is required from C, and they need to get the shot Yo. on here. One, two, we're, we're, but not we're, we're, enough. We're, we're, oh, 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 it is. Oh, it's the over. It's the over. What was going on? And he gets the killing spree. Oh, my goodness. Was that Demos? I don't know. I think I oh, just man. blacked out. I did too. Jesus. What is going on? There's it just it's literally like tooth and nail. These two teams are fighting around this hill right now, trying to get some control, trying to get some breathing space so that they can take up those last few seconds. All they need is their toesies on it for about five to ten seconds. And it looks like mediocre. Oh, cheeky push there, but is found out. And the time is still ticking. James oh. Dean gets the shots in, and it's still online shooters holding on to it, but there's a lot, a lot of pressure coming from C, and this is on a nice edge. Dr. Cream and Scream running forward. I think that's going to be enough, and it is. Oh. We're going to game seven. What is happening? What is happening? Oh, my God. 3-3. 3-3. Oh my god! <laughs> what are these teams doing to us? I'm sorry. This is overkill to stop the game and keep them in it. I'm still like reeling from that. That play was absolutely insane. And what a just back and forth all the way through. It was almost reminiscent of that oddball game from earlier, but with King of the Hill. Yeah, the score 3 3 in the series. We're going to game seven, guys. And that game seven. The Decider, we are returning to Recharge for our final game of the Trailblazers Championship Series. This Slayer will determine the first Trailblazer Championship Series champion of Trailblazer Championship Series. Man, I... <laughs> so many twists and turns in this script you know i was just was not ready for this <laughs> yeah i mean i think uh i think crabs has uh chefed us up a nice little script here let all the teams know uh we're heading into a decider and like oh i mean whoever wins the game i think the real winners are the fans Oh, 100%. <laughs> and us, I'm definitely one of them. Because, my God, we have been given a clinic in Halo. We have gotten every type of match today. We have gotten every type of matchup today. We've had stomps. We've had squeakers. We've had 3-0s. We've had 3-2s. We've had 4-2s. We've had 4 or 3-3s three here now in the last series of our bracket reset. I don't know what else more you could ask for in a championship series finale than what these two teams have cooked up for us here. Easily, I think, you know, from Halo Fun Times, there should be a top 10 clips of just 
this entire tournament. I think that would easily be something you could pull together there. Not sure what the best play we've seen of the day is. It's definitely probably a tie between Dr. Cream and Scream with his killing frenzy with the triple kill and the overkill over on Slayer Streets. But I don't know, Viz keeping them in the game there. At the end with the overkill snipe, he had two guys looking at him. And he sniped both of them and put them down and kept them in the game. Like, that was absolutely oh god tier. That's fantastic. Yeah. And, like, oh... I, this whole thing has gotten me shook. We are going here off the rip, following Viz, and uh, going down, had massive plays here, two dead already for online shooters and the over or the camo in the hands of Mediocre. The camo getting burned eventually, and yeah, this is it, folks. This is it. This is the grand finals. This is what both these teams have been grinding it out for. Will Mediocre come out on top here, kind of making their way through the winner's bracket and getting reset and holding strong? Or will it be online shooters moving into the loser's bracket earlier by Mediocre, coming back, resetting the bracket, and winning the championship? Either way, a lot is on the line here in just the Slayer on Recharge. Absolutely, and this all comes down to who holds their nerve, right? We've seen these teams slug it out. We've seen these teams play tactically. We've seen these teams just throw themselves at each other. And I've got to say, right, like, this final game, this last chance, right, uh, you know, is all about who holds their nerve when things get serious. When things get serious, this is going to be it. And the last slayer we saw was definitely tit for tat here as Double. Crazy Rock gets off an early killing spree. He's 5-1 getting it started early for Mediocre as they have a four kill lead here to, off of the jump. Looking for them to roll through here in the long haul. Sneaky Viz as always. But he doesn't even get the double kill. Two, three go down for online shooters there. And that's not what you need. A five kill lead is kind of hard to the really most kind of swing getting back. Getting rid of a rush of a blood there. Does back off uh, wisely. Um, <coughs> Crazed Rock does go down. And uh, now this A hold here is going to be strong. But Knight, or North Snipes finds himself... On an island is going to have to do a lot of work to get himself out of it. Does go down. And now with the lead at 5. Uh, with 16 kills on the board for Mediocre. Things are getting hot. Getting hot for sure. It's a 4 kill lead there that they haven't really been able to overcome. Looks as if they're able to chip away there as Famous and his teammate able to get the kill down. Three down against Mediocre. Nice G slide by Famous to fly across the map and pick up that camo. Stays alive. Oh, devil. It's going to be so crucial here as the rest of Mediocre starts spawning up. Two go down for Mediocre again. We get a tie game at 17-17 as we're moving into... He knows where they're not. Point. So this play into uh, top A, he's calling it out like a UAV. He's got that shot in there. And now with Camo coming up, uh, red pipes. This is going to be a huge moment as BK comes up behind them, absolutely flushes them out, gets the... Oh, no! A bit too aggressive, misses the shot, and uh, Mediocre maintain their slender lead. Slender lead indeed, it's only a one right now at this moment, as Craze Rock trying to stay alive, and somehow I think he's able to escape out of there with his life, tucking his tail on the way out, as now Mediocre up by one, Deimos and company entrenched here over in A, as Mediocre has control from B over to long haul side, so kind of turtling in here online shooters hoping that mediocre runs in here so they can get an easy pick oh, and they, did. they got a kill and they do and that's what they need right here they're gonna make the push into gold pipes you're gonna run the one jump shot. boss it looks like he got away and now the tables have turned the turntables have turned on north snipes and he goes down so 22 21 in the favor of mediocre we're gonna see this now we're gonna see a lot of slow play followed by an explosive burst and this has led now to mediocre Stretching their lead to two in this final. Five minutes ticked off the Slayer clock here, and uh, this one's getting tasty. And based on the way these two teams are playing, a two kill lead feels almost massive. It's now they expand it to three. Everybody looking for active camo. Craze Rock dancing and jiving around B Box here. We've seen him do this before, somehow staying alive out on an island as everybody's fighting over the camo. Not sure if anybody was able to pick it up or get it burned. 
might be down there around triple stack as now both teams are firing back and forth. Three kill lead still maintained after this exchange. Oh, but he and doesn't Davos. know this dude. He gets the assist but goes down. So three kills now the lead. Uh, four mediocre, four. And goodness, this is really... It, mediocre are trying their best and succeeding to this point at keeping online shooters at an arm's length. Keeping them at an arm's length here. This is going to be kind of a bit of a reset here. Online shooters in the back of C plat here. There is a guy by Mediocre over in Long Haul, but Craze Rock making the push as well. He's going to go down on that push. Both sides exchange one, still have a five kill lead for Mediocre. And now they're going to be trying to see what kind of space on the map are they able to get here. Fame has pushed up to control. The rest of the Mediocre on the other side starting to make their way across Long Haul. And I think they're peeking their way across into top A here. So taking control over the map as online shooters are stuck in C. They're going to have to work together here to get a pick and choose which oh, way they're going to Oh, that's a stick and a half by Famous. And that could open the door. But trades are going back and forth here. And what uh, what online shooters need to do is capitalize on the damage. But unfortunately, they are not connected enough to do so. And the fights come through. They are all trades. So we're heading into this mid game. 30 to 34. And oh, Demos thought himself lucky, but gets a back smack for his trouble. And we're looking now at a five kill lead for Mediocre. And it's all about now the intestinal fortitude, the huevos, right? Who's gonna yeah. blink first? Active camo's up, everyone's looking for it. North Snipe's got the one in his hands here with the shock rifle, he's gotta make a big play here. Absolutely, but unfortunately he doesn't have x-ray specs. And, uh, oh, Chris Rock is dead though. Four kills still. They are still getting traded back and forth. Mighty Crew, or Mighty Chew is hiding away here. And uh, one down. Uh, at Whirlpool could be a tree, but down goes Demos, and the lead is still five. Dr. Cream and Scream, yeah, definitely the rest of them. Demos doing a lot for his team right now, 12 and 10, keeping them in it, hoping to make a huge difference here, as now the lead has jumped out to six kills, which feels like a huge <laughs> obstacle to overcome. Now seven, but it keeps jumping back and forth. Dr. Cream and Scream, pushing in here to go down for each side and the trades just keep coming in here online shooters unable to really move the margin yeah and demos doing well there, trying to connect with his teammates but unfortunately um you know found uh more uh hate coming his way and these shots here now onto north snipes open up just another opportunity for them to go for a full-on trade out allow them to be a little bit more aggressive six kills now the difference and it's it's do or die now for online shooters they need to get picks here a do or die and it's so tough in slayer when you're talking about people at you know, this skill level here it's almost gonna kind of be on mediocre here to kind of fumble it as they have a six kill lead and they only need eight kills to go oh this timing Anything could be big. possible yes it could be possible oh, Got a camel coming up as well Oh, they get to pick. They get to pick now. What can they do with it? There was not very much damage done. Two kills now. So that's four kills the lead. Has been reduced. Uh, the James Dean uh, in the respawn screen. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, enjoy your confetti, friends, because we're coming into the last few moments of this game. 3-4-3 three, three on the clock. And uh, we're following Viz here. Three kills now the difference. And Mighty Chew will have a mighty job One to stay difference. alive in that corner. Two now. And this... Oh, down he goes. Three kills now opened up again. 45 to 42. My God. What are we witnessing? Demos, though. The fly in the ointment. You know, the snake in the grass has that or, or uh, has that camo and is looking out for any opportunity he, he can find to get it. Does Eden Nate has to back off. And I believe that's... Oh, no, he still has camo. Is going to walk in, get those early shots Let's onto go. him. 45, 45, and things... 46 now. Online shooters in the lead with two minutes and 50 seconds left. Six kills down, and they're really putting it back... Uh, in their favor here and 
They just need to be disciplined now. They need to cover each other's crosses and not give up a pick. But as I say that, down goes Famous. But answered back by oh. Demos. Goes down again. 48 to 48. Mighty Chew. And it's 49 to 48 in the favor of online shooters. Three up now for Mediocre. All four. All eight players on the map. Next kill will win it for online shooters online shooters what a heck of a play going back to demos and viz over in gold pipes a perfect bait and switch to clean out gold pipes and take oh. the lead they only need one more kill here james teen surviving the grenade there, hanging on by the hair of his chinny chin chin is now both oh, teams next, going next, there next. it is the shooters win 50 to 48 bracket reset losers final winners my good god what a game and i say once more are you not entertained oh my gosh they were they were behind that entire slayer game and it almost seemed like it was going to be way too much as they were almost getting to a seven kill lead but that play by Deimos and Viz there will is, is everything in the end of that game there. Deimos, a heck of a play with the camo, sneaking in there, getting the pick, Viz running in, putting damage in, them both swapping in and out, getting the bait and switch and taking the lead. And Wow. I, I don't have know what more to say. chills. <laughs> what a day of Halo we have brought to you. All thanks to the hard work of all of the people behind the scenes making Trailblazers Championship Series happen. And before we move any further, we must congratulate online shooters as our inaugural Trailblazer Championship Series winners. Congratulations. Excellent job, guys. Top tier play. Yeah, definitely being trailblazers of their own you know they're going to definitely put a namesake on this series already to kind of put their reputation and a namesake on it what a great way to start it out what a great day for halo it's been a true marathon and honestly just for my sake it's just great to watch that them come out of the losers bracket and to reset and go the entire distance and finish it out at the end and they have to be hanging their heads high Oh man, I would be holding my head high. I mean, my God, an excellent, excellent like series, an excellent play from both teams. My God, I mean, commiserations to Crazed Rock, James Dean, Dr. Cream and Scream, and Mighty Chew. You definitely brought the fire, right? You brought the passion, you brought it all the way to the end. But in the end, North Snipes, Demos, Famous and Viz come out champions. And my God, I, I just gotta say, and I've gotta do this now, right? Gotta thank all of our staff, all of the crew that we have here for the uh, Trailblazers Championship Series that helped this thing happen. I mean, first of all, Sozer, our producer, Hop on the mic and say hello to everyone because my God, you did a fantastic job. Oh, he can't. <laughs> he cannot. Right. However, he does say thank you very much for the love and chat. And, you know, uh, yeah, thank you very much, he says. And, uh, you know, fantastic work there. And then the crew behind the scenes. We have Shieldsy, we have Risky, we have Clutch who came in uh, to cast for us here for two games and did a quite a good job, very informative um, from Clutch Academy. Jax also put the work in, a very passionate member of our Trailblazers team. And of course, I cannot leave it without uh, thanking the staff of Halo Fun Time, Debo, Matona, Moosh, and my shot just getting everything sorted and ready to go for us here and there is of course one name remaining to thank and that is space crabs <laughs> space crabs you made this happen through sheer determination and force of will and you have delivered to uh these fine people an excellent day of halo so pat yourself on the back 
It's been a fantastic series, a fantastic day, a fantastic championship. And, you know, at the end of the day, someone had to take it. Um, and I suppose the only one left to thank now is Silva. Thank you so much for casting today. You did the whole nine yards, the whole nine and a half hour stream. Just kept everything going, kept everything moving, and great, gave some great analysis, kept the hype going. And man, it's just been a pleasure to cast alongside you today. Thanks, Delta. You kind of leaving me a little bit spe speechless here. But yeah, like you said before, you know, there's a lot of different hands that go in here. We get the pleasure of providing you guys with the casting for this. So such, you know, such a huge thank you for that opportunity. It's been a great day for Halo. And I hope we didn't disappoint here. We had lots of great people coming in. Clutch from the Clutch Academy. That guy is just a wizard when it comes to Halo. Check out his Discord. Check out Halo Fun Time. There's always events going on in this Discord. It's just a great community and I'm so happy to see all of these different communities coming together and I don't know what left what is left to say but thank you so much I've had such a blast doing this yeah absolutely and uh, yeah thanks to uh, everyone of course my shot uh, always in the chat all day putting out fires giving mixed levels of truthful information Um. I believe we will be raiding Eli um, uh, uh, after the stream, so stick around for another great member of our, our of the Halo community, uh, Eli the Ninja. And uh, I suppose that's that's all, really. Uh, so thank you all so so much for coming along to our first ever Trailblazers Championship Series, and Halo Fun Time will have a hell of a lot more for you in the future.